Yo! Spotlight Sim is back! And I don't even have to say that much to start the stream. I'll see the reward right above my head. Whew! I woke up this morning. I saw there was new Spotlight Sims. I saw there was a new GOAT player. And I got hyped, man. I got hyped. I'm super ready for this stream. And it's awesome seeing so many of you guys in here so early. You guys heard that yell. I'm super hyped. And I hope every single one of you is ready for a huge and awesome stream. What's up, Benji, Liv Stack, No Chill Knowles, Maria, Tevin, everybody. Packer the Player, Nelk, Justin. We got the whole gang in here, man. We got 18 people in here already. I haven't even touched my controller yet, and we already have 13 likes on the stream. You guys make sure to drop a like for me. I have a feeling this is going to be a really big stream, so you guys better get ready for this. I don't think I have to explain much. We're just going to go ahead and jump into things. We're not going to waste too much time. Here's the reward we're going for. Goat Stephen Curry. There are six players we have to get to get Steph Curry. And to get each player, you have to win five games. I'm going to go show you guys the challenges real quick. They're all new. They've just been added to the game. Go to Spotlight Challenges and make your way all the way to the right. You're going to see all of these new Spotlight Challenges. Six new sets of Spotlight Challenges. Five games each. Five games for each new Galaxy Open player. So yeah. Which one is the easiest? If I had to answer that question, probably this one because of the Hornets, the Hawks, the Wizards. Good teams, but not as good as playing like the Lakers, you know? The Warriors with Wilt and Curry and all them. There are some really good teams here, man. The first game is on all-star difficulty. Let me move out of the way so you guys can see that. There you go. First game's on all-star difficulty. The next two games are on superstar. And then the last two games are on Hall of Fame. So five games, six divisions. And yeah, for each division you complete, you get one Galaxy Opal. So here you go. This is what we're going to do. We're about to get started. And it's going to be awesome. What's up, Darius, Franklin, Splendid Sam. I hope everyone's having an awesome day, man. Hope you guys are ready to hang out and just watch this stream, man. It's going to be great. JD says 15 hours of offline gameplay. I can do 15 hours. 15 hours is absolutely nothing. We can get this done in one stream. Man, who do I start out with? I want to start out with the Hawks. The Hawks and the Hornets and all of them. But I kind of want to get Patrick Beverly too, or Tony Allen. I don't know. All I know is that eventually, we're going to get all of these players. We're going to get all these guys eventually, no matter what order we do them in. But we're going to go ahead and start with the Southeast Division, man. We're going to start with the Hornets, the Hawks, and we're going to end up playing LeBron and the Heat and all of them. Lola Troll says, look at Curry, man. Let's get started with the Charlotte Hornets. Let's go ahead and do this. All-Star Difficulty. This is like a warm-up game. This is like a little warm-up, so you guys get ready for this. We're going to kick off the stream with a win. Going to make sure we get things started on the right foot. We have 25 people in here. I hope every single one of you is having an awesome day. You guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. And make sure you're subscribed, too. This is going to be a super long stream, so... If any of you guys are also grinding these challenges out, keep the stream up, listen to my commentary. You might just enjoy it. If you enjoy the content, make sure you're subscribed. Packer says, I'm going for Bev. Going for Bev is going to be tough because, I mean, you got to play versus the Lakers. you got to play versus the Warriors. There are a lot of good teams there. What's up, Daniel Chavez? Welcome to the stream. Let's get things started on the right note, man. We're playing versus the Charlotte Hornets. They have some, they actually have four Opals in the starting lineup, but y'all know we're not worried about that. Y'all know we're not worried. Y'all already know. Y'all have seen me play so much Spotlight Sim. Y'all already know that no matter who we play against, we're going to be all right. Now, I haven't played my team in a very long time, so it might take me a second to get my releases right and everything, but... I think we're going to be okay. Y'all know I'm not super worried about it. 
But yeah, you guys talk to me. I hope everyone's having a great day. Hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone's ready for an awesome stream. OTM Cash says the Raptors got five Opals. Hey, man. They got Marcus Saul. I think there's a Kyle Lowry, right? This is all time, too, so they might have... I'm trying to think of other guys they might have. I can't remember my Raptors players right now. I feel kind of bad for that. I know they have DeRozan, if they're doing all time. I know he has an Opal. Tracy McGrady, both of his Opals were with the... With the Magic, right? I feel like Vince Carter's Opal was with the Nets. I can't remember my Raptors Opals, man. You guys are going to have to remind me. What's up, Solo Braden? What's up, Agalos? Welcome to the stream, both of you guys. Like I told you guys, earlier in the year, I was a pretty serious My Team player, but not really as much. Not really a super serious My Team player. I have a good team. I've been grinding out the challenges a bit, and it's nice doing them on stream. It's nice doing them on stream, but I don't play My Team much outside of that. So today, we're going to go for these new players. It's going to be fun. I'm just looking forward to grinding out these challenges and talking to you guys. Yesterday was my first time streaming in, I don't know how long. I hadn't streamed in about three weeks before yesterday, so I'm looking forward to doing this today. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys in the chat, catching up with y'all a little bit. They got Kawhi. They got Drake as the coach. That's what I'm talking about right there. So we're going to play versus the Raptors and them later. We're going to play the Atlantic Division a little bit later. Oh, man, I'm getting blocked by Terry Rozier. Are you serious? That's not that's Larry Johnson, excuse me. Doc, if you want an extra mod, I'm your man. I appreciate it. I don't know if I really need any extra mods, though. We have a lot of them right now. Let me turn off the meter. I'm about to say, I've been shooting well with the shot meter on, but let me turn it off real quick. I usually have it turned off, but... I hit my first few shots, so we'll take it. So yeah, for anybody who's wondering, the first game of each sim is on all-star difficulty, so the first game, no matter who you play against, should be an easy win. Should be an easy W, no matter who you play against. Should I sell my prime Kawhi, my prime Kevin Durant, excuse me. I feel like prime Kevin Durant, as the years gone on, has lost a lot of value. I feel like you might want to sell him sooner than later, especially with the new packs that came out today. The best of 2K packs. So you might want to sell him as soon as possible because, I mean, based on supply and demand, excuse me, and how that works, that KD is going to lose some value. Plus, there's a new KD, is there not? There's a new KD that can play the point guard, so I'm not sure how much value your KD has. Even though he is still really good. I'm not sure how much value he still has. Like I told you though. Like I told you guys, I don't really play my team like that anymore. I've been streaming a lot more park and stuff lately than my team. So I'm not 100% aware of how the auction house works or how the market works. But if I had to give you guys a nice guess, I'd say that the KD is going to lose a little bit of value because... I think he has a better card at a different position, and, I mean, these super packs are pretty crazy. So, yeah. Flip Stack says I'm on my third game. Good for you. Good for you. I could have started this earlier, but I decided to wait for you guys to start the stream. Hey. Carlos Story says, hi, I'm here. This is easy. It is pretty easy. I mean, the first game of every single one's on all-star difficulty, which means it should be an easy win for everybody, even though every team is really good. LG, I could, I could run quick through every time, but that's no fun to watch, is it? want to give you guys some entertaining content, some entertaining gameplay, so I feel like running the exact same play every single time, I feel like that would be a little bit boring for you guys to watch, so... We're just going to straight up play and straight up win every single game. About to say, I could do the little pause glitch. I could do the little quick through STS cheese, but why do that when you can just play the game? I can talk to you guys, chill out, play the game. 
It's fun, man. It's fun. We have 35 viewers in here right now. I hope every single one of you is having an awesome day so far. Hope y'all are enjoying yourselves. And if you're a 2K player, are you about to get started on these Spotlight Sims? Are you about to get started on these if you haven't already? Because there's somebody in the chat who said they're already on their third game. So some of you guys have started. Some of you guys are probably going to wait till you get home or something. Then again, I know a lot of you guys are out of school. So yeah, a lot of you guys are at home anyway. Doesn't get much easier than that. But yeah. We have 32 people in here, like I just said. Y'all drop a like for me, man. It takes one second. Really helps out the channel, too. Really helps the channel grow. My goal today is to hit 2.65 thousand subs, so that'd be pretty cool if we could get that done. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, they're double teaming Embiid. They're leaving Larry Bird wide open. I'm not super used to his release though. I like the GOAT Larry Bird, but I need to get a little bit better at his release. I was watching you on my phone while grinding. People tell me they like my commentary. So, maybe I am a good thing to listen to while you're grinding out these challenges. I can kind of understand that. I think I see the logic in that. I mean, if you're just sitting there in silence playing these challenges, that's pretty miserable, so make sure you have YouTube on or Netflix or something like that. Make sure you have music on or you're on the phone with somebody because these challenges can definitely get boring. Without a doubt, these challenges can get very boring, so you guys make sure you have something turned on in the background. Because without that, these challenges can get awfully boring. For anybody wondering, though, I did, stre I did stream Park yesterday, but... It's been almost a month since I've played my team, so my team's a little bit out of date. The team's a little bit out of date, I'll admit. I have Kobe, who's still pretty good. I have Larry Bird, who's still pretty great. Hakeem, who's good, but he's lost a little bit of value. Joel Embiid's lost a little bit of value. And Arenas is good, but a little bit undersized. And he's also lost some value, so I have a good team, but... It's a little bit out of date, man, especially with all these new players coming out. All these new big point guards and everything, these out of position players. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. My team's good, but it's a little bit outdated, I'll admit. There we go. I finally got Larry Bird's release right. I've been getting it, like, early every time. Oh, man. What's up, Kappa? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright, man. It's good that we have moderators in here, man. JD says, is Larry Bird's release bad? It's a good release, but I've been releasing it early because I'm so used to releasing Kobe's shot early. Kobe's shot is so quick, and I've pretty much mastered his shot without the meter on. And Larry Bird's is a little bit later. I just have to remember that whenever I shoot with him, you know? So it's a good release. I just got to remember that it's a little bit slower than Kobe's is. It's fast, but not as fast as Kobe's. Right there, that was just a bad shot. I have not been playing the best basketball, man. I've been playing well, but I could definitely be playing better than I have been so far. With that being said, though, we still have a good lead. Y'all already know, we're not really worried about losing, so... We're just gonna make sure to play through every game, and make sure we don't lose, because... Losing games is kind of a waste of time. So, unless I'm down really big in one of the games, you guys are not going to see me quit for real or restart. We're just going to play through every single game, have fun with it, man. We're off to a good start, but we could be doing better than this. Dr. J isn't even in the starting lineup for the Nets. Now, that's interesting right there. So who is the starting starting five for the Nets? I'm assuming it's Jason Kidd, uh, Derek Coleman. I don't think Kevin Durant has a Nets card, so I'm assuming he's not in there. Is, I'm trying to think of other players in that Nets starting lineup. I can't think of many Brooklyn Nets Opals, though. Just like I told you guys, I'm not super updated on my team. Justin Lamar, what's good? I haven't seen you in a minute, man. Hope everything's good with you. I feel like I haven't seen you post a video in a while either, but then again, 
YouTube's weird. You know I'm subbed to you though, but I haven't seen a video from you in a long time. Hope everything's good with you though, man. I'm not getting my releases right. I am not getting these releases right. I gotta, I gotta do better than this. Because I've been terrible at these releases so far. <sighs> Kappa says VC maybe. Yeah, Vince Carter is definitely in the starting five. I to say. I'll figure out what every starting five is later, but for now, I guess all I can do is speculate. I really do hate to say that, like, I just, I'm not into my team like that anymore. I'll grind out these challenges, but I don't, like, sit there and grind the mode like I'll grind out Park, you know? Then again, Park, you play it with your friends. This, you kind of play it alone, but talking to you guys in the chat makes it a lot easier. I'm not trying to give you guys too much credit or, like, kiss your ass or anything, but you guys in the chat really do help. YT doesn't send the notice. I remember you used to upload every day, but it's been so long since I've gotten a notification. I'll make sure to check out your channel. I'm sure you've been growing really well since you've been uploading so often. That's big that you've been uploading so often too, especially with the pandemic and everything. I'm gonna check you out, man. If I watch a few of your videos in a row, I should start getting those notifications again. Hey, I'm watching you while doing my homework. Hey, Patch 2K, I appreciate it. It's good that you're doing your homework. I finished all my homework on Sunday, so I knew I'd have the entire week free to stream. Lago says, Doc, I was Elzek from yesterday and the neighborhood, the Pro 3. I remember I played versus a lot of pros yesterday. We played versus a lot of superstars later in the stream, but at the beginning it was all pros. It was all pros, all all-stars. It was pretty easy, pretty easy wins. Kappa, Park's a lot of fun, especially if you're playing with your friends, playing with people you know. It can get a little bit toxic, but man, Park's fun. They do need to fix a lot of things about the park, but I definitely enjoy playing it. They're leaving the lane wide open. I do think Dennis Johnson's a little bit underrated. His three-point shot's not the best it could be, but he still has good enough badges. As long as you have an 85-plus in every category, or an A category, excuse me, you're going to be all right. Dennis Johnson's shot is not, like, perfect, but the release is still nice. They've been making some contested shots, but y'all know we're not worried about that. Man, I told you guys, I'm rusty, so I gotta get my releases right. With Kobe and Larry Bird, I haven't been terrible, but with a few other players, I just can't get the releases right, so this game's a warm-up. This game's a warm-up, so you guys don't get too frustrated with me about this one game. I promise you guys we're going to play better as the stream goes on. I promise you guys we're eventually going to get the releases right. We're eventually going to start playing better defense. But for now, we're just going to, you know, we got to get warmed up. We got to get warmed up. Back-to-back -back contested shots. How good do you think Curry will be? I think he'll be good, but of course his weakness is, a, is that he's undersized. That's the big thing. I mean, there's, there's not much good in loading into a game against, like, point guard Kevin Durant or point guard Jonathan Isaac if you have Steph Curry. If you enjoy playing the offline stuff, if you can't drop millions of VC on new Opals, millions of MT, then this Curry's a very good player for you to pick up. Offensively, he's going to be phenomenal, of course, but defensively, he has all the badges, but I don't know if he's going to be clamping up like that. He could still be abused in the post because he doesn't have Hall of Fame post-move lockdowns, so he might get bullied a bit in the paint, even though he has like a 97 block, 99 steal. The stats on defense are really good. The stats on defense are really good, but I don't know if he's going to lock up like that because he doesn't have much length. But, hey, for everybody who comes in here and asks me if Steph Curry's worth it, I'm going to give them the answer. We'll get him, we'll test him out, we'll stream some gameplay with him, 
And for everybody who comes in and asks me if Steph Curry's worth it, I'll be able to give them a yes or no answer. So, hey, I gotta come through for the people. Speaking of the people, though, we have 34 people watching right now, man. And we're at 24 likes. You guys make sure to drop a like on the stream. Whoever is lucky number 25, I'm gonna give you a shout out. Then again, I pretty much shout everybody out who talks in the chat. Either way, this stream's off to a really good start. Hope you guys have been enjoying the gameplay so far. And if you guys are grinding the game, I really hope you guys have been... Hope you guys have been grinding too. You guys are probably making better progress than I am. Because I did start these a little bit late. I think these came out at what? 10 p... 10 a.m.? And I started playing them at about 11, so... Yeah. I started playing these a little bit later than they actually came out. Look at that ball movement, though. It doesn't get much better than that. Rass says I was number 25. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, Rass. Trey says I got back into my team again. That's what I'm talking about. My team, the collector aspect of it is a lot of fun. I really enjoy the collector aspect of it, man. I really do. But it's just gotten so... It's gotten weird as the year has gone on, man. When they started adding big point guards in the game, when they started adding the glitch players, that's when I wasn't into it as much, but then they started releasing these spotlight sims. And it was actually some really good content to grind. The rewards were pretty good, like the diamond cam reddish and everything. The rewards were solid. And then they released the historic spotlight sim with even better rewards. So that was really good. And then, the playoff spotlight sim, for real. Um, Lebo, which one should I grind for first, Steph or Larry? I feel like Larry's the better player. He's a more versatile defender. And on offense, man, he's probably... I feel like Larry Bird's the better player and the easier grind. I feel like grinding for Larry Bird's a lot easier, even though it's 50 games. Just because every game's pretty much the same. You play versus some really bad teams, like in the 70s, for example. Every team's pretty bad. And I feel like the bird grind, even though it's more games, the games you play are easier. Like, none of the games are on Hall of Fame difficulty, and 10 of the games for this are on Hall of Fame difficulty. So that's a decision you have to make. What's up, Joseph Ramsey? Welcome to the stream. The Nets don't have VC. That's tough. <sighs> so game one is almost in the books. For anybody wondering, I've gotten this question a few times. You have to play 30 games total. You have to win 30 games. It's not that crazy. It's not that much of a struggle or anything. But it's still pretty time consuming. It still takes time. You still got to put a lot of work, put, put a lot of effort into it. Unless you're on Xbox and you do the glitch. I know a lot of you guys enjoy doing the glitch. It's easy. E what's it called? I was going to say easy buckets, but it's not even easy buckets. It's just easy, you know, time going by. Is the Nets playbook useful for these challenges? Uh, yes it is, Lebo. It's definitely useful, but that one play is so cheesy. And I don't want you guys to be sitting there watching me do the exact same play every time. So I'm not going to be using that play or the Nets playbook. But you guys can. You guys certainly can. Nico says, Doc, you the GOAT. I appreciate it, Nico. I appreciate it for real. I try my best to give you guys some nice content. So I appreciate it for real, Nico. Uh, shot clock's running down. This was a really bad possession. That was a terrible possession. Oh, man. Whenever you take a decent lead, these games can get a little bit boring, but thankfully, two of the games in each little set of challenges are on Hall of Fame difficulty. So, these games should be a lot more interesting than the finals spotlight sim games. Carmelo should have a dynamic duo, and it should be Cole Anthony. Uh, they have absolutely no connection. They have absolutely no connection, so I don't agree with that. If Melo has a dynamic duo, it should be with somebody like Amari Stoudemire, somebody like, C like CP3 or D-Wade, maybe even LeBron. 
Even though LeBron's probably going to be with someone like D. Wade, Kyrie Irving. A duo for Melo. Man, low-key it should be Chauncey Phillips or AI. Amari Stoudemire, somebody like that. Somebody you actually played with. Or somebody who went to Syracuse. I gotta say, they have absolutely no connection. Other than the same last name. I gotta say, they do have the same last name. But aside from that, yeah, nothing in common. We've been making a lot of whites today, man. We've been making a lot of whites. I'm not gonna lie. With the meter off, I've gotten a lot of these releases wrong. So, as the stream goes on, we're gonna get a little bit better. We're gonna start greening a few more shots. I can't promise I'm gonna hit every shot, but I'm gonna try my best. Justin says, just won a Hall of Fame game by 40. The Lakers game is gonna be tough for sure. The Heat game could be a little bit tough. We'll have to see. We're gonna have to see. I mean, if I don't get these jump shots right, every single game is gonna be tough. Every single game is gonna be tough if I can't get these jump shots right, so. I gotta make sure I get these jump shots eventually. They've been making some contested garbage, though. Either way, we're still up 20. And this isn't this has not been the best game. I've played kind of bad in this game. I know we're up 20, but yeah, we gotta get our jump shots right because I've been timing these releases horribly. You guys have been witnesses. I've been timing these terribly. Thankfully, though, it's on all-star difficulty versus the Hornets, so... Yeah, the first game of every single challenge is pretty easy. Uh, Big Tuna says, how long does this take? Approximately 15 hours. So you're playing 30 total games with 5-minute quarters. So, assuming one game takes like 25 to 30 minutes, and like throw that's adding in like timeouts, time between quarters, halftime... At the end of the game, if it's close, you're going to foul and shoot free throws. After games, you're going to like switch between challenges, change your lineups. So, yeah. It's going to take about 25 to 30 minutes per game. Which means, let's say if you do two games per hour. Yeah, just 30 games will be 15 hours. So, I think that's a decent pace. Uh, 13 Roly, Dennis Johnson is six foot four. I'm pretty sure. He's pretty good. He's very underrated in my opinion. He's very good defensively. If you don't have an Opal point guard, you should definitely pick him up. He's not the best on offense, but defensively he's pretty beastly. He's pretty great on defense. And he's really quick. So if you like zigzagging back and forth, that is something you can do with Dennis Johnson. I don't really play like that, but I'm just saying. He definitely has the capability. So yeah, the game's almost over. We're going to go ahead and dribble out the clock. We're just going to hold the ball, pass it around a little bit. And that should be game one in the books. It didn't take very long. It really didn't take very long. We didn't shoot the best. We didn't play the best defense, but we'll take the win. Let me go ahead and just jack it up right here with arenas. Like I told you guys, I'm just trying to hold the ball. When it gets to the end of the game, I'm just trying to run out the clock as much as I can. So... If we get the ball back and the shot clock's turned off, yeah, we're just going to hold it till the last second and throw it up. So there we go. Game one in the books, pretty much officially. They shouldn't come back from this. So yeah, game one in the books. Man, they just put in Muggsy Bogues to guard Kobe. Going to knock one down in his face. Okay, never mind. I guess Muggsy's a lockdown defender. Either way, there's one game down. 29 games to go. It's cool that it's only 30 games, and each game is 5 minute quarters, so... Yeah, it, this should be pretty quick. If you wanted to, you could get this Steph Curry in less than a day. So yeah, there we go. Game one down. What's up, Tony? Welcome to the stream, bro. Hope you're doing alright today. I told you I was planning on streaming Park today, but probably not. When I saw these challenges come out, I had no choice. I had to go ahead and hop right on these. Y'all know I love streaming the Spotlight Sims, so 
how to do these. Trey said, I thought it's only 25 games. Oh, no. It's five games versus the six divisions. Five games for each division. Yeah. There are six divisions, so 30 games total. One game down, 29 to go. 13 really says, by the way, Doc, I don't know if you remember, I got the Westbrook Jordans. Nice. I remember that. You DM me about those. Game number two. Versus the Wizards, they have four Opals in the starting lineup. And then they have that glitched Wes Unseld, which is pretty much an Opal. Pretty much an Opal. What's up, Clout God Felix? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing alright today. I'm still waiting on that return video, man. I'm still waiting on your first video back. I need it. Okay, let's do this. We won our first game. But it wasn't a very impressive win. We won by like, what, 20, 21? Let's do better this game. Let's do a little bit better this time around. Uh, favorite NBA player is Mello, Patch. Favorite NBA player is Mello. About to say, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys in the chat know I'm a Knicks fan, so that's why. Let's play a little bit better this game, man. Last game we didn't play all that well. Let's play better this time around. Let's play a little bit better this time around. Still not getting my jump shots right. Gotta get those jump shots right, man. Or else I'm gonna take an L today. Y'all know I don't take L's on here, but if I'm missing my jump shots, I might just take one. You never know. What's up, EGR? Welcome to the stream, man. It's nice seeing all my mods in here today, for real. I hope you're doing all right. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Staying safe. Thank you for telling me about these all-time sims. About to say, the second I woke up, I saw your DM about these all-time sims. And right the second I saw that, I made my thumbnail. I, what's it called? I scheduled the stream, and I knew I had to stream this stuff. Four to two lead. And even though this was, well, yeah, excuse me, excuse me. That was terrible talking. Even though this, what was I about to say? I can't even remember. The West Unsell is good, but I should be able to get some cheesy steals. That's what I was going to say. That was some terrible talking. The stream just started, so I got to get my talking warmed up, you know? I apologize. You guys had to hear that, though. Michael says, just run quick through STS. That's not going to be fun to watch, though. That's not going to be very very fun to watch, though, is it? About to say, I think you guys would rather watch some close, intense games than watch me run the same play over and over. I don't think that's very fun to watch. I don't really think it takes much skill, either. Oh, I meant to hop step. Yeah, I don't think that takes much skill. I don't think that would be very fun to watch, so we're going to try to play the game the right way. What's up, Jim Gagnon? Welcome to the stream. Hey, we're one like away from 30 in the first 30 minutes of the stream. Thank you guys for showing love on the stream, for real. This has been a big stream so far. We got 34 viewers in here. If any of you guys are new, make sure to drop a sub if you enjoy the content. If you aren't enjoying the content, that's fair. I can't really be mad at you about that. Nico says, do you think Derek Coleman will be good? I haven't seen any of the players' badges except for Steph Curry, so I really don't know. I seriously have no idea, like, which one of those Opals are going to be good. I want to say Tony Allen would be good if they gave him quick draw. Because he'll be able to defend. He's tall. He can play multiple positions, but, like, or guard multiple positions, excuse me. But, like, the thing is, I remember with his New Year's card, like, even though, like, even if you evolved him, the jump shot was still just so slow. Even though it went in more when he was open, it was so bad. He's probably not going to be able to dribble. So, no! As I was saying, I feel like the Tony Allen could be good, but I'm not sure. I think the Derek Coleman could be. I'm going to have to see the players' badges, though. I'm going to have to see their signature styles. I'm pretty sure EGR's already posted them. He's in the stream right now. And he runs the biggest My Team page on YouTube. On, on Instagram, excuse me. 
So he's probably already done that. Back in 2016, the Knicks wanted KD. I think you're talking about 2019, but they probably wanted him that year too. I mean, to be fair, everybody wanted KD in 2016, but the Knicks were definitely not a top contender for that. I remember that. The top contenders were the Heat, the Celtics. I remember the Spurs were in there too. The Thunder, of course, were like supposed to keep him and the Warriors. I don't remember the Knicks being in that mix. He said he wanted to sign with a contender. And the Knicks, of course, were not a contender. So, there's that. About to say, I remember, I know my Knicks history a little bit, so whenever you say something like that, I'll, I'll usually remember it. I'm not like an NBA pro or anything, but I remember my Knicks stuff a little bit. Good shot, Larry. What's up, John Acosta? Welcome to the stream. So we're not playing very well in this game, but I will say we are timing our jump shots a little bit better, and we have been pretty good on defense. At the very least, we've been good on defense, and like I always say during park streams, like when I'm playing versus you guys and my team, stuff like that, no matter what, if you just play defense, you're going to be alright. What's up, Carson Merritt? Welcome to the stream. You said high exclamation point. So you really put some emphasis on that high. Hope you're doing all right, man. Hope you're ready for a big stream. It's already off to a really good start. You guys have been awesome so far. Let's get one more dunk to end the quarter. Pretty good quarter, but we got to shoot a little bit better in the second. My thoughts are that the Warriors get LaMelo, trade him for an expensive point guard, and trade him with Wiggins for Giannis. Interest. I mean... I think LaMelo is a good fit for the Warriors too. He's a big guard who I think can be complimented by having shooters around him. So, hey, we're going to have a seat. We're going to have a seat. I don't know what the best fit for Melo is, man. A lot of people want the Knicks to draft Melo, but the Knicks are horrible at developing young players, man. Other than Mitchell Robinson, and I know RJ Barrett's good, and he's had an up and down rookie year. But if they surrounded R.J. Barrett with shooters, he would be looking so much better. But instead, they surround him with Taj Gibson, Julius Randle, Alfred Payton. If they surrounded him with good shooters, I think that R.J. Barrett and the Knicks would be a lot better. And that's coming from a Knicks fan. I watch pretty much every single Knicks game. They had some up and downs this year, man. Mostly downs, though. Mostly downs. They actually beat some good teams. And they swept the Mavericks. I don't know how they were able to hang with teams like that. But then they'll go to Atlanta and lose to the Hawks by 30. It's interesting. It's interesting. Not a big Julius Randle fan. He's the human Beyblade. Uh, Quinn, this is game two of the Southeast Division. Game number two of the Southeast. Got a little mismatch. Let me take advantage of that. Who do you think's winning Rookie of the Year? Now, this has been a debate that ESPN brought up back in March. I think the Rookie of the Year is definitely Ja Morant, but I think Zion's the better player than Ja Morant. With that being said, Ja Morant definitely has superstar potential, but, like, it's no question Zion's the better player. But, I mean, he only played, what, 19 games? So I don't know if you should give him Rookie of the Year when he's going to end up playing, what, 27 games total so I think rookie of the year's job because Zion sat out for too long but hey man if the Pelicans end up in the playoffs and everything I mean it would be hard not to say that Zion should be rookie of the year but in my opinion it's pretty clear cut I think the rookie of the year is definitely John Morant even though Zion's the better player but with that being said with what John Morant's done this year he has potential to be one of the top 10 players in the league one day definitely a top two or three point guard we're gonna have to see he's talented he's definitely rookie of the year but I think that Zion's a better player even though he's not gonna win rookie of the year Quinn said were you gonna do 4v4 yes I was gonna do 4v4 at like 130 but instead I did spotlight sims at 11 so yes if all-time spotlight sim didn't come out I would have streamed four on four 
That is true. Charlotte shooting their first free throw of the contest. It's crazy how things can change so fast, man. Plans can change fast. Yesterday, I made some thumbnails for a possible 4-on-4 four -four stream, and I'd say they were really good thumbnails. Very good thumbnails, but like, then this came out, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to grind the game, talk to you guys, maybe even gain some new subs. If any of you guys watching the stream right now aren't subbed and you're enjoying the content, make sure to sub if you haven't already. My goal is to hit 2.65 thousand by the end of the stream. That would be pretty great. I don't know how many we have right now, but I think that's a good goal. So in the first quarter, this game was close. Not sure if you guys remember. We got off to a pretty rocky start, but next thing you know, we're in the lead 37. <laughs> Look at that BS. But yeah, these games are pretty easy if you can just lock in and grind them out. For me, I enjoy talking to you guys during the streams. About to say, it's good having company. If I was just sitting here in silence, that'd be pretty tragic. What's up, Josh Berge? Welcome to the stream, bro. Giannis said, I think that if he doesn't win with the Bucks, he's moving. I, I, yeah, I understand that, but he is in a very good situation with the Bucks. And the Bucks, can, uh, excuse me, the Bucks can offer him more money than every single team. But it would be tough for Giannis to be like, oh, why stay in Milwaukee when I can go play for the Warriors? Giannis on the Warriors would be, that would be a cheat code, but keep in mind, they would be losing a lot of players. They would have to trade a lot of players away if they want to get um, Giannis. They're definitely going to have to lose Draymond. The Bucks said that they want Klay Thompson in any trade for Giannis. And yeah, the Warriors, they're going to lose a lot of pieces in that trade. They're probably going to have to trade Andrew Wiggins. And maybe they're going to have to trade their draft pick. I don't think he's going to go to the Warriors, but... So many people have been talking about it that I had to bring it up. Quinn says, you hit 2.65. Justin also said that. It's pretty awesome. So maybe my new goal is going to be 2.66 by the end of the stream. I'm just trying to grow the channel every single day, man. I'm just trying to have fun playing the game, talking to you guys. Growing my YouTube channel, man. I'm a college student, just trying to have fun with this. What's up, Embiid? Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, you were in here yesterday, so it's nice seeing you back in here for real. Welcome back. Patch says the Clippers are winning the championship. I don't know if I agree with that. But then again, the Lakers losing Avery Bradley? I think that's a bigger loss than a lot of people think. At the same time, though, the Lakers, Dwight Howard's still playing, so that's a big deal for sure. That's definitely a big deal. And the Clippers, I think they signed Joakim Noah for the rest of the year, but outside of that, the Clippers didn't really make any roster moves. The Lakers picked up J.R. Smith. Dwight Howard said he's officially playing. I think the Lakers still have a really good shot at it, even though Avery Bradley was a super important perimeter defender for them, man. So here's the thing about the Lakers. The Lakers never figured out their closing lineup this entire year. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but they didn't have a consistent closing lineup they would usually put Anthony Davis at the center they would have LeBron in there they would have Avery Bradley in there sometimes they put KCP in there and he actually hit a lot of clutch shots this year they put Avery Bradley in there sometimes of course Danny Green would be in there usually every now and then there would be Alex Caruso in there Dwight Howard Rondo the Lakers threw out a bunch of different lineups so we're gonna have to see like what they actually do close the season because the only players who wouldn't be in that closing lineup were pretty much like JaVale McGee and yeah JaVale McGee so we're gonna have to see what their closing lineup ends up being and losing Avery Bradley they're losing a big component of that closing lineup because he would like guard your other teams point guard or shooting guard he could guard wing players too he would pick them up full court and play some good defense yeah, it's been tough. And here's outside. JD says Kuzma's been a disappointment this year. 
Yeah, Kuzma has been kind of disappointing, but I feel like if there's anybody who can pick it up in the playoffs and be a good scorer, good spot-up shooter, everything that he needs to be, I feel like it could be Kyle Kuzma. And you would think that for the past, what, three, four months, he's had a lot of time to work on a standstill jump shot. So we'll see if he gets it back. I believe in Kyle Kuzma. I'm a fan of him. But he was pretty bad this year. He was pretty bad this year. You're right about that. What's up, Merritt? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Carson, I'm the orange team. I think you meant to say, which team are you? If you mean which team at you, like which team are you at? This is the second team of the Southeast Division. Or second game, should I, I should probably say. What's up, Caleb Rourke? Welcome to the stream. We are up to 40 viewers for the first time today. That's really big, man. I appreciate every single one of you who's shown up to the stream. It would be awesome if you guys dropped a like, and feel free to hang around, see if you enjoy the content, and maybe even subscribe. I know I'm not the only person in the chat right now grinding for this Stephen Curry. These challenges are going to be fun, man. They're going to be fun to grind out. It's going to be nice to talk to you guys along the way. So, yeah. That's what we're doing today. I don't think Kuzma's a bust. I think, I mean, Kuzma was drafted, what, like 28th? I don't think you can be a bust if you were drafted that late. I know we had a really good rookie year, and he averaged like 20 points last year, but I don't think Kuzma's really a bust. Just my opinion, though. I don't think you can call Kuzma a bust. He's had one bad year. There are a lot of players who had one bad year. Ray Allen had a pretty bad year in 2010. Or 20, it was 2010. That's why he was so low rated in 2K11. Everyone has a bad year every now and then. But I will say this. This is a controversial statement. You guys might not believe this. And you guys might not like this either. But there's a lot more evidence that Kyle Kuzma is like not a good shooter than he's like actually a good shooter. Because in his rookie year, he was really good shooting. But for the last two years, he's shot really bad from three. So, and he was a very bad shooter in college too. So there's an argument you can make that Kuzma's actually not that great of a shooter, but considering he has great form, considering that he has like a high volume of three-point attempts, considering like the degree of difficulty of shots he can make, I want to say he's still a good shooter, even though his percentages in the NBA haven't been that great. You know what I mean? I want to say he's a good shooter, but you can make an argument that he's actually not that good of a shooter. Just saying. Packer said Kuzma can't be a bust. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Also, I got to give a shout out to Jim Gagnon. He said you made the best thumbnail for this stream. And that's something I was actually really happy about. I think that the thumbnail for this stream is fire. Like, I think that's a super crisp thumbnail. I think that's one of the best thumbnails I've ever made. The Opal Steph Curry goes perfectly with the Curry at the free throw line. It was just, it's just a nice thumbnail, man. Making thumbnails, it's a good skill to have, man. Isn't you? It may not sound super tough, but it's a good thing to be able to do. It's a good thing to be able to make a thumbnail on command. So I appreciate it, Jim. I also think the thumbnail is very good. Caleb agrees. Caleb Rourke agrees, and I appreciate it. I like this thumbnail a lot. I don't know if I'll be able to top it. I'm going to try, but man. That Stephen Curry card art is really good. And that picture is pretty good, too. That picture of him at the free throw line is pretty good. Wild Beast says, finally, a Curry that can dunk really good. It's about time, right? It's about freaking time. He can dunk, he can defend. He can pretty much do everything, but the thing that might turn some people off is that he's a little bit undersized. He's a little bit undersized. Six foot three. And considering there are point guards who are like six foot eight and up, like, some people might not want the Steph Curry. But I'm doing this for content. I'm doing this to find out if he's worth the grind. And even if he's not, that is still, what, seven new Opals? Plus Steph Curry? And a lot of new subs, maybe? We'll see. It would be nice if we can gain a lot of subs today, but... Even if we don't, my goal is just to give you guys good content. 
My goal is just to give you guys some fire content and introduce some new people to my channel. So that's the goal for today. Packer said that's a sexy thumbnail. I appreciate it. Who do you think would win in a 3v3? Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman, or LeBron, Kobe, and Luka all in their prime? That's tough. That's a tough one. Um, Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman. I gotta... You gotta look at both ways. Because Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman, that is three guys who are lockdown defenders. Kobe's a great defender. LeBron's a great defender. But Luke is a little bit of a defensive liability. He's big. But, I mean, so is every single player in that Bulls lineup you just named. So, personally, I gotta go with Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman. Actually, I don't know. Because you might be able to hide Luke on defense on Dennis Rodman. Because Dennis Rodman's a bit of an offensive liability. That's a very good question you just asked. But my thing is that I still probably gotta take them. Because, I mean, this is 3v3. So you can't really, like, double team in 3v3. You could, but, like, that puts a lot of pressure on the third dude. So you can't really help off a Rodman, right? You can, but, like... What am I trying to say here? I know he's an offensive liability, but I simply think that Luke is a bit of a defensive liability. So I'd probably have to take Jordan, but it would be a good game, for sure. Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman will win. The other team wouldn't be able to grab a board. I think they'd be able to grab a board, but... I think Luka is a bit of a defensive liability. Now, Luka, in his prime, he may become some lockdown defender, but he does so much on offense that he might not want to waste his energy too much on defense. You know what I'm saying? So, maybe he's not going to be a... Maybe he's not ever going to be a top-tier defender, but he's far from terrible. He's far from being, like, an absolute garbage defender. Hello? Sorry I haven't been coming to streams. I've had family problems. It's all good. It's all good, Fat Fairland. I haven't seen you in a while. But I'm glad you're back today. This has been a really good stream so far. It's nice seeing you in here, too. Kappa says that Heat guy's the best. Are you talking about Steve Smith? He actually played for the Hawks, too. I was thinking about getting a Steve Smith Hawks jersey in real life. I was about to say, I had to, I had to clarify real life. Every now and then I'll be like, I'm going to get a jersey. And people will say, in the park? But yeah, a lot of you guys know I'm a bit of a jersey collector. You guys know I'm a little bit of a jersey collector. There are some teams whose jersey I don't have yet, but eventually, eventually, I'm going to make that pick up. My dog's crying, and I said, don't worry, Doc is here. Uh, my question is, is your dog still crying? About to say, I wonder if saying that the doc is here actually worked. I wonder if that worked. Sounds like a decent strat, but I I'm wondering if it worked. I'm wondering how effective that strategy was. I feel like my stuff is nice to watch. I think it's nice and relaxing to listen to, but I'm wondering if that strategy actually worked. Me and my cousin always have a massive debate for three on three. He's always saying Luca's team would win because he's a diehard LeBron fan. Interesting, interesting. That's a tough one. That three on three you brought up is a really tough one because I just feel like the Bulls or Dennis Rodman and Michael Jordan and them, I think they'd win that matchup just because Luke is a bit of a defensive liability. Just because he's a liability on D. Chris Maine, my most prized jersey. I don't know if I have a most prized one. I do have favorites, though. I do have favorites. And I do have some I never wear just because I feel like they're kind of prized. I have an autographed Dominique Wilkins jersey that actually is per not really personalized. He put my name on it, though, so that's pretty cool. I used to make videos for him, so that's how I got the jersey. It's pretty dope. I could show it to you guys sometime. I actually made a video about it on my channel a long time ago. But it's pretty awesome. I also have an autographed Al Horford jersey. Other than that, though, like, I do have some really good players' jerseys. 
And I just had to put the autograph ones first, you know? You guys are probably like, ugh, Al Horford, ugh. Or, ugh, Dominique Wilkins, so quick. Nah, I just had to let you guys know the autograph ones. The other ones aren't autographed. Well, actually, I do have a J.R. Smith autographed jersey, too. But you guys probably think that's kind of a meme. I actually got to meet him in 2018. Before the before game four of the finals. The Cavs got destroyed in that game. It was sad because I was really hoping they could win the series in seven. We all knew that wasn't going to happen, though. LG says, I think Trey Young's the worst defender. I think he's the second worst defender. Second worst defender. See, the reason why there's so much attention on how bad Trey Young is at defense is because he scores so many points and gets so many assists. He puts up so many stats. His stat line's amazing. So people love to criticize his defense. And it is really bad. His defense is very bad. But there is one worst defender in the NBA, and his name is Darius Garland. I like the Cavaliers too a little bit. But Darius Garland's the worst defender in the league. One of my subscribers and moderators, his name is Huday Alday. He's a Cavaliers fan, and me saying that might make him a little bit mad, but Darius Garland's the worst defender in the league. Packer says Isaiah Thomas is a bad defender. Yeah, but back when he was on the Celtics, like, Brad Stevens was able to hide him on defense and stuff. Yeah, he's not a great defender, and if you're not tall, of course you're not going to be a great defender in the NBA. I mean, the average height of a player is like, what, six foot six? So, yeah. The short guys are going to be bad defenders, but as long as you at least exert energy on defense, you're going to be all right. Like, for example, Kyle Lowry's what? Six foot one? Great defender. One of the best PGs in the league. How do you feel about the players' club codes? I actually haven't used a single one. I have not put in a single players' club code. Should I be... That's kind of a bad thing, right? About to say, it's pretty much a free player every single time, but I haven't used a single code. I really haven't been keeping up with the game. I hate to say it, because I used to play it all the time. Justin said, nice win, Doc. I appreciate you, Justin. Uh, fall 6, zero lineup restrictions. Absolutely no lineup restrictions. But yeah, worst defender in the league, Darius Garland. That was a good win. And now we're playing versus the Hawks. This is a really good team. This is a really good defensive team, except for Trey Young. Everyone else is just fine. What's up, Dev Brazy? Welcome to the stream, bro. Hope you're doing all right, man. Hang around in the chat and make sure to drop a like for me. We're almost at 50 likes in less than an hour. What's up, Breslin? Hope you're doing all right, bro. Game number three of the stream in Atlanta versus the Hawks. No Limit J, there are no restrictions. No lineup restrictions. Just go out with your best lineup, win every game, and you're going to get that Steph Curry. With that being said, though, these teams are really good. These teams are really good. Um, so far, these teams have not been very hard, but you are going to have to play some tough games. You're going to have to play the Lakers on Hall of Fame difficulty. You're going to have to play versus the Heat on all-time difficulty. So there are definitely some tough games in here, but... There are also some easy games like the Charlotte Hornets, the Washington Wizards, the Hawks. Notice how every team I just named was in is in one division. But yeah, there are some good teams, but there are a few crappy teams too that you don't have to worry much about. Here since 2.64K. So you're a new sub, but no matter if you're a new sub or an old sub, I appreciate every single one of you, man. If you've been here since 2.64, you're not an OG yet. But in, the, in, a, in a little while you will be if I keep on gaining subs. My goal is to hit 2.66 by the end of the stream. Someone earlier said we hit 2.65. That was my original goal. I'm glad that we already accomplished that goal. I'm very happy about that. Alright, Nico. I'll see you later. 
No Limit J says I have the Opalary Bird. The Opalary Bird's really good. He was 100% worth the grind, but I think this grind's going to be a lot easier. I had to do the corner cheese right there. Don't get mad at me. Let's try and hit 2.69k this week. That would be huge. Hitting the majestic 2.69 thousand subs. Now that would be truly amazing. 2.69. That would be an amazing milestone right there. LG says, where do you think Tony Allen is a top 10 defender? So, wait, what do you mean? About to say, he said, where do I think he's a top 10 defender? But I think I know what you mean. I think you're just trying to ask me the simple question. Is he a top 10 defender? So, it's tough. I haven't used him yet. We're going to have to find out. We're going to have to see. We're in the lead 11-0, though, versus the Hawks on Superstar Difficulty, so we're off to a good start. Revisiting your question, though, that's tough. Tony Allen may be a good defender, but he might be a huge liability on offense, so we're going to have to see what his value really is after we get him. Great defense, man. Look at me swatting these shots. Look at me swatting these balls. What's up, Christian? Welcome to the stream. It's nice seeing so many familiar faces in here, man. It's nice seeing all these people saying, Hey, Doc, how are you doing? Been here since 2.3K. But then you see these guys saying, Hi, babe, and hey, daddy. Like, come on, man. I'm a single 20-year-old dude. I'm not trying to have a kid just yet. So don't call me daddy just yet. Please. I say please. I'm trying to be nice here. Then again, I can't really be mean. Because I'm pretty sure you guys weren't trying to be mean. So I can't say that I'm being mean either. Oh, they're double teaming? Come on, man. Still timing my releases a little bit wrong, but... We're getting a few greens, too. Packer said, Doc, I think he's talking about in real life. Should have realized that earlier. Should have realized that a little bit earlier. That's tough. JD said, Jabari, stop, weirdo. I mean, to be fair, he did say one thing, and I did notice him, so if that was your goal, I got you. But yeah, try to stay away from saying stuff like that. It catches me off guard when I read the chat and see that stuff. When I look at the chat and see that stuff, it catches me a little bit off guard. I'll look at the chat and I'll try to answer someone's questions or, like, look and see if someone has something to say, some news update or anything, like... Yesterday, people were coming in the chat and talking about Patrick Mahomes. But then I'll see something like, Daddy Doc, and I'll be like, that's kind of weird. So, let's try and stay away from that stuff a little bit. KD, LeBron, and Zion. Giannis, Jordan, and like. I think you didn't finish that sentence. Hey man, we're back up to 40 viewers. Hope everyone's having a great day. You guys, come in, hang around, see if you enjoy the content, and maybe even subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Earlier, we had 40 viewers, too. It's nice getting so many viewers in here today, man. It's been a fun stream so far, and it's going to get even better. Lenny Wilkins cannot guard arenas. Sheesh! Okay, so you said KD, LeBron, and Zion versus Giannis, Jordan, and Luka. That's tough. That's tough. So, this is a different discussion. Earlier, someone said Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman versus Luka, LeBron, and Kobe. And in that matchup, Luka's a defensive liability, but Rodman's an offensive liability. In this matchup, you're talking about fall six. There really is no offensive liability. Man, I don't know. I think KD... Even if he's being guarded by Giannis, man, I don't know. I think KD is going to get loose in that matchup. Giannis plays good defense on Durant, but nobody, like, can truly lock him down. Nobody can truly lock down KD. So, I got to go with KD's team, but yeah, I don't know, man. KD, LeBron, and Zion, I think that's easily the better team in that matchup. Luke is good, of course. Giannis is great. 
I gotta go with LeBron and KD though. Putting those guys on the same team, that's pretty crazy. I was about to say, that'd be, tar that'd be hard to stop. It's crazy that in that matchup, Zion would be the interior presence, and he's by far the shortest player. LeBron's what, 6'9"? KD's apparently listed at 6'9", but we all know he's about 7 feet, so yeah. Having Zion as your shortest player is interesting. He may be a little bit of a speed and a size mismatch, especially if he has to guard somebody like Giannis, but I gotta go KD's team. Dev Brazy says, who's better? Ben Simmons or Donovan Mitchell? I gotta go Ben Simmons. And you guys might not agree, but I gotta go Ben Simmons. I mean, he's easily the most versatile defensive player in the league. This, this season, at least. Probably the best defender in the league. You can make an argument for Anthony Davis. You can make an argument for Giannis, but Ben Simmons, even though he doesn't shoot the ball, I mean, he put up some amazing stats. He played amazing defense for the Sixers this year. And... Even without a jump shot, he puts up what? Like 18 plus per night, 6, 7 assists, gets a lot of rebounds. He can block shots, get steals. I know Donovan's a beast on offense, but if I want the complete package of a player, a player to surround with other guys who's not going to be a defensive liability, I, I gotta go Ben Simmons for sure. I gotta go Ben Simmons. Hey, Delirium Ghost agrees with me. Appreciated, Delirium. I think Ben Simmons is definitely, definitely the better player, but Donovan's not bad either. I think he was an all-star this year, so he definitely deserved that. Flight said Giannis was 16 foot 8. He said he was 14 feet last week. And a couple weeks before that, he said 7 feet, 7'1", 7'2", 7'3", 7'4", 7'5". But then he didn't say 7'6". He said 7'5 and a half, so... That didn't make much sense to me, but, I mean, who says it has to make sense? Packer the Player says, Ben Simmons, 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 Simmons. Hey, man. That's the reason why I loved watching Sixers games this past season, man. That PA announcer, whenever Ben Simmons dunks or makes a layup, that's really all he does since he doesn't shoot. Ben Simmons, Simmons. It was just great. It's stuck in my head now. I want to go watch some Sixers highlights all because of that. Y'all are making me want to watch basketball. I'm supposed to be streaming, though. I'm supposed to be streaming this game. Luka, Zion, Reddish, or Trey, Tatum, and Hero? I don't know, man. That Luka, Zion, Reddish team, it's, that's tough. Because Reddish... He's a pretty big offensive liability, even though he picked it up at the end of the year. He was a... I feel like he's still a bit of an offensive liability. But the Trey, Tatum, and Hero team, that team doesn't have an offensive liability. That's a pretty good team, but... I don't know. That's a tough one. Let me see. Luka, Zion, Reddish. I gotta go with Luka and Zion. I know that Trey's pretty unstoppable on offense, but... Do you really expect him to guard Luka or Zion? I guess you could hide Trey Young on Cam Reddish, but like, even then, that's still a pretty big height mismatch. And then you have to worry with Lu worry about Luka and Zion. I don't know. I don't know if Tatum will be able to guard Luka. We'll have to see. And I don't think Hero would be able to guard Luka either, so that team, you can argue it has two defensive liabilities. Maybe three, if you consider Jason Tatum a defensive liability. What's up, Hootay All Day? Welcome to the stream. Hey, man. We've been live for 70 minutes. We have 40 viewers. And we just hit 50 likes. Thank you so much for making this a huge stream right off the bat. You guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. And talk to me in the chat, too. Don't be shy. Feel free to talk to me in the chat about anything. About to say, talking to you guys is the reason why this isn't completely boring. What's up, Garrett Hetty? And also make sure to sub. My goal is to hit 2.66 thousand by the end of the stream. That's the game plan. Nicholas says do the glitch. I would, but I don't think that would be very fun to watch. I don't think that would be fun for you guys to watch. I think you guys would rather watch some honest gameplay than watch me just sit here for three minutes at a time. About to say, 
I know a lot of you guys are also playing the game right now, but I know there are some of you guys who are actually, like, watching me too. Like, watching my gameplay. I don't know how many of you are actually doing that, but I know that at least a few of you are doing that. So, Nicholas, I would, but I just want to... I don't want to cheat my way to these players. I want to grind it out, and I want to earn these players, you know? I feel like it's the best thing to do. Who they said? I gave up on my team, so I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I mean, you can make an argument that I gave up on my team, too. I'm just doing this because it's good content. I can talk to you guys, get some new subs today, maybe. I mean... And, not to mention, I'll get to test out the Steph Curry and see if he's really worth picking up. A lot of people are saying he's not worth it, but that's because they're looking at his height. They don't like his defensive badges. They don't like that he doesn't have post-move lockdown, that he's only 6'3". There may be some things not to like about Steph Curry, but we're not going to know how truly good he is until we test him out. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, Rass, I don't know who you pick up. I seriously don't know. I think you should ask somebody in the chat. I'm definitely not a my team professional. You gotta ask somebody else that question, not me. Dev Brazy says, do you think Cam Reddish is a bust? I don't think you can be labeled a bust after what, one season? He's, I mean, he picked things up later in the season. I know he got off to a bad start, but I think he has really good potential as a three and D guy, so. I don't think he's a bust yet, but he did have a super up and down rookie year with a lot of downs. I'm a Hawks fan though, so I'm optimistic. I'm wearing a Braves hat too, so I'm kind of an Atlanta man. What's up, Jonah EXE? Welcome to the stream. Man, it's been a good stream so far. You guys have shown up and shown out. A lot of new viewers, and I've seen a lot of, a lot of CP the Doc OGs in here too. Man, we keep on getting this mismatch with Trey Young. Every time I'm being guarded by Trey, guaranteed score. Wild Beast says Curry is going to be better than Gilbert. Man, I don't know because Gilbert's shot, I'm so used to it. I know Curry's shot's nice too. I know it's going to be fast, but I know they're the same height too, but we're going to have to see. I'm pretty sure Curry is going to be better than Gilbert for me. I'm pretty sure his shot's going to be better. I know he has the 63 Hall of Fame badges, but I'm a big fan of this Gilbert. I'm a big fan of him, so we're going to see how good that Curry is compared to Gilbert and Dennis Johnson. Defensively, he should be good, but you never know. Rass says, I'm an OG. Been here since 1.5K. The crazy thing is that 1.5K was just a few months ago. The channel has grown so much since then. And I gotta thank you guys for that. I gotta give you guys some props for that. I really do appreciate every single one of you in here right now. Whether you're subscribed or not. Whether you're subbed or not. I do appreciate you. The toughest thing about YouTube is definitely just growing at the very beginning. Because if you have a small channel, your videos aren't going to be showing up in the algorithm very much. Your videos aren't going to be showing up in people's feeds your streams aren't going to be showing up in people's feeds either but once you grow a little bit of an audience that's when people start seeing your stuff in the feeds that's when you start gaining some viewers who you don't even know who they are uh b2 splash the challenges are here forever i mean they're here for the rest of the year i don't know if forever is the right word but yes these challenges are not limited time Marion says Cam Reddish will be far from a bust. I agree. I agree. Someone in, someone in the chat asked me if I think he's a bust. I completely disagree. I think he's going to be a very good 3 and D player. And like you said, he does have a complete skill set. So, Omarion, I completely agree with you. I don't know if he's going to be like a superstar player or an all-star, but I agree. I think Cam Reddish is a very good complimentary piece. Keep in mind... The Atlanta Hawks are building around Trey Young, so they got to get some guys who can play defense so he can hide on defense and knock down the three and provide offense. So, Amarian, I completely agree with you. I think he's going to be far from a bust. The biggest thing he's going to have to do is shoot those threes at a better clip, though. So we're going to have to see. 
But I agree with you. I don't think he's going to be a bust. NBA teams play games in Chicago and Orlando. Empty arenas. Thank you for the information, Glenn. I appreciate it. I already knew that, but I still appreciate it, for sure. Smith outside. Pettit grabs the board. Do you like Kareem? He's my favorite player. If you're talking about in 2K, I've actually had the chance to use the GOAT Kareem. My friend Switzo has him on his account, so that GOAT Kareem is good. And the best thing about Kareem is that his shot is super quick. Most big men have a super slow jump shot, but like, man, that Kareem, he gets high off the ground, he shoots it quick, he has a really good handle. That's the reason why people are saying Kareem is the best card in 2K history. I don't know if he's the best card ever, but he is still damn good. That Kareem is still a beast. I've had the chance to use him. I don't have him for myself on my own account, but no, he's still really good. Really, really good. Everybody out there who says that he's not very good, either they don't know how to use him or they're lying because he's a beast. He's pretty much a seven foot PG. Wild Beast says nobody's really good in this set. I will agree with that. The Steph Curry has potential and could be really good. But, man, like, the rewards are what? Like, I'm trying to think of the guys. Tony Allen, Patrick Beverly. It's a bunch of guys who can defend. Derek Coleman. Steve Smith's pretty good offensively. We're going to have to see. None of the guys are guys who you would, like, want to put in your lineup. So, yeah. I don't know, man. I guess we'll have to test out the players when we get them, but yeah, the set rewards are looking kind of weird. We'll have to see how good they actually are, but they are looking kind of sus. Amarian says, is Anthony Edwards going number one? It depends on who has the number one pick. But then again, I think if you're number one, you're supposed to draft. You don't really draft for fit if you're a terrible team. For example, if you're the Cavaliers, if I were if I were Cleveland, I would honestly draft Mellow Ball. You already have Andre Drummond. I know you could develop James Wiseman as a nice backup big to him, but like, I mean, if you get Mellow Ball, see, here's the thing. Some people are gonna say they already have Garland, they already have Sexton, but if you're that bad of a team, you do not draft for fit. You pick the best prospect available. If you're that bad. Luke says, still no Opal Westbrook. Hey, wait on it, man. It's going to happen. We're going to get an Opal Westbrook. We're going to get an Opal Dame Lillard. Did we get an Opal Dame already? I know the other day they announced he's a cover athlete, but I don't think we have an Opal Dame yet. No Opal Dame, no Opal Westbrook. There are a lot of guys who still need Opals. The other day, Carl Malone got a new Opal. When is John Stockton going to get his new Opal card, man? How did John, I mean, how did Carl Malone get that new Opal before Stockton did? They made Carl Malone the reward. How could they do that? Nobody knows Carl Malone for basketball anymore, man. Gaming JoJo, what's up? This is game number three of the Southeast Division. But yeah, as I was saying, a lot of guys don't have Opals yet. But then again, They've given so many guys multiple opals. Steph Curry has two opals now. Shaq has two opals. LeBron has two opals. D. Wade has two opals. A lot of guys have two opals. It's weird, but I mean, I don't know, man. 2K is going to 2K. 2K is going to do their thing. And we, we can't really complain about it. Well, yeah, we can. But they're not going to change. Look at Dennis Rodman, man. Pull up three-point sniper. Joseph Ramsey says John Havlicek. Yeah, they're eventually going to give Hondo one. They're going to give John Stockton one. I think they're going to give Ben Simmons a new Opal. Because it's been a long time. That Ben Simmons Opal is a little bit out of date. CP the Doc number one fan says you should do a setup tour. I was actually thinking about that. I was thinking about doing that. It's really not a complex setup, but... It is very nice. I have the green screen behind me. I have my PC I'm looking at right now. I have my laptop I'm on the right with the chat on it. So 
it's a pretty convenient setup, and it's not really complicated. It's pretty chill, man. Smith kicks to Irving. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. How many games are you going to do today? Nico, it depends on how I'm feeling. I might do every single game. I might do only 20. No matter what, this is going to be a really, really long stream. No matter what. Unless we face some technical difficulties, I'm planning on this being a super long stream. Jonah EXE, my favorite card in the game. That's a tough one, man. But I gotta go with Kobe. I gotta go with Opal Kobe. His release is so smooth. It's so easy to green. Sometimes I won't use him much because I'll just use my PGs, come up the court, snatch back and green. But I've had some insane games with this Kobe, man. I've had some insane games with Kobe in the past. In my uh, playoff Spotlight Sim streams, I had an 100 point game with him in the, in the final game. In the final game, I had 100 with Kobe. Versus a subscriber one time, I had 62. I also had 70 versus one guy, but he wasn't very good. This Kobe can do some insane stuff. His jump shot is kind of hard at first, but I'm so used to it. He creates so much space, and he can make some tough shots. Larry Bird's pretty good too, but I think I prefer Kobe, for sure. I'm going to either do 15 a day or like 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, I don't know how many games I'm going to do today, but all I know is that I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. So, if I can keep the same energy for the entire stream, we're going to be all right. Deshaun says, why is Omar so ugly? Are you talking about Omar from House of Highlights? Are you talking about Omar from Ride Along? Who are you talking about? Hopefully you're not talking about me. Because I do think I'm pretty ugly. I just don't want to hear that from you guys, you know? I hear it all the time. Okay, not true. But, yeah. Ben Simmons versus Zach Levine. I think Ben Simmons is the better player, man. I really do. I know Zach Levine's amazing on offense. I know on offense, uh, he's able to shoot the three. He's able to get to the rim, attack pretty effectively. But he's not the playmaker that Ben Simmons is, and he's not the defender that Ben Simmons is either. He's not the finisher, even though he does have some pretty electrifying dunks. But as an overall player, I gotta take Ben Simmons over Levine. Ben Simmons is like a top five point guard in the league from this past season. And Zach Levine, I don't know if he's a top five shooting guard. Maybe he is. James Harden. Clay Thompson didn't play this year, so not him. There are a lot of guys in that discussion, but I think Ben Simmons is better. Uh, Packer the player, my favorite current player is Melo. My favorite player is going to be Melo until he retires. But I'm a huge Ben Simmons fan too. I actually met him uh, three years ago in Cleveland. He was at Game 3 of the NBA Finals in 2017. And yeah, I met him there. It was pretty cool. I have the picture on my Instagram He's a really chill dude, and he's actually liked my Instagram videos before. I'm not sure if he subscribed to me, but I have met him. He knows I exist. He knows about my channel, but he might have unsubbed. You never know. Carson says, my first Opal was Lonzo Ball. My first Opal was Serge Ibaka. Was it Serge Ibaka? I can't remember, but it was one of the guys you get from completing, uh, it wasn't Domination. It was Triple Threat, Triple Threat. My first opal was Ibaka. 15 tokens. That's not too bad. We have two games left until we get our first player. We got the all-time magic and the all-time heat. So here we go. We're playing versus Glitch McGrady. We're playing versus, what's it called? Um, Penny Hardaway. Playing versus, oh my god, Dwight Howard, Turk Lou, Jonathan Isaac. This is a really good defensive team. They can switch everything. This is going to be a good game. This is going to be a good game. O'Marion says Ben is definitely Defensive Player of the Year. Hey, Packer said it too. I agree. I think he deserves Defensive Player of the Year. Jose says there's a shy grown, uh, spider on your head. That's tough. Let me see your team. Um, Here's my starting lineup. 
I'll pause it real quick. Not pause it real quick. I'll just let it do the thing right here. There's the starting five. The bench isn't very good. But the starting five is very solid. Here we go. Game number four. Game number four. So we've been playing pretty well. We've been playing some really good defense. We've been hitting our shots too. In the very first game of the stream, I wasn't getting my releases right. It wasn't pretty, but ever since then, we've been pretty good. We've been pretty good ever since, so let's see if we can keep it up right here. We're playing versus T-Mac and Penny and Jonathan Isaac. This is going to be a tough game, but y'all know we're not really worried about it. Deshaun said best PG in the league. If we're talking about this past season, I think the best PG in the league was definitely Luka Doncic. Now, if you consider LeBron a point guard, that's okay, but... I mean, the NBA considers him a small forward, power forward, so you can call him a PG if you want to, but I'm not going to be calling him a PG. Yeah, about to say, I'll consider him a power forward slash center. Not center, excuse me. Talking about power forward slash small forward. Juan says, how many games in? Uh, this is my fourth game. This is game number four. We have finished three out of 30 games. We are 10% to Steph Curry. I know, great math, right? This is the toughest game we've had to play so far. We're playing this all-time Magic team on Superstar. But y'all know I'm not worried about it. It'd be nice if we can get a little blowout win here. We are getting a lot of open shots, so we'll take it. Celtics versus Sixers in the first round. Who wins? Okay, here's my thing, Dev. The Sixers are a team who I think, if they pull everything together on defense and hit a few of their wide open shots, I think they can actually upset somebody, but the Celtics were so good the entire year. I think they would take down the Sixers in that series. It wouldn't be an easy series like it was in 2018, but I don't know. I got to go with the Celtics in that series because they have like four guys you can go to for offense. The Sixers have, I don't know, Ben Simmons is their best player, but he's not going to stretch out the floor on offense. Embiid was a little bit inconsistent this year. Josh Richardson was reliable, but he's not really a go-to scoring option. Tobias Harris should be a go-to scoring option, but he was also inconsistent. The 76ers have their problems, but they have so much talent that I feel like everything could come together in the playoffs. You never know. I feel like things could come together, and they could actually win a series. I'm not sure. We're going to have to find out when it gets here, but, like, I think it'd be interesting. I think it would be a good series, for real. Some analysts, some professionals might think that the Sixers lose that series easily, but, like, the Sixers have a lot of talent. They have a lot of talent. It's just that Embiid and Simmons is a weird fit. A very weird fit. I don't know if it works 100%, but it almost worked last year. Like, they almost made it to the conference finals last year, so you never know. Losing Jimmy Butler was huge, and losing J.J. Redick was also huge, because they don't have anybody who's an absolute knockdown shooter. The closest guy they have to a knockdown shooter is Korkmaz, who I like, but like, I don't know. Mir does YT says, do you think Curry's going to be a defensive liability? At this point in the game, I do think he might be a little bit of a defensive liability. On the perimeter, I think he's going to be fine, but he doesn't have post-move lockdown, so I think he might be a bit of a defensive liability, especially versus taller PGs. If you're going versus Jonathan Isaac or Kevin Durant, LeBron, Giannis, I think that he might be a bit of a defensive liability. But if you surround him with good defenders, if you have guys at the other positions, so you can switch Curry on the two guard, and I don't know. I think that there's, I don't know. I think that there's a, a world in which you can kind of hide Curry on defense. But most people don't think of that. Most people just try to put the biggest players out there possible. A lot of people who play 2K online just aren't smart. About to say, they don't know about real basketball or real defense or anything. They'll just play the game, try to zigzag, glitch off screens. It's pretty annoying, but, I mean, some people just don't know basketball. 
a false six. You're a moderator for a reason. Just saying. Just saying. What's up, DeVince DeLowry? When James Ennis is hot, he can scorch opponents. I agree. About to say, when he's hot, yeah, he can. Twenty-one to six. Exclusively from the triple, four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here is Hardaway on the wing, Gordon. Why is Aaron Gordon on the all-time Magic? I guess he does have a pink diamond, so I guess that makes sense. But when you're that open, you gotta go straight to the basket. The fadeaway was clearly a bad choice. That range extender is a little bit cheesy. One shot. Let's end this quarter strong. We're finally hitting our open shots. It's about time. What's up, Justin? What's up, Coop? Uh, the games so far have been pretty easy. My worst game was definitely the first game. By far. But ever since then, we've been hitting our shots. We've played good defense. And the games have been pretty easy so far. We're playing versus the Magic on Hall of Fame difficulty. It's been good so far. We're hitting our shots. And we're playing good D. But yeah, what's up, Jax to Axe? What's up, Coop? We have a lot of people coming in here, man. Y'all make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. We're about to hit 60. We've been live for an hour and a half, and we're about to hit 60 likes. That's pretty crazy. Thank you guys for showing up big today. Justin said, when are you streaming 2K again? I haven't thought that far ahead. I mean, this stream is going to be like 10 hours long, so I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just trying to, you know, get through each game first. But yeah, you guys will know when my next 2K stream is. I'll announce it. You guys are going to see it in advance. And it's going to be good. These 2K streams have been a ton of fun lately, man. You guys have been showing up to them. You guys have been having a lot of fun talking in the chat. You guys have been supporting me a lot, too, which I really appreciate. They're helping off Embiid. That's too easy. I'm finally timing my shots correctly. It's about time. I'm finally timing my shots right. It took a little while, but I'm finally greening. It took way too long, but I finally figured out my player's releases. Packer the player says, I'm an idiot. Don't know how. Just realized I haven't dropped a like yet. Hey, Amen. Just because you haven't liked it yet doesn't mean you're an idiot. It just means you're a little bit late to the party, I guess. I don't know. I appreciate it, though. I appreciate you leaving a like. It means a lot. Are you going to open the new best of my team packs? Yes, I am. Before the stream started, I opened one pack for fun, and I got an immediate pink diamond, so that's pretty solid, I'd say. Now, it would be nice to open them and get some opals too, but, I mean, a pink diamond first try isn't that bad. I know I have an all-galaxy opal team, but, I mean, I got Joe Caldwell and he's pretty good. Liv Stack says, I'll be here in the stream, but I'm not playing 2K. I'm done with 2K. I was gonna grind, not anymore, because the game is boring. I know the game is boring. I understand that... Grinding these challenges can get really boring, but it's good content. I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy streaming it for you guys to watch. So I understand that, yeah, I understand it's boring. I don't blame you one bit for not doing it, but I finished all my homework for the week, and I have time. I have time. This is going to be a really long stream, so you guys better hang around here, especially if you enjoy the content. I don't know how many of you guys are actually watching the gameplay because I know a bunch of you guys are playing these challenges too and just listening to me talk, so I don't know how many of you guys are actually watching the gameplay, but I'd say the gameplay has been pretty solid so far. I have Opal Mello and Opal Siakam. 
Should I sell one of them, or both for Embiid? I feel like Embiid's good, but I feel like his value's gone down. I feel like you can get some better big men. Even though I like Embiid's jump shot a lot, even though I like his interior defense, I feel like there are better options on the market. Even though Embiid is a relatively new card, he's a little bit out of date. He's a little bit out of date. I do think you should sell Siakam, and if you have the old Opal Mellow, maybe you should try to get the new one because that new Mellow that can play the two looks like a beast. I kind of want to get him too because y'all know Mellow's my favorite player. Fall 6 says the challenges give me a reason to play. Me too, because before today, I hadn't played my team since my last stream. It had been a long time, so yeah, it's good that I'm back on the game. I'm glad you guys are in here enjoying the stream. It's going to be a long one, so you guys better hang around. Do you think the new Steph card is worth it? We're going to have to find out. I think that's what we're on the quest of doing right now. We're going to have to find out if he's worth it. We're going to find out if he's worth it. Whether he's worth it or not. We should get some new viewers. We should have a good stream. We should have some fun today in the stream. Jax to Axe says who disliked. I don't know, but we just got another dislike too. About to say, now we have two. Just because you're asking it so much, Carson, I'm going to go ahead and say that Melo's jab step is a 10. I mean, Melo's my favorite player, but you're being super annoying, so I'm going to go ahead and answer your question, so hopefully you don't ask it again. Mir says I have the new Mello. So who would be a good 4 or 5 to replace him? A good 4 or 5. That's a good question. I like having him beat at the power forward, but if you're able to get James Wiseman, I think that he might be the good pick. Because I've seen some gameplay with Wiseman and he's a beast. He's not the best center in the game, but he's pretty damn close. He's a pretty good center. He's money shooting it. Great on defense. Of course he has the length, he can switch on any position. Terrible possession by the way. That was a terrible offensive possession. What's up Peyton Clifton Beal? He said whoever dislikes, shame on you. I mean, I can't really complain about people who dislike. If you don't enjoy the content, I understand. If you don't like me, I understand. But if you're disliking just to dislike, that's where I'm like, really? It's not a big deal though, for real. If you don't like me, I can't really get sad about it. If I see one dislike and get my feelings hurt, that would be pretty silly of me, right? So, I can't get too mad about that stuff. Carson says I gotta go. Hey, appreciate you coming by, Carson. You have a good day, man. And I'll be live for a while, so feel free to come back. We're at halftime of game number four. About to say playing versus the Orlando Magic on Hall of Fame difficulty. These games have been, they haven't been tough. But I know that like the Heat is gonna be a tougher game. Later we have to play versus the all-time Lakers. I know that's gonna be a tough game. It's gonna be tough, but I think we're gonna be ready. I think we're gonna be ready for that. Man, we're finally hitting our shots. In our very first game, we were missing so many open shots, but Ever since then, we've been on fire. We've been hitting our shots from everywhere. Hey, Justin, I'll see you, man. I'll catch you later. But nah, for real. This is a big deal. It hasn't even been two hours. But we are only three likes away from the majestic, the magical, the mystical. 69 likes. 69, that's a big deal. I wouldn't have called it out if we weren't close to it. So, this is a big deal. This is a big deal, guys. I had to point it out. Doc, how many subs did you have when 2K20 came out? When 2K20 came out, I had like a thousand, I don't even think I had a thousand a hundred. I had over a thousand, but I didn't have a thousand a hundred yet. This year has been the biggest year in my channel's history. I think when I started the year I had like 1,100 or 1,200. It wasn't an insane amount, but like this year, with like the Minecraft streams, the Wii Sports streams, 
the spotlight sims and the park streams it has been really big for the channel man we have gained a lot of subs this year you guys have really been enjoying the content and we have a really good mix right now of like old viewers and new viewers in here right now and i really do appreciate every single one of you the channel has come a long way this year the channel has come a really long way and i think that considering how bad of a game 2k20 is if 2k21 is actually good if 2k21 is actually like popular and people enjoy like playing it and watching it more i think that 2k21 could really help the channel blow up because 2k20 is not even a good game but we have gained so many subs this year from 2k20 so you know maybe 2k21 is my year we'll have to see so mir does yt I'm definitely getting 2K21, 100%. Now, here's the thing about 2K21. Apparently, if you get 2K21 on the Xbox One, your My Team progress carries over to the Xbox Series X, but your My Career progress doesn't. So that means until the Series X comes out, I'm going to be grinding My Team. I'm not going to be playing much park. We're going to be all about My Team. And My Team's going to be fun, man. About to say, I started off as a My Team YouTuber. I'm always going to play My Team. I'm always going to play it, always going to stream it, and it's going to be awesome. Also, Justin Duggan, thank you for like number 69. I appreciate you. You guys have been smashing it today, man. We have 73 likes in less than two hours. Uh, what's up, Michael Sanchez? Welcome to the stream. Luke says, how do you feel about the PlayStation 5? As a console, the PlayStation 5 is not going to be as powerful as the Xbox, but the game selection that they showed us at the at the PS5 reveal event, oh my god, it was awesome. About to say the new Ratchet and Clank game looks pretty good. Little big, little big planet like Spider-Man, Miles Morales. The games look amazing. So the games for PS5 definitely look better, but. I don't know man, the Xbox is supposed to be the most powerful console ever. It's supposed to be like perfectly optimal for streaming and watching YouTube and stuff. I don't know man. I gotta go with the Series X if I had to pick today. But, man, I don't know. I really don't know. It's gonna come down to the wire. If I had to flip a coin, actually flip a coin's a terrible statement because that's basically 50-50 luck. I seriously have no idea. But I have the Xbox One right now, so I'm... I'm guessing I'm going to get the Series X. Rass says, I'm going to tell my friend to sub real quick. Hey, if you guys have friends who enjoy 2K, if you guys have friends who like basketball and enjoy my team and stuff like that, it would be dope if you told them to sub. You don't have to if you don't want to. If y'all just want to hang around here and continue watching and not tell anybody, I can't be mad about it because we already have a lot of viewers in here. It's been a really fun stream so far. And I don't want to make it sound like I'm forcing y'all to get me new subs. But I am trying to grow this channel every single day. My goal is to have 2.66k by the end of the stream. That's my goal. That's my goal. And we're going to see if we can reach that goal. It would be dope if we could. But if we don't, I'm not going to get mad. Odd Squad says you can grind this out in like 3 or 2 days. How about one day? What if I could sit down and do this all in one stream? That would be pretty legendary, right? Mir does YT says, Are Xbox players better than PlayStation 4? I seriously don't know. I seriously have no idea. Because Xbox players all say that Xbox is better, and PlayStation players say they're better. Now, I know there are a lot of streamers who play on PS4 who are pretty good. But there are some good Xbox players out there, too. I consider myself a pretty good Xbox 2K player. About to say, I went 12-0 a lot this year. I grinded out all of these challenges. It's been a lot of fun. I know my team's not the best, but I would say I'm a pretty solid guy for the Xbox. But I usually hear people say that PlayStation's better. But I also hear people call it Gay Station. I don't know. I don't know. I hear people say gay station. I hear people make fun of Xbox. I don't know which players' games are better, which console is better at 2K. Because I feel like there's so much bias in that. 
uh, Savage Top Shelf. I'm on game number four out of 30. I'm on game number four of the Southeast Division. Once we win this game, we are one win away from getting Steve Smith. Franklin says, Opal Curry should be cheap now. Yes, he should be. So if you have Opal Curry from Buzzer Beater, you better sell him because this new Curry's a beast. Max Hockey, you do not have to do all the challenges today. They just advertise that on the main menu. And for some reason, they put a time limit, but they are not time challenges. You can take your time and do them in however much time you want to. They're going to be here for the rest of the year. Hey, what's up, Goonies? Haven't seen you in a minute. What's good? Quinn says, I hit 2.66 thousand. That's huge. That's huge. That means that we are less than 40 subs away from 2.7. Maybe we can hit that today. I don't know. But thank you guys for 2.66. That means we've gone up by 20 in this stream alone. That is really big. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys for liking the stream. Thank you all for subscribing. Especially if you're new. If you're a new subscriber, talk to me in the chat. If you just found my channel today, I gotta give you a shout out. But yeah. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. If you guys want to watch some awesome 2K gameplay, I was going to say watch me, but I haven't played the best today. I could be better on defense, and my offense, it's been good this game, but I'll admit my shooting's been a little bit streaky. Packer said, what if we hit 2.69 today? If we can get that 6-9 in our sub count, that would be legendary. If we hit 2.69, I don't know what I'm going to do. That would be amazing. Um, Goonies, I have not gotten the mellow, but I do really want the mellow. About to say, I saw the new one. I want to pick him up, but I'll be honest, man. Today was the first time I got on my team in like three weeks. So I'm not really into my team like I was earlier in the year, but... I do enjoy playing the Spotlight Sim challenges, so that's what we're doing today. Jax says, I actually found you on Mock Builds live stream. Mock Builds is about to hit a thousand subs. I gotta give him some props. Mock Builds has been doing an amazing job growing his channel. Just like two months ago, he had less than a hundred subs, and he's definitely about to hit a thousand, so I gotta give Mock Builds some love, man. That guy is a solid YouTuber. Yeah, he doesn't play 2K, but most of my YouTubers actually don't, most of my favorite YouTubers actually aren't 2K YouTubers. Uh, Mr. T, Memify, there are no requirements. Just go out with your best team and win all 30 games. That's right, 30 games. The games go by really fast. You get an opal for each set of challenges you complete. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. If you wanted to, you could grind this out in one day. If you wanted to. Luca says, I got Larry Bird almost finished. Hey, that's big. This Larry Bird's a beast. This Larry Bird's a beast. Liv Stack says, I'll put up Mello for 500 MT. I think you're capping, but that would be amazing. That would be awesome if you did that. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Mr. T Memify says, Bet. Hey, man. You seem hyped, and I'm hyped too, man. The second I heard about these new Sims, I was immediately hyped. I knew it was going to make for some really good content. I knew it would help me get some new viewers today. And so far, it's been a really good stream. Got a lot of new viewers in here who've been enjoying the content. Got a lot of new subs in here too. These Spotlight Sim streams where I grind out content, it all they always do a good job. They always do a good job. What's up, Zayn Hassan? Welcome to the stream. And I know you guys enjoy when I talk to the chat. And playing these challenges, it's just super relaxing. I know a lot of people know 2K as a toxic game. I just enjoy chilling and playing through these and talking to you guys. Because yesterday was the first time I streamed in like three weeks. So I'm trying to catch up with my community. But I'm also trying to grow my community, so it's a nice win-win. I'm trying to expand my community, 
trying to grow it too. So it's always nice seeing new viewers in here, but it's nice talking to the OGs too. Joseph says, one of my favorite YouTubers is Markiplier. Hey man, my favorite YouTuber is Matt Stoney or The Report of the Week. My two favorite YouTubers are food content creators. One of them eats an insane amount of food. The other one reviews, re reviews food. I know it's really weird, but like, I don't know, man. My favorite content creators, they aren't 2K players. Now, with that being said, I do enjoy watching guys like Cash Nasty, Flight, Troy Dan, Jesser, DBG, HTB. I enjoy those guys. I like their content, but for some reason, watching stuff that's not 2K related, it's just so relaxing. Maybe it's because I play the game so much, but watching guys who aren't related to 2K, it's really nice. It's relaxing. It's chill. Justa says, Doc saves 2K's toxicity. And I try not to be toxic, but yesterday a lot of guys were coming into my park stream and talking a lot of trash, but none of them backed it up. None of them backed it up. About to say, I know some of you guys were in here and saw that. There were guys calling my team trash, saying I should join them, saying that they were going to end my streak. But then we would end up winning. If you talk crap, you got to back it up. That's why I don't talk trash. Because there's a chance I don't back it up. Luke says Matt Stoney can munch, man. Matt Stoney's my favorite athlete out there. But he's actually not really an athlete. He's a professional eater, so I don't know if that really counts as an athlete. Another one of my favorite athletes is Nasty the Horse. He's a professional. I'll be honest, he takes shots to the balls, like, as a profession. He also plays tag, but I became a fan of him for his nut shots. He purposely gets hit in the balls, and is great. Those are my two favorite athletes. Melo's up there, too. Guys like LeBron are up there, but Matt Stoney, he's a professional eater. You guys probably don't consider that an athlete, though. Y'all probably don't consider Nasty the Horse an athlete. I understand. I understand that. I can't be upset about it. But yeah. Splendid Sam says, okay, I'm doing Spotlight Sim using the Nets playbook. And I understand everybody who uses that Nets playbook, but I don't use it, man. I feel like... Okay, here's two things that I think you guys would find boring. If I use the Nets playbook and run the same play every single time, I think you guys would consider that boring, and I think you guys would also consider me doing the little pause glitch as boring. About to say, neither of those take skill. Josta thinks both of them are athletes. I agree with you. King Zek says... How long will the Spotlight Sims take? Um, so it is 30 games. Every game is 5 minute quarters. Approximately 15 hours. And that's assuming you win every single game. We haven't taken any L's yet. And it hasn't even been 2 hours. And we're going into our last game. So we will definitely have this first set of challenges done in less than 2.5 hours. Which means we'll have the first 2 sets done in less than 5 hours. So, this should take less than 15 hours, which is why I'm considering doing it all in one stream. And why is there Pink Diamond LeBron instead of Opal LeBron and Pink Diamond Tim Hardaway? Are you serious? They could have put LeBron at the point guard. This Heat team is not as good as I expected. Do you know who Bad Badlands Chugs is? I know who he is, but Matt Stoney, I just prefer his content. Rass says, I'm going to go play 2K. I'll still be watching, just not talking. Hey, sounds good, man. I know there are a lot of you guys right now who have the stream turned on and you're listening to me talk, but you're playing the challenges. So, hey, I feel that. Go play 2K. Go have fun with it. And if you hop on these challenges, make sure you don't take any L's. Make sure you don't take any L's for me. About to say, this is a big game right here. We're playing versus the Heat. This is probably going to be the toughest game we've played so far. But we're off to a good start. And Kobe's off to a good start too. 
Kobe knocks down the first shot of the game. And even though this is the the final game of the, what's it called, the Southeast Division, I think we're going to get a pretty easy win. Joseph Ramsey says new locker code. I have not been putting in locker codes lately, man. I got to catch up on those Players Club locker codes. What do you guys think of the Players Club? Do you guys think that's a cool little thing 2K is doing? I want to hear your opinions on that. About to say, we can have a nice little discussion here. It's cool seeing all these players getting new opals and new diamonds and everything, but it's also weird seeing guys like Isaiah Roby have diamond and pink diamond cards and Justin Wright Foreman, even though I do like him. Ah, LeBron's got that pick dodger. Oh, they're double teaming already? Are you serious? Look at that, man. Super easy shot. Sean Stewart says it's cool. I agree. And it's a good way to... I blocked that into the rim. It's a good player, or a good way to give new players cards and give us some more content. So I support it. I think it's cool, but I don't care too much about it. And everybody gets the lowest tier players. Players Club Leonard. Oh, is that uh, Myers Leonard from the Trailblazers or from the Heat now? Justa says, I'd say I'm a basketball nerd. Oh, I'm a huge basketball nerd. I don't know much about him either, though. I will say, I don't know much about him either, but I'm a huge basketball nerd. If you guys ask me trivia questions, I feel like I could get most of them correct. But I also feel like you guys are going to ask me the questions I don't know. And I'm going to completely embarrass myself. I about to say, I feel like if y'all ask me some complex questions, I could get them right. But I also feel like there are some I might get wrong. If y'all ask me about, like, exact statistics, like how many points did this player average and stuff, how many assists, I'm 100% going to get that wrong. Like, pretty much 100% guaranteed to get that wrong. If y'all ask me about what team a player has played for, trades and stuff, contracts, I might know that stuff. Champions, I pretty much know every single NBA champion. I think that's pretty cool, too. I'd say I'm pretty good with trivia. The Last Dance 2 is coming out in August. Is it called The Last Dance 2? I know that Kobe's final championship is coming out. Is that what you're talking about? Because that looks like it's going to be a good series, too. I don't know if it's going to be as good as The Last Dance, but it's still going to be good. Justa says, who had the most assists in a game? Oh, that's Scott Skiles with 30. He played for the Magic. About to say, I know stuff like that. I know statistics like that. It's the, like, the exact down to the decimal stuff. I really don't know. But yeah, that was, a, that was a good question. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't know that. They'd say, oh, John Stockton, easy. But Scott Skiles, most assists in one game. Uh, Dolmond Ducks. Uh, these Sims are going to be out for the rest of the year. You don't have to rush to get these done. You can just do these whenever you want to. And you can get that Steph Curry whenever you want to. Oh, great block. We have been raining threes, man. 25 points in less than four minutes. Justa says, I don't want to be too basic. Oh, no, I understand that. About to say, that's not an easy question, but it's a fundamental one. Let me go ahead and end this quarter strong. Oh, Odd Squad said it's about the Washington days. I didn't know there was a documentary about that. Does Ben Simmons average more or less points this year than last year? He averages less, but I feel like as a player, he's been better this year, even though his stats are down a bit. Hey, Clout Chaser. That's right, I'm grinding again. Welcome back to the stream, man. Y'all make sure to drop likes for me if you haven't already. We're about to hit 80. 80 likes in two hours is absolutely insane. Justa said who averaged the most assists. I'm pretty sure that was Stockton. Oh, someone already said that. Someone already said that. What's up? It's Gage, though. I feel like I haven't seen you in a long time. 
Welcome to the stream, bro. It has been a minute. It really has been a minute, but it's nice seeing you in here. Ko Yummy. Haven't seen you in a while either. I'm seeing a lot of people today who I haven't seen in a long time. It's nice seeing these familiar faces, man. And it's nice doing these streams. It's good content. It's pretty fun, too. It's pretty fun. Hope everyone's having a great day, especially those of you who... Those of you who just came in, excuse me, language. We're on game number five of these Steph Curry Spotlight Sim challenges. Once we finish this game, we will have one out of six players needed for Steph Curry. Uh, Gage, I will probably not be playing Park later because this is going to be a super long stream. It's that simple. This is going to be a super long stream, so I'm probably not going to be playing Park later, but... Maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, actually. I'm definitely going to play park tomorrow. And isn't there a park event coming up soon? I think 5 on 5? I'm definitely going to stream 5 on 5. Believe it or not, I was actually going to stream 4 on 4 today. But then this came out. I had no choice, man. I had to hop on these spotlight sims. I had to do these spotlight sims. Odd Squad said, bro, Doc, you went from 2.64 to 2.66. Oh yeah, you guys already told me. My goal at the beginning of the stream was to get to 2.65. And then we got 2.65 at the very beginning. And then I said, you know what, my goal is now 2.66. And then we got 2.66 in less than two hours, so maybe we can get like 2.67 or 2.68 by the end of the stream. We'll see. I'm not really worried about sub count, but it is nice getting new subs. It's always nice getting new viewers. If we have anybody in the chat who's not subscribed yet, make sure to drop a sub. Hey, Ibrahim. You already know I'm always on the grind. I never give up. I'm the ultimate underdog. I never give up, though. Welcome to the stream, Ibrahim. Oh, come on. I gotta block that. Justin Duggan said, what are your thoughts on the pink diamond Evo Aaron Gordon? He's good, but he's a little bit outdated, man. There are a lot of better power forward options, or he can play the small forward too, right? I feel like there are a lot of better options. He's a really good player. He's even better when you evolve him to Opal, but I just feel like there are a lot of better options out there that you can put at the power forward. And like nowadays, pink diamonds and diamonds are super cheap, so... Like, even, what's it called? You don't even need much MT to pick up a guy like Aaron Gordon. Even some of the best pink diamonds in the game, like Dino Raja, they're less than 20,000. Stop Lease says who is the rookie of the year. We talked about this earlier. I think the best rookie is Zion, but the rookie of the year is John Morant. I mean, I think you gotta play more games to be considered Rookie of the Year. And John ja Morant's been going off for the entire season. Zion, he's a beast. Like, he's already being considered like a top 25 player. But, I mean, I think you gotta play more of the year. I mean, there's a reason why Joel Embiid didn't win like Rookie of the Year in his first season. Malcolm Brogdon won it instead. And even though Embiid put up better stats, everyone knew that like, Brogdon had really good longevity. Like he was he was not great, but good for that entire season. Jax to Axe, I'll see you later, man. Carson Merritt, welcome back. So even though Zion's the better player, the better rookie. I mean, what's it called? Zion's a better player, but rookie of the year is going to be John Morant. Because, let's be honest, without John Morant, the Grizzlies would have, what, 20 wins? They definitely wouldn't be in the playoffs. I know they have good players, other than Jean Morant, Jonas Valanciunas, Jaron Jackson, Dylan Brooks. I know they have good players, but without Ja, they definitely wouldn't be in the playoffs. What's up, Whip? Ah, excuse me. What's up, Whiplash Wolf? Welcome to the stream. I'm seeing so many people in here who I haven't seen in a long time, and I'm loving it, man. It's nice seeing all you guys again. 
Karolinko is 70 to 80K, and the market's crashing, so he might be 60 or 70. And that's a good price for such a good power forward, man. I know he got a new card, but, I mean, I don't know. Karolinko at the power forward is still really good. Lightning Rod YT says, are you still going to use Curry when you get him? That's a great question. That's a great question. We're going to have to test out his release. We're going to have to see if he can hang with bigger players on defense. I want to use him because right now my starting PG is Gilbert Arenas. And they're the same height. Curry has better attributes and badges. But we're going to have to see who's actually better. I mean, if Gilbert Arenas is just as good as Steph Curry is, then, I mean, I wouldn't say it's wasted, but because, like, this is still good content. But, like, either way, we're going to have to see. Oh, we lost a like on the stream. That's tough. I wonder who it was. Just kidding. I don't really care. Whiplash says, how good do you think Curry is? Very good, but he might be a little bit of a defensive liability. Offensively, he's going to be great. But on defense, because he doesn't have post-move lockdown and because he's 6'3", going up versus bigger point guards, I feel like he might be a little bit of a defensive liability. But since I know some nice 2K strategies, I think I might be able to hide him on defense a little bit. We'll have to see. What's up, CP the Doc fan? That's a great name. Welcome to the stream. Great water. So, I told you guys this was going to be a really tough game. But we're actually off to a really good start. We've scored 51 points in one half, and it's been pretty easy. For some reason, this Heat team has pink diamond LeBron instead of a Galaxy Opal LeBron, which doesn't make much sense because there's a Galaxy Opal point guard LeBron and a Galaxy Opal shooting guard small forward. But I guess both of those guys played for the Cavs, so that kind of makes sense. But yeah. I think the Magic were definitely the better team than this. I think the Magic should have been the fifth team. I beat them by 40, but they had Glitch Penny Hardaway, not Glitch Penny Hardaway, uh, Glitch McGrady, Opal Penny. They had Dwight Howard, Hito Turkaloo, and Jonathan Isaac. That's a really good team. That's definitely better than Pink Diamond Tim Hardaway and Pink Diamond LeBron. Not to mention, we are lighting them up. Ibrahim says, why doesn't this guy have 1 million subs? Hey, one day, man. Maybe one day we'll hit 1 million. I'm not thinking that far ahead, though. Right now, I'm just trying to get to 3,000. Maybe 1 million one day, but haven't thought that far ahead. What's up, Welp? Whiplash says, what would be your starting lineup? My starting lineup right now is Kobe, Bird, Embiid, Hakeem, and Gilbert Arenas. But after I get Curry, he's probably going to start. Uh, Chase Watson, right now I am doing uh, Steve Smith. I'm actually one half away from getting Steve Smith. So that's going to be nice. Matt29 says, yeah, it's so hard to play against LeBron and D. Wade. Yeah, it is. About to say, I played versus them in Finals Spotlight Sim. We didn't lose a single game of Final Spotlight Sim, but matching up with those guys was still super tough. Just because we didn't lose doesn't mean it was easy. Look at how they're double teaming. They're leaving Kobe open every single time. Are the challenges like the Larry Bird Spotlight Sims? Not as easy, but yes. Every game has no restrictions. Every game is five minute quarters. And yeah, six sets of five challenges. Pretty easy. Two games on Hall of Fame, two games on Superstar, one game on All Star. So there is that one game that's easier than Superstar and the two games on Hall of Fame. But I mean, Hall of Fame, not a big difference from Superstar. So as long as you play smart, as long as you time your jump shots, you should be fine. Whiplash says, sorry I was gone for so long. It's really not a big deal. If you guys can't make it to a stream for whatever reason, I can't really get mad at you guys. I mean, we all have things to do. We all get busy. 
people to be with, homework to do. That's for those of you guys who were taking summer classes. I'm taking summer classes at my university. And I finished all my homework yesterday, so I wouldn't have to do anything today. Or this week, I mean. Excuse me. CP the Doc fan says I have a God Squad that would destroy the CPU. That's always a good thing if you have a God Squad. Makes things so much easier. Kobe Bryant really making a difference here. I mean, the ridiculous production from beyond the heart. They have to find I'm doing so much talking that I gotta stay hydrated. Oh, man. Carson says, sorry I was so annoying. It's really not a big deal, Carson. About to say, I, I was never mad at you. I just don't like when people spam in the chat. Because it kind of takes away from the experience of the viewer, you know? About to say, I don't really love when people spam. But I do have moderators all over the place, so if someone does come in here and start spamming toxic stuff, they're here to help. But what you were saying wasn't toxic, you were just repeating the same thing over and over. I wasn't really mad at you, it's just I don't really love when people spam. Look at Curry, man. I mean, yeah, Curry got a, yeah, Curry got a goat before LeBron did. But LeBron just got an opal, so they can't give LeBron three opals immediately. The funny thing is that yesterday, we were actually having a discussion in the stream about GOAT cards. Like, we were having a discussion, and everyone was like, Okay, so, if we get a new GOAT player, it's probably going to be somebody who's retired. They're probably saving the GOAT cards for retired players, like Kobe, Jordan, Kareem. And then today, we got Curry. So it's really funny that after our discussion yesterday, that we just ended up, yeah, getting Steph Curry. I did not expect Curry one bit. Curry was the last player I expected. Well, not the last player, because he is an all-time great, but it's crazy that he got an opal before LeBron, guys like Wilt Chamberlain. Then again, Wilt has an opal too. It's so hard to predict who the next GOAT player is going to be because all the guys who are in like the top 15 to 20 players ever, they all have Opals already. I mean, the top five players of all time, I'd say Jordan already has an Opal, a GOAT player. Kareem has a GOAT player. LeBron, he doesn't, but he just got a new Opal, so I didn't think he was going to get one. Clearly, I was right. Um... Let's say the number four player is Bill Russell. He also got a new opal. And, yeah. Let's say number five is Shaq. He has two opals now. Do you think they were really going to give him three? Larry Bird, he already has a goat. Magic Johnson also has a goat. Tim Duncan has an opal. Hakeem has an opal. David Robinson. So many guys have opals that it is so hard to predict who the next goat's going to be. CP the Doc fan says BRB. And welcome back, JD. Welcome back, young JD. But yeah, so many of the best players ever have opals that it's just so hard to predict who's going to get the GOAT card next. It's so hard to predict. I want to say, like, I was going to say that John Stockton might get one, but like, I don't know. I mean, Carl Malone beat him to it, I guess. I don't think anybody was really asking for a new Carl Malone though but yeah it's hard to predict who the next Opal is going to be I was going to say Dirk but he got a glitched card that can play the two there are a lot of guys who it could have been but like we got Curry I'm not going to complain I mean we got Michael Beasley as player of the month too so I wouldn't say 2k is reaching but yeah Look at how they're double teaming at half court. I don't get why they double team at half court. About to say there's somebody wide open every time. What's up, white boy Rick? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Anthony Morgan? That's a nice badge by your name. That's a very nice badge. That's an awesome gold star you got right there, man. It's pretty dope. But yeah, what's up, white boy Rick? Stop, lease. 
Hakeem already has an opal. I feel like he deserves a goat player, but it's so, like I said, it's so hard to predict because, like, so many of the best players ever already have opals. And Hakeem's opal is pretty good. So I don't know when he's going to get a new one. I think he deserves a new one, though. Anthony Morgan says, whoa, 88 likes. It's pretty insane. I gotta give a shout out to every single person in the stream right now, man. Every single person who's dropped a like, I really appreciate it. We are 12 away from 100 in like 2 hours and 15 minutes of streaming. You guys have really been killing it today. I gotta give you guys a lot of credit for showing up big today. Justa says, that glitch Dirk is trash. Yeah, the thing about Dirk is that at this point in the year, there are so many guys who are faster, so many guys who have a faster release. The Dirk is good, but like, it's just at this point in the year, that glitch Dirk is not going to be super effective against guys like James Wiseman, guys like Kareem. I mean, like, it's tough. It's tough. Carson says, you've met your goal. Uh, which goal are you talking about? Because I did set a lot of goals for today's stream. My goal is to hit 2.67 thousand subs by the end of it. My first goal was 2.65, but then we got that, so I was going for 2.66. Are we at 2.67? I have not been checking the sub count, but I do know that we've gained a lot of new subs today. And JD, of course I saw my home's new deal. $500 million? $503 million to be exact. That's a crazy deal. That's a pretty crazy deal. They pretty much signed him for the rest of eternity. Pretty much. And Jose, I do not hate you. Or is it Jace? Excuse me. Jace, I do not really hate you. I really don't hate anybody, man. If you come in the streams and support me, talk in the chat, be positive. I'll, I mean, hey, I have no problem with anybody in the chat right now. About to say, if I hold a grudge, that would be kind of... That would be kind of immature if I held a grudge with people in the chat. About to say, if you support me, we're cool. If you support me, we're cool. But yeah, 2.66, that's a really big deal. I'm really happy about it, but... Let's try to hit 2.67 by the end of the stream. I mean, keep in mind, this stream isn't even close to being halfway over. Once this game's done, the stream's gonna be about 25% over, depending on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling really good, we might go ahead and do the entire thing today. If I'm feeling really good, we'll just go ahead and finish up the entire chat. We'll do every single game. We're gonna do the entire 15 hours of gameplay if I'm feeling good. You guys have done a great job bringing the energy. It's been a lot of fun so far, so... Hey, if you guys continue to bring the energy, this could be the longest stream in channel history. Welcome back, 13 Roly. Uh, Nico, I'm on game five of the Southeast Division. We are two minutes away from getting Galaxy Opal Steve Smith. 13 Roly says, Doc, type in the new locker code. I'll type in the locker code once I'm done with all this stuff. About to say, I gotta get this stuff done as quick as possible, so... Save locker codes for later. Right now, we're just trying to finish up the games. What's up, Milk? I'm glad you're a big fan. I appreciate you. Welcome to the stream. That's the first thing you've said, so I gotta give you a nice warm welcome. I thought this game was gonna be a little bit tougher. I thought this game was gonna be tougher, but... It's actually been a pretty easy game. We haven't been the best on defense, but we haven't been terrible either. Uh, Anthony Morgan, I'm trying to get Steph Curry. I'm trying to get Steph Curry. Uh, JD, I don't know about really, really good, but I am still feeling really good. I'm still feeling pretty great. I mean, keep in mind, we've only played five games. And I've played like 20 games in a stream before, so, I mean, 
We'll see how I'm feeling later. But the biggest thing that matters right now is that right now, I'm feeling good. I feel like I can finish every single challenge today, but we're going to have to see. Milk says, I just joined. Well, Milk, if you enjoy the content, hang around. Make sure you're subbed, too. I know you said you're a big fan. Make sure you're subbed. That's always important. And we're 11 likes away from 100, which is pretty unbelievable. That's a pretty great start to today's stream. You guys have killed it. Dante says, my game went into OT from my game tying buzzer beater. Then in OT, I was up by one, and I blocked the game winner. Dante, that's what I'm talking about. You got to make sure you win the games at all costs, because losing these games, it's a waste of time. It's that simple. Taking an L is a waste of time because then you have to play the entire game again and I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to play any of these games again. I just want to finish the five games in less than two and a half hours. And yeah, we've been playing for a little over two hours now, so we're actually on pace to finish this in less than 15 hours if I want to play the entire thing today. Good win. We beat the Magic by 40. We could beat the Heat by 42, but we're going to hold the ball. Going to let the clock run out. 39-point win. Not too bad. Five games down, 25 games to go. And I know what you guys are thinking. Doc, 25 games to go. Really, that is a lot of games. But, I mean, one out of six, that's a pretty big fraction. If you have a really big pizza and you cut it into six pieces that are each the same size, those are some pretty big pieces, so we just cut a pretty big slice out of the pizza that we have to finish. I'm hungry now. Either way, one opal down, five opals to go. We have 34 viewers after two hours of streaming. Man, that didn't even take two and a half hours. People were saying this is going to take 15 hours Hasn't even been two and a half yet, so there we go. Steve Smith, if any of you guys want to take a screenshot, I'll pose like this. There we go. Steve Smith. One opal down, five to go. That's some pretty good progress early in the stream. There we go. We finished the southeast. One player down. We'll go check out Smith's, Steve Smith real quick. Go ahead and show him in the collection. 46 badges. Hall of Fame badges, excuse me. Not too bad. We'll check the attributes and the stats later. But like, you already know, we're just trying to continue playing. So let's hop back into the challenges. Let's go back into the spotlight. And you know what? I feel like completing the Eastern Conference first. We'll do the East first, so. We just finished the Hawks and all them, the Hornets, the Heat. Should we do the Knicks or the Cavaliers next? We'll do this, we'll do this, and then we'll do the Knicks and them next. Here we go. Central Division playing versus Detroit, the Bulls. Oh, so in our final game, we're going to be playing versus Michael Jordan. That's going to be just great. We're going to get to see Opal Goat Jordan. We're going to get to see Opal Derrick Rose, Opal Scottie Pippen, Opal Dennis Rodman. Is there an Opal Center for the Bulls? I think Artis Gilmore. Could be wrong. Milk, you should go for, I really don't know. Like, I don't know which of these players is, like, really good because each of them is pretty good on defense. Like, Patrick Beverly's a good defender, but he's a little bit undersized, and he's a bit of an offensive liability. Tony Allen's also good on defense, but he's also an offensive liability. Like, none of these new Opals, except for Seth Curry, were guys who I would really put in my lineup, so... I seriously have no idea who to go for. Nobody in the chat has told me if any of the new players are good. I seriously have no idea. I heard the best one is Steve Smith, though, so... Yeah, we just got Steve Smith. And right now, we are going for... Uh, Rip Hamilton. Rip Hamilton from the Pistons. So, Dev Brazy, this is game number six. Game number six out of 30. My favorite team, stop lease, is the Knicks. Got to say, real ones know I'm a big Knicks fan. 
Anthony Morgan says, like up the stream and be interactive. Hey, Anthony Morgan's the best moderator I have, so you guys better listen to him. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's saying. Y'all listen to him. And he's a channel member. If any of you guys are interested in channel memberships, yeah, I'll give you the explanation if any of you guys are interested. I don't want to go on that entire advertising spiel. I'm about to say, I know I do it a decent amount. Nico said, I'm only in game four, but I'll catch up. If you're doing quick through STS, you'll definitely catch up. I'm about to say, because I'm not doing stuff like that. But I'm still getting through the games pretty fast, so even if I don't, even if you do the glitch or run that play, I don't, I don't know if you'll catch up, but it's not really a race. What's up, Casey Millen? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, it's not really a race. If you guys get the Steph Curry before I do, I'm not going to cry about it. 13 Rolly says, I'm sorry I can't talk. I mean, it's all good. I mean, there are a lot of people in the chat talking. So if one person's not able to talk, I'm about to say, it's all good. I know you're in here, so you don't have to worry too much about talking. Like, if you guys are playing the game and just listening to my scream, it's all good. I'm not going to get mad at you. As long as you're here supporting, that's all that matters. What's up, D-Lo? Welcome to the stream, brother. I'd say, I hope you're doing all right. For a second, I saw the moderator wrench, and I thought you were Switzo. Switzo's gotten into streaming too, man. I remember back a few years ago when you were going to get into that stuff. You would be good at it. So I guess that's an option for you. But no, like I was saying, if you guys are playing the game too, I understand y'all can't really type in the chat while playing. Casey, I'm on game number six right now. We're on game number six out of 30. We're on the Pistons, first game of the Central Division. Brandon Joyner, um, you can get the card anytime. There's no time limit. I know there's a time limit on the main menu, but like, there's no time limit. These challenges are gonna be up for the rest of the year even if it doesn't say that on the main menu, because I remember when Larry Bird came out, everybody was saying, oh man, it says we only have one day to do the challenges. That's not true though, that's not true. You guys have all the time you need to do the challenges. That was a terrible possession. But yeah. Your commentary gives me strength. I was losing by 10, and I made a comeback to finish my last game in the Southeast Division. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'm glad you like my commentary. A lot of guys come in the stream and say that they like my voice, they like the way I talk and commentate, but every now and then some people come in and say, oh my god, your voice is garbage, it sucks. Whenever someone tells me I have good commentary, I always appreciate it. I always appreciate it, but every now and then, Someone comes in and says, Ugh, your voice is trash. It always hurts my feelings. And it's always embarrassing because it always makes me cry live on stream, but I really do appreciate it, Izzy. Make sure your notifications are on so you know when I'm live so my voice can give you strength consistently. D-Lo said I might get back into it. You should. I'm about to say, you're good enough to get a lot of subs from that stuff. You have the talent. One of the best players I know. Tuskegee internet is HDZ. I mean, UAB's internet was HDZ my freshman year. That's why I knew I had to... What's it called? I wasn't really focused on YouTube. So I can't really say that I knew I had to go somewhere else. Because I wasn't even planning on it. But, yeah. I understand that. I mean, I've heard that Tuskegee's facilities are HDZ. No offense. Don't be offended by that. I've heard that from a lot of people. I know that's where you go to school, though. So I'm not trying to talk crap about your school. Some people might hear that and misinterpret that as racist. Uh, Carson? 
It's cool that you're a Bucks fan. I'm not really a Bucks fan. My favorite team's the Knicks. And a lot of people make fun of me for that. I'm a Knicks fan. They're pretty bad, but I've stuck with them since 2013. And I'm not a bandwagon fan, so I gotta stick with them. And my favorite, my second favorite team is the Atlanta Hawks. So my two favorite teams are horrible. At least the Hawks are fun to watch. D'Lo said, indeed. Yeah, like, like I said, I hate to say it. I don't want to come across as, like, racist or anything, but I've heard the facilities are HDZ. Or HDZ, excuse me. Uh, Milk, I'm actually from Alabama. A lot of you guys probably guessed that by my voice. I know I may not look like a complete white dude. Maybe to some of you guys I do, but I'm actually half Malaysian. D'Angelo said the facilities need some repairing. Yeah, I heard that their basketball locker room's not very good either. I think Jeff or Josh mentioned that to me. They said it's like a Juco locker room. And Tuskegee's actually a D2 team. It's not like they're a D3 or a NIAA, NAIA or anything. They're actually a D2 team. I like the Knicks because Mello. Mello's the reason I'm a Knicks fan. Oh, I meant to throw it to the corner, but yeah. Mello's the reason I'm a Knicks fan. I started watching the Knicks in 2012, 2012 playoffs. They were down 3-0 versus the Heat, and Mello dropped 40. It was so inspirational. And then he played really well in the Summer Olympics, and then the Knicks were good that year. They won 54 games. Lost in the second round, though, to the Pacers in six games. Heartbreaking. Welcome back, Patch. But yeah, I mean, I'm always going to be a Knicks fan, unless they royally screw things up even more than they already have. I mean, last year, I had a feeling we weren't going to get Zion. I knew we weren't going to get KD or Kyrie. It sounded nice, but... I mean, the Nets are just the better run organization. Uh, Milk? I used to play basketball. I played in high school. I almost played in college at a small school in my hometown. But I don't really play much. I've posted a few one-on-ones on my YouTube channel. I don't play for real. I don't play seriously. I used to. And D'Angelo in the chat with that moderator wrench next to his name, me and him actually used to play on the same team. He started at the three, I started at the four. The funny thing is that I'm six feet. I gotta say, I'm not even that tall. But I was the four, just because we had a super small team. That's Alabama Division 4A basketball for you. Small ball, man. And the teams we played weren't even that tall. Knicks did way too much for Mello. Way too many trades. I mean, the biggest thing the only trade I can think of was the one where they traded for him in 2011. They gave away all their assets. They gave away Gallinari, Wilson Chandler, all those guys. They gave away all those guys just for Mello. Alex says, dang, this is a nice stream. I appreciate it, Alex. I don't think I've ever seen you in here before, so I appreciate it. If you guys are new, make sure to drop a like for me. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you're subbed, too. Make sure you're subbed. My goal is to hit 2.67k by the end of the stream. My original goal was 2.65, but we hit that in like 10 minutes, so I had to set a new goal. Anthony Morgan says, I'm also from Alabama. Yeah, in one of my one-on-ones, I played versus Anthony Morgan. Cavs are the worst trading team. Oh, no, they're not. The worst trading teams are the Hornets and the Knicks and the Suns. I don't see how the Cavs are a bad trading team. About to say, they got Andre Drummond by trading away two guys, John Henson and Brandon Knight. So they got an all-star in return for good two backups. That's a pretty good trade. They traded for Kevin Love. That's a pretty good trade. About to say, I know the trades they made in 20... 18 were kind of sus when they got Jordan Clarkson and George Hill and all those guys, but I don't think the Cavs are a bad trading team at all. Not at all. About to say, I don't know where you got that from. I'm from New York. 
You're from Alabama, if I'm right. I mean, I just said that like two seconds ago. So, you're right, but yeah. He's got seven. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Thomas, no good. Doc, I hope I can see you. I live in Alabama, born in El Salvador. T'Angelo says they traded for LeBron as well. Uh, LeBron signed with them in free agency. So close. About to say, the Cavs are definitely not a bad trading team. They're a bad team. And they're a badly run organization, but they're not a bad trading team. But yeah, where do you live in Alabama, Carson? I'm from Montgomery. What's up, Garrett Owen? Welcome to the stream. It's always nice seeing new people in here, man. So hang around, see if you enjoy the content. Maybe even drop a sub. But nah, the worst trading team is probably the Kings, or the Suns. And the worst drafting team is definitely the Hornets. The Hornets are by far the worst drafting team, like, ever. Like, they just have terrible luck. And I'm not just talking about the Hornets. I'm talking about, like, the Bobcats, too. Like, before they became the Hornets. About to say, their draft picks have just been pretty garbage. The very first draft pick they ever made as a franchise was Adam Morrison. To be fair, though, Adam Morrison was supposed to be the next Larry Bird. But then he averaged, like, half a point per game. They drafted Tyrus Thomas. He was supposed to be a beast. They drafted Michael Kidd Gilchrist, that was pretty tough. They drafted Malik Monk, also pretty tough. They've made some weird picks over the years. D'Angelo said worse than the Pistons. The Pistons made a bad draft pick in 2003. Other than that, I don't really think of the Pistons as a terrible drafting team. Let me think of the Pistons draft picks. I can't really think of any. No insanely bad draft picks come to mind. But I know they drafted Darko over Cal over Melo. And I know they drafted him over, like, D. Wade and Chris Bosh. So that was a terrible draft pick. But other than that, I can't think of many bad, like, Pistons trades. If you I mean, Or Pistons draft picks. If you guys want to refresh me, though, I'm all ears. MKG's a bust, you can say. Malik Monk, I don't know. Malik Monk... I mean, everyone knew he was going to be a bit of a defensive liability, but he's got to be a little bit more consistent on offense, and he can be a decent player in the NBA. Milk says, I got to head out. Nice stream. I appreciate it, Milk. Make sure you have those notifications on. Not just you. Everybody in the chat. Make sure you got your notifications on. But yeah. The Suns have made some terrible draft picks over the years, too. They drafted Josh Jackson over to Aaron Fox. They drafted Frank Kaminsky in the lottery. Well, no, 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 they didn't draft him. The Hornets did. That's another Hornets draft pick. Man, who did the Suns draft? Man, there's there's a big man they drafted. I can't remember who it was. I'm not talking about DeAndre Ayton. Who am I talking about, man? Shit. I can't remember. I seriously can't. I feel like I have good, like, NBA memory, but I'm just, I'm getting blanks right now, man. I can't remember everything. Garrett says Portland passed up on KD. That is true, but I don't really consider Greg Oden a bust because he was actually pretty good when he played in the NBA. Justa, it was Dragon Bender, thank you. It was Dragon Bender. He was supposed to be the next Kristaps Porzingis, but he averaged, like, five points a game. They also drafted Josh Jackson, and he's been pretty bad in Memphis. Bender was supposed to be the next Porzingis and Dirk. The Suns got Booker at 13. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But the Suns, they could have drafted Doncic over DeAndre Ayton, and they could have drafted De'Aaron Fox instead of Josh Jackson. They could have had a team, possibly, of Booker, Doncic, and Ayton. That would have been their 1, 2, and 3. Imagine that. Imagine that. To the paint. Here's Kobe. Come on, Cub. That's a Chris Move quote two. right there. The Cavs drafting Anthony Bennett was an L. Yeah, it was. Possibly 
one of the biggest L's ever. Anthony Morgan, not Anthony Morgan, Anthony Bennett, probably one of the worst draft picks ever. Not just the worst number one pick, one of the worst draft picks ever. The crazy thing is that he was a top 10 prospect no matter what, but the fact that he went number one was just crazy. Of course, Devin Booker was a, a very good pick, but those other two picks were just insanely bad. What card should I go for after Pat? I'm trying to get the toughest out of the way first. Here's the thing, I can't remember every single reward. I know the easy ones are Steve Smith. Um, another easy one is definitely this one I'm doing. I think I'm going for Rip Hamilton right now. I really don't think that many of these are that tough, to be honest with you. I think the Lakers one's the hardest one. Official Gray said, I can't wait for Anthony Bennett, GOAT Galaxy Opal card. Man, I wish 2K still had the rights to Anthony Bennett, man. Like, notice how we're getting cards like Ruby Thon Maker and like Galaxy Opal Thon Maker. But like, Thon Maker's a complete bust. Thon Maker hasn't improved ever since he got drafted, yet he has a Galaxy Opal that can play the PG. It makes no sense. If we're getting a Thon Maker card, we should get an Anthony Bennett card that can play the PG. I would love that card. And in real life, Anthony Bennett actually has a pretty nice jump shot release. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with him in the G League, but he actually has a nice jumper. He's actually a pretty good spot up three point shooter. I know he sucks, but like, if Anthony Bennett right now had played for the Cavs in what year, 2014? He actually would have been like decent. He wouldn't have been like good. He wouldn't have been a star, wouldn't have been an all-star, superstar. You never know, but he would actually like be decent at best. Like he was actually impressive in the G League. I know the G League and NBA are different, but if Anthony Bennett had played like in his rookie year, like he did this past year, or coming into this past year, like when the Rockets picked him up, he actually could have been a decent player. Seriously. I was at the draft when Thonmaker got drafted, and I knew it was a bad pick. Back then, it looked like a really good pick, but like, I mean, do, you, do we even know how old Thonmaker is? I remember there were rumors that he was like five years older. Are those rumors still a thing? Do people really care about his age? Like, how much more can Thonmaker really develop? Like, a lot of people are still wondering whether or not he's going to be a good player, but shit, I don't know, man. He hasn't made any developments. He's a terrible rebounder. He can't roll to the rim on offense. He is an amazing shot blocker, though. I will say that about him. Thon Maker is in. He's a really good shot blocker. Like, he knows how to get in position. He moves really well around the court. But he's just, like, awkward sometimes, man. He's supposed to be a good stretch big man, but he can't really shoot. He can't really roll to the rim and finish. It's tough, man. It's really tough. I wonder if he can get any better, because he's actually getting decent minutes for the Pistons. Like, he's actually getting minutes in Detroit. I wonder if he'll be able to get any better, though. The Kings missed out on Kawhi and Clay. Yeah, that was also a pretty bad pick. The Kings have wasted a lot of draft picks too, but I still don't think they're as bad as the Hornets though. But yeah, a lot of teams missed out on Kawhi. The Pacers, they traded Kawhi for George Hill. And some people actually tried to defend that move. Now to be fair, they did have Danny Granger, they had Paul George, they would have had Kawhi too with all those other small forwards, so I don't know how those players would have complimented each other or developed, but it's interesting to look back on it. What's up, Twisted Tilted? Welcome to the stream. We're back up to 40 viewers. You guys feel free to talk to me in the chat if you're new. And if you enjoy the content, maybe even hang around and subscribe. It would be awesome. My goal is to hit 2.67 thousand by the end of the stream. And it would be cool if we hit 100 likes. We're only 10 away. What team do you think is the farthest away from winning a championship? Okay, so 
The easy answer is saying, like, the Knicks. That's the easy thing to say, right? But the Knicks are a big market team. So I think the Knicks, even though they're very bad, I think that they have a better chance of winning than, like, the Hornets do. What's up, Kathy Ann Maynard? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like a team like the Knicks has a better chance than a team like the Hornets, all because of that. All because they play in a big market. It's a terrible answer, man. I know you guys don't love it, but I gotta go with the Hornets because the Knicks are a big market. They actually have chances of getting some pretty big free agent acquisitions. They have not been getting those acquisitions lately, but they have a chance. I know the reputation is horrible, but there's a reason why KD and Kyrie were considering going there. There's a reason why people are talking about Chris Paul going to the Knicks. Like, every year the Knicks are a big option. The Knicks were a big option for LeBron, but clearly they weren't his first option, so we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see, man. I think the Hornets are the farthest from winning a championship, though, because nobody wants to go to Charlotte. Nobody wants to go to Memphis either, but Ja Morant is going off, man. And Memphis is looking like one of the best young teams in the league with John Morant, Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson, Valanchunas, Kyle Anderson's pretty good too. They got a lot of good players in there, man. Chris Alcantar, thank you for subbing and liking. You guys make sure to follow his lead if you haven't already. Alex says, do you think Lowry Markkinen can improve to where he can be a top candidate for MVP? Okay, so Alex, I don't think he's going to improve that much, but Lowry Markkinen's an amazing talent, man. I know his stats aren't good this year, but it's because the coach is horrible. I don't know if you heard the quote from Jim Boylan, the Bulls coach, or Jim Bolin, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Lowry Markkinen was complaining about his touches, and the coach said, you'd get more touches if you grab more rebounds. So Lowry Markkinen is literally a rebounding slash layup guy or a wide open shooter. But he can do so much when he has the ball in his hands. He can score on anybody, hit a fadeaway. But he's been reduced to a rebounder and a spot up shooter. So there's a reason why his stats are down. It's not because he's gotten worse. It's because he's getting like half the touches he got last year. He was looking like a star in his first two years, man. He was one of the best rookies in the league in his rookie year. And then last year, he was putting up like what? Like 19 points a game, 20 points a game. Something crazy like that. And then Jim Boleyn said, you know what? We'll, we'll run the offense through Zach Levine. We'll let Kobe White get a lot of touches. And yeah, that's the reason why Lowry Markkinen hasn't been very good this year. Uh, Alex, he's a stretch. He's definitely a stretch big. His jump shot is way too good for him not being considered a stretch like he's a beast but this year he was basically a post slash spot up guy he asked for more touches on offense and the coach literally told him just grab more rebounds what do you expect him to do grab 40 rebounds a game come on man but yeah Lowry's a beast if you give him the ball he's gonna score but he's just not getting his touches this year and that's because the Bulls coaching is horrible. Hey, Christopher, BLM, I agree with you. Doc, do you like Minute? Uh, I'm not the biggest Minute Bull fan, got to say. I know a lot of guys like him. I know a lot of guys like Bull Bull, too. Not the biggest fan, but I do think Bull Bull is going to be a pretty good NBA player. I mean, he already has a Galaxy Opal even though he hasn't scored a point yet. Hey though, we're six likes away from 100. If you haven't liked the stream yet, now's the time. Drop a like and help us get to 100 in less than three hours. Packer the player says, I'll be back before the end of the stream. Hey, sounds good to me. Packer the player has some homework to do. And it makes me curious, man. How many of you guys are in school right now? It's July, but I'm doing summer classes at my university. How many of you guys are still in school? I know it's not just me and Packer. I know we're not the only people still in school. Chris says Bull Bull needs to get stronger. That's true. If Bull Bull adds some muscle, 
he's going to be a beast in the paint because he's already so skilled. I think he could be like a 7 foot 2 Kevin Durant. He can be like a 7 foot 2 KD. He's just got to add some strength, add some muscle because he already has amazing athleticism. The athleticism's amazing. He knows where to go on the court. But yeah. If he can add some strength and muscle, he's going to be a beast. That's the biggest thing he's got to do. He's too skinny. Kappa said he is so skinny. Oh, what's up, Solo Braden? I am on game number six. I'm on Central Division game number one. I just finished up Steve Smith. I just finished up the Southeast, so five games down, 25 games to go. Well, now we have 24 games to go. This was a super easy win, man. This was a super easy win. Chris says, I'm still doing college classes to get my degree. Hey, Carson's in school too. Hey, man. <sighs> These summer classes are a grind, but I finished all my homework on Sunday, so I don't have to do anything all week. Troy Dan says, bro, it's 9 p.m. in Austria. Must, must go to bed because I must grind tomorrow. Hey, shout out to all my international viewers. I know I have a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys come to my stream and tell me you're in, like, Austria or Australia, UK. I even got some guys in, what's it called? What was I about to say? Estonia. Estonia. I couldn't think of the country. We have guys all around the world, man. It's really cool because I'm a Alabama streamer. Alex says, who should I pick up with 140k MT? 140k. I really don't know, man. You guys are going to have to talk to each other in the chat. Like, check the auction house because I'm being honest with y'all. Even though I play this game a lot, even though I'd say I'm pretty good at it, y'all feel free to disagree. But I feel like I'm pretty good at it. I really don't know the auction house very well. Like, I used to, but I don't play the game seriously anymore. 13 Rolly says, Lithuania, that's pretty dope. Lithuania. Solo Braden's Oklahoma. But yeah, I really don't know the market very well, man. I know when there's going to be a crash, but I'm not super educated on like which player's prices are going to go up and down. I don't know if you guys have heard of Six Man Sam, but he makes videos about that stuff, about like which, player, which player's prices are going to drop, which player's prices are going to go up, stuff like that. Like, I don't study the auction house like that, but I know when there's going to be a crash. Small forward would be great for a backup. Um, if you want to take the time to evolve the Campus Legends Mellow, he's pretty good. He's outdated, of course, but he's still pretty good. Man, we're hitting all our shots now. In our last two or three games, we have been completely on fire. We have been destroying all these teams. Alex, you got to get rid of that Trey Young, man. That's all I got to say. You got to get rid of that Trey Young. I to say, if you want to have a competent defense, I think getting rid of the Trey Young is a good start. White Boy Rick says, are you going to try to do all the challenges today? Rick, I don't know. But I do know this. I'm certainly going to try. So anybody who has their pretty much entire day free and their night free, I'll be live. I'm going to try to get this done in one night. I might be too tired, but it's 30 games. Each game takes about 20, 25 minutes. I'm going to try. I'm definitely going to try. I have to say, I want to try to be one of the first people to get that Steph Curry. Like, even though he might not be all that good, even though he might be a bit of a defensive liability, I'm still going to try to get him. It's still some really good content. We've gained a few subs today, which is pretty cool. And we're going to test out that Steph Curry live on stream. It'll be pretty cool. Myers Leonard. Locker code just came out. I'm, I'm a fan of Myers Leonard, man. About to say. He's had a good year in Miami. This code has been out for one hour now. Yeah, someone mentioned it a while back. Someone mentioned it about an hour ago. I wasn't going to point it out, but it's kind of true. 
Armin, I'm on game number seven. I'm on game seven. Out of 30. So we already finished the Southeast Division. Right now we're working on the Central Division. Central Division. Justin said that's about 12 hours. Oh, I know. About to say, I came into the stream knowing how long this was going to take. I know how long it's going to take. Like I said, I'm not 100% certain that this is going to take... Like, I'm not 100% sure this is going to finish. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get this all done in one stream. Like, y'all are going to have to find out at the same time I do. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to finish this. We're going to have to find out. I might. I might not. If I don't finish it today, I'll definitely finish it tomorrow. Definitely. Alex said, I'm not a my team main. I mean, eh, I was. But I'm really not anymore. Earlier in the year, I was a my team machine. But I wish I'd played more park. I'm only a superstar one. And I have a really good winning percentage, man. I feel like if I'd focused on my career in park all year, I could be an elite. Not a legend. Not a legend, but definitely an elite. Probably an elite one. Not an Elite 2 or anything crazy like that, but just a nice Elite 1. But instead, I'm a superstar because I've played less than a thousand games. But nah, the offline modes in my team, like even if you don't get really good players as rewards, like you're going to get some really good stuff. You're going to get a lot of MT. You're going to get a lot of tokens. And those tokens have some pretty good value. As the year goes on, 2K improves the players in the token market, so even the pink diamond token rewards are pretty good. There's some good diamond ones too. And you can get some good diamonds from Spotlight Sim, some good pink diamonds from the historic Spotlight Sim. And if you grind for Larry Bird, those opals aren't that bad. Dennis Robbins solid, Mikhail's solid, Paul Pierce is pretty good, even though he can't shoot from the corner even though he can't shoot it from the corner. Oh yeah. Come on, man. That was good defense until he caught the ball again. But yeah. Manute is trash. He's slow and not a great defender. That is one complaint I've heard about Manute Bowl this year. He's not mobile enough. And for a center who is so long, you got to be a bit more mobile. But he is able to hit the jump shot. And people love that. People love that. Sometimes I do wish my team was a bit more realistic. So it wasn't where, like, literally everybody can shoot. But, yeah. I feel like some players, they only have value because they're able to shoot. Like, imagine if that Manute Bull couldn't shoot. Like, imagine what his value would be. It would be very low if you couldn't shoot. Even lower than it is now. If you want a giant that's actually kind of decent, decent, get Kristaps. Kristaps good. And like I just said, he has value because he can shoot. That team by this time of the year is a zero. Almost going into the negatives. I didn't see the team. I need to scroll up and check it out. About to say, I didn't see the team, but it's not letting me scroll up far enough. So I sadly don't think I'll be able to see it. But nah, Christopher's kind of right. At this time of the year, I mean, they're more or less giving out pink diamonds and opals for free. Like, if you literally just win five games of these challenges, or ten games of the Larry Bird challenges, you're going to get an opal. If you go on the auction house... You're gonna get a pink diamond for like, you can get it for like 5,000, some of them. Some of them are like 10,000, a few of them are like 20,000. But you can get really good players on the auction for really cheap. So like, I mean, it doesn't take too much to get a good team, but I mean, some people don't play my team a lot. So I understand why some people don't have like all opal teams. But you can definitely get an all pink diamond team just by playing these challenges and saving up MT. I will say this. I think playing Domination at this point in the year is pretty much pointless because of all these new challenges. 
all these new challenges that came out just made the like the domination games and the triple threat offline games just look kind of pointless i mean if you can play five games to get an opal and 30 games total for seven opals you might as well do that instead of playing 33 games for an amethyst right I'm gonna get this little mismatch with Kobe. If I miss the fadeaway, I'll get the rebound. Check the auction and see how much it goes for. Hey, we're two likes away from 100. It's not even 2 p.m. yet. And we're about to hit 100 likes, man. You guys have been killing it today, for real. You guys have been impressive. Thank you guys for a huge stream so far, man. And the crazy thing is that it might not even be halfway over. I don't know how long the stream is going to go, but you guys have absolutely killed it. Thank you guys for an awesome stream so far. I knew it was going to be a big one when I saw the new Spotlight Sims, but man, you guys have taken it to another level today. I'm telling you, man, sometimes when you get a big lead, these games go by so slow. About to say, I know it's not a blowout. We're up 32-16. But at this point of the game, I already know. I'm not going to blow this lead. I already know it. So it's tough playing through the rest of this, knowing that I'm not going to have to worry much. But, like, at the end of the day, all that matters is that we're, we're going to win this game. I don't think we're going to take a single L today. I know some of the games, like against the Lakers, are going to be tough. But I'm not really worried about these Eastern Conference teams. The Bulls might be tough, though. The Bulls might be tough, but I'm really not worried about them. If we can just hit shots like this the entire game, we're going to be all right. Justa said no one really wants George Gervin. Man, that's crazy. I'm about to say, it's crazy like how many Opals, who have really good stats, have just lost their value. If that Galaxy Opal George Ir George Gervin came out early in the year, his stats with his like price would be crazy. The amount of people that would want that Ice Man, it would be crazy. But at this point in the year, nobody really cares about a Galaxy Opal George Gervin. About to say, I remember his Pink Diamond wasn't even that good. Alex, don't use that card. He has five Hall of Fame badges. I got double teamed because I was looking at the chat. That's tough. I'm using a budget squad for these, and I'm running Diamond Rewards Simmons. But his card is just good for dunking. Yeah, the thing is, notice how the newer diamonds this year, like the Cam Reddish, the Rui Hachimura, guys like that, notice how those diamonds have so many more badges than the diamonds from early in the year. There's a pink diamond, <coughs> excuse me. So there's a pink diamond Jalen Rose. He's a collection reward. He literally has no Hall of Fame badges. He's a 6'7 point guard, but he has no value. Nobody ever uses him because he has zero Hall of Fame badges. His shot's not terrible, but if you're a pink diamond with no Hall of Fame or a gold with less than like, no, no matter how many, no matter what you are, if you don't have those Hall of Fame badges, it's, it's going to be tough for you, man. It's going to be tough. If you have 35 to 40 Hall of Fame badges, you're going to be all right. Jalen Rose, Opal is goaded. Yeah, the Opal's a lot better than the Pink Diamond. It's not amazing, but definitely an upgrade. Definitely an upgrade. Now, Alex, I will say this. There are a lot of guys in the chat talking about your team and the guys you should and shouldn't use. I say this every single stream pretty much when guys come in here and ask about like what players they should pick up. It really comes down to personal preference, man. There might be one card who a lot of guys enjoy using and other guys just don't like him. For example, there might be a guy who one person is really good at getting the release with 
but somebody else isn't. It comes down to personal preference, man. Some people I know don't like this Hakeem at all, but I think he's one of the best bigs in the game. Some people think Embiid is slow, not very good. I think his jump shot's great. I think he has amazing speed, and he can clamp up on D. It really comes down to personal preference at the end of the day. Some people might love this Steph Curry that I'm going for right now. Some people might not like him at all. Some people might not like him, man. I guess we'll have to find out how good he is. I have to say, my starting point guard is Gilbert Arenas, so he should be better than Gilbert, right? In theory, he should be better than Gilbert because he has the badges, he has the stats. But I guess we'll have to find out. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful pass by Kobe. But, yeah, if you're trying to build your team out of pink diamonds this year, you can actually put together a really good team with just pink diamonds at this point in the year. If you play Historic Spotlight Sim, you can get some really good pink diamonds from there. You can get Joe Caldwell on the auction house for cheap. Michael Red's pretty good on the auction house for cheap. Dino Raj is one of the best pink diamonds in the game, also cheap. Thurl Bailey's pretty good. That pink diamond rose is pretty good if you want a smaller PG. There are a lot of good pink diamond players at this point in the game, man. And it's because 2K has done a lot to upgrade the badges of the pink diamonds. So it comes down to personal preference, but also it depends on like what tier, what gem color team you're trying to build. Curry's great for offense, but he's too little for my team. And I know what you mean, Justa. I know what you mean by that. Because you see so many guys running Goat Magic Johnson, Galaxy Opal LeBron at the point guard, Galaxy Opal KD, Jonathan Isaac. There are a lot of guys who can body that Steph Curry. And he doesn't have Hall of Fame post-move lockdown. So it makes it kind of tough to run him versus so many big PGs when they can move just as fast and defend. Chase Watson says, what player are you doing now? Chase, right now I'm working on Rip Hamilton. We're on game number two of the Central Division. We just finished the Southeast two games ago. We got Steve Smith, and right now we're going for that Rip Hamilton. This is looking like it's going to be a pretty easy rest of the game. Yeah, we're up 21, making it look easy. Man, we've been balling out this stream. Not a single game's been close. We're about to hit 100 likes. We've gained a lot of new subs. It's been a great stream so far. And like I've been saying, I don't think it's even close to ending. I might go ahead and try to knock out the entire thing in one stream, to be honest with you. It's been that fun, for sure. Alex says, should I pick up Vince? Oh, his Opal's a little bit outdated. Has he gotten a new Opal? I don't think he has. He's good, but at this point in the year, he doesn't have a lot of value. Look at this triple team. Oh my gosh. They're out here triple teaming. They're double teaming Kobe every time he catches it. I hadn't even taken a dribble yet and they were double teaming. I know you guys saw that. Doc, should I keep Galaxy Opal Lonzo? I'm going to be honest. I have not been using him much today, but I think Galaxy Opal Lonzo is really good. Like, I really enjoy his jump shot. He's very good on defense. I don't know why his price is so low, but I do really like using him. I really like that Lonzo. I haven't used him much because today I've barely made any subs, but like, I think he's good. And he's very good at the value he's currently at right now. I think he's solid. I know he's cheap. I know there are better point guard options for like around the same price. But like, for everything he does on the court, Opalonzo is one of my favorite PGs. I heard the Supersonics player is good. Uh, Detlef Schrempf. Detlef Schrempf. I've heard he's pretty good too. We're going to have to find out though. We're going to have to find out. I've heard some people say the best one is Steve Smith. That's what I've heard some people say, but I guess we'll have to find out later. I just picked him up, but I haven't used him yet. I guess I could use him soon, but I'm not trying to use contracts for real. I'm going to start try-harding my team next year. 
because I don't really care this year. I feel you. I mean, at this point in the year, I mean, everyone pretty much has a godly team. So it's hard to care a ton when guys have been grinding the mode the entire year. But now you have more knowledge for next year. You have more knowledge for my team next year. Before I quit my team this year, before I kind of gave up on it, you could say, I was having a lot of fun with my team. And I learned a lot from my team in 2K19. So that's why I was able to have a pretty good team for all of 2K20. Until I stopped playing. Until I stopped playing. But 2K released way too many Opals way too quickly this year. And I think that's what killed the mode for a lot of people early in the year. That's definitely what killed it for me. I don't think I played 2K19 or 2K20 from like early January to like late February. So almost two months I took off from playing the game. Abs says, is getting the GOAT Stephen Curry timed? Don't worry, it is not. I know it says it's timed, but it's not. They did the same thing with Larry Bird. A lot of people were wondering if it's timed, but keep in mind, man, these challenges take a long time. It's a long grind. They're not going to make you finish them in like one day. But since I have time, since I finished all my homework, we're going to try to finish these in one day. Because why not? But no, it's not timed. Got to say, we have 35 people in here witnessing the grind. You guys might get to see me get this Stephen Curry later. But he might not. I seriously don't know. Uh, Alex, the Goat Larry Bird, is very good. The Goat Larry Bird is a beast. About to say, I know I missed that last three-pointer with him, but made that one. Hey, abs, no problem. Get to grinding, man. If you're a my team player, it's time for you to start grinding. Daniel Chavez, I'm on game number seven. One quarter left. And we are 7 out of 30 games to getting the man, Mr. Curry. Wardell. One more quarter, man. We haven't really had a problem with any team so far. Every single game's been a blowout. Even the Hall of Fame games have been relatively easy. So if we can just keep on shooting the ball like we have been and keep on playing good enough defense, we're going to be okay. Y'all know I'm not really worried about it. These games are just nice and chilled out. I have a chance to talk to you guys while I'm playing the games because I'm not locked in like that. About to say, I'm not try-harding these games or anything. You guys know that. I'm just chilling, talking to you guys, and catching up with y'all because yesterday was my first time streaming in almost a month, so gotta catch up with you guys. But at the same time, we have a lot of new viewers in here too. So I'm meeting all the new viewers and catching up with the old ones. The OGs, as you might say. Doc, should I keep glitched Shaquille O'Neal? I'll be honest, man. I'm not a big fan of Glitch Shaq. I'm really not a big fan. Yeah, he has good stats. Yeah, he's able to hit the three, but there are so many big men with better, quicker releases. And Shaq's shot is just so slow. Even though he's able to shoot it, even though he has Limitless, or Range Extender Hall of Fame, I I'm just not a big fan of his shot. Alex says Rodman's trash. Rodman's actually one of my favorite players on my team. I'm a big fan of that Rodman. I don't think he's trash at all. I to say, just because a player has a bad release doesn't mean they suck. I look at the things Rodman can do on defense, and I think he's good because of that. How many days are these challenges for? Uh, rest of the year. These challenges are available for the rest of the year, so however many days are left in this game's lifespan, those challenges will be available. What's your question, Daniel? Oh, that was your question? I'm dumb for that, I'm sorry. I just sold the Nets playbook for 7k. That Nets playbook's in high demand, but I don't have it. I have pretty much every single playbook except for the Nets playbook. Which I know is weird. You guys are probably like, Doc, how do you win games without the Nets playbook? I mean, if you just play good defense and drive and kick and get open shots, 
and run a little bit of an offense, a freelance, you're going to be okay. Shaq was great, and his release was, I don't want to say. That glitch Shaq is still good. He's still very good. Really good post score, and a solid shooter, but like, you can't just go off the dribble and pull up like you could with Shaq last year. Last year, you could put Shaq at the PG and just do whatever you wanted with him, but this year, I mean, you just can't do that because his shot is so slow. Last year, you could pull up and his shot was so fast and shooting was so buffed in NBA 2K19 that you can make anything you shot from anywhere. This year is different. Shaq's shot is slow, and unless you green those moving threes, they're not going to fall. They're not going to go in for Shaq, despite his high three-point rating. And Alex, I understand why you think Rodman sucks. You're definitely not the only person who does. But I'm a big fan of him because he's such a good finisher in the paint. And he's an amazing perimeter defender. So I understand why you say that. But his release is kind of slow. I agree with you. His release is a bit slow. Larry Bird. Ah, Hakeem. I was trying to guess who player the game was. I was wrong. Alright guys, two minutes left until we got our seventh game in the books. You guys are witnessing history. It's not as crazy as when I got James Harden, and it's not as crazy as when I got Kobe for sure. And I don't even think this is going to be as crazy as when I got Larry Bird, but what I do know is that this is going to be an awesome grind. What's up Marcos Gaming? Welcome to the stream. Hey man, we're at 99 likes. Whoever wants to be like number 100, now's your time to shine. Now's your time to step up if you haven't liked the stream yet. Whoever is like number 100, you win. I don't know what you win, but you win. Which Galaxy Opal did you get from the last five games? I got, man, uh, Steve Smith. I almost forgot who it was, but Steve Smith. What's up, Caden Miller? Chris8512, or, or Crit8512, excuse me. I'm on game number seven. Game, well, it's almost over. We're about to be on game number eight. Y'all know I'm not really rushing to get through these games, though. Just chilling and playing through the games. Oh, yeah. They gotta stop with the double teams. These CPUs are silly. Less than a minute left. This game's looking like it's over. I don't think a comeback's in the works. I think this should be a nice, chill ending to the game. Game 7 in the books. I think after this we play versus the... We just played the Pistons. We finished the Bucks. I think the Cavaliers are team number 4 and the Bulls are team number 5. I can't remember who team number 3 is. What team am I forgetting in that division? Is the Pistons, the Bucks? I can't remember the three other. Oh, the Pacers. The Pacers. It's the Pacers, then the Cavs, then the Bulls. Okay. It took a second for me to think of that, but there we go. Carson, I don't know why you're asking me that question. You could just Google it. You could just Google it. That's a question like, is the earth flat? I mean, you could just Google that. I don't know why you're asking it in my stream. You could just Google it. There we go. Seven games down. 23 games to go. So we have cut out a really good fraction of the games in less than four hours. In less than four hours, we've been doing some pretty good work. We've finished seven games in about three hours and 20 minutes. That's pretty good. What game are you on right now? About to be game number eight. We have finished seven games, so we're making some pretty good progress. Making some very good progress, actually. Okay, Pacers, Cavs, Bulls. This Pacers game should be pretty easy. 
They're going to have Paul George. They're going to have Danny Granger. They're going to have a pretty good team, but I think we're going to be all right. I'm not really worried about them. They do have an all Opal starting lineup, but you guys know I'm not really worried about Sabonis or Mel Daniels or Steven Jackson, Jalen Rose. Eh, Paul George is pretty good. <laughs> My man said Google it. I mean, I, I have two dogs, so I don't think they're ugly. But I mean, that's like asking, is the earth flat? Which I know a lot of people do believe it is. Matt Cars said Flight will cry if he saw this opal. Hey man, Flight's probably gonna grind for this opal. Goat Steph Curry, Flight should start grinding for this opal, man. If he saw this opal, I think he, I think he'd piss his pants. Feed that ball to some bonus. Let's hit him with that hook. Oh no! I meant to go the other way. Chris said the Bulls is going to be so tough. I thought the Heat was going to be tough. Then they turned out to be terrible. It was a little bit of a disappointment. You guys were probably like, oh man, this is going to be an amazing, intense game five. It's going to come down to the wire. You are going to get that Opal Steve Smith by the skin of your teeth. It's going to be intense. But then we won by 40. So hopefully they give us a better challenge. Look at Curry, man. Can dunk over Taco Fall. Yeah. Got to say, this Curry's going to be a beast. He may be a bit of a defensive liability, but he's going to be a beast. He's going to be a beast. Oh, come on. I'm surprised Sabonis didn't dunk that. I thought that was going to be a guaranteed score for them. And they're double teaming already. Look at this. All you got to do is move the ball around, and you're going to get some easy shots. Carson said, Doc, I'm so horrible. I think I gotta go. I don't think you're that bad, but I'll see you around if you actually gotta go. I will see you around. I do appreciate you dropping by. I don't think you're that horrible, though. I think you're a pretty chill dude. You just ask some silly questions. That's about it. Chris says, Can I call you Chris? I don't want to say Chris 8512. Can I call you Chris? I'm gonna call you Chris. I mean... If you have a good enough team, you'll be fine on any difficulty, man. The Hall of Fame CPU is not really built like that this year. Hall of Fame CPU is pretty easy to beat this year. Look at this. They're double teaming. There's always somebody open. Oh, crap. I guess there wasn't anybody open right there. They made me look silly right there. Wow. That was an easy little steal. Made that look a little too easy. But, oh, my God. I was just talking about why are they double teaming, but I turned it over back to back times. The Pacers are making me look silly right now. These Pacers are like, Phew. CP the Doc, who? This guy's a bum. But nah, they're making me look like a bum right now. What's up, Lil Johnson? Welcome to the stream. Don't feel like I've ever seen you say something in the stream, so I'm going to assume you're new and give you a warm welcome. Well, like I've been saying a lot of times during the stream today, man, if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you're subscribed. About to say, whether you like my commentary or my gameplay, it really helps the channel grow. My goal is to hit 2.67 subs by the end of the stream, and we've already hit 100 likes, so you guys have been absolutely killing it today. It's been an awesome stream. You guys have made it really fun. Man, I'm only shooting deep threes. I low-key got to be a little bit smarter than this. I'm taking some terrible shots. And we're only up by eight. So this game is close, and they're making me look silly with my turnovers. This game's a little bit too close. Any rookies who you think are going to be future MVPs? Are you talking about in this, like, next class, or are you talking about rookies in the NBA right now? About to say, I don't know if any of the rookies that are being drafted, like, in a few months are capable of being MVPs, but, like, 
I think that there are some guys in the NBA right now who could be future MVPs for sure. Doc, I get made fun of because I have autism. I mean, my cousin has autism, so I know how that is. Don't let it get to you, man. You didn't mention that earlier. Earlier you mentioned you had, you got bullied, but he said you hit somebody in the face too. That might have been somebody else, but I think it was you. Daniel says Ja or Zion. For rookie of the year, I gotta go Ja, but Zion's definitely the better player. But Ja, he definitely deserves rookie of the year. He's gonna win it. I know a lot of people want to argue for Zion, but Ja is definitely rookie of the year, for sure. But yeah, um, future MVPs, both Zion and Ja, are definitely capable. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to make a bold statement here. I think Brandon Clark from the Grizzlies is a top five rookie. I, I said it, but he's never going to be a future MVP, but he's a really good complimentary piece for Ja Morant in the future. Earlier, I was talking about the Grizzlies' young players, and I forgot to mention Brandon Clark. Brandon Clark's looking like one of the best, like, I wouldn't say he's the best center in the league, or one of the best big men, but his efficiency is, like, off the charts. His efficiency is amazing. He plays with amazing energy. He's not a terrible shooter. He actually is one of the best floater shooters in the league. I don't know if you guys care about that. But you can't sag off of him because he's going to shoot that little floater hook thing. And he's a really good, really intense finisher. He's a great defender. I think he's a top five rookie for sure. So they, the Grizzlies have Brandon Clark. They have Valanchunas. They have Jaron Jackson, John ja Morant, Dylan Brooks. They got a solid young core, man. I'm excited for the Grizzlies low key. I live kind of close to Memphis, so it's pretty cool that the Grizzlies are looking better. If I give you something, can you grind out my Spotlight Sims? Maybe. Depends on what. What's up, 95L? Welcome to the stream. You couldn't make it to my first stream yesterday, so it's nice seeing you in here today. Welcome to the stream, man. I hope you're doing all right. And it's nice to have you back. And really, it's just nice to have the streams back. Is it me? Or can the Marc Gasol shoot very well? I like that Marc Gasol. I like the Opal Mark Gasol, but I don't know, man. He's a little bit—he's a little bit too slow, and his animations are a little bit clunky for me. But he is very good. I agree with you. Doc, do you like music? No offense, that's another question you can Google. I don't think there's a single person out there who doesn't like music. I do like music, though. To answer your question, I do like music. That's a very fundamental question, though. About to say, I think everyone likes music, though. Don't get too offended by don't get too offended by that. Will the Clippers or the Lakers win the championship? It's tough for me not to say Lakers, man. Even though the Clippers are the deeper team, I think the I think the Lakers are better equipped to win the championship because I don't know, man. I feel like at their best, Anthony Davis and LeBron as a duo are better than Kawhi and PG. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. The Clippers have some big guys. They have some good defenders, but like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, when you think about it, the thing that the Clippers are missing is like a playmaker. And I know they have guys who can make plays. They have Kawhi, he can make a pass. Paul George can make a simple pass. Pat Beverly can make a pass. Lou Williams, all those guys can make a pass. But they don't have a guy like LeBron or Luka Doncic who can, like, find the open guy and create some shots for everybody. Hey, Christian, no problem. I'll see you later. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that sub button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a stream. If you enjoyed it, at least. But yeah, as I was saying, that's the one thing the Clippers are missing. Out of all their best players... None of them, like, they don't have any, like, natural playmakers, is what I'd call them. If they had a guy like a CP3 or LeBron, somebody like that, they'd be all right. But I think the one thing that they're going to wish they have is that, like, playmaker. 
Kawhi can hit tough shots. Paul George can score really well. Lou Williams can score very well. Montrez is a good big man. Marcus Morris can be a plus for you if he's hitting his shots. And he's a big body on defense. Pat Beverly can play defense. They have a lot of good guys, but like, they, I think they need that primary playmaker. Mr. Beast, I'm glad that my team screams are back too. If I had to suggest a team for LaMelo, that's tough. That's tough. I feel like you, you would want a team with a good veteran PG who can tell Melo to slow down because he's a very talented player. He plays at a very fast speed, though. He plays fast, and that's not a bad thing, but he's also got to play under control. And that can be a tough thing for young players. Like, we saw with, like, rookie John Wall, sometimes he'll play a little bit too fast. He'll get in the paint, and he won't really know what to do with the ball. He'll get caught in the air, but there'll be a big man right there, so he can't make a pass or shoot it. So he'll kind of just awkwardly turn it over. Melo might make some plays like that. And he's going to need a good veteran PG. I feel like a good team for him would be, honestly, a team like the Celtics. If we're talking about, like, best fit. If he could learn from someone like Kemba Walker, who plays fast. Or if he could learn from somebody like, even Goran Dragic. Somebody like that. I'm trying to think of teams that, like, even though they're in the playoffs, could get a high draft pick. Can't think of many, but... A good team for Melo would be like any team with a good veteran PG and shooters around him so he has space to operate. So I want to say the Knicks, but that's just simply not true. He could learn some from Alfred Payton. I know Alfred Payton's kind of a meme, but he's like actually not even that bad of a PG. There's a lot of shooters on the Knicks. Damian Dotson, Wayne Ellington, Reggie Bullock, who can surround him. But then you see Julius Randle, who hijacks the offense a little bit. And, yeah, I don't know if Julius Randle and Melo would really work together. I mean, I don't even know if R.J. Barrett and Melo would work together. I seriously don't know. But, I mean, the veteran PG, Alfred Payton's there. He knows how to play under control. Melo has some skills that, like, clearly Alfred Payton doesn't have. They have Mitchell Robinson, who's very good catching lobs and is a great defender. The Knicks have some, some good pieces. They just need everything to come together. And they could use some better shooters. Justice says Warriors got Wiseman. I mean, Wiseman, you would think he'd be a good fit. Because you have Clay, you have Curry at the one and the two, you have Wiggins at the three, Draymond at the four, and Wiseman at the five, but I feel like if the Warriors were able to trade that pick and Andrew Wiggins for somebody to play the four or the five, I think they would. We'll have to see, though. Justice says, LaMelo needs a team that will give him the green light. And the Hawks, they have given Trey the green light. They're completely building around Trey Young. Like, that's why they're looking for guys who can defend, like DeAndre Hunter, like Cam Reddish, Clint Capella, John Collins. They're looking for guys who can maybe, you know, be good defenders. Because Trey Young is, like, a huge defensive liability. But notice how Trey Young is not the only guy who has had permission to do like whatever he wants. Rick Carlisle is a very systematic coach. And when Rondo got traded to the Mavericks, the reason why he failed is because like Carlisle was trying to run plays through him and stuff and Rondo didn't like that. Rondo likes to have the ball in his hands all the time and do his own thing. So, yeah. That's why Rondo didn't succeed in Dallas. But Rick Carlisle kind of just let Luka do whatever he wants. So Luka and Trey Young are actually in very similar situations where they can just do whatever they want. They're surrounded by shooters. They can just take over the offense. They can just take over the offense, do whatever they want. Should I build a squad around Curry and Larry? That sounds like a decent team. Go, go for it, man. I mean, there's less than two months left until this game's pretty much dead, so it's now or never. It's now or never. Yeah, Luka has the green light. Trey Young has the green light. James Harden definitely has the green light. You look at a lot of guys around the league who have that green light. They can just do whatever they want to. And they can get away with it, too. If they make a mistake, it's all good. Just get back, and you got the ball next time. Yeah. 
There, other than those guys, there aren't many guys who have the green light. And the reason why Trey has the green light is because, like, I mean, who else is going to... Like, who else are they going to run the offense through? Cam Reddish? I mean, they can't really run it through John Collins, but he can be a great, like, complimentary scorer to Trey Young. Possibly an all-star. You never know. Luka has it because, I mean, you just give him the ball, surround him with good shooters, and... Yeah, Mavericks are a good team. And then James Harden. I mean, the Rockets, their system's completely around James Harden. So you, there aren't many other situations like the one in Dallas, in Atlanta, in Houston. But I feel like if you built a team around Giannis, like it was just Giannis and four shooters like what the Bucks do right now. And like if you built a team around Ben Simmons and let him do that, I feel like Ben Simmons could be... Maybe not as successful as Giannis, but close because, I mean, he doesn't shoot threes, so that's a big deal. Carson says, should I keep Pink Diamond Minute Bull? 95L, he kept it short and sweet. He said, no. Alex says, I've been paying too much attention to the stream. I'm losing by three now. Oh, man, I'm telling y'all. If y'all are playing the game right now, if y'all are grinding these challenges too, if you guys can't talk to me as much, that's okay. Because I know you guys got to make sure you win. Because losing these challenges, kind of a waste of time. I mean, why take an L and play the game again when you can just win and you never have to play it again, you know? Why take an L when you can win? What's up, Russ May 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 Baroda? Okay, I didn't see your name immediately. Best buy now Opal for 150k or less. I don't really know the auction house. I've been saying that a lot today, but someone in the chat might come through for you. I'm not sure. Someone in the chat can probably check the auction house and get back to you on that one. I know Pascal is really good. A lot of guys in the chat have been talking about him. There are a lot of good Opals I know, man, but I don't know their prices, so... The guys in the chat are a good source for you. Either way, Russ, welcome to the stream. If you enjoy the content, you guys in the chat know what I'm about to say. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're enjoying it. If you're not enjoying it, fair enough. But yeah. I seriously don't know many of the Opals in the auction house, man. I know the guys who are Opals. I know the guys who are by now. I know that Karolinko is a good one, but he's lost value because there's a new Opal, Karolinko. There are a lot of good Opals I know about who've just lost value. I remember Lonzo has always been pretty good in my opinion, but he's by now. He's lost a lot of value. And then there are the Opals who just never had much value in the first place, like Trey Young who's always been a bit of a defensive liability. I mean, what was I about to say? Caruso, I remember he was always pretty much a buy now Opal. A lot of guys like Taco have lost value. A lot of Opals who used to be seen as just fire have lost their value because the year's gone on and 2K's made their upgrades to the Opals. It's just the circle of life, man. That's one of the most real things I'm going to say today. It's the circle of life. It happens. Players lose their value. Other players gain a little bit of value. It happens. That was a super in-depth, serious-sounding talk about 2K Galaxy Opals. Oh, come on. Rick Smith almost stole that with his armpit. Oh, yeah. Caruso's the worst Opal. I don't know if he's the worst. I think Nate Archibald's pretty bad, too. He is shorter than Caruso. He can't dunk and is worse on defense. So, he's pretty bad. And Gus Williams is pretty bad, too. But then again, those guys, you can just get them for free by opening the vault. So, I mean, the worst buy now Opal is definitely Caruso. Unless you want to, I don't know, man. Kai FN says, you so underrated. And I appreciate it, man. I really do. My goal as a YouTuber is one day to not be underrated. It's that simple. 
I could say a million subs, I could say a hundred thousand, but hey man, one day when people come in the chat and don't say that anymore, I'll be in the good, I'll, I'll be in a good place. And Kai, I really do appreciate when people say that, when people say I deserve more subs, but at the end of the day, I gotta work for my subs, man. Gotta work for it. Got to say. If I deserve more, I should be able to get more someday. We'll have to see, though. We'll have to see. Goat Kareem or Goat Larry? Uh, definitely Kareem. Definitely Kareem. I have Larry, and my friend let me use his account one day, and he had Kareem. And Kareem is definitely the better player. Why are they sagging off Embiid? Grant says, how long will it take to complete all the challenges? Um, if you win every game, a little less than 15 hours. Kai FN says, I subbed on all my accounts. I appreciate it. Just saying, though, you don't have to sub on every account. You don't have to if you don't want to. Sometimes YouTube might see that as spam, and they'll just delete those subs. But nah, as long as you guys are subbed on one account, that's all I'm asking for, man. I appreciate everybody who subscribed, everybody who's liked, everybody who enjoys the streams and supports my channel. I appreciate every single one of you, man. Welcome back, Jax the Axe. Welcome back to the stream. But yeah, Grant, um, to answer your question again, or to revisit your question, should take a little less than 15 hours. I am about to finish game number 8, and it hasn't even been 4 hours, so... I'm on a pretty good pace. I'm on a very good pace. 15 hours total, which means if you just play for about two and a half hours a day for six days, which is a pretty good amount of time to play, pretty healthy, two and a half hours for six days in a row, you're going to get that curry. Kai FN says, I like watching you because you're chill and actually real. But then Kai FN said, RESPOND! Hey, chill out, man. I try to read everybody's chats, but sometimes a few of the chats, I can't read them all, man. A lot of you guys are talking. I gotta say, I got a lot of guys talking in the chat, so I can't reply to everything, but I do try my best to. I definitely try my best. Welcome back, 13. Roll it. Uh, Justa, I don't think De'Aaron Fox has the green light. Not in the same capacity as James Harden does or Trey Young or guys like that. He has the green light, but, I mean, yeah. He has the green light, but, I mean, there are so many other scorers on the Kings. There's Buddy Heald. Even though he doesn't have as much of a green light as he used to when Dave Yeager was the coach. Yeah, Luke Walton, I'm not a big fan of him as the Kings coach, to be honest. Oh, Kai FN. I'm sorry that I misinterpreted your chat. I thought you were yelling at me to respond. People have done that before. People have done that before, so... I was just... I thought that you might have been doing it, too. But yeah, man. I mean, I enjoy replying to you guys. I mean, I'm up by 35 right now, man. I'm not sweating out the game. I know I'm gonna win. I really don't care about the outcome. I know I'm gonna win, so I just talk to you guys in the chat during the game. Thank you for subscribing, by the way, Jacob. I appreciate it. Oh, no, he said sub to my channel. I thought he was saying sub as in he subscribed, but instead he's self-promoting. That's tough. I thought Jacob was saying I subbed, but he was saying sub to my channel. Those little half messages can be a little bit misleading. Like, sometimes people will be like in the chat, you are great. But then they'll say, but you're fat. And I'll be like, I'm not fat. Come on, man. That's tough. But yeah. I appreciate all the new subs I've gotten today. Because we have gotten a lot of new subs today. And we've averaged over 30 viewers today. Which is always a huge stream. Kai FN says, you so chill about everything. I mean, being chill is better than raging. I about to say, I've gotten mad before. But, I mean, when I play these offline game modes and just talk to you guys, I don't really get mad. Daniel, I'm doing good. I'm doing very well. Doc, my dog ate a cigarette. Do you think it's going to be fine? 
I mean, they always say don't let dogs eat chocolate, but I know people who willingly feed their dogs chocolate, so you never know. If dogs are fine eating chocolate, maybe they'll be fine eating a cigarette. It depends on whether or not it's used or not. If it's used, it might be kind of screwed. But if it's not, it should be good. Welcome back, Garrett Owen. Hope you're doing alright today. We are 20 seconds away from finishing game number 8, so we're on a pretty good pace. We're on a very good pace today. It hasn't even been four hours, and we've already finished eight out of 30 games. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get the stream going for 15 hours. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to finish every single game, but if I'm too tired, I might not be able to. I might not be able to, but we'll see. We'll see. Platinum says, Doc, just continue this type of content. It's pretty neat. I appreciate it, Platinum. You're the man. I appreciate that. I like the content where I can just sit here and talk to you guys. I'll sit here, talk to y'all, get some new viewers in here, gain some new subs, get a lot of likes on the stream. Every now and then I'll get a donation too. And every now and then somebody will become a member as well. It's pretty awesome, man. It's a fun thing to do. Especially since this is what I would be doing anyway. For a lot of you guys who are sitting there playing the game while listening to my stream, I would be doing the same thing if I wasn't streaming right now. Like, if I wasn't a creator, I would be doing the exact same thing. So, my mindset when I stream and when I play these games is that I would be doing the same thing without the cameras on. So, that's my mindset. I'm like, I'm doing it anyway, so why not let you guys watch it? This is going to be an interesting game. Definitely better than the last game we played. Except, Darius Miles at the power forward is interesting, and Kevin Love at the center is also interesting. No offense to Kevin Love. I, I actually really like him as a player. I just don't think Kevin Love's Opal is very good. How do I become a member? So when I get my money, I will. The link is in the description. The membership link is at the very top of the description. We have 31 people in here, so I think this is a decent time to talk about memberships. It'll be quick. It'll be quick. Memberships are $2. It's cheap. You get a bunch of exclusive CP the Doc emojis. You get some membership badges next to your name, like Anthony Morgan has. Not sure if he's still in here, but you get some pretty cool membership badges and stuff. You get access to new videos early. You get a shout out in every single video. And more stuff I'm going to add in the future. For $2. Some of you guys make donations for like 7 or $8. That's enough to pay for 4 months of a membership. So, yeah, if anybody's interested in that stuff, link is in the description. Look at Anthony Morgan flexing that he's a member. He's got that gold badge on his name. But yeah. I mean, whether you're a member or not, like, that's a gotta say, I'm still gonna talk to you in the chat. You can still hang around and enjoy the content. You don't have to be a member to enjoy the CP the Doc experience. You don't have to be a member. Thomas says, I feel like it's a bit disrespectful to LeBron that Curry has a goat card before him. And, Thomas, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you're saying, but LeBron just got an Opal the other day, and I do think it's weird that Curry got the Opal, but yeah, I mean, Curry has the card with what, 63 Hall of Fame badges. I think LeBron definitely deserved a GOAT card, but I thought that before today, the GOAT cards were going to be for like, only retired players, but it's so weird that Curry got a GOAT card, because Kobe, Jordan, uh, Bird, Kareem, all those guys are like in the top five players ever, and they all have GOAT cards. So I was thinking the next GOAT card would be like Wilt Chamberlain since his last Opal came out like what, two or three months ago? I was thinking it would be Wilt Chamberlain. I was thinking it was going to be Bill Russell before they released the new Galaxy Opal Bill Russell, but like, I, I guess Curry's the guy they wanted to be the next Opal. 
Kai FN says, I'm becoming a member as soon as I get it. Hey, man. Like I just said, channel memberships are super cheap, and they give you access to a lot of cool things, so I'm not going to try to force any of you guys to buy memberships because I think you guys are cool whether you have a membership or not. I gotta say, if you're sub to me and you support me, I could care less if you're a member, man. I'm just glad you're here. And I mean that 100%. Grant says, look at Curry, man. And leading off of that, 95L says, is Flight gonna do these challenges? We're gonna have to see. Flight already has the buzzer beater Steph Curry, but you never know. This Steph Curry, GOAT Steph Curry, is gonna be pretty good too, so Flight might just do these challenges. We're gonna have to see. I think he should. I think it would be good content. If he takes an L, it'll be funny content for Flight's Plug. Yes, I'm subscribed to Flight's Plug. That guy makes money off Flight raging and taking Ls and posting them on YouTube. It's cool. It's funny. Can't really be upset about it. I'm playing terribly in this game. Have you guys noticed that? I'm playing really bad. I gotta shape up. I gotta start hitting my shots. Look at all these open shots I'm missing. If I'm not careful, I'm about to take an L. What's up, Packer the Player? Welcome back. Yeah, if I'm not careful, I'm about to lose. Y'all know I'm not gonna lose, though. Y'all know we're gonna be alright. About to say. We've been getting a lot of open shots. And my mentality is that if we're getting open shots but missing, I'd rather make or miss open shots than make super contested shots. We're getting good looks every time down the floor, and this is a 20 minute game. So even if we're down at the end of the first quarter, we're gonna be all right. As long as we're in the lead at the end of the game, I'm happy. If we lose, I will be very sad though. You might even see me break my controller. And this is a new controller too. There we go. I think they should have done a Goat Vince Carter instead of a Goat Curry. Hey man, a Goat Vince Carter would have been awesome. I would have loved a Goat Vince Carter. Especially since he's done in the NBA. Man, it's so sad that he's retiring. He was so good for so many years. Even this year with the Hawks he was a beast. But man, it's tough. Russ says the CPU makes almost all the shots. I mean, as long as you have guys with clamps and intimidator and all those good things, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. But no, I got to play some better defense. I've won every game so far in a blowout, but I've been terrible so far in this game, so... Let's get one more bucket to end the first... Okay, never mind. We're not getting a bucket. Bad first quarter, but as long as we end up with more points than the other team, we're going to be okay. We're getting open shots every single time down the floor, but we're shooting bricks. Tevin says, I just got Steve Smith. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. 95L said, Doc, it's Taco Tuesday kind of want some tacos now man I try to eat as healthy as I can but Taco Bell is pretty good I like Moe's too not a big Chipotle fan some people absolutely love Chipotle it's not bad but it's never my go-to Chipotle is my second or third option for Mexican food or well, fast food Mexican food you know because the sit-down Mexican places might be some of the greatest of all time. Those places like Moe's doesn't even compare to places like that. Welcome back, Chris. Uh, ben Ma Ben Macias or Macias. I hope I pronounced that right. This is game number nine. Game number nine. If we get this win, we only have 21 games left, which would be great. But I've been terrible on defense, so we got to start hitting our shots and we got to start pulling away. Because if I'm not careful, we might take an L. We might take an L. I'm missing so many open shots. I've been a little bit weak on defense. I might actually have to use my bench this game. Doc, are you going to vote for Kanye? 
That's a great question. That's a very good question right there. Um, I mean, I think it's a little bit late for him to be running for president, but, I mean, he has an album called Late Registration, so maybe everything's coming together, man. 2020's been a rough year. Maybe Kanye is trying to come and solve everything for us. You never know. You never know. What's up, 4PF Aaron? Welcome to the stream. Garrett Owen says, can you give me VC? I might do a VC giveaway when I hit 3,000 subs. Maybe. We'll see. Got to say, I think the people deserve a giveaway. I think the people deserve a giveaway, but I really don't know you very well, Garrett, so I can't give someone who I don't know a VC, you know? About to say, I don't just hand out VC. They're making some tough shots, too. I know I've been bad on defense, but they're hitting some tough shots, too. Like, right there, that layup was about 30% contested. I gotta get more greens. I know that's a deep shot, but I gotta get more greens. You guys are probably like, oh my god, Doc, you're the worst. How are you almost losing to the Cavaliers? I'll promise you guys, those open shots are gonna start falling. Those open shots are going to start falling. We're going to start getting those greens. Uh, Russ May Barota. My favorite team is the Knicks. I answer this question a lot. Somebody usually asks this question every stream. Favorite team is the Knicks. I know they're bad. And my second favorite team is the Hawks. So, my two favorite teams are pretty bad. But, I mean, I live close to the Hawks and I've been to more Hawks games than any other NBA games and... I've been a Knicks fan ever since 2012, so... Ooh, Kevin Love blocked that. Oh my gosh, I'm throwing too many turnovers, too. I know it's on Hall of Fame, but this is crazy. Low key. We might take an L. If I'm not careful, we could take an L. Look at all these open shots we're missing. I'm gonna actually... Oh, wait, one second. I was gonna put in my bench, but I did it wrong. I think we're about to take an L, guys. This could get rough if I'm not careful. We're getting open shots every time. But man, we're just not hitting our shots. Uh, Nick Cuppet. This is game number nine. If we win this game, 21 games remaining. But man, I'm playing terribly. My defense has been weak and I've been missing open shots. So we got to pull away a little bit. But y'all know I'm not really worried. I'm still reading the chat and talking to you guys. I'm not really at the point where I have to be silent and sweat because I'm down big. We got off to a bad start, but thankfully, we're still in the lead. I'm not at that point where I have to sweat and be silent. If I have to be silent, I'll be silent, but I don't think we're going to get to that point. I'm pretty confident that we're still going to win. But we're missing a lot of open shots. We're missing a sus amount of open shots. But the game is still close, which means if we can just start hitting our open shots, we can pull away. Maybe I should take a few more layups, too. Because I have really been relying on the three ball. And I have been giving up a lot of open layups, too. I don't know, man. I don't know. I haven't been playing the best, but I think we're going to be all right. But yes, we are eight and a half games in. Tough shot. I think, let's make this a two possession game. Let me pop this three. I know Dr. J's release, so I knew I wasn't going to miss that shot. That's the thing. We've been getting a lot of open shots, but they just haven't been falling, so that's the focus. Second half, we are gonna... These Cavaliers aren't even gonna know what hit them in the second half. You guys better sit back. You guys better put on your seatbelts, because we are about to destroy the Cavaliers in the second half. You guys better buckle up, because this is gonna be... This is about to get wild. 
these Cavaliers fans are like, oh man, we're only down by five. Guess what? I was about to say you're down by eight, but I missed the open shot. That's been the narrative, man. We've been missing all these open shots. We're going to be all right, though. Then there's Johnson. Then there's Irving. And it's Robinson in at the center. Irving finds... Just realized we're at 2.67. Hey, man. We started off the stream at 2.64. So 2.67 is pretty good. Thank you to everybody who subscribed. If you're in the chat and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Help me keep on growing this channel, man. Drop a like on the stream if you haven't already. And subscribe is a huge help, man. Gotta keep the channel growing every day. Hey, nice pass. That's what we gotta do. Play defense, run the floor. If we can do those things, we gonna be all right. Great defense. It's on Hall of Fame, though. So they're gonna make those tough shots. Pack of the player says maybe we can get 2.69. Hey, if we finish this stream with 2.69, that would be legendary. If we finish the stream with 2.69 thousand subs, that would be pretty, that'd be pretty inspirational, as a great man once said. That'd be pretty huge, so maybe, maybe. The stream's not even halfway over, so there's a lot of time left for us to maybe hit the majestic 2.69 thousand likes, er, subscribers, excuse me, excuse me. I mixed up those two things. Great play. Man, I've been relying way too much on the three ball. I've been relying way too much on that three ball. A great man did once say, you live and die by the three. You don't want to live and die by the three. And that's what we've been doing. And I've been playing some pretty bad D. So for those of you guys who are paying really close attention to the gameplay, this might actually be a pretty entertaining game. This might actually be a pretty entertaining game for you guys in the chat. 29% covered. I've been, I've been putting a hand up on a bunch of these shots, but for whatever reason, they've been hitting some contested BS. And we can't even make open shots. My starters have been cold shooting, but I'm going to sub them back in. My bench hasn't been terrible. Man, we're missing way too many open shots. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Shouldn't have done that. Thankfully, everyone has bailouts. Roll to the rim. Okay, starter's coming back in. Uh, WG Tybro. After this game's over, if I win which I might not even win because I'm playing terribly. We only have 21 games left. So we're making some good progress, but man, it's been, this game's been rough. This game's been a rough one. All right, Carson, I'll see you. It's been a rough game, man, but as long as we win, it's okay. I mean, if I was up by 30 right now, the game, it would be moving just as fast. The clock would be moving just as fast. Come on! They've made a lot of those contested shots this game. That's honestly what's been keeping them in the game. Should have shot that. Get out of the paint, bird. There we go. Get that switch. Come on, ball. That ball needs to go in the hoop. It has not been falling. There we go. That's a nice little cross-court pass. But I'm missing with everybody. Look at me chucking up bricks. What's up, Schmax? Hope you're doing alright today, man. First time seeing you in a few weeks. Welcome back. That's another contested shot. If they had made that, I probably would have cried. Actually. Actually, no, I don't know about that. There we go. Oh, man. I know it's not looking very good. 
I know we're only up six, but I'd rather be up by six going into the fourth quarter than down by six. At least we're not trailing. This could be worse. I know we're playing bad, but you got to have an optimistic mindset. You got to keep in mind things can be a little bit worse. Let's hold for one shot and make sure we hold the lead going into the fourth. In my defense a little bit, it is on Hall of Fame difficulty, but we should be up by more than this. We beat the Magic on Hall of Fame by 40, and we beat the Heat on Hall of Fame by 40, so I really don't think there's any excuse. I think we're just playing terribly. <sighs> Man, this is some bad basketball. I'm sorry if you guys are maybe not getting bored, but if you guys aren't enjoying the way I'm playing, I really do apologize. I'm not really enjoying it either. I'm not playing very well. Open shots for the last four or five games. Every single one was going down, but then this game, there's a lid on the basket, man. Yet we somehow still have the lead. There's a lid on the basket, though. I swear to y'all. I know it's been ugly, but it's not over yet. As long as we win, that's all that matters. If we lose, that's where the heartbreak sets in, but as long as we win, I'll be happy. For real, though, 113 likes on the stream is amazing. Even if we do take an L, you guys have, you guys have showed up big today, man. Thank you guys for showing so much love on the stream. We've gained a lot of new subs. We're at 2.67 thousand right now. And like Packer the Player said, he's in the chat right now, like he said earlier, if we can end this stream with the majestic, magical, mystical, phenomenal 2.69 thousand subscribers, that would be pretty legendary if we could end with that 6-9 in my subscriber count. That'd be pretty amazing, but hey, you guys have still made this stream an amazing one. Even if we don't hit that mark, you guys have been pretty awesome today. Now we're hitting open shots. It's about time. For the first three quarters, we bricked every single shot we took. Finally, we're hitting shots. I, we haven't been very good on defense either, but they've also been making some BS, so it's been on both sides. This game's gone both ways. Doc, I'm still in. I just haven't been talking in the chat much. That's okay. I'm about to say, you're the first person to talk in the chat for three minutes, so you're not the only person who's not talking much. Without question, Larry Bird displaying his skills today, and he's on fire. But nah, doesn't really matter how much you guys talk. I just got to keep you guys entertained the best I can. I can't just sit here silent after talking for so long, so got to keep you guys engaged. Got to keep you guys entertained. The last thing I want is for this stream to be boring. I'm sorry. It started raining outside, so that kind of caught me off guard. If any of you guys were wondering what I was looking at, what's Zach? Aim what's up, Zach? Welcome to the stream. Kai FN says, still here. Hey, man, that's what I'm talking about right there. I know you guys see Larry Bird lighting it up, but nah. About to say, I know you guys are still in here. We have 27 in here right now, which is pretty good. We have gotten 40 viewers in here like four or five times this stream, so we've had a lot of people come in and out, had a lot of people show love on the stream, hit the like button. It's been an awesome stream. What's up, Y and A NBA? Welcome to the stream. Like I said, we've had a lot of people coming in and out. The biggest thing is that we've gained a lot of subs today. Had a lot of fun. It's been fun, man. It's been a lot of fun. Reps Jum says, I love watching you. You're legit insane. Uh, Jum, I appreciate it, but this game I have been legit garbage. I know it's the Hall of Fame CPU. I know we're in the lead, but I have been really bad in this game. Thankfully, we're still going to win. Thankfully, we're still in the lead. So we're going to win, but like, it's been rough this game. We're finally beginning to hit shots though, but I don't know. We need to be careful. What's up, Owen Ellis? I haven't seen you in a minute, man. What's up? Great defense. They have made so many contested shots. I know it's on Hall of Fame, but still. These contested shots have been a little bit frustrating. Man, that wind is blowing heavy outside. 
I thought there was someone walking out there, but no, it's just these trees shaking like crazy. Rep says still better than me. Hey, man. These games can get kind of tough. I know this is on Hall of Fame, but I'm still not very happy about the way I played. As long as we win, I'm happy. As long as we get the win, I'm okay. What's up, F. Vogue? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, as long as we win, I'm okay. But it's looking like we might not even win. If we lose this game, that would be terrible. I tell you guys, losing games is a waste of time because you have to play the entire game again. But it's looking like I'm about to lose. So I need to be careful. Let's hold the ball. Let's get one shot right quick. They're double teaming off Larry Bird. Larry Bird has been my hero in the fourth quarter, man. Bird has been going off this game. Thank God for him. Sean Stewart, if we hold on and get this win, we are done with game number nine. One game left until our second Galaxy Opal. 95L says, Doc, you're my third or fourth favorite YouTuber. And I appreciate that. Of course, it would be great to be your favorite YouTuber, but I understand it's kind of hard for a guy with like two subscribers to be your favorite YouTuber. So I understand that. I mean, my favorite YouTuber has 11 million, so I understand that completely. It always does warm my heart, though, when somebody says, Doc, you're my favorite, man. It always just puts a smile on my face like you can see right now. It always makes me happy. So we're up by double digits. We should win this game, but this game was a lot closer than it should have been. We should have come out from the jump and destroyed the Cavs, but, you know, sometimes life just doesn't go that way. Sometimes you'll run into some disappointments. I could have gotten discouraged when I was down in the third quarter, but I said, you know what, let's just play a little bit better. As long as we win the game, we gonna be all right. So, disappointing game, but we still won. What's up, Sam Yu? Welcome to the stream. Trey said, you're my favorite. No cap. Love that you play Park with the chat, and also talk to him constantly, and chill AF. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Reps Jum. I also appreciate it, man. Everyone who says I'm their favorite, I really do appreciate it. It seriously does mean a lot. It really does mean a lot. Because I put a lot of work into this. I put a lot of work into this. What's up, Moss King? Welcome to the chat. Uh, F. Vogue, my favorite YouTuber is Matt Stoney. Close, my second favorite YouTuber is The Report of the Week. So yes, my two favorite YouTubers have nothing to do with basketball. My favorite YouTuber is a competitive eater. And my second favorite YouTuber is a food critic. I like 2K content creators. I'm a big fan of guys like Cash Nasty, DBG. I really like a lot of the 2K creators, man, but... I don't know, I don't know, I just love the, the food content creators, I guess, is what you want to call them. Moss says, I'm a big fan, I didn't know you played 2K, hey man, I'm all about playing 2K. That's what I'm all about. Air Canada says, this is my first stream watching you, and I'm loving it so much. Well hey, if you're loving the stream, Air Canada, make sure you're subbed. Make sure you join Doc Nation. I remember the people who come in at the streams. That's why we have good conversations. I recognize people who come in from stream to stream. I do have a lot of consistent viewers. And that's a great thing. But yeah, I do play 2K. 2K is the main thing I stream. And the main things I post, like basketball content. I'd, I'd call myself a basketball content creator. Not just 2K, I'd say because I enjoy playing in real life, and I'm a fan of basketball in real life, so that's why in my logo you see on the screen, or next to my name, in one hand I got the Xbox control, in the other hand I got the basketball. I have a basketball over there. I could recreate my logo live on screen right now, but, I mean, I gotta lock in. This is game number 10 right here. If we win this game, we are one-third of the way towards getting Steph Curry. Moss King says, do some more Wii Sports boxing. Hey, one day I will. One day, I promise you, I will. 
I might do a max level stream, bro. I might do a max level stream. It will be like 10 hours long, but I mean, come on. This stream is going to be long too. You guys know I'm okay with doing super long streams. I'm okay with doing long streams, man. As long as you guys are entertained, as long as you guys are engaged, hey, I'll stream whatever content y'all want. Should I sell my glitched Dirk? There are a lot of guys in the chat who have been saying that glitched Dirk sucks. I don't think he's that bad, but I think you should sell him before his value goes down even more. Trey says stream 15 hours. I'm going to try. I told you guys earlier, I'm going to try. I'm hoping that this can be a 15 hour stream, but hey man, I I'm human here. I might run out of energy. I might run out of energy as the stream goes on. Even though I'm feeling really good right now, I have a lot of food next to me, but man, I might run out of energy. I want to go 15 hours, but no promises. All I ask is that you guys don't get too mad if I don't make it 15 hours, but I promise you guys from the bottom of my heart that we are. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to go my absolute hardest. I'm going to do the best I can to get to 15 hours. I promise you guys I'm going to put everything into it. I have two gallons of water next to me. I have a bunch of turkey sandwiches on my right. I, ha I ate a really big breakfast. I'm telling you guys. I'm going to try for 15 hours. Moss King, I don't know where Knowles is, but he was in here earlier. Chase says, you deserve more subs than PewDiePie. I appreciate it. This is something I tell a lot of people. I haven't really told it to a lot of the new guys, but like, I mean, the reason why I talk to you guys so much right now is because I know if I do get a lot more subs one day, I won't be able to read every single thing. I mean... Even with 35 people in here, there are so many people talking. And I want to read all your stuff, but I'm not able to sometimes. But I do try my best. I do try my best. Owen Ellis, my goal is to hit 100,000 one day. If, if you're asking for an exact numerical goal, my goal is 100,000. But my biggest goal, I'd say, like even bigger than 100,000, is if people... A lot of people come into my streams and say I'm underrated, and they say it in a good way. When people come into my streams and call me underrated, I really appreciate it, because that means they think I deserve more subs. But I want to get to a point where I'm not underrated anymore, you know? I want to get to a point where people are like, oh man, you got a lot of subs, that's what you deserve to have. That's, that's the point I want to get to. I don't know if I ever will, but I think if I keep it up, I have a great chance, you know? So we'll see. What is your cheat code player? Um, my favorite player to use on here, if that's what you mean, is probably Kobe. I'm a big fan of Kobe on here. His Opal Goat player is really good. Larry Bird's nice too. Larry Bird's not too bad either. Embiid's pretty good too. I'd say that Embiid's a cheat code because he's so fast on the perimeter. If he gets a mismatch in the post, it's a guaranteed bucket. And he has a super quick three-point shot. But yeah, Trey, to readdress what you said, I'm going to try to do this in less than 15 hours. I think we're going to be able to. I'm feeling pretty good right now, and this is game number 10. If I'm feeling really good at game number 20, then I'm definitely 100% going to do this in one run, in one sitting. If I'm 20 games away, even if I'm feeling absolutely terrible, I'm going to be fueled by the fact that I know I only have, what, 10 games left? So yeah, that's what's going to fuel me. Moss King says, so all of your players are cheats. I mean, I do have an all Opal team, so I would say my players are cheats, as you just said. Hey though, we're at 119 likes. Who wants to be number 120? Now's your time to shine. For real though, we're back up to 40 viewers for like the fourth or fifth time this stream. You guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. And if you're watching my channel, if you're enjoying the content and you aren't subscribed yet, like what are you doing, man? Join Doc Nation today. It takes two seconds. And like I said, if you're enjoying the content, 
It's a must. Oh my god. Last game, the Cavaliers were making so many contested shots. These Bulls have been doing the exact same thing. This Hall of Fame CPU can be annoying. You can play the best defense possible and they'll still score. Times can be tough sometimes, man, but we're still in a pretty good spot. I mean, we're in the lead by seven, and this should be end of the first quarter right here. Just wanted to make sure he doesn't make some full court BS. What's up, Carson? Welcome back. I thought you were watching a movie with your grandma. What happened? Very good start. We are playing way better than we played versus the Cavs. Versus the Cavs, we were booty. We were some dumpster juice versus the Cavaliers, but versus the Bulls, we've actually come out with a sense of urgency. We've been playing very well, and we are up by double digits. It's about time. Versus the Cavaliers, we struggled. We only won by 12 points, but we're already playing very well versus Jordan and his 96 Bulls. Well, all-time Bulls. I was just quoting Game of Zones. 95L says, I'm just chilling, playing park. And that makes me wonder, since we do have a lot of new people in here, how many of you guys right now are playing the game? Just wondering, how many of you guys are sitting right there listening to my stream and playing 2K. I know that 95L is not the only one. I know a few of my moderators are doing that. And hey, I mean, as long as you have my stream turned on, I appreciate it. As long as y'all are tuning in, I appreciate it. Whether you're actually watching the games or whether you're playing the game yourself while listening, you're supporting me. So every single one of you, I really do appreciate it. Oh, yeah, look at Embiid going coast to coast. Ooh, man. I guess Embiid is my cheat code player, as Moss King says. Got a lot of dudes in here playing 2K. Sheesh. And here's the crazy thing. About to say, 2K20 has helped my channel grow so much. But I'm pretty sure most of you guys in the chat would agree with me when I say that 2K20 is a pretty shit game. Excuse my language, I'm sorry if you guys don't like cussing. But, it's a pretty garbage game. The only reason I play it is because I'm such a big basketball fan in real life. Got to say, I've been a basketball fan for years now, man. So that's the reason why I play 2K. I just enjoy basketball. I played basketball in real life. I got an offer to play in college, but... No, I'm not, I'm not a D1 athlete or anything, man. It was a D3 offer. An offer's an offer, but still... But yeah, man, 2K is a pretty bad game. Moss King agrees. If 2K21 is a good game that people actually, like, will line up to watch you play, my channel can grow a lot from that. So if 2K21 is good, and if I can hop on the 2K21 train early and start creating content, I seriously think that 2K21 can be the game that helps this channel blow up. Just my opinion. You guys can feel free to agree or disagree. But, hey, Moss King says the game is crap. Trayon Zan says it's dog shit. So, you guys, y'all play 2K, and I play 2K, even though we accept the fact that it's a pretty bad game. So, I think when 2K21 comes out, more people will line up to watch CP the Doc. And, yes, I just talked about myself in third person. Welcome back, Christian. But, yeah, I mean, if I have... 30 plus people at all times watching me play 2k in July less than two months before the next game comes out I think that we're in a pretty good spot here here at Doc Nation if you guys are watching me play pretty much a garbage dead game and I have 35 viewers that's pretty solid I bring up this stat all the time a lot of guys will come in here and they'll be content creators too and they'll be like Doc I average like 8 viewers a stream and I'm like, you know what, I read a stat that said if you're, what's it called, if you have 10 viewers on a stream, you're in the top 1% of YouTube streamers, so keep that in mind. But yeah, everyone's telling me this game is horrible. 
All of you guys think the game's horrible. I'm glad we all agree on this. I'm glad we all agree on this one thing. Everyone who plays the game knows the mechanics are just crappy. I said crappy because I've had people come in the stream before who, for some reason, they just aren't a big fan of me cussing. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Some people come in and they just refuse for me to cuss. I don't know. But I guess I kind of understand. I know cussing's not a great thing. I try not to do it very much. But when I see stuff in the chat like, it's dog shit, it's tough for me not to read it aloud and obligate or, you know, accommodate the people who don't like my cussing. Chase Watson said, whoever disliked this stream has something wrong with them. I mean, I agree with you. Gotta hit that open shot. There we go. Man, we struggled so hard versus the Cleveland Cavaliers, but versus the Bulls, we're playing like madmen. We're playing like beasts versus the Bulls. Moss King says this is a great stream. I appreciate it, Moss King. You're the man. Oh yeah, easy shot. Sean Stewart, this is game number 10. If we hold on and get this win, we are one third of the way to Steph Curry already. We have been grinding today, man. We have been grinding hard. I think that we can get this Steph Curry today. I seriously think we can do it. And I'm going to try my best. No promises, but I think we can do it. This is game number 10. And we are just about halfway through. Uh, TMC AFC. I'm going to have to find out. Now, I don't really use big point guards. I also don't really, like, play my team seriously or spend money on the game. So I don't have a point guard like LeBron or Magic Johnson or somebody like that. But, like, what am I trying to say here? Steph Curry, for me, he's going to be an upgrade over Gilbert Arenas. So that's why I'm going for him. And it's also good content. I have to say, it's also good content, so... I'm, I'm glad that you guys have enjoyed watching it. I've had a lot of fun streaming it so far. And we're going to test out the Steph Curry and find out if he's really worth it. I mean, nobody has him yet, so a lot of people are saying he's not worth it just because of the hype and just because he doesn't have the post-move lockdown badge. And I understand that Curry might be a bit of a defensive liability, but we're going to try to get him. We're going to test him out and see if he's worth it because it is only 30 games. It's only 30 games, which is not bad at all. 30 games is nothing. I mean, it took 150 games to get Kobe. It was worth it, but that's a lot of that's a lot of games played for Kobe. That's a lot of minutes played for Kobe, even though he is definitely worth it. Carson says, "Doc, you're better than all the other YouTubers combined." I mean, Y'all don't have to hype me up like that. I gotta say, that's a statement that I appreciate. But I still gotta improve my content. I still got a long way to go before I'm a big name in the community or whatever I want to be. I still have a long way to go, but I seriously do appreciate everybody hyping me up. I gotta say, you guys are pretty... Oh, that was a terrible release. I was trying to pump fake. I did not mean to shoot that. Terrible shot. TMC says, very good content. How did you start your own YouTube stream? Do you do it on your phone? I'm thinking about doing it for 2K21. I actually use a PC. So the way I do it, I'm looking at a PC right now. And I have a laptop I'm looking at right now that has the chat on it. So I connect my Xbox to my PC. And I have a capture card that connects the Xbox and PC as well. So that's how I do it on the computer, and it's pretty easy. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and yeah, I use Streamlabs. That's my streaming software. Really easy to use, really cool. It, that's the reason why when someone new subscribes, you see their name on the screen. If somebody makes a donation or becomes a member, you'll see them on the screen too. 
Streamlabs is really cool. And no, Streamlabs is not paying me to say that. It's just really fun to use. Just really fun to use. 95L thinks I'm on the way to being a top YouTuber. And I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it, but like I said, I have a long way to go. I have a long way to go. I appreciate it, Anthony. Anthony said, Doc's legit. Hey, man, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Y'all listen to Anthony, though. Make sure you've liked and subbed. We have 40 people in here. I'm sure there's at least one of you who hasn't liked the stream or hasn't subbed yet. So y'all come through for me, because if I want to grow my YouTube channel, every single like on the stream and every single sub counts. You get so many views from playing 2K. It's mad. Looking at other YouTubers, you have 10K subs in no time playing this. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I'm looking forward to the 2K21 demo coming out. I'm definitely going to stream that. The 2K20 demo was so bad, looking back on it, man. That 2K20 demo was booty. The pie charts and everything, and you could only play for the Raptors versus the Warriors. And the builds this year are kind of weird. It's, it, we'll see, man. But I'm looking forward to it, because I'm definitely going to stream it. Muhammad Beg, you're 100% correct. 2K19 was way better to gameplay wise about to say 2k19 was the better game in terms of gameplay but if we're talking about content 2k20 has been insane giving us new cards and stuff so that's one thing i gotta give 2k20 credit for because they've given us a lot of single player content and hey without this spotlight sim single player stuff a lot of you guys would not have found my channel and i wouldn't have been streaming it so, I gotta give a lot of my growth credit to this single player content. And they've added new cards every single week. A ton of new cards. So, I gotta give them some, I gotta give them props for that, man. I gotta give them credit. So, yeah. 2K20 hasn't done everything bad, but they've still done a lot of things bad. Not everything, but a lot of things. From past the arc, and it's Larry Bird with the three. Bird's got 12 no cap? Here in the half. You look like a skinnier Devin Booker. I appreciate it. Someone in the stream earlier came in and called me ugly, and it really hurt my feelings. It made me want to cry. But every now and then someone calls in, comes in and calls me daddy or something. I think there's a fine line between telling me I'm ugly and saying stuff like, oh man, you look great. I think there's a fine line. Could you stream off your phone or anything? I haven't got computer or nothing. Yes, yes, you're able to stream off your phone when you hit a thousand subs. I think. You're able to stream anytime. But I think when you hit a thousand, you're able to stream like straight off your phone. I think. I could be wrong about that. I know people who stream who have less than a, like a hundred subs but like most people I know who stream they'll stream off their PlayStation or off Twitch on their Xbox or something I don't know I'm not a hundred percent sure because I use my PC but I started off on YouTube with making videos I didn't start streaming until about this time last year about this time last year so I don't know I think it was about May last year I began streaming and I, I already had a really good following well not really good it was only like 500 people then I started streaming and I started gaining a lot of subs not a lot but like I would gain like five six every stream and then I'd post a video gain a lot of subs like it I started out with videos and then I started streaming and when I started streaming I actually had a really good community of guys who showed up for every stream. It wasn't anything amazing, but I would have like five, six guys who would consistently come to every stream. And then there would also be like three or four new people in the chat. So I would get about like eight or nine viewers per stream. And next thing you know, it ended up being 10 to 12, 13 to 15. And right now, We've gotten 40 plus people in here multiple times this stream, 122 likes. You guys have really killed it, man. The channel's come a long way, and hey, 
it's only up from here only up from here um hey tmc i wish i could answer that question i don't know how playstation works i have no idea how playstation works but i do have a friend i could ask about it after the stream's over but no i seriously don't know i wish i could answer that question but i'm on xbox Uh, Moss, I do not watch anime, but when I was younger, I was a Pokemon tryhard. When I was in fourth grade, I finished Final Four in a national Pokemon tournament, and I did not understand esports at all back then. I didn't realize that Pokemon was like a serious competitive thing. I just really enjoyed playing the game, and apparently I was really good at it. I was confused when this 30-year-old man came up to me and said, you have so much potential in the Pokemon community, man. You're going to be a beast at this game for years. And I was like, okay, I'll just take my new Nintendo DS and my five plush toys and go home. So I didn't even know that competitive Pokemon was a thing. I just finished Final Four. I got a free DS. I got a bunch of little plush toys. And I was in fourth grade, so I thought those were just great. And then, yeah. I just went home. This was in Nashville, Tennessee, by the way, at the Opryland Hotel. Carson says, bye, Doc. I gotta go. Doing a 1v1 against this guy in the park. Sounds good. T. Jeezy says, how many teams are there? 30 teams. 30 teams. 30 games versus 30 teams. Six sets of five games versus each division in the NBA. So yeah, pretty easy. We're playing versus the Bulls on Hall of Fame right now, but we're kind of embarrassing them. The Bulls have made this look a little bit too easy. What's up, Davion? Welcome to the stream. I enjoy that energy. Whenever someone comes in and says, yo, it's always better when someone comes in and says, hi. Even though, I mean, I appreciate y'all joining the stream now either way, but... I mean, seeing the energy is just, it's a great thing. It's always a great thing. Uh, Alex, if I win this game, that is 10 games finished. That's if I get this win. Not 100% sure about it yet, but we are getting close to putting this game out of reach. We're getting close. We're not there just yet, but we are getting close to putting this game out of reach. Ninety five L said, "You're weird, bro." I pr I appreciate the thought though. I appreciate the thought though, Jace. I really do. I appreciate the thought you're putting into your messages. I, I understand the intent behind them. Davion says, "I haven't started." Is this grind longer than Larry? Uh, no, it's not. The games might be a bit tougher, but it's five minute quarters, um, 30 games, so it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Also, please stop spamming, Jace. I will give you guys permission on when to spam. I will give you guys permission, but now's not the time. We're only 10 games in. About to say, we're not really close to finishing, but and we are doing pretty well. We are on a very good pace. I mean, it hasn't even been five hours, and we're about to finish our tenth game. Jace, I love you too, but calling me daddy is a little bit queer, and we don't we don't do that around here. Anthony says, "If you do, don't make it weird." Yeah, don't make it weird. And don't spam either. I'll give y'all permission on when to do that. When I get this curry, you guys have permission to spam. If I get this curry, you guys have permission. Packer said, yo, this guy's kind of sus. Eh, I mean, he is a little bit sus, but... Maybe he has decent intentions. Maybe he's just trying to show that he is a, a CP the Doc diehard fan. 
If you're a real CP the Doc diehard fan though, you don't have to say gay stuff. All you have to do is buy a channel membership. You get emojis, you get a badge next to your name like Anthony Morgan has. That's all you gotta do to show your love for the channel. I'm sorry for the advertisement plug. I just had to say it. I have no choice. TMC, I'm very excited for basketball coming back. What's up, Dom Stobert? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, revisiting... Oh, welcome Sports 24-7 as well. What's up, Sports 24-7 and Dom Stobert? As I was saying, though, I'm very excited for basketball to come back. I gotta go with the Lakers to win the finals, man. I gotta go Lakers to winning the finals. I got to. The Clippers, they're the deeper team, but at their best, I feel like Anthony Davis and LeBron, I feel like that duo is better than Paul George and Kawhi. Avery Bradley is a big loss, but I still believe in the Lakers, man. Dwight Howard's playing, and they picked up J.R. Smith, who I know he's a meme, but I'm still a huge fan of him. What's up, Cloud? Welcome to the stream, my brother. Y'all listen to my boy Cloud. Cloud said, everybody drop a like and sub. Y'all listen to my guy. Y'all listen to my guy. We are one like away from 125. Hey man, 125 likes is a huge stream. Thank you guys for showing so much love today. That is now 10 games down, 20 games to go. We are almost halfway there. Do you think LeBron is the GOAT or MJ? Man, I always talk about this. I always talk about this. This is a tough one because I feel like I'm one of those guys who feels like you really can't compare the players. You know? They play so differently. They play so differently. Michael Jordan was leaned on to score a lot, and he was a great defender too. Amazing athlete, but LeBron's more of a playmaker. He's able to score, but it's not his first option. So it's tough to compare them because they play so differently. If Michael Jordan's probably the better defender, but like LeBron's definitely the better playmaker. Like, no argument, LeBron's the better playmaker. But in terms of talking about scoring, I mean, Jordan averaged, what, 30 points for his career? Which is pretty legendary, but like, it's so tough comparing the players that I don't like to do it. I really don't like to do it. I feel like you can make an argument for either of them, man, but at the end of the day, I just enjoy watching them play. I enjoy their greatness. Cloud, it's tough to say whether Steph Curry is a W or L or N, but I don't know. I think he would be an upgrade for me over Gilbert Arenas, so I'm going to go for him, test him out, and let you guys know whether he's worth it or not. Uh, fall 6, 10 games down. 10 games down, 20 games to go, and 130 likes on the stream. Thank you guys for making this stream a huge one. There's only one more goal I hope to accomplish. By the end of the stream, I hope we have 2.69 thousand subs. I want that thing to say 2.69. I haven't had the chance to see that ever since I was at 1.69, so if we can hit 2.69, that would be... That would be some pretty legendary stuff. You feel me? Curry is a N. He's a really good PG, but he's 6'3". That's what I'm saying. The stats are great. The badges are great. Everything looks awesome, man. But him being 6'3 makes him a little bit of a defensive liability, especially at this point in the game. At this point in the game, going versus point guards like Jonathan Isaac, Giannis, LeBron... He's a pretty big defensive liability, but, I mean, he's still solid. Still solid, and once we get him, we're going to test him out. But yeah, you guys have been awesome today. We've gained a lot of new subs. We've won every single game we've played, and we're going to continue playing the game, man. My goal is to finish this all in one day. We have been live for almost five hours, but I'm still feeling great, and I feel like I can go on for another... For another 10 hours, man. I really do. We are about two, one third done with these challenges. And, I mean, if we're already one third done, why not try to finish the whole thing? So, 
that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to finish all these challenges in one sitting. I don't know if I can do it, but I promise you guys, I'm gonna try my best. What's up, Hulking Apollo? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing all right today, man. Gotta say, I would say you're late, but there's a possibility I stream for another 10 hours, so you're really not that late. Oh, why didn't Larry Bird sit in the corner? What's up, Bruno Arce? Or Arce, whichever one. I don't know how it's pronounced. I didn't want to say Arce, so I said Arce right there. But yeah, what's up, Bruno? I'm a big fan of Dennis Rodman. I think he's pretty good. Some people in the chat, they aren't big fans of him, but I like that Dennis Rodman. Uh, Moss, I do not do reaction videos, but I was thinking about starting doing reaction videos. I was thinking about starting those, but my biggest things are the video game live streams for sure. And the basketball videos. When's the LeBron goat card coming out? I seriously don't know. They just released that, uh, the prime LeBron, didn't they? And he's pretty good. He's pretty much a goat card, but he's really not, man. I want a LeBron with all those badges, with the great attributes like Curry has. That would be really awesome, but I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get a LeBron GOAT card. I mean, I didn't think we were going to get a Steph Curry. I thought 2K was done with Steph Curry. They gave him a pink diamond with historic spotlight sim. He got a buzzer beater Galaxy Opal. I thought that 2K was done with Steph Curry, but apparently he's an Opal. And we're going to get him. It's inevitable. So yeah, we're going to find out if this Curry's actually a beast. And he should be, but the thing is that he's going to be a bit of a defensive liability. And when he's going up against big point guards like Jonathan Isaac, big point guards like Kevin Durant, LeBron, Giannis, it's going to be kind of tough, but we'll see. We'll see. No matter what, it makes really good content for the channel. So at the end of the day, that's why we're doing it. One second, my chat shut down for some reason. Let me pull it back up. I don't know why my chat closed down. Hey man, this is my first time for the entire stream. I checked my subscriber count. We're at 2.68 thousand subs. That means we are getting closer and closer to the majestic, magical, mystical, bombastical 69 likes. So Moss, to answer your question, I don't know if Curry's worth it, but together we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Missing too many shots, though. We should be up by more than this. We're coming off a 50-point win versus the Hall of Fame CPU, and now we're only up by five on All-Star difficulty, so we got to step things up a little bit. We got to be a little bit better on defense. We have been winning all these games pretty easily. Let's make sure we win this one by a little bit more. Nice pass, nice bucket. Let me zoom in the chat real quick so I can read it a little bit better. Curry has all 99 stats. He's just 6'3". That's the tough thing. They should have given LeBron a GOAT card, man. About to say, I did not see a GOAT Curry coming, man. I did not think it was going to happen, but it did. So, you got to live with that. I don't think we're going to get a GOAT LeBron after today. Which is sad because I know everybody was looking forward to that LeBron, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. A TMC? I think I use the Rockets playbook. I haven't checked in a long time, but I'm pretty sure it's the Rockets playbook. They're making some tough shots, but yeah. I think it's the Rockets. Could be wrong. Be truthful. Is it worth it? I haven't used them yet. Why do you keep asking if he's worth it? I've already told you we're going to find out. Like, nobody in the world knows if he's worth it. A lot of people are saying he's not because he's 6'3", but, like, nobody has tested him out. Like, how do I know he's worth it if I haven't used him yet, right? Hulking said the next GOAT's going to be Chamberlain, and that was my prediction for the next GOAT. Because Wilt hasn't gotten a new card in, like, two or three months. He was the player of the month, like what, three months ago? So, he needs a new Opal. He could really use a GOAT card. 
I was thinking it would either be Bill Russell or Wilt Chamberlain, but Bill Russell got his out of position player and Wilt got nothing. So I do think Wilt's going to be a GOAT player, but man, we're going to have to see because he's not a GOAT player yet. Do you get a lot of threes running the Rockets playbook? I went 12-0 and using the Hornets playbook. Uh, I mean, it gets you a lot of open spot up looks, but honestly, I like the pick and roll plays, the off ball plays, and the, what's it called, the post up plays the best. Yes, believe it or not, the Rockets actually have post plays. So like, every now and then, I'll get a nice mismatch with like my small forward being guarded by like a, let's say a 6'5", 6'6", shooting guard. And it's always a good post up play to just turn around and get the easy slam. It works. I like the post up plays and I like the off ball screens. Uh, Moss King, I just answered your question. Please stop asking the same question. It's getting a little bit annoying. I just gotta say it how it is. You've asked, is he worth it like 30 times? What's up, Giorgio? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing alright today. Hope you're staying safe and enjoying yourself. Welcome to the stream. What's up, Jennifer? This game's way too close. Man, they're playing like it's Hall of Fame difficulty. We just beat the Hall of Fame CPU by 50. But we're struggling versus the all-star Brooklyn Nets. We need to step it up a little bit. We got to hit our open shots, and we got to play some better D, because you guys are probably very disappointed in my performance. I mean, I'm disappointed, and I'm the one playing. It's tough. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And as things present themselves throughout a game, 95L said, does anyone even have the card yet? It's impossible to have the card yet. I've been playing for what, about almost five hours, and the card's been out for, or the challenges have been out for like six hours, and it takes about 15 hours to get the card, so, I mean, I don't think any, I don't think it's possible anybody has them yet, unless 2K just gave it to somebody, and yes, another contested shot, you guys saw that correctly, this is the all-star CPU, the Hall of Fame CPU wasn't making as many contested shots as this Nets team is. That was a good pass, though. <sighs> I guess we still have enough time to pull away. We still have enough time to win this by 40 or so. Odd Squad says, hey, I'm playing the Nets right now. Me too. And they're annoying. They shouldn't be, but they are. How's Jason Kidd grabbing his own boards? I'm not raging. not really sweating it, but I'm not going to lie. This has low-key been my toughest game so far. Low key, because I actually did have a tough game earlier. There it is. Let's get it. Got to pull away a little bit. Like I said, this game's on All Star. We've been destroying the CPU on the toughest difficulty. There's no reason this game should be so close. Are they using STS? A little bit, but it doesn't really work versus an actual person who knows the play, you know? I don't know if it works the same versus an actual guy. Doc? 2K could have done Prime Curry and Goat LeBron for the all-time spotlights. Yeah, they could have, but if they had given us a Goat LeBron, they would have had to make the spotlights a little bit tougher. I feel like 30 games for a Goat LeBron is a little bit too easy. Like, anybody could get that GOAT LeBron if it was like that. Each of these games is pretty easy. If you know how to play 2K, you'll get wins, and yeah. They would have had to make it more games, but if they had made it a grind like the Kobe grind, I would have been okay with that. Fulton Apollo says, when's another video playing versus viewers? Not sure. Uh, next time I go out of town, I might post a video like that, but... Not 100% sure yet. My goal is to stream every single day, but if I don't stream in one day, I might just play versus sub sometime. 
Also, if I do stream for 15 hours, I hope you guys are okay if I take an off day tomorrow. If I do stream for 15 hours, I hope you guys are cool if I take a little break. Because I understand you guys are here to watch me play. What's up, am too neat Welcome to the stream. Once again, whenever people come in and say, Yo, I appreciate the energy. I really do. People will come in and say, Hi. Or, Hey, Doc. And it's cool and all, but when someone comes in and says, Yo, I know it's time. Either way, we were just up by like 7. Now we're up by 17. So we've locked in on defense a little bit. We've started hitting our open shots. And we should pull away and get a pretty easy win. Come on, man. But yeah. If, I might take a break tomorrow. Maybe. I haven't thought that far ahead. If I do get this curry in this one stream, probably going to take a break tomorrow. If you guys are cool with it. If you guys want me to stream, though, I will. But yeah. This is going to be a grind and a half. Especially to finish in one sitting, but hey man, trying to grow my channel every day, trying to get more viewers in here, trying to get you guys some content that you'll enjoy, so gotta get these streams in. Gotta get these streams in every now and then. Soon, I might take my first snack break. I'll probably do it during the fourth quarter of a blowout, but we'll see. Uh, Toxify, I would agree with you, but Shaq already has two opals. I think the next Opal GOAT player should be Wilt Chamberlain. He hasn't gotten a new Opal in like two months. Or three months. Yeah, because it was Wilt, then Glenn Rice, then it was Jerry Lucas. And now it's Michael Beasley for the Players of the Month, so it's been a long time since he's gotten a new card. Um, Pee Pee Poo Poo. How many have got done? I'm assuming you're asking how many games I've finished. Um, this is game number 11. 10 games down, 20 games to go. Doc, if you don't want to stream tomorrow, do what you gotta do. I want to stream, like, whenever I can. But, like, I might not have the energy. If I do stream, it will probably be at night. Uh, Sports 24-7, I have not pre-ordered the game yet. I'm not gonna pre-order. I'm not gonna pre-order until I see gameplay. I'm about to say, I'm probably gonna get it anyway. I'm gonna get the Kobe edition no matter what, probably. But I want to see some gameplay first. I feel like a little bit of security would go a long way, you know. I want to see some gameplay then order it. Oh yeah, get that out of here. Ever since we started locking down on defense, that's when we pulled away in this game. We've made it look a little bit too easy. Now they're taking bad shots, we're getting rebounds, and we're hitting everything. Hey, Toxify, you're right, they haven't added Jerry West, they haven't added Galaxy Opal John Stockton either, and they just now added Carl Malone. They just now added Carl Malone, so, hey, there are a lot of Opals who haven't been added, who they still have to add. I mean, Damian Lillard, Westbrook, a lot of guys they haven't added yet. Uh, Rass, welcome back. I'm still grinding as we speak, man. My goal is to finish this entire thing in one stream. I think I can do it. You guys said y'all think I can do it. We'll see if we can get it done. Austin Rivers is on the Clippers. Oh, that's great. I love to hear that. 95L says, I don't like Carl Malone. Yeah, teenage girls all around the world shouldn't like Carl Malone. Instead, they don't even know who he is. Hey, Moss King, can you stop typing in all caps? It's kind of, you know, yeah. So don't do that, please. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good pump fake right there. But he's got the chance to it doesn't get much better than that. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that with it's not raining anymore. I think you guys were in the chat earlier when I was talking about how it was raining outside, but now it's completely sunny. It was just like monsooning outside, but apparently the weather's fine now. 
That's Alabama weather for you. Yeah, for those of you who didn't know, I live in Alabama. Weather's a lot better right now. There's still some water drifting, or what's it called, dripping, excuse me, from the little patio upstairs, but like, weather's a lot better now. Rivers is on the Clippers' deep bench. I'm in the third, so he's in right now. Oh, so you're telling me if I destroy the Clippers, Austin Rivers is going to come in? That is just great, as my Ama would say. John Stockton only has one card in the game. They haven't given him a card since the beginning of the year. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We're going to get a new John Stockton eventually. You guys just wait and see. What's up, Justin Liu? Welcome back to the stream. Ooh, that was a nice block. I wasn't supposed to block that, but it was still nice. I hate when they make those shots, man. It always makes me sad when the CPU makes contested BS when I feel like I played good defense. Brent Berry, too. Austin, stay in Houston, I think. John Stockton is short, so I wouldn't use him. At the beginning of the year, John Stockton was easily one of the best PGs in the game. But that was back before they introduced a bunch of big point guards like LeBron, Giannis. 100% smothered layup over Embiid. Come on, this is all-star difficulty. As I was saying, though, at the beginning of the year, a lot of people were using John Stockton because he was so fast. A lot of point guards and shooting guards didn't have clamps. So it was easy to blow past people with John Stockton. And you could get a lot of easy buckets. Especially if you run five out. If you run five out and all you have to do is isolate and surround him with shooters, it's pretty tough to defend that. Swing that ball around. And we got open shooters everywhere. We got shooters everywhere. All you gotta do, go one on one, and you're gonna find the open man eventually. That's a good way to play. Not too cheesy, not too crazy. Just fun to play. Welcome back, Daniel. Daniel was back from walking his plant. Welcome back, my brother. I'm on game number 11. If we win this game, we have 19 games to go. So we're making some really good progress. Like, we've been grinding the stream. We haven't taken a single L. We've been getting through these games pretty easily. And we've been having fun. And we are less than 10 subs away from the magical, mystical, majestic, indefensible, incomprehensible 2.69 oh, K subscribers. Excuse me. How did I say that wrong? How the heck did I say that wrong? But yeah, you guys get the picture. Hitting 2.69k by the end of the stream would be a, a dream come true. Uh, Nick, I'm not sure if it's worth it just yet because nobody has him. Of course. And so it's Charlotte riding high with a 23 point lead heading into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll take a quick break and then back. Here now, a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. Sometimes it happens when the offense is struggling, but every now and then this helps with the offensive uptick right there. Great job of setting his teammate up. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that Okay, there we go. My silence is over. On the court right now for the Bobcats. Okay, as I was saying though. Yeah, I forget what I was saying. That full court shot just, it made my blood start boiling. Jennifer says DBG said he wants to play against you. I doubt he actually said that, but I would love to play a game versus DBG. I would love that. I doubt he actually wants to play versus me, though. That would be pretty dope, but yeah. 
DBG has come into my stream before. OGs remember the stream where DBG joined. I was getting gameplay with Galaxy Opal James Harden, and DBG actually joined the stream. I doubt he subscribed. Yeah, I don't think he did. I haven't seen him since. But his content's great. It would be dope playing against him, though. Daniel said, why was you quiet? Did you not see that full court shot from Jason Kidd? Kind of broke my heart, even though we're up 25. Packers the players says, yo, I'm up 30 in the fourth quarter, and the, Qu and the Clippers just subbed in Boban. As me and my friends say, Boban! Boban's the greatest of all time. Moss, my favorite snack. It's a great question. Gotta go Cheez-Its. What's up, M11? I haven't seen you in a long time, man. Where's Anthony Morgan? He's always here. Anthony Morgan's always chilling in the background. I mean, he's been here for a lot of the stream, but maybe you haven't seen him because you haven't been here too much, or you haven't talked in the chat much at least. But he's definitely around. He might be lurking right now. Could be wrong. Uh, Justin, I really don't have a least favorite NBA player. About to say, I'm not really a hater like that. Not really a hater. I can't think of many NBA players I don't like. Um, uh, about to say, there has to be somebody. There has to be somebody. I seriously have no idea. Hey, look at that. There's no chill Knowles. And look at that. I told you guys, Anthony Morgan was hanging around. I told you guys, he was lurking. I told you guys he was lurking. Uh, David's weird, and Pat is too. My favorite NBA player is Mello. Mello Anthony. He's the reason I like the Trailblazers. About to say, I'm a Knicks fan because of Mello, even though he's not on the team anymore. Trey on Zan says, my favorite players are Mello and J.R. Smith. Those are two of my favorites too. I know J.R. Smith's a meme. So now my players are getting injured. In the third quarter, Jason Kidd knocks down a full court shot. And now I got an injured player? He better not be out for long. He better not be out for very long because I don't want to have to... I probably don't have very many injury cards. So if he's like actually injured for a lot of games, I might just have to replace him. I might just have to move somebody else into the starting lineup. That's crazy. 2K is really hitting me with some BS. Not only are the Brooklyn Nets hitting some insanely BS shots and playing better than the all-time Chicago Bulls did on two difficulties lower, but God... Full court shot and injured player. You gotta be kidding me. It doesn't get much worse than that. The Nets are hitting me with the BS. We're still gonna win, but damn! I wanna say this game is rigged. That could be wrong. Do you think Petrovic deserves an Opal? I don't know if he does, but I mean, if Sarun is Marshallonis gets an Opal. I think that Petrovic should get one too. Do you think the Bucks would trade Giannis to the Warriors? It depends on what they get in return. If they get something good enough in return, they might as well do it, but like, I don't think the Warriors can give a package to the Bucks without completely destroying their team. Keep in mind, yeah, the Warriors have Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Wiggins, and Kevon Looney. They have a couple decent guys off their bench, but they have absolutely no depth. No more Andre Iguodala, no more Sean Livingston or David West or any of those guys. The Warriors don't have that depth anymore. So they would have to trade away like Draymond, Clay, Wiggins, their draft pick probably, just for Giannis, which I don't know if they're willing to do. So I don't think they're going to do it because the Warriors would have to agree to that trade. The Bulls are the best team, cannot lie. I beat them by 50, so I don't know if they're the best, but they are pretty good. M11 says, sorry, Doc. I missed the streams for a moment. Had enough of 2K. It's all good. Welcome back, man. 
up until that point, a competitive it's game. It's good to have you back. It's good to see OG viewers who I recognize in here, man. It's always good to see familiar faces. What's up, Milk? Welcome back. What's up, Carson? Welcome back. Welcome back, both of you guys. Got 35 viewers in the stream. Got 136 likes on the stream. And if I'm not mistaken, we're going to be hitting 2.69 thousand subs soon. That 2.69 is just... It's going to be so legendary when I get it. I haven't seen a 69 in my... I haven't seen a 69 in my sub account or sub amount since I had 1.69. So getting 2.69 would just be a beautiful thing. Good win. We played terrible defense. One of our players got injured. They hit a full court shot. They hit a bunch of contested garbage. But we still won by 26. So I guess I'll take it. I guess I'm not going to complain too much. No matter what, the game is over. Good win. 11 games down. 19 games to go. Let me get a quick swig of water. And now, we continue moving forward. Now, I'm not sure how many of you guys in the chat are fans of Chick-fil-A, but I got some, I got a really big breakfast from Chick-fil-A this morning, and I got a couple biscuits, too. Their biscuits are really good when they butter them right, so I got a biscuit right here. I'm getting a little bit hungry. I'm going to eat the biscuit, if you guys are cool with that. I'm going to try not to like, you know, I don't want you guys to like hear my little, I don't want you guys to have to hear my chewing and everything, but at the same time, it's a biscuit, so you shouldn't hear it that much, should you? Either way, I'm going to eat this biscuit while I'm playing. Deform Grape says, it's funny how a streamer with over 10,000 viewers is bad, but you're good. I mean, hey, Deformed Grape, it's all about practice. It's all about knowing how to play the game. But yeah, man, maybe one day I'll have 10,000 viewers, but we're a little bit far from that right now. But I'm trying to grow my channel every single day. Every single subscription counts, man. Every single like counts. And yeah, we're just going to try to continue. Getting through every game easily. We're going to try to go 30 and 0 going for this Steph Curry. We're going to try to get a perfect 30 and 0 sweep. Packer the player says, Doc, you already know I can't have Chick fil A. We had this conversation yesterday. Chick fil A is the best fast food, in my opinion. If we're talking about quality, if we're talking about service, if we're talking about health as well, that Chick fil A is pretty good. Deformed Grape. Thank you for subscribing. Christopher says, I'm on game 29. That's funny right there. About to say, I don't know if even the best player in the world is on game 29. What? That was a terrible pass. But I appreciate it, Deformed Grape. Welcome to Doc Nation. I'm trying to split this biscuit in half. Oh, God, it crumbled. <sighs> so, last game. My bad luck is carrying over. I know we won the last game by 26, but we gave up a full court shot at the buzzer. One of my players got injured, and now my biscuit is falling apart in front of me. So, like, even though we've won every game, the luck is just... It hasn't been very solid. We have been on fire shooting, though. We've been on fire shooting. What's up, RBM? I'm telling you guys, whenever someone comes in and says... What's up, Doc? What's up, chat? Whenever someone comes in with that energy, it always hypes me up. Those of you guys who come in and say hi or something, I mean, y'all are cool. I have no problem with y'all, but when you come in with that energy, it transfers over to me. That type of energy, it hypes me up, too. So thank you, RBM, for hyping me up. I'm going to win this game for you. Just watch. What's up, Jackson? Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome to the stream. 
Um, Milk, these challenges are not very hard in my opinion. We've won every game pretty easily. My smallest win so far has been by 12. That was versus the Cavs. And then we beat the Bulls by 50, so that was kind of weird. About to say, we struggled versus Cleveland, but then we destroyed the Bulls. Look at this ball movement, and now we got a mismatch. Hey. Ball movement, as a great man once said. So yeah, this game's close early. You already know we're going to pull away, though. What's up, Mythical Zard? Welcome back to the stream. About to say, Mythical Zard was there the entire time yesterday for my park stream. It's nice seeing you back in here, bro. It's nice seeing you back. Welcome. Joseph Ramsey says, I have lost five times in one division. Hey, man. These all-time teams, no matter how bad the team is in real life, every all-time team in this game has really good players. Like, even the Charlotte Hornets have four Galaxy Ovals in the starting lineup, so... If any of you guys take L's, I understand, but if I lose any of these games, I'm probably going to cry. I'm probably going to delete my YouTube channel. I'm probably going to um, drop out of school. I'm probably going to just start eating a lot every day and getting fat. I'm not going to leave my bed. I'm going to, I don't know. I just don't want to take any L's. Even though I do understand if y'all are, because these are some tough games. Hey, Carson, I'm glad you won. Even though your match was hard, all that matters is that you got the win. As long as you win, we're all good. I'm finally hitting my shots. There were, I think, versus the Cavs is when I was missing all those open shots. And that's the reason why I only won by 12, but now... We're finally hitting our open shots consistently. Finally. Like last game versus the Nets, we scored 97. And this game so far, we've almost scored 20 and a quarter, so we're making some really good progress. We're hitting all of our open shots. That wasn't open, but I guess we still made it. I'll take it. That was BS. That's the BS that the CPU has been making versus me. So I can't complain when one of those shots goes in. You know what I mean? If I make a shot like that, I can't be mad about it. The CPU's been doing that to me the entire stream. On Hall of Fame difficulty, I understand. But the Nets last game were doing it on All-Star. I thought that was going to go in. So yeah, this Raptors game should be a pretty easy one. We could have gone up double digits right there, but the biggest thing is that we're actually, you know, playing good defense. And we're hitting our open shots. I'm telling y'all, this Kobe might be the greatest of all time. He is in the greatest of all time collection, so there we go. Pretty good first quarter. Last game versus the Nets. We were, dare I say, doo-doo? We still won by double digits. We still won by 26, but, like, it was a terrible game. The defense was horrible. The offense was good. But we're actually combining the offense and the defense, which I know, it's insane. Odd Squad said, I'm in a tug-of-war game against the Raptors. Based on how 2K works, I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes a tug-of-war game. It shouldn't be, but it might just become a tug-of-war game. No! Oh, okay. That was a good shot. I was trying to pass to the corner and shoot it, but then I passed it one more time to the paint, and I guess Hakeem was wide open, but just know that was not intentional. That pass to the paint was completely an accident. Chris is fat. I am on game number 12 right now. We better win this game. If we take any L's today, I'm going to jump in a dumpster. And I'm not going to leave. RBM, I'm telling you, man. 2K just has it rigged against us. I don't know why. As if I don't suck at the game. <sighs> Carson says, why are you the Hornets? I'm not the Hornets. I'm the Charlotte Bobcats. 
My favorite individual team ever is the Charlotte Bobcats from the year 2012. They won seven games. Best team ever. Me and my friends love that team. The Charlotte Bobcats. And I guarantee you, even though that was a lockout shortened season, if it had been an 82 game season, I guarantee you, they would not have won more than eight games. That team literally struggled to score. They couldn't do anything. It's a wonder they even won seven games. It's a wonder they won seven games. So, yeah. I always got to show my respect for that team. The 2011-2012 Charlotte Bobcats. Mythical Zard says over 40 watching and over 100 likes. Hey, man. We got 46 people in the chat. You guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe. Every sub counts. Every single one. And every like counts too. It takes one second to like the stream and two seconds to subscribe. About to say, it really helps the channel grow. And I'm trying to grow the channel every single day. That's my goal. This is another thing I hate about the game. I really don't talk about this very often, but sometimes, about to say, I know you guys have seen this before, I will play perfect defense on the ball. But then for some reason, my CPU decides to foul. Let's say I'm using Kobe, and I'm guarding Vince Carter. For some reason, if I go up in the paint with Kobe, Hakeem will decide to go up and foul, even though I play perfect defense. Doesn't make sense to me, but it does make dollars. You see what I did there? Doesn't make sense, as in like, sense with a C, or an S, double meaning, but it makes dollars. I know you guys saw what I did there. Let me take a bite into this biscuit. That might be the driest biscuit ever. Wow. I was talking about how Chick-fil-A butters their biscuits. That might have been drier than a Popeye's biscuit. Damn. I need to go to the other Chick-fil-A near my house. There's two of them. Every now and then, this Chick-fil-A makes the biscuits way too dry. Popeye specializes in the dry biscuits. I don't know why Chick-fil-A did this. Silly Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's biscuits are always buttery, man. I don't know how they made them dry this time. Chick-fil-A's silly. Uh, Jonah EXC. If we win this game, we have 18 left. I was gonna say that these biscuits are drier than the Sahara Desert, but that wouldn't do them justice. That wouldn't give enough emphasis to how dry these biscuits are. Popeye's biscuits, yeah, they're dry. But if, you, if they're nice and hot, like, you're going to taste the butter. You're going to taste the salt. But this was just like eating, like, a clot of expired bread. And this was cooked fresh this morning. I drove through for this thing. I'm going to take another bite, though. <laughs> that bite was better. It's dry, but the taste is there. Okay, so it would be one thing if the biscuit was trash. But it actually tastes good. It's just drier than, you know, Popeyes. It would be one thing if it was just a terrible, garbage, disastrously bad biscuit. But it actually tastes good. So you know what? I'm going to eat the rest of it, for better or for worse. I'm going to finish up this biscuit. I'll get another bite of the biscuit at halftime. 
Hey, Carson. Thank you for telling us that you eat fish. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Doc, Ben, or Joel? Uh, this season, Ben. This season, Ben was definitely better than Joel. Even though Joel put up better points per game, Ben's definitely the better player. This season, he was amazing on defense. Even though his points per game went down, he was good on offense. And great playmaker, great rebounder. The best thing is the defense, though, for sure. The biggest thing is definitely the defense, without a doubt. Who should I pick up? Switched Hito, Bill Russell, or Jimmy Butler? I say it depends on what position you're trying to fill. I like Bill Russell at the small forward, but you could just stick Jimmy Butler at the two. Should I sell Opal Magic for Opal Simmons? Um, I mean, I feel like Opal Simmons is the better player, especially if you actually evolve him. But like, I don't know, he's a little bit outdated. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a new Ben Simmons soon. Like, we've been getting all these duplicates lately. We just got a new LeBron, who already had an Opal. We got a new D-Wade, who already has a collection Opal. We just got a CP3, who's new, so he doesn't really apply. We just got a new Mello, who already also already has an Opal. We're getting all these new players, who already have Opals, so... I mean, I don't see what the harm is in giving Ben Simmons an Opal, you know? Uh, Deformed Grape, I play on Xbox. I'm an Xbox, man. Man, we're on fire this game. We're making it look easy. Hitting all these open shots. Clamping down on defense, too. That was a backcourt violation, by the way. No, you guys saw that. You should have Dog rate your squad. You mean DBG? I think that's what you mean. Oh, yeah, come on. Come on, Superstar CPU. DBG, that's what I thought you meant. That's what I thought you meant. Packer, we do need Dame. We could use a Dame dollar card. Ooh. Moss, I am Superstar 1. I have a good winning percentage, though. But I just don't play the park very much. I usually only play it when I'm streaming. Hey, all Mike do is game, says Xbox for life. Hey, I couldn't agree more. I've been an Xbox man ever since the 360. Ever since about 2010, 2011, around that time, I've been an Xbox man. Or back then, I was an Xbox 5th grade squeaker. But now, I'm an Xbox man. LGT says, should I Kyrie? Or, you mean, should I sell Kyrie for Curry? Is that what you mean? I mean, I think you should go for the new Curry. You should sell Kyrie and go for the new Curry. I think that's a great idea. I think that's what you just said. I think that's a great idea. This new GOAT Curry looks like he's going to be pretty good, so that's why we're going for him. And I will let you guys know whether or not he's worth it. Since a lot of people have been asking about that, asking is he worth it, is he worth it, we're going to find out together. We got 42 people in here. We are two likes away from 140. You guys make sure to drop a like on the stream for me if you haven't already. It takes one second, and it really does help out the channel a lot. You guys know that. Also, I'm not sure if we've hit 2.69 thousand subscribers yet, but I'm sure we're getting close, so you guys subscribe if you're enjoying the content. It helps the channel grow every single day, and that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, Chris, I am on game number 12. If we win this game, that is 12 games down, 18 games to go. Carson says, Doc, I'm left-handed. Cool. Welcome back, Kai FN. Welcome back to the stream. Larry Bird's open in the corner again. Larry Bird's been going off today. I have finally gotten his release down. Finally. I'm hitting these open shots with Larry Bird. Larry Bird has been an absolute beast today, man. Packer the player said, we hit 2.69. 
Let's go! That's awesome. 2.69 thousand subs. It doesn't get much better than that. Anytime there's a 6-9 in there, you already know it's gonna be good. Like, I haven't seen that since 1.69 thousand subs, so... Nah, for real. Like, everybody who subbed today, everybody who's new to the channel, thank you so much. I really do appreciate every single one of you. It's been an awesome stream today. I've really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. I really do appreciate every single one of you. JD says, I just woke up from my map. Nap, excuse me. What's up? Well, JD, right now I'm destroying your Raptors. This looks like a fourth quarter score, but surprisingly, it's only the end of the third quarter, so... Yeah, we're kind of destroying the Raptors. This is on Superstar difficulty. They just can't hang. They just can't hang. I hate to do this to your favorite team, but they just didn't come into the game ready, right? They just weren't prepared. I have no choice. I had to do this. I didn't want to, but I had to. If he had made that, I would have cried. Y'all would have seen me cry real tears. Carson, who said I hate you? I definitely... Ugh, I choked on a piece of biscuit. I never said I hated you. You just ask some weird questions sometimes and tell me things that I didn't ask, you know? In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Like the fact we get to see this pass one more time a magnificent feed and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duty with this much skill well i like that he didn't make his decision too early you know he let the play develop that's how you do it finds the weakness in that defense. and there have been two very different performances from these teams today we get going in good biscuit four. on the court right now for the bobcats yeah, Carson. I really don't hate anybody. I don't even hate the people who dislike the stream. I really don't hate anybody. Hate is a really strong word. Like, when I'm walking around or looking on social media, I'll never see anybody who I'm just like, oh my god, I just can't stand this person. This person's pissing me off. I don't want to see them. This is terrible. I don't hate anybody like that, man. I just think it's kind of cruel. JD said, Is this still being done in one stream? We're going to have to find out. We're going to have to find out. I'm not 100% sure that it will be done in one stream. But I'm, you know, low 90s, high 80s. Percent chance sure that we can get this done in one stream. We're going to definitely try. But I can't say 100% that we're going to get it done in one stream. But we're going to definitely try. We will try. Why are they double teaming off Larry Bird? What a beast. Doc, my team is better than yours. The Knicks suck. I mean, yeah, the Knicks suck, but... Is that something people do? Do they walk around and say the team that I like is better than the team that you like? Because I can switch up at any second. My older brother used to do that. He was like, huh, yeah, the Heat are better than the Knicks. And I'm like, Noah, what do you expect? The Heat just won the championship. The Knicks were the eight seed last year. Are you going to brag because the team you like is better than the team I like? I know what you mean. I feel you. I mean, the Bucks are pretty good. JD said, why such negativity? I don't know. I don't know, JD. It's borderline incomprehensible. Excuse me. I almost pronounced that wrong. About to say, all that matters right now is that we're up by almost 70 versus the Raptors. How did he make that? Okay, come on. No big deal. My team is the Suns, so I'm not a bandwagon. Oh, it wasn't you who said you like the Bucks. That was somebody else. My fault, my fault. The Suns are pretty bad. 
But yeah, they are better than the Knicks. And they're definitely in a better spot than the Knicks. Excuse me. I thought that you were a Bucks fan. I think somebody else said that earlier. Look how they're double teaming off Larry Bird. Are you serious? How are they going to double team off the best player in my team history? My bad, best white player in my team history. I think that's accurate. Possibly. Maybe. I mean, Diamond Karolinko is pretty good too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he was better than this bird, but he was still pretty good. All Mike do is game, says Grizzlies slash Mavs fan. Hey man, I'm a Knicks slash Hawks fan, so I have it kind of bad. Trey Young's pretty good, but he's also the second worst defender in the league. I think Darius Garland's a bit worse. As a Cavs viewer, I do think that I do think that Garland's a worse defender, even though Trey Young. There's so much attention on him, all because he's so good at scoring. Once the Knicks get rid of Dolan, y'all are good. I agree. I completely agree. But also, I mean, you gotta get talent, so... Whoever... If the guy who buys the Knicks is unable to, like, you know, like, round the ship, then... Yes, it could still be kind of bad, but I'm very optimistic. I am pretty optimistic. I like LeBron, so I like whatever team he plays for. But I'm a Wizards fan, hey. I liked the Wizards a few years back, too. The Wizards got Paul Pierce, and I was like, oh, yes. He's being paired with my favorite PG, John Wall. It's time for a nice playoff run. And they almost beat the number one seed Hawks. Almost. I remember Al Horford made a putback in games, ga game five in Atlanta. After Paul Pierce hit a three to give the Wizards the lead. Oily Johnson, I think the Clippers are good. I don't know if they're going to win the championship, though. But if, they, if the Lakers don't win it, it's probably going to be the Clippers. The only thing the Clippers lack that I feel like is a big deal is, like, a really good, like, natural playmaker. Somebody like LeBron or Doncic or Chris Paul. Someone who's just an amazing passer and playmaker. Yeah, they have guys who can defend. They have a lot of guys who can score. They have guys who can make every shot, and they just don't have a guy who is just an amazing playmaker like that, you know? I mean, Kawhi can make a pass, Paul George can make a pass, Lou Williams, Pat Beverly, Marcus Morris can make a pass, but like, I feel like the one thing they're missing is a natural playmaker, and I feel like LeBron being that playmaker for the Lakers is a big deal. Especially when you have a guy who can score, like Anthony Davis. JD says, I feel like the Warriors will not get the first pick. You know the odds of getting the first pick are like terrible. The odds of getting the first pick are abysmal. Last year the Knicks had a better chance of getting a pick that was outside of the top five than actually getting the number one pick. I don't think many people talk about that though, because the narrative that the media built was that the Knicks were about to get the number one pick and that Zion was about to save them. But the Knicks had a better chance at getting the 6 through 10 pick than getting the number one pick. So the fact that they even got three, I can live with it, to be honest with you. What's up, Dark? Welcome to the stream. That was a really good win. We won 110 to 45 in Toronto. We only have three games left. Three games left until we're halfway done so let's do this we're playing versus philly we're playing versus prime galaxy opal simmons and we're playing versus galaxy opal and beat as well this is gonna be a tough game but y'all know i'm not really worried about it we're playing versus the answer playing versus hershey hawkins dr j ben simmons and Embiid. y'all know we're gonna be all right achu fat says they should pick me up for defense. I've never seen you play defense, but I'm not going to hate. I'm going to take your word for it. Most guys who say they're good at defense are good at defense. Now, for offense, it's the other way around. Guys will be like, oh, I'm instant offense, guaranteed bucket, and they'll suck. 
But if guys say they're good on defense, they're good on defense. So I'm going to believe you on that one. Is Hall of Fame difficult to win? I don't think so. That's just my opinion, though. I have an all-opal team, so it's not hard for me. If you have an all-pink diamond team, it's probably not hard either, but yeah, with my team, it's not one bit hard. Dark says tomorrow I go to play the matches. Hey, good luck to you. Good luck to you. You got this, man. They've been making contested jump shots the entire stream. We won every game, but they've been hitting some really tough shots. All Mike do says, last time I tried, it was kind of hard to win. Hey, man, if you play good defense, move the ball around and get a lot of open shots... You're going to be all right, but if you, like, try to zigzag around and, like, cheese, it might be kind of tough. In my opinion, you guys can call this boring, but, like, the best way to play is just by playing the right way as I shoot a snatchback jump shot. Yeah, that was kind of hypocritical of me to say. But, um, Achu, not every challenge is on Hall of Fame. So it is six sets, five games each. The first game out of five is on All-Star. The second game's on Superstar. Third game is Superstar. And the final two games are both on Hall of Fame. So, yeah. The first three games, not Hall of Fame. Last two games, Hall of Fame. Is there any chance at a stream tomorrow? Uh... That's a very low chance, but there is a chance, because keep in mind, this stream is going to be super long. So, it's not a great chance, but you never know. If I can get some good sleep tonight, get a good workout in tomorrow morning, you never know. I might just have the energy for a stream at night. But I'm going to have to get some good sleep, because this is going to be a long stream. I'm taking some terrible shots. Let me actually be a little bit smart on offense. Outside Arenas jacks up a three, buries the long range jumper. Arenas has got a couple of threes now in the first. Dark says I got all opals on my team and Goat Larry Bird. That's pretty good then. If you have an all opal team, you're gonna be all right. If you can play defense and you have good offensive opals, you're gonna be all right. I mean, look how all these teams we're playing against are kind of struggling to score. If you can be like that, you're going to be all right. This Larry Bird's been a monster today, man. I know you guys have seen this. Solo Braden, I'm on game number 13. If we win this game, we are two games away from being halfway done. Hey, 95L, this stream is super chill. We've gained a lot of new subs today. The conversation we've been having in the chat has been awesome. I really enjoyed it. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed it, too. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it, too. It's been a lot of fun. And it's not even close to being over. This is going to be a long stream. So you never know. We might actually have enough time to get 200 likes. We might actually have time to do that just because this stream is going to be so long. We might actually pull it off. You never know. We'll have to see, though. I think I've gotten 200 likes on a stream once before. Once, maybe twice. And they were actually Spotlight Sim streams, if I'm not mistaken. Either Spotlight Sim or Mystery Packs, I can't remember. But I know we've done it before. All Mike do says I have four pink diamonds, but one of them is the Rodman. So hopefully I can get the Galaxy Opal A. I really like the Galaxy Opal Rodman. I'm a big fan of the Opal Rodman, I'm not going to lie. Some people don't like his jump shot, and I will admit it's pretty slow. But hey, I don't really care about a slow jump shot because he's so good on defense. He's so good on defense that I could really care less about a slow jump shot. He's really good at attacking the rim. He's good at doing all the little things you need him to. We're on fire, man. 
We had one bad game versus the Cavs ever since we've been killing it. In that bad game, we are still able to win, so we'll take it. We can live with one bad game every now and then, as long as we get the W. Get out the corner, man. This basing is terrible. They're double teaming, man. Look at this. They're double teaming in the paint. Are you serious? <sighs> hey, Joseph Ramsey. Congratulations on beating the Bulls. As Cheeks says, as long as he works for you. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Philadelphia trails by 15. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Boy, supported by great vertical explosiveness, MB continues. I was wide open right there. I could have taken a step in. I was completely open, but I trusted Kobe to hit that 40-footer. Great defense. Great defensive quarter. It doesn't get much better than that. That was a very good first quarter on defense. And we scored 29 points. Are you serious? Doesn't get much better than that. Three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of Brazy? time for a comeback. Mm. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Sharp. Boy, the three -point After this game, we got 17 games left. And the other thing, though, is their execution. Um, that biscuit's so dry. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. So on the floor for Charlotte. This second quarter. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. That biscuit's so dry. And it's Kobe in the shooting guard position. Boy, the floor wow. Got me crying on stream. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Thomas Ungaro. This is game number 13. Yeah. If we get this win, we have only 17 left. I think I just answered that same question. I apologize if I did. Dark says, do you think that Steph is going to go better than Magic Goat? No, I don't. No, I don't. I mean, the thing about Steph is that he is 6'3". And Magic's what, 6'8", 6'9"? So, like, I mean, Magic has the same stats... Yeah, the jumper's not as nice, but the stats are amazing. The defense is great. He has height. He can body smaller point guards. So the reason why people are so curious about Curry, or so skeptical about him is a better word, is because, like, small ball, man. Small ball. That Curry's good, but he's only 6'3". And people don't love using players who are, like, below 6'4". Or 6'5". To be honest with you. And Kevin, that's the first and most I was trying to lob that to Joel. When I watch it, is how nimble he is for his size. And you notice it at the offensive end because he's got great <sighs> I thought that was chase down artist time. I thought it was chase down time right there. Look how they're double teaming. I'm missing my shots though. And here's Kobe for three. I'll take it. The way it is this year, you can't even be happy about hitting a full white. It's not as cool as getting a green. Getting greens is the wave. Whenever the ball goes in and it's not a green, you're kind of just like... You can't really like talk crap or anything if a white goes in. Even if it is wide open. All of a sudden, we're missing every shot. There we go. There we go. What's up, Doge? Welcome to the stream. It's all good. This is going to be a long stream, so you didn't really miss much. Well, you missed a lot, but the stream's not even close to being over. We got 40 people in here, 145 likes. We're about to hit 150. That's crazy. We have not lost a game yet today. We have been beasting and feasting. We're going to get this Steph Curry. We are going to get this Steph Curry, and it's going to be glorious. Even though he's not always squared up, Bird terrific in the catch and shoot game. 
Odd Squad said, I'm mad you can't throw full court passes anymore. I never really throw full court passes in the first place, but I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry you don't like the lack of full court passes in this game. I gotta say, I really don't do that. It's not a smart play. I got Joel Embiid running off screens like his name is actually Kyle Korver. This game is great. Two K is the best, most realistic basketball simulation in the history of mankind. Quote: CP the Duck, July seventh, two thousand twenty. Welcome back, Moss. Oh yeah, get that out of here. Save it. Let's go. That was a nice block. But an even nicer save. It doesn't get much better than that. It does not get much better than that. What's up, Colton Carroll? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright, enjoying yourself. Hey, this goes to everybody in the stream. Y'all make sure to subscribe for me if you enjoy the content. Make sure to drop a like too. We're getting very close to 150. 150 likes and very close to 2.7 thousand subs, so... Hey, the channel's done a lot of growing today. I appreciate every single person who's come in and made the stream better today. About to say, having you guys in the stream to talk to makes things easier for me. Makes things easier. You guys basically dictate like where I'm going with my dialogue, the stuff I'm going to say. Every now and then, I'll commentate the game, talk about what's going on in the game. But a lot of the times, I'm just talking to you guys, so I appreciate you guys giving me stuff to talk about. Maria, I am getting 2K21, yes. I'm definitely getting 2K21. I'm not going to pre-order it just yet. I want to see some gameplay first, but like, 2K20, despite being a bad game, did so well for my channel. I think that if 2K21's good, it, I feel like the channel's gonna grow even more. I feel like I could blow up 2K21. I could be wrong, but hey, I can dream, right? I can hope for that. We'll see. You don't wanna just hope for it. You gotta make sure you work for it too. If you set a goal, you gotta make sure you actually go for it. But yes, Maria, I am planning on getting 2K21, for sure. Good first half. Let's see if we can pull away. This game is still a little bit in doubt. We're going to see if we can start hitting our shots a little bit more. Are you entering the locker codes? I gotta give you a big fat no on that one. I have not entered a single locker code in the last like two or three weeks, so I gotta get back to that. I know 2K has been releasing a lot of those players club locker codes. I gotta put them in. I'll probably do that once the stream's over. What's up, Carb Gaming? I'm on Xbox. Carb L63, to be exact. I just saw Carb. I couldn't see the rest from here. So, I hope you're cool with me calling you Carb. Uh, white Boy Rick. This is game number 13. If we win this game, we are two wins away from the halfway point, which I think is pretty huge. We've been having a really good stream. We've won every game. We've made it look easy. Larry Bird has been on fire today, man. I remember the last time I streamed Larry Bird gameplay, I was kind of struggling with his jump shot, but today, I've mastered that jump shot, man. That jump shot's been going in like crazy. A V boards, 2 CFI. Why? Excuse me. Thank you for subbing. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation. We might hit 2.7 thousand by the end of the stream. We're less than 10 away, so you never know. You never know. 
That was a terrible shot. I know he has takeover, but that was still a terrible shot. Uh, Carb, my starting five is at the point guard, Arenas. At the shooting guard, got Kobe. Got Larry Bird at the three. Got Hakeem at the five. And Joel Embiid at the four. Very good team. Very good team. A little bit outdated, but still a very fun team to use. Um, Maria, the squad is almost no money spent. You guys know I don't really do pack openings. I don't really spend money on VC. I really get all my players and all my MT and tokens from grinding rewards. About to say, I streamed my first Spotlight Sim. I streamed Historic Spotlight Sim, Final Spotlight Sim, and now, now, we're on the all-time Spotlight Sim. So, we're all about the grind around here. That's what we're all about. What's up, Carson? Welcome back. But yeah, it's not no money spent, but it's pretty close. It's close, but not no money spent, but almost. This is a stretch, but what if you hit 3K by the end of the week? Well, that would be big time right there. 3K by the end of the week would be crazy, but I mean, I'm not really worried about that. Right now, I'm focused on 2.7. That's what I'm focused on right now. After that, I'll be focused on 2.8. After that, 2.9. After that, we will worry about 3,000. But right now, I'm just playing the game. Letting the game come to me. I don't want to force anything. Just going to let the game come to me. Oh, that's a terrible double team. Are you serious? 3K by the end of the week. It's possible. It's possible. Welcome back, 95L. And the reason why I say it's possible is because if you guys look up NBA 2K streamers, like if you type in NBA 2K20 and then filter it to just live streams, I'm actually one of the bigger, like, streamers. Of course, I'm not one of the bigger content creators, but, like, out of the people who are live, I will actually usually be near the top. And since I'm near the top, my stream shows up in a lot of people's feeds. And, yeah. Every single like and every single person watching and talking in the chat, it makes it more likely for the stream to show up in more people's feeds. Everything helps. Got to say, views don't really matter when stuff shows up in feeds. The stuff that matters is likes, comments, watch time, that stuff. So having a lot of people in here watching and having a lot of likes, it really does raise the odds that new people find my channel. Uh, Carb, you can maybe play me one day. Haven't thought that far ahead, though. I usually play versus subscribers off-stream, but I'll usually post it in a video. I'll usually make it into a video. OG Ghost says, should I sell the new LeBron and get someone else? I think the new LeBron is pretty much as good as you can get, if we're talking about a player. But if you're able to get that Kareem, I definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend it. That Kareem's probably the best card in the game. 150 likes! Thank you guys. 150 likes is a huge stream, for real. But yeah, OG Ghost, I think you should... LeBron's good, but if, you, if there's some way that you can sell him and get that Kareem, I definitely recommend it. Packer says, I'm about to play the Warriors. Hey, good luck, Packer. You got this. Oh, man. Mr. Beast says, I filtered 2K streams and found me. Hey, that's right. That's how you do it. That's how you get it done. What, Mo? I am on game 13 of the Curry Challenges. 13 games in. My goal is to get this all done in one stream. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but I do know I'm going to try my best. Owen Ellis, I pretty much just answered that question, but in case you didn't hear me, if we win this game, that is 13 games down, 17 games to go. No! Why did he throw the self alley-oop? I was trying to go to Embiid. It's all good, though. I'm trying to pull away, man. And yes, my voice just cracked. You guys heard that. But yeah, I'm trying to pull away. We're only up. By 37. 
Yeah, and it doesn't hurt to be on fire from beyond. They have been really good. I know that's a cheesy steal, but versus the CPU, you gotta take advantage of that. I know that's a cheesy steal, but I had to do it. 95 L says Doc. Someone just blew up my cargo in GTA. That's tough. That's tough. I'm sorry about that. Oh, man. I know that you guys think the same way that I do. When you're up by like 30 or 40 in these games, it makes it so tough to play the rest of the game for real. I wish I could simulate to the end. I'm up by 41. They're not coming back. I wish I could just sim to the end. Man, I wish this other team would rage quit. I wish the 76ers could just rage quit right now. Wet Mo says I have five more opals to get. Hey, so you're making some good progress. I have four more opals, so you're not very far behind me. Not very far behind me. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They gotta tighten it up. Yeah, I know you guys wish there was a simulate to end button. Larry Bird doesn't miss. I don't think I've taken a single dribble with Larry Bird. And he has 32 points. Oh, the reason I passed it so fast is because I just said I haven't taken a dribble. So I didn't want to take a dribble right there. There we go. No dribble again. What Mo says, I'm only grinding for this. Because look at Curry, man. Look at Curry, man. So inspirational. What opal are you getting? Um, that's a great question. I'm trying to remember. Can one of you guys remind me? I can't remember who the opal is for the uh, cent or the Atlantic Division. I seriously can't remember. About to say. I'm just playing the game. I can't remember who it is. Oh, it's Derek Coleman. Derek Coleman from the Nets. That's who it is. About to say. I hate that I don't know who it is, but like, the only player I care about is Curry. I'm not saying that in like a flight type of way. I'm saying that because like, the other players, I look at their badges and stuff, and they just don't look that good. They just don't look very good, so the only player I really care about using is Curry. I'm playing the Warriors, not gonna lie. Goat Curry's really good. He's locking up my PG and doing great things on offense. That's what Steph's all about. Flight's probably grinding too. Yeah, he is. About to say. He would love this goat Steph Curry. He would love... Why are they double teaming off Kobe? Okay, maybe that's why. Even though Kobe never misses. I guess he misses every now and then, but... It's a very rare thing. If you guys have been watching the whole stream, Kobe's probably missed like two times. Let me give the ball to Arenas. The second he catches the ball, they double team. And I'm telling you, man... Kobe's not going to miss very often. Doc, I'll BRB. I'm going to get a snowball. Hey, that sounds nice. I wish it was winter over here, too. I'd love to get a snowball right now. That'd be so fire. Well, not really, because it's snowball. I'm going to shoot this. Why not? <sighs> Can we score 100 points? That would be pretty great. I'm going to leave Matisse Thibault wide open. Oh, good contest, too. Let's get one more bucket. I usually run out the clock a little bit, but let's try to go ahead and get one more bucket real quick. I guess that works, too. If I miss one... That's why I need the meter. On jump shots, I'm fine. But on free throws, I need that meter. What's up, Reap Illusion? Welcome to the stream. Um, if I win this game, we are only 17 games away. 
We are 13 and 0 if we hold on and get this win. Wet Mo says, "How many hours do you think it will take to complete all this?" I think 15. Let's try to get a buzzer beater. Let's try to get a buzzer beater. Darn it. We only won by 43. <sighs> I know, I know. I know you guys are disappointed in me. I'm sorry. Stop booing me, please. Stop booing me, please. <sighs> I know. I'll try to bounce back next game. I'll bounce back. I promise. 13 games down. 17 games to go. We're almost halfway there. We are almost halfway finished. And that's a pretty big milestone, so let's keep pounding. Let's keep grinding away. Let's do this. Oh, man. This has been a grind, but I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. This stream is almost halfway over, but I'm still feeling really good. Uh, Marcus said, what's up, bro? What's up, man? Uh, any advice for winning all of it? Lock in on defense. I don't really have to worry about defense much because my team is so good. But, hey, just be smart on offense. Run the fast break as much as possible because sometimes the defense doesn't get back super fast. And I get a bunch of open shots off of that. Push the pace a lot and play good defense. Okay, we're playing versus the Knicks on Hall of Fame difficulty. We are 4-0 versus the Hall of Fame CPU. Let's see if we can get this win. Get it. Here we go. Game number 14. Carson Merritt says, You're a 2K professional. I appreciate it, Carson. But I'm still working on it, trying to get a little bit better every day. What, Mo? I would use the Nets playbook, but I don't think you guys would really enjoy watching me run the same play over and over. So that's why I'm not using the playbook. It's an easy way to do it. You're right. It's a very easy way to do it, but yeah. I just want to play the right way. Here we go. Hall of Fame CPU. Kobe versus Mello. Great defense. They actually missed a contested shot. This is crazy. They always make those. <laughs> oh, man. As long as we can create open shots, we're going to be okay. No matter how many points they score, if our shots are falling, we're going to score more. Not a good start. I'm back on defense, though. And now they're getting contact dunk animations. I think the CPU wants me to lose. But it's too bad. I'm not going to lose. Even though they really want me to. I can tell they want me to, sadly. Not saying the game's rigged. But I'm saying this might be a little bit tougher than I expect. No, I'm just kidding. JD says you need to get shooting guard Giannis. Hey, man. There are a lot of upgrades I want to make to my team. But I don't really buy VC or open packs or make MT or anything like that. I wish I could get those players, but yeah, I don't stack up MT like that. Maybe next year I'll be like a, a MT gatherer. Also, I don't really snipe in the auction house because I'm simply not patient enough to do that. I don't have the patience, so I never snipe in the auction house, ever. Which I know is not a good thing. I know it's a very easy free way to make MT, but like, I just don't do it. I'm not saying it's a waste of time, because it's definitely worth it, but like, it just, it's so time consuming. That was a terrible shot. What's up, Ramaya? Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome to the stream. Marcus says, cool. I usually just post up with Taco and Bull Bull. Yeah, with two big men like that, it's kind of hard to push the pace, but... That's not a bad strat either. Uh, Wyatt Holloway, I have not played versus the Pelicans yet. I've played versus pretty much the entire Eastern Conference though. And I can confirm that none of the games are really hard. I know I'm down right now, but I promise we're going to get a nice big win. Eventually. 
eventually we're gonna get a nice win. What's up, 13 Roly? Welcome back. But yeah, I haven't played a single Western Conference game, but pretty soon we're gonna start on the West, and it's gonna be pretty awesome. Once we lock in on defense and start hitting our shots a little bit better, we're going to pull away. The Knicks are going to be in the rear view. Oh, that was a BS turnover. We're good, though. But yeah, Ramaya, it's nice seeing you back. I know it's been a long time. But yeah, streams are back. Polar says I'm doing the all-time Lakers, and they're really hard. Hey, Amen. Against them, you gotta push the pace and get as many easy shots as you can because that Shaq is so good defensively in the paint. If you can draw him out of the paint with a good shooting big man and blow past him off the dribble, you're gonna be all right. But then again, they also have James Worthy. They also have Kobe. They have a lot of good players on that team. Had to say, those guys aren't the only Opals. So you're gonna have to play smart. I'm not playing very smart right now, and that's the reason why this game's close. I'm also missing a lot of wide open shots, so if we can start hitting those shots like we have in the last few games, we gonna be all right. The West is more competitive. Oh, I bet. About to say, in the West, you got the. Oh crap! I just realized I haven't played the Celtics yet. That's gonna be a tough game. As I was saying, though, I mean, in the West, you got the Warriors, you got the Lakers, you got the Rockets with James Harden, Hakeem, and all them. I'm about to say, our toughest games have yet to come. OG said, should I sell the new LeBron and get KD? It really comes down to personal preference. It, it really comes down to personal preference. It's your call. That LeBron's good, but, I mean, you're going to make a lot of MT if you sell him, so... It's your call. Wow. They're really leaving Larry Bird wide open? You guys have seen how good Larry Bird's been this entire stream. Why are they helping off Larry Bird? I don't know what they're thinking. I think they're smoking that Yule Stone Rocket. What do you run on defense? Because I run a 2-3 zone. I'll play a zone online sometimes, but like, my defenders are good enough man-to-man -to, -man to where I don't really have to play a zone. I just play man-to-man, -man, especially in these offline games. In these offline games, I make absolutely no adjustments, but I do make sure to help and recover on defense. That's a big basketball fundamental that we learn in real life. So if you can do that in the game, if you can bait steals and bait turnovers, you're going to be all right. You just got to make sure you're playing the passing lanes and all that good stuff. And yeah, I wouldn't say it's that simple, but... Because you do have to learn it, but like, if you're able to do it, you're going to be fine on defense. Not a bad first quarter. We could have done a little bit better, but I can live with it. I can live with the eight-point lead. As long as we have the lead, I can't really complain, can I? And we have a chance to go up by double digits right here. I can't really complain. Gilbert Arenas is on fire. I'm pretty sure they're about to start double teaming. I think they might start double teaming. There we go. And now Joel and Bede's wide open. And now that they're double teaming my point guard, everyone else is about to get wide open shots. I'm going to start making those shots. And this game's going to be OV. That's short for over. That is short for over. Pelicans lineup is Zion, CP3, Ingram, AD, and Boogie. That's a pretty good lineup. Not really worried about it, but that is a pretty glitchy lineup. Let's get the ball back to Arenas. And they're going to double team. Actually, no. They're not double teaming, surprisingly. I definitely thought they were going to double team. But they're also sagging off Akeem. So, no matter what, we have a lot of space to get those jump shots. Packer says, If you say 2K20 is accurate to real life, you don't play basketball. That's facts. That's facts. Rasmussen says, I've been watching this since the start. Hey, how many of you guys have been here from the very beginning? I know we have a lot of new subs in here, 
some guys who came in an hour or so ago. How many of you guys have been sitting here watching ever since the stream started? I'm curious. I'm just curious. I know Rass is not the only one. Yeah, that's right. They need that timeout very badly. Ninety-five L says two K twenties garbage. Yet we all still play it. I know it's crazy. Joseph Ramsey's been here pretty much the whole time. Trayon Zans has pretty much been here the whole time. A hey, shout out to all the guys who've been watching the whole time. You guys are real ones. You guys are real ones. I appreciate every single one of you. But yeah, this stream's nowhere near over. We've been live for six hours, and we still have over 30 people watching. That's absolutely insane. We've been live for so long. Look at how they're leaving Bird open. That's crazy. Gotta make that shot, though. Tevin says, I've been in the stream ever since you've started. Hey, I appreciate all of y'all, man. Like I said, you guys are awesome. Oh, we got 38 people in here. And we're playing pretty well, but we got to keep on hitting our open shots. They're double-teaming arenas every single time down the floor, so as long as I can keep on passing, we're going to pull away and win this game super easily. We were up by eight at the end of the first quarter. Ever since then, we've been on a tear. Get that board. Let's go. Yeah, here comes the double team. There's the open shooter. Oh, come on. That's supposed to be an easy board. What's up, Puff? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing all right today. About to say, haven't seen you since yesterday. I'm glad that you were able to make it to my return stream. Yesterday's stream was great, but today's stream has been a little bit better. Today's stream has been pretty awesome, too. Let's get it back to arenas. I mean, they're double teaming them every time. And now Embiid's wide open right by the basket. Come on, man. These CPUs kind of confuse me. What's the point of double teaming if there's only going to be like... If you're going to leave one guy wide open in the paint, what's the point of a double team? Like, my team is so spaced, there's no point in throwing me that double team. Whenever I cross half court, it's an immediate double team. And I only have eight points. Look at this. Oh, I lost the ball. I hit Icon. What's it called? Icon left trigger, though. I saw the open man, I promise. But 2K's double team logic is so weird. I'm not going to complain about the double teams because, I mean, they help you score easier. But, like, I don't get the logic. I don't understand why they'll, why they'll leave a guy completely open in the paint. Rass says... My head hurts from grinding and watching, but it's fun. Uh, Carson, yeah, I'm probably going to use Steph Curry. If I had to, yeah, probably. Because he's probably better than Gilbert Arenas. And Gilbert's my starting point guard. So, yeah. If I had to guess, yes. I'm not getting many greens for some reason. Yeah, we're hitting our shots. We haven't been terrible, but... I've made a few whites. I've gotten a little bit lucky this game shooting the ball. I'll take it though. What's going on right here? What play is this? Oh, it is pass out to contested jump shot play. Love that one. I should have held for the last shot. I should have held the ball. That was kind of dumb, but eh. I guess we got another possession. Oh no, I don't have time. Ooh, man. I didn't think I had time. I got that fast break dunk. 
I thought that was going to be my last bucket of the quarter, but okay. Got separation at the last second. Knocked it down. I'll take it. Huh. That was nice. How many more games? If we win this game, we only have 16 more. We're almost halfway done. Almost. Wow, so a 14 point lead became a 19 point lead in literally less than 10 seconds. That's tough. Oh no! I meant to throw that to Akeem. Come on, game. I don't get why 2K thought I was trying to throw it to the guy in the back right there. Akeem was literally sitting at the top of the key. And why is Kobe guarding Patrick Ewing on the inbound? This game doesn't make sense. But it does make dollars. It does make dollars. A lot of dollars, actually. Let's get the ball back to Gilbert. No! I know this is on Hall of Fame, but come on, game. Why do you have to be such an asshole? Come on. I think the game hears me. I think it knows what I'm trying to do because I'm telling y'all what I'm trying to do. Oh, man. Let's get those points back real quick. That was bad. Puff says, I plan to grind early tomorrow morning. I've grinded two games already. Amen. That means you only have 28 left if I'm doing my math correctly. So keep on grinding. You're going to get there. Come on, double team. They're not double teaming. There we go. Oh, come on. I thought that was an easy pass. The big man jumped. We are getting BS'd to start the second quarter. And right there, we played good defense. It gave me some good shot defense, but... Uh, okay. Let's play a little bit smarter. Let me play a little bit more under control. And beads wide open. There we go. JD says, do you play Madden Ultimate Team? No, but a lot of people have told me that I should start playing it. I watch football. I wish I could have played in high school, but my school didn't have a team. But, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I don't know much about football. So, 2K, if you've never played basketball, you can be good at 2K. But I've heard with Madden, if you don't know football for real, you can't be good at it. And I used to play it a lot, but I don't play it as much as I used to anymore. Me and my younger brother would always play against each other, and the games would be good. But, like... I'm definitely not good enough at it to be a competitive player. In 2K, I feel like I'm good enough at it. I think a lot of my subscribers can vouch for me on that one. But, yeah. In Madden, I know I'm going to want to get really good. And I don't want that to take away from my basketball content. The real life one-on-ones and the 2K and everything. I don't want, it that, I don't want that to go too far ahead of what I'm doing right now. Uh, King? You have as long as you want to to finish the Curry Challenges. I know it says they're timed, but it said the same thing for Larry Bird. And, like, none of the challenges are actually timed. You don't have to worry about that. They're going to be there for the rest of the year. I know it's on Hall of Fame, but this is some annoyingly aggressive defense they're playing. Like, I know it's on the toughest difficulty, but come on. Doc, my leg is wounded from riding on my scooter. So I watched this to make it feel better. And I appreciate that, Carson. Now, I don't know how true this is, but I visited... I can't remember what they're called. I visited a psychic, I think, around last year. And they confirmed that in the future, my streams will have magical healing powers. I guess that psychic was right, because your leg is fine now, after whatever crap you did on your scooter. I've been told in the past that my streams have psychic powers. I'm glad that 
you know, I'm glad that prophecy finally came true. A puff, I do not buy MT. I don't really buy VC either. I kind of just, you know, grind out the reward players, grind out the challenges. It's what I do. It's what I stream. Now they're double teaming Kobe. Look at this. And look at this. Look at that defense. He's literally just sitting there in the paint. Silly Knicks. Yeah, defensively, it doesn't get much worse than that. Trey says, I'm not going to cap. I buy MT. I bought MT in 2K19. But 2K20, I have not bought any MT, sadly. Well, not really sadly. I mean, I just don't do it. I don't really think about doing it either. I just don't. I mean, buying MT is easy, Sports 24-7. You just contact a seller. You can find them anywhere, pretty much. Um, and yeah. You put a card up on the auction house for 100000 They buy it for 100000 It's pretty easy. Pretty simple process. Gotta make sure you pay them, too. 2K doesn't let you buy MT. So, yeah. They should maybe let you do that. They should maybe let... They, I don't know. If buying MT was an option, I guarantee you, a lot of people would do it. But, that would kind of take away from the things that happen in the auction house. Like, if they make getting MT easy, there's not going to be much value in having MT, you know? Not my best game, but, hey, we're still up by 20. Haven't done this in a while. Just going to check in with everybody. We have 37 people watching. Hope everybody's enjoying their day so far. Hope everyone's chilling. Hope everyone's enjoying the stream. And yeah, if you enjoy the content but you aren't subbed yet, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the content. And drop a like for me. We're almost at 160. Seb says, isn't buying MT a scam? It is a gamble. It's not a scam, Seb. But you're making a gamble. Because... If you contact somebody, there's no guarantee that they give you the MT. So you really have to trust it. I buy I buy from some very trusted people back in 2K19. Like the guys who I bought from, like I knew they weren't going to scam because they had a lot of vouchers. But like, there is a great chance you get scammed. You are right about that. But if you buy from the right people, you're going to be okay. What's up Gucci Chicken? Welcome to the stream. Got a lot of new people in here today, man. It's nice seeing so many new viewers in here, for real. It's awesome. If we get lucky, we might we might hit 2.7k subs by the end of the stream. That would be huge if we can hit 2.7,000. Jack Guggenheimer says... How close are you to Curry? Um, if we win this game, if we clutch out this game, I know it's close, but if we can pull away and win, we will be 16 games away from Curry, which means we are one win away from being halfway there, like Big Time Rush used to say. Gucci Chicken says I'll help that out. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Inbound cheese. It's always going to be a thing. If we can pull away a little bit more, put this game out of reach, I'll feel a little more comfortable about saying that we are 16 games away. Let me get some water real quick. I finished my bottle, so I got to drink from this big... From the big jug now. Oh yeah. Easy bucket. I'm telling you man, Larry Bird, he's been a beast today. He's been killing it today. His shot is just so easy. Jack Guggenheimer, welcome to Doc Nation. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the best community on YouTube. Self-proclaimed best community on YouTube. I think it's the best, but that's for you guys to decide. 
Uh, Gucci Chicken said, how do you get Hakeem? You gotta finish the Western... No, no, you gotta finish the Historic Spotlight Sims. Uh, both conferences. Both conferences. East and West. Why is Walt Frazier in at the power forward? Why is Embiid guarding this man? Nah, that's no big deal. <laughs> 37 point lead even though this game was close yes we were only up by eight at the end of the first quarter i told you guys we were gonna pull away you guys might not have believed me but now you should believe me uh gucci chicken it was not very hard to get hakeem all he had to do was play versus all those historic teams and win and winning's not very hard to do in this game for me in my opinion Welcome back, Liv Stack. Their ability uh, again to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up. I was just trying to get an open three right there. I guess we'll take the two instead, though. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact stop. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his point. I still don't get why Embiid is guarding Clyde Frazier. I seriously don't get it, but I mean, Embiid is a lockdown defender, so that was like 135% contested. Uh, Gucci Chicken, my best card is either Galaxy Opal Kobe or Galaxy Opal Larry Bird. Embiid's pretty good too, but I gotta put the two goats over Embiid. I like Hakeem too, but he's no Kobe. He's no Bird either. That's a terrible double team, are you kidding me? Puff says... I got Galaxy Opal Hershey Hawkins. Never used him before, sadly. I want to get him. Isn't he a vault reward? I like those vault reward players. Every now and then, there's a pretty good one. Another terrible double team. Why are they double teaming with 21 seconds left? Doesn't get much worse than that. And now we're stealing the ball from Galaxy Opal Walt Fraser. Are they going to go for one more bucket? I think they are. Yeah, they are. We're going to be sportsmanlike. Even though Chris Move says no sportsmanship for the Hall of Fame CPU, we're going to show a Actually, never mind. Ah, that would have been nice. Good win. We are one win away from being halfway there. 14 games down, 16 games to go. We're making some really good progress. We're making some really good progress here today. We're about to get our third Galaxy Opal of the stream. We are really beasting and feasting today. We are really playing like beasts today. It's been fun so far. It's been fun so far. 16 games left. What's good, Daniel Chavez? Welcome back to the stream. We are winning games like crazy, making it look easy. One game left, our final game of the Eastern Conference, starting right here, right now. Let's get it. Clout Chaser says, damn, you still grinding, take a break. Hey, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. We've gotten the first 14 games done in less than 7 hours. We might get the first 15 done in less than 7 hours. So honestly, we're on a really good pace. We've been winning these games super fast, and you guys seem to have been enjoying it. So, hey, you guys continue watching, continue talking to me in the chat, and we're going to get through the rest of this stream. Final game of the Eastern Conference, starting right here, right now. Let's do this. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty 
Let's get this show on the road. Game number 15, starting right now. Final game of the Eastern Conference. Let's get it. Playing versus the Celtics on Hall of Fame difficulty. This is interesting. They got Larry Bird starting at the PG. 2K just broke their... Wow. Kobe just got broken right there. Let's get him back real quick. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Hey, we got 48 people watching right now, man. Hope everyone's doing all right today. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves, staying safe. I know you guys see the title of the stream. You guys know what's going on around here. This is our final game of the Eastern Conference, so let's hop right into it. How do I sell players for more than 100k MT? Uh, I mean, have you ever used the auction house before? You said 100k, so you've clearly used it before, but have you ever used it for like, you know, a bid? You can put buy now up to 100k, but if you set the bid to 100k, guys are going to be bidding on it for more than 100k, you know? DEZ says, have you played 2k20 on the PC? No, I haven't, but it's a completely different experience than 2k20 on the Xbox. About to say, I've watched people play it before, but nah, I've never played it myself. Good shot, Kobe. Ugh. Voice almost cracked right there. Not our best start to the game. We all know we're going to be alright. We've won every single game we've played, and yeah, I doubt we're going to be taking any L's. So, if any of you guys want me to lose, first of all, I don't really blame you, but second of all, probably not going to happen. Mr. Sharkey says, is RJ Hampton at the shooting guard, or the point guard good? Or no, you said shooting guard, excuse me. I've never used him before. I've seen some gameplay though. He looks pretty good, but I don't know. I like Kobe better. I like Galaxy Opal Kobe at the two better. Kobe dropped our first six points. Yo, what's good, Bad Karma? Welcome to the stream, man. We got almost 50 people in here. It'd be awesome if you guys dropped a like for me, if you haven't already. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure to drop a sub too. Make sure you're subbed. About to say, I try to stream like this as often as I can. And I know 2K20 is not the best game. So you better gear up for some 2K21 streams too. That's if you're enjoying the content. If not, I'm not going to get mad if you don't leave a like and sub. But yeah, Sharky. I've heard he's good. I've seen some good gameplay, but I'm about to say, I don't really want him because I already got the Mamba. Man, Gilbert Arenas is pretty good, too. I love that snatchback. So we were down 4-0, but now we're looking pretty good. We've hit four three-pointers, so if we start scoring in the paint eventually, that would be pretty great. I like how I got the steal, and they got the ball. That's just great. For how much should I sell Kyrie? Um, is Kyrie buy now? Just look what the best price for him is and put it a little bit lower. About to say, I don't know how many people are trying to pick up a Galaxy Opal Kyrie Irving at this point in the year. His card wasn't even that good when it first came out, so I'd say put him up, like, I don't know, 100k at most. But definitely check the auction house, like, de check his value. Also, I know you guys see Kobe knocking down all these threes. And this is on Hall of Fame difficulty, so these shots that Kobe's hitting, they're nice and all, but hey, I'm getting the timing right. You guys gotta give me give me props for getting these releases right. Oh yeah, they're double teaming. They're leaving Bird wide open in the corner. Come on, Celtics. Y'all know Larry Bird. This man played for you for a few years. You guys know not to leave him open in the corner. Good start to the game, man. It wasn't looking good early. They got two easy buckets. They took a 4-0 lead. But ever since then, it's been instant offense for my team. Gucci said, which team should I play first? The easiest team is definitely the Charlotte Hornets. 
So you should start by playing them, and then the Wizards. And then I think after that you play the Hawks, and then you play the Heat and the Magic. So, yeah. If there's one division you should start on, I think it's the Southeast Division. What's up, Willie from Wii Sports? What's up, Michael the Goat? Welcome to the stream, you guys. Uh, them kids in FN? I would do the glitch, but I'm trying to entertain you guys a bit with my gameplay. I think if you guys were just sitting here watching me, like, stare at the screen while the clock runs out, or if you guys were just, you know, watching me run the same play every single time, I think that would get a little bit boring, so I'm just playing the game honestly. I don't want to run the same play every time or skip time with that glitch because that stuff takes no skill. It takes no skill, so I'm trying to show off my skills a little bit, at the very least. I know I'm not, like, that good, but I'd say I'm decent enough to where I can win with my skills instead of using the same play over and over. In my opinion. If only Hakeem was right next to the basket. <laughs> This spacing is horrible. Oh, man. Uh, Michael the Goat. There are absolutely no restrictions. No restrictions at all. You can use your best team and try to get these wins. They're leaving Larry Bird wide open. Are you serious? The CPUs help defense just... It throws me off, man. I don't get why the CPU's help defense is so garbage sometimes. <sighs> um, them kids in FN? Or not them kids in FN. I could demonstrate the glitch real quick. I'll demonstrate it real quick for you. So if you're on Xbox, you want to go to settings. You want to go to action replays. You want to put action replays on often. And yeah. If you're on PlayStation, it won't work. But if you're on Xbox, here's how you do it. Get any highlight play. Right there, I got a dunk. Oh, they called timeout, so it's not going to work. I'll show you next time. Also, Michael the Goat, thank you for subscribing. And Gucci Chicken, I do have an Insta. If any of you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is CP the Doc, no spaces. So let me show you guys how to do this glitch. Put your replays often, get a highlight. If the clock stops, the glitch doesn't work. So, man, they called a timeout the first time, and right there they fouled me. So the glitch doesn't work if, what's it called, the glitch doesn't work if the clock stops. So I'm going to show you guys the glitch. If you get a fast break bucket or run quick through STS or something like that, you can do the glitch. All you got to do is make a highlight play. So let me show you all how to do it real quick. If I can get a highlight play. Corby says, sup fag. What's up, little bitch? And that one hits back iron. Okay, let's get a bucket right here. No! That was an open layup, too, but it hit the bottom of the backboard. <sighs> Damn. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna show you how to do the glitch, though. Uh, Andrew, these are not time challenges. They are not limited. They're not timed. So you can just do these whenever you want to. Man, I'm having trouble. I'm not getting any buckets. To get the glitch, you gotta get a bucket. And I'm doing a bad job of showing y'all how to do it. I still have time to show you, though. Quervy says, it was a joke. Love your vids. I'm glad it was a joke. I do appreciate the love, though. But come on! I'm not hitting any open shots. Damn. I'm going to show y'all how to do this glitch, I promise. I'm doing terribly right now. But I'm going to show y'all how to do this glitch. I had two really good opportunities, but then I got fouled. Okay, here we go, here we go. There we go. So right when this menu screen comes up, you want to press the home button. There's how you do the glitch. For anybody who was wondering, so... You guys can't see it right now, but if you look really closely, the clock is running out while 
it's paused like this. So the second that screen with the card and the badges comes up, press the home button. Press that home button and clock will run out. Right now the clock's at 155. I'll stop it at 150. If I close this out, you guys can see the clock running. So yeah, that's how you do that. What's up, Nate? Welcome to the stream. If we have any new viewers in here, talk to me in the chat a little bit. Talk to me in the chat. Since these games get a little bit boring, I like talking to y'all. I like staying interactive with you guys. And you guys have made this stream a lot of fun. We've gained a lot of new subs today. And we've gained so many new subs today that we might even hit 2.7 su k by the end of the stream. Like, you guys have been killing it today, so... You guys drop a like for me. It takes one second. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure to sub. And turn on notifications for more streams like this one. What's up, Sebastian? So yeah, we have 47 people in here. A lot of you guys are just now joining, so let me give y'all a little bit of context. This is my final game of the Eastern Conference. Oh, terrible pass. This is my final game of the Eastern Conference. Once we win this game, we're going to be halfway done. Halfway done, man. We've made a lot of progress today. We've made a lot of progress. Brandon Pincus with a great lie. He said, I got one more to go. That's what I'm talking about right there. I wish I could lie that easily. Uh, Parker, sadly the glitch does not work on PlayStation 4. Sadly, no, because the Xbox home button's all weird. But yeah, if you have Xbox, it definitely works. Carson says, Goat Kareem or Goat Jordan? I gotta go Kareem. I mean, Jordan's good, but I can do the same things with Jordan that I can do with Kobe. So, I gotta go with Kareem. Because I feel like the stuff that Jordan can do, even though he has really good stats and really good badges, I feel like I can do that stuff with other players. Hey, we got 50 viewers in here for the first time today. You guys talk to me in the chat. It'd be awesome if you guys sub, man, for real. The channel's been growing a lot today. Nate says, this is great content. I subbed. I appreciate you, man. Let's end the quarter with a bang. Ooh! Paul Pierce got taken out by that screen. That's tough. I know you guys saw Paul Pierce get laid out right there. I'm sorry if that was a loud reaction, but it caught me off guard. Good first half. Good first half. Packer the player says 2.71k. That's pretty big. Hey man, every single one of you who subscribed today, I appreciate y'all. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. Glad you guys have been having fun talking in the chat, for real. And yes, for anybody who's just joining and is wondering, I am planning on completing this in one stream. So this stream is going to be going for another, like, seven hours. If we win this game, we're halfway done. So yeah, this is going to be a super long stream. So if you guys are going to hang around here and watch me get curry, sit back, get some popcorn, or you could do this too if you play 2K. That is to say, if you play 2K, you can be doing the same thing right now. I feel like my commentary is not too bad. I feel like if you just sit back and chill out, listening to my commentary might not be the worst thing. Every now and then, somebody comes in and says, Oh, God, your voice sucks, but some people like my commentary. Carson, I am going to play 2K21. And Mason, if I win this game, I only have 15 wins left. If I get this win, 15 more games. So, yeah. Abby, I think that answers your question, too. Quincy says, I'm making it a goal to play you in 2K21. I enjoy playing versus you guys. About to say, you guys always give me a challenge, so in 2K21, I definitely want to play versus subs a little bit more than I did this year, for sure. This is supposed to be on the Hall of Fame, and I just made that 100% smothered hook. Gotta love it. Daniel says, did you go 50-0 and for Larry Bird? I think I did. I don't think I've lost a game of Spotlight Sim. I don't recall one, at least. 
If any of you guys do, let me know, but I don't remember losing a single game for this. What edition are you planning on getting for 21? I'm probably going to get the $100 edition for Xbox so I can get it for free on the Series X. And yeah, I said Series X. I'm not 100% sure which console I want, man. I kind of want to switch to the PlayStation 5. Y'all know I'm a big Xbox man, but I kind of want to switch to PlayStation. A lot of you guys are telling me to switch. Packer the Player is one example of a guy telling me to switch. I have a lot of friends on PlayStation, but I have a lot of friends on Xbox too, so I really don't know what to go with. I really don't. Live Stack says Doc. When you hit 3,000 subs, I will jump in my pool 3,000 times. Hey, that's a lot of jumping in your pool. But hey, if any of you guys want Live Stack to jump in his pool 3,000 times, drop a sub for me. Series X better performance? Oh no, for sure. You're 100% correct about that. Like, when you look at the Xbox Series X performance stats, they are like out of this world. It's supposed to be like the best console ever. It's gonna be really good for streaming, but like, those PlayStation 5 games look pretty amazing. Ratchet and Clank. Like, Little Big Planet's making a comeback. Spider Man, Miles Morales. I would say 2K, but like, the 2K trailer, in my opinion, it wasn't that cool. They just zoomed in on Zion and showed a lot of sweat, so. In my opinion, it wasn't that cool, but it's going to be good on next-gen, too. Like, I remember being blown away by 2K14 on the Xbox One. Like, the graphics were such a huge improvement over the Xbox 360. And even though there were only, like, three game modes, my career, my team, and my GM, it was still a lot of fun, man. The graphics made it amazing, so maybe those graphics will work some magic in 2K21, too. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to find out. Oh, terrible release. I'm hitting a lot of full whites. Well, actually, that wasn't even a full white. But man, I'm hitting a lot of non-greens, if that's what you want to call them. I have not been timing my shots very well, but for some reason, they've been going in. <sighs> Puff says, I might get on later tonight and grind, but at the same time, I want some sleep. Hey, I'm going to sleep so well once I'm done with these challenges. I'm going to sleep very well. We got 51 viewers in here. Make that 52. That's the most I've had in here in a long time. I hope all you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are playing 2K, let me know in the chat. I know I'm not the only person grinding for this Steph Curry right now. A lot of people are saying this Curry's not going to be very good, but like, come on, look at the stats. He's going to have a great release. I know he's 6'3", and I know he doesn't have Hall of Fame post-move lockdown, but I think this Curry's still going to be pretty good. So we're going to go for him, and we're going to find out if he is truly worth this grind. And even if he's not worth the grind, this has been a really fun stream. You guys have said this is really good content. I'm glad you guys have enjoyed it. I'm glad that we've gained a lot of new subs today. And yeah. Oh, look at this. We are at 169 likes. About to say, a successful stream for me is getting to 69 likes, but 169? That's crazy. Uh, Luke, welcome back. We are on game number 15. If we win this game, we're halfway done. Kobe's on fire. Kobe has 34. Sheesh. The Celtics have 37. So yeah, if we win this game, we're halfway done. Carson says, I love the thumbnail. I appreciate it. I hope a lot of you guys like the thumbnail. I hope a lot of you guys like the thumbnail. I can't say I put a lot of time into it. It was actually pretty easy to make, but man, once I finished up the thumbnail, I was like, wow, this looks pretty good. About to say, that thumbnail is pretty nice. He has a 99 driving dunk, A. Hey. He has 99 pretty much everything, except I think a uh, 97 block? Yeah. 169 block, I mean 169 likes. 
that means I'll jump in my pool. Hey, sounds good to me. Do what you gotta do. Uh, Gucci Chicken, I do like flight, but he's super frustrating. With his height, he needs to drive to the basket more. He talks about how he can't post up. How about try to post up? Flight frustrates me, man. A lot of the games he loses, I feel like he should win. I'm still a fan, though. I'm not like a dick rider who, like, gets his face scanned and everything and, like, imitates him all the time, but... Nah, I'm still a fan, but he takes way too many else. He takes too many else. I'm still a fan, though. Every time he loses, it just breaks my heart. Julieta says, If I could donate, I would, but I'm broke. Hey, you guys don't have to donate. Donating is not mandatory. Of course, it would be awesome, but it is not mandatory. I never want to guilt anybody into donating or guilt anybody into becoming a member. You guys can do whatever you want. Y'all have that freedom. If you want to donate and show support, go ahead. But even if you don't, I'm not going to, like, cancel you or anything. As long as you guys are enjoying the stream and supporting me, Oh shit, Gilbert Arenas is injured, but he's still in the game. Yeah, look at this. He has the injury light flashing, but, oh, that's Kobe, crap. Kobe's injured. Why is 2K doing him dirty? And now they're double teaming Kobe, even though he's injured? Come on, man. So Kobe's injured, but he's playing through the injury. I can tell the speed's a little bit lower, though. Yeah, his speed is lower. I want to take him out of the game. Are injuries, like, do injuries get worse in 2K? I seriously have no idea. Even injured, though, Kobe is knocking down these threes. I know you guys saw that. What a beast. Daniel said, Doc, how do you hop step? If you're driving to the rim, tap X. I'll do that for you. Hold down turbo. Okay, let me let me give you a better example. There we go. When you're driving to the rim, hold down X or tap X. That's how you hop step. We got 63 people in here, man. That's the most people I've ever had in a stream ever. So, man, this is huge. I can barely contain my excitement. But not for real. Thank you guys so much. You guys make sure to drop a like if you haven't already. It would be huge for my channel. Huge for my channel's growth. And yeah, if you guys want to talk in the chat, hang around and see if you enjoy the content, that would be huge. That would be awesome. And if you enjoy the content, maybe sub. 63 viewers is insane, though. And since a lot of you guys are just joining now, I've been saying this a decent bit, but just to give you guys an update, we are only 15 games away from Galaxy Opal Steph Curry if we get this win. That's to answer your question, Sam. If we win this game... We are only 15 wins away, so we're making some really good progress today. We're making some really good progress. So, Ristiano and Sam, yeah, that's my answer to your question. Um, them kids in FN, you guys feel free to laugh at me, but I'm from Alabama. So, if y'all think my accent's kind of funny, if y'all think my voice is kind of funny, it's because I'm 50% white, so, yeah. And I'm from the deep south, so, yeah. Y'all probably don't know many YouTubers or streamers from Alabama, so. If I'm the first streamer you know from Alabama, feel free to let me know. I wouldn't be surprised if I was. Evan says, I have 14 games until I get Larry Bird. That's pretty big right there. That Larry Bird grind was a big one, man, but... This, this grind for Seth Curry, I'd say it's pretty easy, especially compared to the other ones. I mean, it's only 30 games. It's actually a lot of fun. Talking to you guys in the chat, it makes it a lot of fun. What's up, Mock Builds? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm on Xbox. Mock Builds says 60 watching. I know, it's insane. It's crazy. Most viewers I've ever had in a stream. You guys make sure to drop a like for me, man. It would seriously really help the growth of the channel. The more people who like the stream, the more people who watch, the more people who see it in their feed. So it really does help a lot, man. It really does make a big impact. You don't have to sub if you aren't enjoying the content, but if you are, 
It would be great if you did. I'd appreciate it a lot. Pretty good game. We're going to get the W. So I'm just going to just jack around until the end. If we win this game, we are halfway done. So I'm feeling good. We've been grinding for almost seven hours now. But a lot of people were saying, a lot of people were asking, like, how much time it's going to take to, you know, finish these challenges. We're about to finish our 15th game. There's one minute left. And, yeah, we've only been playing for seven hours. So we could honestly get this done in less than 14 hours, to be honest with you. We've been getting through these games super fast, so if we keep it up at this pace, yeah, that would be awesome. Cristiano Cronaldo says, do you know the glitch with the action replays? Yes, I do. I do know that glitch. I don't use it, though, because I think you guys would get kind of bored if I just, you know, sat through an entire game. I want to give you guys some content. I want you guys to see some, you know, nice offense, good defense. All that stuff. I kind of want to show off my gameplay a little bit, but uh, I mean, it's versus the CPU, so it's not really showing off. I mean, anybody could do this. But yeah, I want to show you guys I at least have a tiny bit of 2K skills. Amber Blackwell, if we win this game, that is 15 games finished. We are 15 and 0. We have not lost a single game. We've been playing like beasts. One Shot Joe says I'm new to the streams. Welcome to the streams, One Shot Joe. If you enjoy the streams, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. I try to stream like this as often as I can. Yeah, it'd be awesome if you guys subbed if you're enjoying the content. And we're only 24 likes away from 200, which is huge. So I appreciate everyone who's shown up to the stream. I appreciate all my new subscribers today. And yeah, we've made some really good progress. We've made some really good progress. We are now 15 games in. We are halfway done with Steph Curry. I guess I'll show you guys the progress I've made in my collection, and then we'll get started on the next set. We are done with the Eastern Conference. We're about to get started on the West. 95L. This is a pretty lit stream. There we go. There's our... Nice 20 tokens. And there we go. If anybody wants a picture, I'm going to go ahead and do. There we go. One Shot Joe, thank you for subscribing. And Mason Ketchum, hang around, see if you enjoy the content. We're going for this Steph Curry. And I'd say that we're making some really good progress. Three players down, three players to go. Packer the player says, save the Lakers for last. A, hey, sounds good to me. There's the man right there. That's the guy we're going for. And we got three players done. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and get started on the Western Conference. My favorite player ever is Carmelo. Big Carmelo fan. About to say, I would go into detail, but a lot of people ask me that question. Here we go. Getting started on the Western Conference. You guys just saw my progress. Here we go. First game versus the Timberwolves. Not the best team. Good big men, but I'm not really worried about the big men. We're going to be able to score every single time on Wally Serbiak with Kobe. If I just snatch back every single time, we're going to get an open shot. They're going to start double teaming. Somebody's going to be open. And I'm going to hit them for the open shot. Oh, Julieta. I like Kevin Durant, too. I know he's not a super popular player. He's not my favorite player, but I'm a fan of him. Arguably the best scorer ever. Rishiano says, greatest power forward ever. I, I got to go Tim Duncan. I know he didn't come into the league as a power forward. I know a lot of people consider him a center, but I got to go with Tim Duncan. Right behind him, we got Kevin Garnett and Dirk. A lot of good power forwards in NBA history, man. Ooh, I, I could have shot that. I definitely could have shot that. And if they help off a bird, he's usually not going to miss, but he missed that one right there. That's tough. 
look at how Towns is, is so effective on offense. Great defense. And it's because he really has the entire Let's get the ball to Kobe. Oh, that's a terrible layup. I thought it was time for a dunk animation, but two bad shots to start the game. I promise you guys, we're going to win this. I know it's not looking very good, but we're going to be all right. Like I told you guys, if we wanted to, we could score every single time. We could get that little snatch back every time. Uh, Luke, greatest player ever. For me, it's really hard to say who the greatest ever is. People always ask me in the chat, Kobe, not Kobe or LeBron, uh, MJ or LeBron. In my honest opinion, it's so hard to compare the two. So I usually don't give an answer. I mean, in my opinion, Jordan's the better defender. But like LeBron's like girth and his physical presence, they make him a really good defender too. LeBron's probably the better playmaker. Jordan averaged 30 for his career. So you can say he's the better scorer, but like LeBron scores so easily. So... It's tough right there. LeBron's a pass-first player when you watch him play. He's cool with letting his teammates get involved, like Anthony Davis, for example. At the beginning of Cavaliers games, he would throw it down to Kevin Love. It's just LeBron and Jordan play so differently. It's so tough to, you know, compare the players. So that's why, for me, I, I just got to say it's either MJ or LeBron. You can definitely make an argument for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar too, but I don't know, man. I feel like it's between MJ and LeBron because you don't see many guys do what they do on the court. Uh, Ultra Thought. I think I'm using the Rockets playbook, but I might have to check later. A lot of guys have asked me that question. I think I'm using the Rockets playbook, though. Oh, they're double teaming already? Gilbert Arenas has three points, but they're double teaming. A uh, one shot Joe, I am 20. I'm still in school, and yeah. About to say, I don't think I have much more to say. I think that's about it. I go to UAB, and I finished all my homework on Sunday just so I could stream this entire week for you guys. I know. Had to come through for the people. Had to. Who's your favorite player in 2K? I gotta go, shit, probably Kobe. Either Kobe or Larry Bird. See, that Larry Bird has range. And he's fast. Ultra Thought, the Nets playbook's really good. But, I mean, it has good plays. It has one good play in particular. I could run that play every time if I wanted to, but like, that's not fun to watch. And it takes no skill. So, that's why I'm using a different playbook. And wow, we are terrible at rebounding. Puff, are you talking about the best point guard of all time or the best point guard in the NBA, like right now? Or this season? If we're talking best point guard of all time, it's hard to compete with Magic Johnson. Steph Curry, in my opinion, is up there. Oscar Robertson's up there. There are a lot of guys up there, but I don't think any of them really get close to Magic's level. I mean, John Stockton, Isaiah Thomas, Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, a lot of good point guards in NBA history, but I don't think any of them really match Magic. I think it's a pretty easy answer right there. I think positionally, saying like what position every player, not what, what, what I'm trying to say, shit. Saying the best player of all time, from like each position is a lot easier than saying who definitively the greatest is because let's be honest somebody like Kareem might be better than both LeBron and Jordan just you guys might not agree but listen to what I'm saying he might be better but it's so hard to compare them I mean people can say LeBron's more versatile but LeBron's not a seven foot one guy who can score every single time in the post so it's hard to say Kareem's more versatile when I mean, his big role is just scoring in the paint. He's the leading scorer of all time. He had great longevity. It's crazy that some people feel like Kareem actually never reached his full potential. Will Chamberlain said that in an interview. I think part of the reason why Kareem didn't go so hard is so he could prolong his career. And that's exactly what he did with the Lakers towards the end of his career. But yeah. I mean, Kareem plays so differently than LeBron. 
LeBron played so differently than Jordan. It's so tough to compare these players. And that's why I think ranking players is such a tough thing to do. I don't love doing it. I'll rank like my favorite players, but like, dude, it's tough to rank like players all-time greatness. Because some guys played for better teams, some guys didn't have a chance to win championships because of their teams, and people question the greatness of guys like John Stockton because he never won a championship, and they'll say that if Isaiah Thomas had played with Karl Malone, that he would have won like four or five championships. I saw Jay Williams say that. I'm not a big fan of Jay Williams as an analyst. He was a great player. Not the best analyst, though. Good first quarter. Not the best defense, but still a good first quarter. We are halfway to Steph Curry, so that's what we're up to right now. Puff says, about to eat my dinner. Catch you in 10 minutes. Say, sounds good, man. What's up, Daniel? Welcome back. Can you speak some words in German? I actually took German class in high school. I actually took German in high school. I'm pretty good at it, in my opinion. Well, actually, that's not true. I can barely remember it. Let me read a few more chats, and then I'll speak in German a little bit. How many games are there that you have to complete? You have to complete 30 games. I've completed 15 of those 30 games. Carb said halfway. That's right. Carson, I'll see you later. But yeah. 30 games total. Gotta complete 15. Let me talk in German a little bit. I gotta remember my German because I didn't really care about it in high school. It was just a easy A because our teachers didn't really care. Um, if I'm trying to say, I am CP, ich habe, ich, ich, excuse me, I forgot the pronunciations are all weird, ich habe CP, German is such a disgusting language, okay, not disgusting, but like some of the sounds, like, you gotta say like, ich, you gotta make a sound like you're choking on something, it's a nice language though, some of the words are nice, but yeah. If I want to say, ich bin, I am, a YouTuber, ich bin eine YouTuber. It's weird, man. German's a weird language. Uh, Cabero, or Cabero. I'm actually halfway done, and I played for less than seven hours, so. Honestly, Cabero, if you win every single game, you could get this done in less than 14 hours. If you win every game and don't take any L's, you could get this done in 14 hours because I haven't lost a I haven't lost a game yet. I've taken a few breaks. I took a little break to show you guys how the glitch works, and I've also like shown you my collection, shown you my progress after every game. So if you weren't doing that stuff and just playing straight through, you can definitely get this done in less than 14 hours. Uh, bad karma. I don't watch Troy Dan very often. I'm subscribed to him. I follow him on Instagram. He's really funny. I'm Nicholas Nelson. It has been a while. But I recognize your name. Everybody who comes in the streams, I'll recognize your name. Like, if you consistently show it to my streams, I learn names. So, it has been a while, but I'm glad you're back too. Carb says, I was one of the first people to get Larry. Me too. Me too. You're not alone. You're not alone on that one. Oh yeah. Should have thrown the alley-oop, but we'll take it. Cliff Stack says, Doc, I'm about to go jump in my pool. I'll do it two times since we hit 69 likes and 169 likes. Hey man, I really appreciate every single person who's dropped by the stream so far, who's enjoyed it. Uh, dismissing. 15 games down, 15 games to go. 15 games left if we win this game. Quick math, 14 games left. That's fair. That was a nice alley-oop. <sighs> oh, we're good. We got the ball back. But yeah, we're making some good progress. We're making some very good progress. We finished 15 games in exactly 7 hours. 
And that's with me doing a few things, taking some breaks. Yeah. We're going to grind out these last 15 games. We're going to get that uh, Steph Curry, and it's going to be glorious. This has been an awesome stream. We're 14 likes away from 200. You guys have absolutely killed it today. And we've gained so many new subs. Thank you guys for an awesome stream. But it's only halfway over. That's the crazy thing. About to say, we got so many likes on the stream. Got so many new subs, so many new viewers. But this stream just got to the halfway point. Welcome back, Grant Smith. That Nash from the Heat is so hard to do. At All-Star, they hit threes every time. I mean, All-Star games are the easiest ones. Right now, we're playing versus the Timberwolves in All-Star. They just can't stop us. Try Pink Diamond Larry Johnson. Eh, maybe sometime I'll do that. Right now, I gotta roll with my A-team, though. Pretty much all of them have unlimited contracts, and they're beasts. Ultra thought. Kobe was definitely worth it. Kobe was definitely worth it. You can argue Kobe's better than Bird, but nah, Kobe's easily my favorite shooting guard in the game. Not even close. Kobe's a beast. Livestack said the light goal for the stream is 269. Hey, 269 would be really cool. That would be really, really cool. If we don't get it, I'm not going to get mad. It's all good if we don't get it. But, hey, anything that has 69 in it is le automatically legendary. Y'all know the rules. Great first half. Uh, we, weren't, we weren't amazing on defense, but we were still pretty solid. I will take, uh, what is it, 57-24 lead? It's something like that. We're up by more than 30. Very good first half. We're playing like monsters. First half was really good. We got to pull away a little bit more in the second half. Welcome back, Christian. Um, what's that say? Kakaro. I was saying Cabaro, excuse me. So it's Kakarot or Kakarot, Kakaro, whatever you want me to call you. The first game's on All-Star. The second and third games are on Superstar. And the final two games are on Hall of Fame. Sorry I got your name wrong. I had to say earlier, I was saying Cabarro. I know somebody named Cabarro. That's how they pronounce their name. It's not a great name. Not a great name, but it's what I call them. It's how they want me to pronounce it. I'm just used to it. Good work there as it goes. Elijah's got nine points. Assists like that have typified their efforts. What's up, Moss King? <sighs> the defense has been good, but damn. Too many fouls. Why is the pink diamond John Stockton card 80,000 MT? I mean, he's probably not in any packs right now. And don't you get a... How many tokens do you get for completing it? I'm not sure, but there was one point in the year where that Bill Walton, the pink diamond, was super expensive just because, I mean, he wasn't in packs. About to say, if there's not a high supply for cards, there's going to be a super high demand. Luke says, I like the way your team looks. Maybe you should pick up Opal D. Wade. Highly recommend. I have heard he's very good. I've seen some gameplay with him. I'm not really the kind of guy to save up MT, though, which I really do hate to say. I'm not really the type of guy to snipe either, but, I mean, that probably is the best thing I can do. That D-Wade's a beast. Like, that new one is really good. Like, I've heard the new D-Wade is even better than the one you get from, like, doing the collections. To everybody who collected and got the collector level D-Wade, I'm sorry. Because this new D-Wade just came out, and I've heard he's even better than that one. Look at the way they move the ball. It's too bad their offense is terrible. 
because they do move the ball very well. And y'all know I love good ball movement. You think there will be a GOAT LeBron James card next month? It would be weird if they gave us a LeBron card like that close to the end of 2K's lifespan, but like, I mean, they better give us a GOAT LeBron. I don't know if they will because, I mean, they just gave us the prime LeBron that already has a lot of Hall of Fame badges, so I don't know if we're going to get a GOAT LeBron, but I guess we'll have to see. Kevin says, the dynamic duo weight is insane, hey man. If you're talking about the pink diamond one that turns to an opal, hey, he's still insane. He's lost value because he's a pink diamond, but he's still a beast. If Steph Curry got a GOAT, uh, goat card, then who else will get one? I'm going to say this, Marco. I, I was surprised that Curry got that GOAT card. I thought it was going to be Wilt next, but I was wrong. I thought it was going to be Bill Russell eventually, maybe Tim Duncan. I think, I think Tim Duncan deserves a GOAT card, man. Tim Duncan's arguably the greatest power forward ever. It's Hakeem, not Hakeem, Kareem's the greatest center. You got Michael Jordan and Kobe, two of the best players ever. Magic Johnson's up there. A lot of players who are the best of all time at their position, they have the GOAT cards. So you would think that LeBron will get one, maybe Tim Duncan will get one. We'll have to see. We're going to have to find out, but... I wish, I really hope we get a LeBron Opal, or a LeBron Goat. If we do get a Goat LeBron, he's probably going to be in packs though. He's probably going to be a pullable Opal. Like, I don't think it's going to be an Opal you grind for like Steph Curry. Keep in mind, if there was a Goat LeBron, who is the reward for finishing 30 games? Literally everybody would have Goat LeBron. Everybody. No matter how good or bad your team is, you would have GOAT LeBron. Everybody would use him. So, yeah. They're definitely going to put that GOAT LeBron in packs, without a doubt. About to say, you guys know how 2K works. We all know how 2K works around here. If that LeBron comes out, they're definitely going to put him in packs, without a doubt. Why am I taking such bad shots? You guys are probably not having much fun watching this. I'm taking some really bad shots now. Welcome back, One Shot Joe. I also heard there's going to be a collection reward for all the GOAT cards. That's too bad because I'm probably not going to get Magic. I'm probably not going to get Kareem. That's tough, but I understand. What's up, Gashi? Welcome to the stream. Gashi says, look out for the Warriors. They're tough. A lot of you guys have said the Warriors are tough. About to say, Gashi's not the only one who said that. All you guys are saying the Warriors are tough. I guess we'll have to find out when we get there. Eric says, how are you so good at this game? I'm still grinding for Goat Larry Bird. I've gotten a lot of practice. And I played a little bit of basketball in real life. So, I think I'm a pretty smart defender in the game because I know I helped defense and one pass away, all that stuff works. And also, I'm just a relatively fundamental offensive player. But no, nah, it takes a lot of practice. Hey Luke, I'm going to keep up the grind, man. I appreciate the love. Hey Doc, I have a question for you. Do you know how to get the community tab to work on your channel? Because I think I'm eligible for it now. So if you go on a computer and you go to like your channel settings, you have to enable it. Like if you go to your settings, the same place where you find monetization and stuff like that, you're gonna enable it. One shot says, I love how you're positive and read the chat. Hey man, you guys know this as well as I know it. 2K community is very toxic. People are toxic in the park, people are toxic online. Why be toxic when you can just be chilled out? Just play the game and have fun playing the game. It's a game, man. People get so mad over the game. Yesterday, I was streaming Park. Guys were talking trash to me before the game, and then I'd beat them. And they'll just leave the stream and stop replying. They'll leave the Park. Why is the game so toxic, man? For real. Just play the game and have fun with it. Um, Ad Heasel. I see you in the chat. I've finished 15 games. If we win this game, that is 16 wins in the book. When we get to the very last stretch, like when we get to the final five or ten games, I'm going to put it in the title. I'm going to put like five games away. Four games away. Know what I mean? So, 
Once we get super close, I'm going to do that. But man, this has been a fun stream. You guys in the chat have made it a, a load of fun. You guys in the chat, you guys basically dictate, like, my dialogue. Yeah, I'll commentate the game a little bit, but I also like to read you guys in the chat because, I mean, I, I just got to say it how it is. This game gets so boring. Literally every game, I'll take a lead by, like, 40 points. And it just gets boring. I have not had to sweat a single game today. So literally the entire time, I've been reading your chats. I've been just chilling out and reading your chats. I haven't had to sweat for a single second. These games are so easy. So, that's why I'm trying to read your chats as much as possible. We're getting a lot of new subscribers today. And it's been a lot of fun today, man. I really appreciate every single new subscriber. I appreciate every single person who's left a like. We're only 11 likes away from 200. That's insanity, man. Thank you guys for making this stream a big one. How much money do you make off YouTube? The guidelines say you're not allowed to, like, talk about that. But about a hundred a month. About to say, I don't have many subs. I do have a very good community, though. They love to donate. I have a good group of channel members. I make money from that every month. So, yeah. If any of you guys are big fans, if you guys want access to exclusive CP the Doc emojis, if you guys want some awesome loyalty badges next to your name, early access to new videos, shout outs in every video. Channel memberships cost literally $2. Some people make huge donations for like $7, $8. I've gotten a $20 dono before. Channel memberships cost $2 for one month, so it, yeah, it's nice. It's easy. Welcome back, Grant Smith. Moss King says, we've been here the longest. Hey, you better prepare to be here for another six and a half hours. Because this stream's not even close to being over. Well, I mean... Eh, nah. Yeah, it's not even close. I was gonna try to make something... I don't know what I was about to say. I mean, this stream's a long one. This stream's not gonna be over in a minute. Uh, Luke, I don't have any other jobs. I'm a... Pretty much a full-time student. I go to UAB... And yeah, I have one year left before I graduate. I'm going to be graduating ahead of time because in high school, I took a lot of AP exams, got a lot of AP credits. So yeah, I've been able to simulate past a lot of my college classes. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun, but man, I didn't think two years ago when I started doing this YouTube thing that I would ever like hit this many subs so once again I gotta give props to everybody in the chat I have a lot of fun doing this and I hope you guys have a lot of fun watching Dom says KD or Goat Curry that out of position KD is a beast I gotta go with him instead of Curry man the thing about this Curry is that he's six foot three his badges and stats are great but the height I mean keep in mind if you use this Curry you're probably going to run into a bunch of, like, point guard KDs. You're going to run into a bunch of point guard LeBrons, point guard Giannis, point guard Jonathan Isaac, Thon Maker, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan. And he's a bit undersized to guard those guys in the paint. He doesn't have post-move lockdown, so, yeah. He might get bodied by those guys, but offensively, that Curry is going to be a machine. I could take one more shot, but we're just going to let the clock run out. Actually, if I can get a little snatch back right here. There we go. No sportsmanship. Good win for the guys. 97-52. But it was on all-star difficulty, so not super impressive. Either way, 16 games down, 14 games to go. Do you think Goat Curry can dunk? Yeah, he has a 99 driving dunk. Are you kidding me, Nick? About to say. Have you seen his stats? All the stats are on the My Team database. Marco said he won't be good for winning, but he will be fun. I know what you mean. I think I agree with that. I think I agree with that. He'll be fun to use, but I don't know if he's going to like... He's probably going to start on my team, but keep in mind, I'm not like a comp player. I used to be, but 
then I stopped playing my team for two months, so my team's a little bit behind everybody else's. 16 games down, guys. We're making some awesome progress. Marco says Steph Curry has 99 and everything. Yeah, almost everything. Like Marco said, some of the stats are 97 and 98. I know he has a 97 block shot. And I think like a 98 interior. I can't something like that. I don't know. I think it's 98 interior defense. I could be wrong. But yeah, Steph Curry's pretty much 99 everything. What's up, Y6G10, Y6G10? Not a bad name. It is pretty much a bingo call out, but not a bad name. I'm going to call you Y6, though. Prime LeBron or Goat Jordan? That's tough, because Jordan can play the point guard. LeBron can play the two, though. That's a tough one. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Abby said Prime LeBron or Goat Jordan. I don't know. We're back up to 62 viewers, man. I was talking about this earlier. I've never had over 60 viewers in my stream until today. So seriously, thank you to every single person who's shown up today. Today is the first time I've ever had over 60. If you guys enjoy the content, it would be awesome if you subscribed. I'm a pretty small channel. And yeah, I finished all my homework on Sunday just so I can grind these challenges out and grind like these streams all week. So it'd be awesome if you guys dropped a like and subbed. It would mean the world to me. Hey. Packer says Prime LeBron. Nicholas Nelson says Prime LeBron. I agree. Uh, Isaac, I have 14 games left. 14 games. We've been grinding. Abby said Lillard doesn't have a Galaxy Opal. Not yet, but he's going to get one eventually. Ryan, Ryan Neal TF. Thank you for subscribing. HBY says GG. Do you have any favorite players in real life? In real life, my favorite player is Melo because the first team I ever watched was the Knicks. I was watching the Knicks playoff run, or playoff run in 2012. They were down 3 0 versus the Heat, and the first game I ever watched, Melo dropped 40 versus the Heat and pushed the series to a game five. And then that summer in the Olympics, he scored what? Like 30 a game? He had 50 versus, like, was it Lithuania? I can't remember, but he absolutely went off in the Olympics. And then in 2013, the Knicks made the playoffs and won 54 games. Second seed in the East. That was back when they had Raymond Felton at the PG. Amon Schumbert had his best year. J.R. Smith won sixth man of the year. Amari Stoudemire wasn't healthy, but everybody else was playing well. They had Marcus Camby on the team, Kurt Thomas. That was an old team. They even brought Rashid Wallace back for a little while. That Knicks team was fun. I remember they had Pablo Prigioni and Jason Kidd. Those were some fun teams, but man, after 2013, they didn't make the playoffs again. Brandon Pincus, thank you for subbing. We are four likes away. We are four likes away from 200. You guys have been killing it today. Like I've been saying, you guys have been destroying it. Possibly the best stream I've ever had. I'm not 100% sure, but if I had to guess, this is probably the best stream I've ever had. I mean, I've gotten over 60 viewers multiple times, and I had never even done that once before today, so I'm going to go ahead and say that everybody in here right now is involved with my best stream ever. We gotta play some better defense. I've given up way too many open shots, and I've been missing a lot of open shots, so let's focus a little bit. Could you guys please sub? I'm a very small YouTuber with one video. I'm trying to make it big like him. Hey man, I have not made it big yet. I have not made it big. My goal is to get to like 100,000 one day, something like that. I don't know if I will, but I'm damn sure gonna try. About to say, if not, I'm still in school. I'm gonna get a good job, all that good stuff, but I don't know. I usually don't like, I don't love when people self promote in my streams because imagine if somebody came into your stream and self promoted. Let's say you have two people watching 
and the two people watching go check out the channel that self promotes. I don't love self promotion in streams, but I mean, I, I can live with it this time. How far from Curry are you? Um, if we win this game, 13 games away. We've won 16 games. We have 14 games remaining, including this one. I think we're gonna get the W. We're not off to a great start, but we're gonna pull away. A Y6. I also got Derek Coleman. He is pretty good. What's up, Carson? Your boy Ben says, remember me when you become famous, my guy. I'm telling you guys, if y'all join my streams consistently before, like, a ton of people start joining the streams, like, I'm gonna remember who you are. Like, I'm gonna see your name if you guys show up consistently. So I got you. I will remember you. But, like, here's the thing. It gets so hard. Like, your message about remembering me, I can't even see it on my screen anymore. So many people are talking in the chat. It gets tough to read every single message, so... Like, when my channel grows a bit, I'm not going to be able to read every message like this, which is tough. Abby, I think the best GOAT card in the game is Kareem. And Nicholas, I'm glad you think I'm an inspiration, man. I mean, at this time last year... I didn't even have a thousand subs. I didn't get a thousand until August. About to say. And after I got a thousand, it took me a long time to start growing again. I didn't start growing consistently again until like February this year. It's never too late for you to get started on this YouTube thing, man. No matter how slow you're growing, all you need is a burst of motivation, man. You gotta get everything together. And you're eventually going to get right. Also, HBY, I'm not mad at you. Don't worry. Also, 200 likes on the stream. Thank you, guys. Y6 says, why don't you stream on Twitch? And that's a good question. The reason why I don't stream on Twitch is really because, I mean, I started on YouTube. And I built a decent little following on YouTube, so... I said, you know what, if I'm able to stream on YouTube, let me stick to it. So, yeah. Basically, it's not the greatest reason. It's not some awe-inspiring, motivational reason. I just started streaming on YouTube because I already, I, uh, excuse me, I already had a little following on YouTube. So, that's why I started streaming on YouTube. I figured out you could, so I started doing it. Uh, King, I don't know when the next stream is. Tristan Shelton, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's having an awesome day so far. I started this stream 7 hours and 35 minutes ago, man. We have been grinding. But yeah, like I said, I finished all my homework. So I can actually, like, put my effort into this. Don't worry, I'm not a complete no-life. Even though this is a long-ass stream. Is Opal Dikembe still worth buying? Um, there's so many better big men, in my opinion. And I'm not just saying that because he has a bad three-point shot. Like, I know you can evolve him, and now he has a better three-point shot, but I feel like there are a lot of better big men than Opal Dikembe. Dikembe's not bad. He's great on defense. He's athletic, but not a big fan of him. Not a big fan of him. Uh, Tyrell plays soccer. Yes, there will be a Curry gameplay once I pick him up. Yes. I'm really not a single bit worried about Curry's offense. The biggest thing, like, I'm skeptical about is defense. That's the biggest thing I'm, like, kind of worried about. So, we're going to see if I can hide him on defense a little bit. If he can keep up with the guys on the perimeter. I'm looking forward to testing that out. But, yes. There most likely will be a Curry gameplay. Marco says, I like these chill streams you're doing. I'll try to watch some more. I really do appreciate that. Like, if a lot of you guys are enjoying my streams, I really do suggest y'all turn on notifications. I feel like if we're talking about streams, I think I got the vibes right, man. I really enjoy the streams, talking to you guys, playing the game. 
I hope you guys enjoy the streams too. I hope you guys can hear me, see me just fine. Hope the game quality's not too bad. And I hope you guys enjoy the atmosphere, talking in the chat. Eric, my favorite card is definitely Kobe. I like, what's his name, Larry Bird too. Bird and Kobe are my two favorites, but Embiid's not bad either. Hakeem's pretty good too, but neither of those guys are better than Kobe and Bird in my opinion. Kobe and Bird can kind of, you know, do it all. Abby says, who's the best prime card besides LeBron? I don't know the prime cards very well, man. It kind of comes down to personal preference. You should probably ask somebody else, though. Jake says, I like how you respond to everybody. You're mad chill as well. Hey, man, I try my best to respond to everybody. Sometimes there's a lot of stuff going on in the chat. I'll miss your messages. Sometimes people spam and stuff, so I can't see every message, but I do try my best. I do try my absolute best. Uh, HBY? I went 12 low. Ah, 12 low. I went 12 and 0 a lot at the beginning of the year, but then I took like a two month break from 2K. I was just really tired of it, and the gameplay was very bad, so I stopped playing, but I did get Dr. J at the beginning of the year. But I haven't really played Unlimited ever since. I haven't played much Unlimited since then, so... I have not gone 12-0 ever since, but I haven't really tried to go 12-0 ever since. A rich active. If we win this game, 17, or 13 games left. We're playing game number 17 right now. We are 16-0, making some really good progress. Once we get to the final leg of the stream, in the title I'm going to put... Five games away. Four games away. JJ says, to be honest, I'm a little burnt out after the Larry Legend grind. I will probably wait a little bit to do these, but hey, man. JJ, these challenges are definitely easier. Well, easier as in, like, there's less challenges. It's five games per thing. The Larry Bird grind was good, and he was definitely worth it, man. This Larry Bird's a little bit too much of a beast. Your boy Ben, my favorite team in the NBA is the Knicks. I know. Don't laugh at me too hard. My second favorite team is the Hawks. I know. Don't laugh at me too hard. <sighs> Man, that's tough. My two favorite teams are two of the worst teams in the league. I'm a diehard, though. I'm not going to ditch my teams. But yeah, favorite NBA teams are the Hawks and the Knicks. Like I said, don't laugh at me too hard. What do you think of the new NBA 2K21 Kobe Legend Edition? I love that he's on the cover. I do. But I feel like the box art is kind of dull and uncreative. I feel like they could have put more on the cover of the... What's it called? Okay, so with Froby on the cover, Kobe with the afro wearing number 8, I like that cover, but all the covers, they feel like they're missing something, you know? The covers feel like they're missing something. I feel like there should be like a couple more pictures of Kobe, some writing or something, some other graphics. I don't know. I feel like the covers, they're nice and they're good pictures, but I just feel like they're missing something. I love, I love that Kobe's on the cover, but dude, it just feels like they were a little bit uncreative with the covers, you know? I hope you guys agree with me. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I love the fact that he's on the cover, but they could have been a, they could have been more creative, you know? I mean, you're a billion dollar company. You can put a little bit more work into the cover art. So, love that Kobe's on it. I wish it was a little more creative, though. The Lillard and Zion covers are not creative. Okay, so I will say this. You're right, in my opinion. But I honestly, I'm cool with Zion being on the cover. You just reminded me that there are a lot of people who don't like the fact that Zion's on the cover. Honestly, I can live with it, but I kind of understand why people don't think a guy who played 19 games should, you know, yeah, be on the cover. Let me read another chat real quick. Marco says, I understand the Knicks, but why the Hawks? So I told you guys why I'm a fan of the Knicks. And it's kind of complicated, you know? 
Not really, but it takes a little while to explain. I'm a Hawks fan simply because I've been to the most Hawks games. They live super close to where I live, so, or there. We, we live close to the Hawks stadium. I live in Alabama, so I'm not super close to any NBA team. We don't have an NBA team in Alabama, so going to a Hawks game, it's like a two hour drive. So I've been to like 10 or 15 Hawks games, man. Somewhere in that range, 10 to 15. And I'm gonna be honest, man. Even though the Hawks are bad, I love the atmosphere at their home games. I really do. The atmosphere is awesome. Yeah, so that's why my two favorite teams are the Knicks and the Hawks. There's my TED talk for you. Jason Tatum should have been the cover. That would have been cool. Luka Doncic would have been cool too. But, hey, I guess they thought that Zion's the one leading the next generation. Kyle says, how many Opals do you have so far? If you're talking about like the Opals to get Steph Curry, I have three of them. And I'm trying to get number four right now. Oh, that's an easy... What? That was a perfect backdoor cut right there, but apparently the pass was terrible. <sighs> Come on, game. Welcome back, Garrett. But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like 2K could have been a little bit more creative with the covers. Chatty, Ju Chatty Zoo says it should have been John Morant. And I understand that, Chatty Zoo. I understand why you think that. I mean, I understand why everybody thinks it should be somebody else. Like, I understand why you guys think it should be Luka. I understand why people think it should be Ja Morant. I understand why people think it should be, like, Devin Booker. But I feel like if we're talking about marketability and popularity, 2K had to go with Zion. I mean, everybody knows Zion. People don't know Zion like they know Ja Morant. People don't know... I feel like people know Luka more, but I've also heard rumors that he's going to be on the cover of Live. I've heard rumors. Maybe that's why he's not, like, the 2K cover. Because keep in mind, 2K has guys who they consider 2K athletes who were signed with 2K. So, yeah. Maybe Luka's not signed with 2K. I feel like it should be Luka, but... I feel like Zion is popularity and marketability. I feel like that's why he's on the cover. I don't 100% agree with it, but it's a video game, man. I really don't have a problem with it. HBY, I would love if GG was on the cover. Nico says I think they should have done the Rising Stars. Let me see what you mean after I hit this three. They should have made Vince Carter. That would have been awesome. They should have given Vince Carter a GOAT card. I know he's not in like the top 10, 15 greatest of all time, but Vince getting a nice new Galaxy Opal to commemorate his great career, that would have been awesome. That would have been pretty awesome because his last Opal, not bad, but a little bit out of date, you know? Liber said, dude, this is so hard for me. Are you talking about the, the Curry challenges? They've been easy for me, but it's because I have a really good team. What's up, Antonio? Welcome back to the stream, man. We've been going strong. This is possibly the best stream in channel history. 95L says Zion deserves the cover because he's good, and he is very good. The other guys are like, man, he's only played 19 games. And, I mean, I understand that. I mean, keep in mind... If Zion won the Rookie of the Year, I think people would be even more mad about that than the 2K cover. So, I mean, I think if Ja had been the cover, but Zion won Rookie of the Year, people would have been even more outraged. So, let's live with Ja Morant winning Rookie of the Year. That's just great. That That's just what I'm talking about right there. I really don't think it gets much better than that, you know? Oh, man. It, yeah, that that's what I'm talking about right there. I had to pause and screenshot that one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
All right, Carson, I'll see you around, but wow. That is just, it doesn't get much better than that. Let's go ahead and close out this quarter. Larry Bird got the block. I tried to get him a bucket too, though. 95 L said, what the F? Oh yeah, that was, that was something right there. It doesn't get much better than that. Let's go two for one. I think I could time this perfectly. Let's see if I can time this two for one. That works for me. That's a solid two for one. Jake. I'm 21. I know. I'm getting old. But there are a lot of guys out there in their 40s playing 2K. So don't make fun of my age too, too quickly. Don't be too quick to make fun of my age. I'm 21. I'm in college. I'm not a dude out here with no job playing 2K. Well, actually I am, but I'm in school. So I don't know if that makes it any better. Chris says back again. Can I have a recap? Um, uh, we're up by 50. And if we win this game, we only have 13 games left. There's your recap. I'm working on the Larry Bird challenges, and after that, I'm going to do the Steph. Hey, Walker, it's a good idea right there. Jake said 21 is still young, and I appreciate that. Sometimes I feel a little bit washed up. I'm not fat, but sometimes I feel a little bit washed. I'm not going to lie. This summer has been lazy. And that's not to mention, I've been hanging around the house because... My mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa, they're worried about the virus a little bit. So I don't want to leave the house too much because I don't want to endanger them, you know. I think that's part of the reason why I'm feeling a little bit old, man. It's because I've been doing so much sitting around. I've been doing my homework, I've been streaming. I'll work out every now and then. I got a friend who owns a gym. But yeah, man. I think part of the reason why I'm talking about being old is because I've just been sitting around so much, for real. I've never sat around and done nothing this much in my life, man. 2020 has been a weird year. Hey, so, Nicholas is in college, too. Glad I'm not the only one. Come on, Kareem, Hakeem, excuse me. Abby says LeBron should be the cover. Hey, man, I mean, LeBron's good. When was he the cover? He was the cover in... Was he the 2K19 Legend Edition? I feel like he was. About to say, I hate that my memory is that bad, but I'm pretty sure that's how it was. I know that he was the cover for... Man, 2K14, right? Yeah, it was him doing the, the chalk toss. I promise you guys, my memory is good. I know a lot of stuff, even though I may not be showing it. I promise y'all. Antonio said, after those 13 games, are you trying to head to the park? Uh, once these 13 games are done, the stream's going to be about 13 hours long. So, probably not. Maybe tomorrow, if I don't take the entire day off. Because this is about to be a 14-hour stream. So maybe, I'll let you know, but today, or after this stream's done, no way. I'm going to sleep very well once this stream's over. Joseph, that's a really good, that's a big pull right there. I say this a lot, I don't say it as much as I used to, but that's what I'm talking about. You know, the funny thing about Kawhi not being on any covers, Marco, is that he's actually signed with 2K, I'm pretty sure. So it's weird that he wasn't on the cover, especially after last year. Especially after he won the finals, won the finals MVP. Hit that clutch shot versus the Sixers. It's weird that Kawhi wasn't on the cover, but I mean, I don't think anybody had a problem with this year's cover athlete. I don't think anybody was really mad about it. And I don't think anybody's mad about Damian Lillard either. 
I think what we're mad about is that it's just Kawhi hasn't gotten the cover. But then Zion has, you know? What do you think of current gen and next gen rules for 2K? It got everybody else confused. I think the rules are pretty clear. If you get 2K, okay, so I have an Xbox One. If I get 2K on the Xbox One, 2K21, if I get the Legend Edition, and then I get the next gen console, my progress on my team transfers over. Like, it transfers over. So, yeah. If you get the Legend Edition, your my team progress transfers over. But also, if you get the Legend Edition on your current console, you get the regular game for free on the next console, and your my team progress carries over. The reason why your my team or my career progress doesn't carry over is because, I mean, just gotta say it how it is. There's gonna be a completely different my career story in next gen. The story's gonna be amazing. It's gonna look amazing. It's gonna be inventive. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm sorry if I confuse any of you guys because I kinda just started talking, but that's how it is. Chatty Zoo, I don't know why the CPU goes so hard in the fourth quarter. Why can't they just dribble out the clock with me? Hey, JD, it's been a big stream. That's 203 likes now. And fall six, I think I am still alive. Let me check. No, I'm just kidding. <sighs> Look how the CPU's going so hard all of a sudden. CPU's putting in work. The CPU's trying to make a comeback. I'm just trying to get this game over with. These things take time, but... One minute left. One minute left. Let me dribble out the clock. That is 17 games finished in less than 8 hours. We're on a really, 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 really good pace. We're on a really good pace, man. If we want to get this finished in less than 14 hours, I think we can get it done. I think we can do it. For sure. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I might have to take a bathroom break soon. Y'all have seen me drinking a lot of water. I might have to take a bathroom break soon. Might have to get some food too, but the bathroom is just upstairs and I have food right next to me. So if you guys are cool with me eating on stream, then I'm going to eat on stream. I mean, that's the easiest way to say it. Earlier, I ate that biscuit, but oh my gosh, it was so dry. Like, that biscuit was drier than the Sahara Desert. In fact, that biscuit was drier than if you took a Popeye's biscuit and let it sit in the, in the Sahara Desert. Like, it was, that was a dry-ass biscuit. But that doesn't matter. Game's done. We are now 17 games in. I'll think about a GTA stream live stack. I'll think about it. Okay, guys. Just so I don't have to do it later, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take my bathroom break. So, if anybody comes by the chat, if anybody new comes in here and is like, "What the heck's going on? Why am I looking at this empty chair?" Let them know I'm in the bathroom, please. That would be great. I shouldn't take long though. If I had to give you guys an approximation, I'd say it'll take about one minute and nine seconds. So, just know everybody, I'm headed to the bathroom. Please don't leave the stream. If I get back and we have like two viewers, I'm probably going to quit YouTube. I'll be right back. Oh.
back. Oh, man. That, that was good. That's what I needed right there. We're back. And we only lost like four viewers. I, I can live with that. So here we go. Game number three. I mean, come on. I had to take a bathroom break. I had no choice. I had no choice. That was great. Let me, make, let me make myself a little turkey sandwich real quick. I have turkey on my right, and I have some bread on my right too, so I'm going to prepare myself a couple turkey sandwiches real quick, and we're going to get this game going. To everybody who left the stream, you're a fake fan. Or you're, I don't know. I'd say you're a fake fan though. No offense. Love y'all. But y'all couldn't stay till I got out of the bathroom. Shush. Come on, man. There's the bread. I'll put the turkey in later. Actually, I could open up the turkey now. There we go. Oh, yeah. It doesn't get much better than that. Put the turkey right there. Here we go. I'll prepare myself a sandwich once the first quarter's over. Let's get it. This is game number three of the... What division? This is the... Do they call this the... I don't even know what division this is. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I can't remember the name. I hate to say it. I feel like I should know my NBA a little bit better. I can't remember the name of this division. Hey, Tyrell. I'm glad y'all aren't leaving. Carter says I'm having a little trouble winning these challenges. Any tips? Um, make sure you lock in on defense and on offense. If you can get one player hot, then the CPU will start double teaming. And you're going to be able to create a lot of open shots. The biggest thing you want to do is just make sure you knock down those shots. Random Ace, I'm glad you're still here. About to say, I had to take that bathroom break. I had no choice. I had to take a bathroom break so that I don't die live on the stream. I didn't want to drown in my own piss or anything, so had to take that bathroom break. Alex says, I'm in the 11th game. That's pretty good. I'm in the 18th game right now, for anybody in the chat who's curious. This is game number 18. If we win this game, we are 12 wins away from Steph Curry. Melly. Or Millie. There's an X right there. I don't know what the X stands for. Welcome to the stream, though, man. That was a terrible shot. Let me start playing a little bit better. Oh, my gosh. I'm playing very bad. But, yeah, welcome to the stream, Melly. Abby says, you're on the Northwest Division. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. I hate that I couldn't remember, but Northwest Division. Affirmative. I'm taking some terrible shots. That BS went in, too. Let me start actually taking smart shots. I think we'll pull away if I start playing defense and start taking smarter shots. Right there. That's a smart shot, but I got the timing wrong. <sighs> I think the bathroom break is what's messing me up. You can win with quick through STS, right? Yes, you can. But I never use that play because I feel like it would just be boring for you guys to watch the same play over and over, so... I don't want to do that. I don't use the little glitch, and I don't use quick through STS. I mean, it doesn't take any skill. It doesn't take any skill. I know you guys are probably like, hey, you aren't even good at this game. But, like, I want to at least, like, display a little bit of skill instead of just, like, cheesing my way to it. I think that's respectable, but if you guys don't agree with it, I understand. Devin and Tatiana said he was quick through STS. Fair enough. I mean, I understand why you're saying that. It is a very overpowered play. I have no problem with y'all using it. I'm just saying that I'm ch trying to win with a little more skill. Courtney says, nice greens. Appreciate you, Courtney. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, man. Larry Bird ended up wide open at the last second. Yeah, we're not going to get a good shot right here. No way that goes in. Terrible possession. Devin says, I feel you, bro. 77% contested, by the way. Welcome back, Justin. 
Uh, we're off to a bad start, but we're going to be all right. Also, Anthony Morgan, nice badge. You guys make sure to listen to Anthony Morgan for me. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, it's just a great way to show support to the channel, man. If you guys are enjoying the stream, if you guys are enjoying my content, it would be awesome if you sub. I'm a very small YouTuber. Trying to grow my channel every day. Trying to grow the channel every day. So every like, every sub, it really does mean a lot to me, man. It really does. Oh, that's a great play right there. Now we're hitting our shots. Have you played Golden State yet? No, I'm saving the Lakers and the Warriors division for last. I'm saving them for last. Those are going to be some good games to close out the stream. My last few games are going to be versus the Lakers, the Clippers, and the Warriors. You guys are going to love this. About to say, we started off in the Eastern Conference. We played versus some pretty easy teams. But then we ramped up the difficulty, and now we're playing in the Northwest Division versus the Nuggets. We also played versus the Trailblazers last game. Pretty easy win so far. Steph is the last guy I'd expect to get a GOAT Opal. Hey, I feel you on that one. Yesterday, I was having a discussion with somebody in the chat, and they were like, why doesn't LeBron have a GOAT card yet? And I was like, I mean, I think they're only doing it for retired players like Kobe, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Kareem, all those guys. And he was like, yeah, that makes sense. I predicted that Wilt was going to be next. Clearly, I was wrong. They gave Steph Curry a GOAT card. It was really out of nowhere. I really don't know what happened, but yeah, Steph Curry has a GOAT card. Snapdragon says the all-time bulls are hard. That's what everyone's been saying, but for some reason, I had a bigger problem with the all-time Cavaliers. I beat the all-time bulls by 50, but man, like, I only beat the Cavaliers by like 10. I was up by single digits in the last two minutes of the game. I don't know why I struggled so hard, but eventually we pulled away another contested three. Come on, man. <sighs> We're up double digits, but I got to play some better defense. For real. I got to be better on defense. Also, I'm sorry if you guys can hear my chewing. I'm very sorry. I know you guys have joked about ASMR in the past, but if any of you guys find that disgusting, I will cover my mic. Random Ace says, loving the stream. I appreciate it. Uh, Narcario, this is game number 18. If we win this game, we are two wins away from our final 10 games. Nico says, do you think it's a good idea for the NBA to return? In answering questions like this, you gotta use your head, not your heart. And all these teams are closing down their practice facilities because all their players are catching the virus. I don't think it's smart. I don't know if it's a good idea. I'm looking forward to seeing basketball again, but it's not looking very good with all these players getting the virus. Imagine if somebody like Giannis gets it in the conference finals. Or if some, yeah, let's say they're playing the Lakers in the finals and Giannis gets the virus. And the Lakers just win easily. Like, I think at that point, they'd rather cancel the season than have the Bucks play without a compo. They need a timeout. Are we really at 2.75? Are you serious?
Here's Murray. Are we really at 2.75? That's crazy. My goal was 2.65 to start the stream. We've beaten that by 100. Welcome back, One Shot Joe. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing alright today, man. It's nice seeing you back in here. You've been in and out for a while now. Nice to see you back. Troy Dan or Flight? Never seen Troy Dan play basketball before. Never seen him play basketball. I might have to go with Flight in that matchup. I don't know. Troy Dan might be a beast at basketball, but none of us know it. Troy Dan might be a bucket machine, but if he is, I wouldn't know. One shot, I'm doing great. I'm feeling really good. My throat's a little bit sore because I've been doing a lot of talking today, but no, nah, I've still had fun. Right there, I was trying to throw a pass, but for some reason, it made me do some spinning BS. What's up, Etienne? Etienne. Is that how you pronounce it? Etienne? I don't want to pronounce that wrong. I know your last name is Ball, though. So welcome to the stream. I don't want to call you Ball, though. Who's a better YouTuber, Troy Dan or Flight? Okay, that's what you meant. I thought you meant like one-on-one -on -one basketball. Better YouTuber? Probably... That's tough. Um, better YouTuber. I, I gotta say Troy Dan, because Flight's more of a streamer slash... I don't know. I know a lot of people are gonna say Flight, but like... I don't know. I feel like Flight doesn't focus on like YouTube. He focuses on the one-on-ones, he streams on Twitch. I feel like, even though he posts on YouTube, YouTube's not the first thing I think of when I think of Flight. With Troy Dan, I think of his YouTube content. With Flight, there are a lot of other things you can think of. So even though Flight's the bigger name, I feel like as a YouTuber, I feel like Troy Dan's the better creator, you know what I mean? It's like, let's say that we are comparing guys on like, Okay, let's say, what do you guys consider Ninja a YouTuber? Because he doesn't like stream on YouTube. He streamed on Twitch, and then he cut up the games, posted highlights on YouTube. But that doesn't really make him a YouTuber, even though he may have more subscribers than guys who like actually work on YouTube content as opposed to streaming. So that's what I mean when I say that like, Troy Dan's like the content creator. When I think of Flight, I think of other things, you know? About to say, Flight is a meme, but Troy Dan, even though he's a meme too, I'd say his sense of humor might be a little bit better. I enjoy both of their content, man. I enjoy both of their content, but yeah. Shawnee Boy says, this guy's trash. Yeah. This guy playing the game is terrible. This guy sucks. He's been missing a lot of open shots. Not playing very good defense either. Hasn't even subbed in his bench yet. Whoever's controlling the game right now is just complete garbage. I couldn't agree more. Right, right there, that help defense is just miserably bad. Troy's a better YouTuber than Flight. Troy makes YouTube a priority while Flight's more focused on in real... Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. If we're talking about YouTube content, I gotta go with... Yeah. I gotta roll Troy Dan. Even though Flight is... He's a grinder. He works on music, he collects shoes, he plays those one-on-ones, he streams the games on Twitch. So like, he does a lot of different things, you know what I mean? So yeah. Maximiliano said the last two Hall of Fame games are so hard. I haven't played those Hall of Fame games yet. I finished the Eastern Conference, but I have yet to play the Western Conference in Hall of Fame. So far though, we have not had any problems. Every single game has been a double-digit win. It's been fun so far. Is Derek Coleman good? I'm gonna be honest, man. Um, I don't know if any of the new players, other than Steph Curry, are gonna make my team. My team is not very good, but like... 
much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. That was a wide open pass too. As I was saying though, like I don't know if any of those guys are gonna make my team. Like Pat Beverly, great defender, but like he's not gonna be very good for me on offense, and he's even shorter than Steph. Um, Tony Allen, again, offensive liability. Rip Hamilton, I'll take a look at him, test him out. Derek Coleman, not sure. A lot of the guys I'm gonna have to check out. Uh, Shawnee Boy, I am done with 17 games if we win this game we only have 12 games left um Elliot I'm gonna use a Steph Curry but not today like everyone in the stream like I've told everyone in the stream I'm trying to get this done in one sit down or one stream so yeah I'm not gonna use him today but I will test him out tomorrow welcome back cash I will admit, I've not played very well in this game. If a lot of you guys are tuning in now and watching my gameplay, I'll admit I haven't made the best first impression. I am playing kind of bad, but all that matters is that you're up. All that matters is that you're in the lead big. Switzo SN. I finished 17 games, working on game 18 right now. Uh, Mythical Zard, I do not run quick through STS. I don't have the Nets playbook, sadly. So, yeah. It's a, it's a great American tragedy, but really, even if I did have the Nets playbook, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it would be boring if you guys just watched me run the exact same play over and over, so that's why we're not using that playbook. Courtney says, CP. This is the first time I've ever been in a live stream. Interesting. Well, hey, if you're enjoying your first live stream experience, make sure you have the notification bell turned on so you don't miss a stream. If you show up consistently, you should get pretty much every notification. No promises. YouTube's a little bit weird, but yeah. I'm glad that you've enjoyed the stream so far. Doc? You got some balls to sit down and finish this in one live. That is some patience and courage, eh? Especially patience, because this game gets a little bit boring. The only thing that's keeping me going is talking to you guys in the chat. So, you guys deserve a lot of credit, too. You guys deserve a lot of credit, because you guys have made this a lot more fun. I've been sitting here playing for over eight hours, and there's still like five, six hours left in this stream, so yeah, this is going to be a grind, but talking to you guys makes things a lot easier. The stream began a little over eight hours ago, so yeah, it's been tough. I should probably make some subs. I've barely made any subs this entire stream. That was a terrible animation. Let me put in my bench. What's up, game for one? Welcome to the stream. So yeah, this is very rare. But I'm about to make substitutions. I'm about to put in my B team. And they're going to dominate, just watch. They're going to help us pull away and win. Even though I've barely used them today. Oh, they're double teaming Kobe. Knock that down. Nice rebound, though. Another double team. And he doesn't miss twice in a row. Let's go. Rokas says, how many you got? The Opals. I've gotten three of the six Opals. If I win this game, I am two wins away from my fourth Opal. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Why, if you shot with Paul Pierce and you're not greening 90%, you're going to miss? That's not just with Paul Pierce, Snapdragon. That's with a lot of different players. If you don't get a green, you're probably gonna miss. If you don't get a green, your chances of missing are very good. Wow, that's a terrible double team. I don't know why they double team like that and leave the paint wide open. Hey, Rokas, thank you. I'd say that is pretty nice. 
Hey though, we have 46 people watching. I've been saying this a lot today, but we just have so many people coming in here. So many people joining who aren't subscribed. I just gotta say it, man. I gotta say it. It would mean a lot if y'all subscribed. It would mean a lot if y'all left a like, because I'm a very small YouTuber trying to grow my channel. This stream's been really big for me. I really appreciate everybody who's come in and shown love. I don't want to say stuff like that too much, but I don't want y'all to just come in and leave, especially if you're enjoying the content too. This has easily been one of the best streams in my channel's history. I really do appreciate every single one of you who's been involved with it. What's up, Carson? Welcome back. And Kappa, I am finishing this today. Yes, I'm finishing this in one stream, one sit down. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to take the entire day off. You know what? I might stream at night. I'll probably stream at night. But there's no way I do another afternoon stream. There's no way. That would take way too much energy. That would take way too much energy. And I'm going to get some really good sleep tonight. After I finish this, get a run in, take a shower. I'm going to get some really good sleep. I'm looking forward to that rest tonight, man. Let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's Not a terrible game. Court vision. I mean, yeah, we could be up by more. I mean, but as long as we win the game by at least one point, I'll be happy. Jokic has been playing the point guard the entire game. This man needs a sub. This man needs some rest. Jokic has been playing the entire game. Um, I will say this probably is easier than the Kobe challenges. Way easier. Kobe, you had to win 150 games for him. But for Curry, you only got to win 30. 30 games, 5 minute quarters. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You do have to play two games on Hall of Fame instead of one game on Hall of Fame, but like, that's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal at all. Good defense. Paul said, PP suck. Those things really do suck, man. I couldn't agree more. Too bad I have one. Pink Diamond glitched Giannis? Or Pink Diamond Manute Bull? I don't know. I mean, didn't isn't everyone saying that Manute Bull sucks? They've been saying that the entire stream. About to say, I don't know why you're so obsessed with Manute Bull. I mean, about to say, that Giannis is easily the better player. If you don't think that Giannis is the better player, I mean, I guess it's kind of opinion, too. Melly says, I love how nice you are to the community. I mean, well, first of all, I appreciate it. I thank you for that. But second of all, I can't be an asshole to my community and expect them to like me. So, it's a double-ended sword. I'm nice to the community, but I kind of have to be nice to the community. Either way, nah, you guys are really you guys are really cool to me. So I really appreciate that. You guys are pretty nice too. The chat never gets too toxic. Whenever it does, I have moderators who take care of it. So, it's always a lot of fun. Streams are always a lot of fun. I always enjoy them. You guys make them a lot of fun. That was a terrible air ball, but good rebound. Nice shot. Gashi said, I really need this curry. Already got two opals. Anthony Morgan said, Doc Nation's the best community on YouTube. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. I agree with that. I think Doc Nation's a pretty awesome community. And hey, I'm glad that all you guys are a part of it. If you're not yet a part of it, all you have to do is subscribe. Anthony Morgan's a member. You don't even have to buy a membership if you don't want to. All you gotta do is show up to the streams, show some support, be consistent. I'll remember who you are. And I'll remember that you're a big part of the nation. Great defense. I told you, my bench was gonna help us pull away. 
I told y'all. Uh, Surge Tiger. I have Derek Coleman from the East. I have all the Opals from the Eastern Conference. So Derek Coleman, Rip Hamilton, and who's the last one? Uh, Steve Smith. Steve Smith. I have them three, and right now, I'm on my third game of the Western Conference. Hey, Doc. Well, here, when the time, you got one million subs. Well, hey, man, I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to get one million. I guess we'll have to see. Kitty Jaden says, you seem super chill. So I subbed. I appreciate it, Kizzy Jaden. I think I said Kitty. I apologize. I meant to say Kizzy. I apologize. You're also grinding for Curry. A lot of guys in the chat right now are grinding for Curry, man. We're not the only ones. That was a terrible release. I did not mean to shoot that. Anthony said, memberships are only $2, and you get all these badges. That's facts. If any of you guys are big fans, if you guys are enjoying the streams, memberships cost $2. There's even a flight emoji in there. You get a mellow emoji. There's an emoji of me in sunglasses. There's one of flight. There's one of me licking an ice cream cone. There's a Kobe emoji too. Had to pay my had to pay my respects to the man. And yeah, I think I'm two members away from adding another emoji. So, more emojis to come. More emojis to come for sure. Game for one says I think you'll get to 10k by the end of the year. I don't know about that. My goal is to get 10k by the time I graduate college. So, eh, around. Next May is my goal for 10K. That would be cool if I had 10K by the end of the year, but I'm not thinking that far ahead. Right now, I'm just trying to get 3K. That's my goal right now. I'll get 10,000 later. Right now, we're getting closer to 3,000. K-H-I, Kai, says I fell asleep in your stream. That's tough. I'm sorry if I was boring. I really am. We have been live for over eight hours, so I can understand you getting a little bit fatigued, a little bit tired. Can't really be upset about it, you know? If I was watching a 12-hour, a 14-hour stream, too, I'd probably fall asleep somewhere along the way as well. Magic Johnson just mega choked. We were up one. It was our ball. He turned it over via a backcourt violation, via a backcourt violation. Then after they took the lead, he bricked a wide open mid-range at the buzzer. That's tough. That is tough. I'm sorry about that. Also, we could win this game by 30, but eh, no need for that. Actually, let's try. Fair enough. Not our biggest win, but Still a pretty good win. What's up on that white boy? Welcome to the stream. I just I just looked at my computer. It's come to my attention. 215 likes. You guys have killed it today. Garrett says, if I win my game of 2K, I get Tony Allen. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and Aiden, the curry challenges do not expire. I don't know why it does that on the home screen, but keep in mind, it did that for the Larry Bird challenges too. So it does not expire. Don't worry about that. But yeah, Anthony, I know you got work to do. I know you're busy in Montgomery. So if you can't make it to every single stream, if you have to miss parts of the streams, I understand. I have a lot of good moderators. I have a really good team of moderators that holds the chat down. About to say, you're the one who is known for holding the chat down. Everybody in my community knows you. So... Yeah, if you can't make it, we can't be mad at you, because you're always here. It will be surprising if you're not here, but it's not going to be, like, disappointing, you know? <sighs> We've been live for almost nine hours, and we still have 40 people watching. Anthony says 2.75k. That's nuts. Maybe we can hit 2.8k by the end of the stream. I mean, I'm still going to be live for, like, another five or so hours maybe we can hit 2.8 you never know if there's anybody watching the stream right now who's not subbed I mean 
You know what to do. You know the rules. It's that easy. On that white boy said, Jesus. Doc's hitting everything this stream. It's been a really good stream. Very good stream. We are now 12 games away from Steph Curry. This has been probably so far the best stream in channel history. Which is a bold statement. I'm aware of that. Very bold statement. We have been live for about eight and a half hours. Yeah. It's a good thing I finished my homework the other day. Because, like, yeah. I would have a lot of stuff to do today. But I had a feeling I should finish my work early. And it, it seemed like that was the right decision. Because I'm able to do this now. Bryce Davis. I have 12 challenges left, including this game. 12 games left. Let's get this win versus the Jazz, man. Let's go, Kobe. Welcome back, Tyrell. Shane, to answer your question, I'm on game number 19. If we win this game, we are one win away from our fourth Galaxy Opal of the stream. It's been huge. It's been huge, man. Let's keep things rolling. Not really worried about Donovan Mitchell. About to say, his Galaxy Opal's good, but like, he needs an update. Oh, I just missed an easy layup. Come on, Cope. Hey, Courtney, I appreciate you tuning in. Like you said, this was your very first live stream, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time watching my stream for the first time. Feel free to come back anytime. I feel like this game might be kind of tough. This Jazz team is going to be a little bit annoying, but y'all know I'm not worried about it one bit. About to say, I haven't sweat a single one of these games. I've just been chilling talking to you guys in the chat the whole time. I haven't had to get quiet or focus or anything like that. I've just been talking to y'all the whole time. Which car do you think is better, Kobe or Hakeem? I gotta go Kobe because, I mean... He has all those Hall of Fame badges. He's a GOAT card, so I gotta go Kobe. But Hakeem the Dream is pretty good, too. Hakeem the Dream is also a beast. Why can I not get a green? Your boy Cade says, hey, man, I'll be here for the rest of the way. I appreciate it, Cade. I'm gonna grind hard. Gonna get it done for you. Um, Aiden, I do think the Kobe challenges are worth it, but they are super time-consuming. And right there, why didn't Larry Bird just shoot a wide open jump shot? Why did he have to shoot a layup? He was right there. It's all good though. If we were hitting our shots, we would have such a bigger lead, man. But I'm missing all these open shots. Game for one said, Chill Strange are the best. I couldn't agree more. I think Chill Streams are pretty great. And this has been a very chill stream. We've gained over 100 subs. We have 220 likes. That's insane. I think that's the most in my channel's history on a stream. I'm getting some terrible releases. I'm playing so horribly. Rochi! What's good, man? Welcome to the stream. That's a nice little gold badge you got by your name, bro. Welcome to the stream, for real. It's nice seeing you in here. This stream really is popping off, and it's awesome that you can make it. It's awesome you can make it. It's been a long stream, so that helps, but it's awesome seeing you in here, bro. Oh, man. If we can start hitting our shots, we're going to pull away, and we're going to win this game big, but you guys have seen. I'm missing all my wide-open threes. We've been playing really good defense, so we've only given up eight points, but, like, i got to be better on offense so we can pull away a bit. A great man once said, there's two sides to the floor, offense and defense, but yeah, this has been a grind, man, and there have been a lot of guys in here who've been here for the entire stream. And Rochi, we topped 60 plus viewers at one time for the first time today. Legendary stuff, man. Who do you think will be better? Curry or Kareem? <laughs> is Larry Bird worth another four hours of farming? I think he is. Larry Bird and Kobe are my two favorite players on my team. 
Why can't I green right now? It's not a big deal. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry guys, I'm just not playing very well right now. And it's raining again. It was raining earlier. I guess it took a little time off and started coming back at night, I guess. Brochi said, must have been a great feeling, dude. So deserved. Become a member, dudes. Hey, Brochi says become a member. You guys better listen to him. It costs $2 a month. $2 a month. Some of you guys make $5, $10 donations. Hey, man, $2 a month. That's a bargain right there. Hey, I'm that white boy. Fun fact. Rochi TV's from Australia, too. Fun fact. Quick shout out to all my Australian viewers. I think I have three or four of you in here right now. Quick shout out to you guys. Why can I not green? What's my problem? I can't hit a wide open shot this game. Yet we're still in the lead. Why can I not hit a shot? I'm not mad. I'm just a little bit frustrated. A little bit frustrated. Uh, Puff, including this game, 12 games left. There we go. So Larry's going to hit his wide open shots. But Arenas has been shooting bricks. Arenas has been shooting terribly. Kobe's been pretty good too. He has seven points, but... Man, Arenas has been so bad. And you already know, I take a bunch of shots with Arenas. There we go. Kizzy says, I would like to play your team tomorrow if you were down. Eh, maybe. I'll let you know. I was going to stream Park tomorrow. Or some Curry gameplay. Whichever one, we'll see. I really haven't thought that far ahead. All I know is that I'm trying to get this curry right now. Hey, Rochi said, yes, sir. Shout out to my Australians, man. About to say. The coolest thing about my community is that we got people all over the world who are fans of CP the Duck. Got guys in Estonia, got guys in the UK, got guys in Austria, got guys everywhere. It's awesome. It's awesome, man. Prime KG is OP on defense. Prime KG is good, but he's also a little bit outdated. He's solid, of course, but not the same as he used to be just a little while ago, just months ago. Picked up Bill Russell. He has a clamp, but that jump shot is ass, eh? Hey, I feel that. I feel that. Now, the Bill Russell, the pink diamond, that was the reward for the... What was it called? The... Reward for New Year's resolutions. Now that Bill Russell was good. I really liked that Bill Russell. That Bill Russell was a monster. Oh, we just lost a like. That's too bad. Okay, I think something I also need to take into consideration is that this game is on Hall of Fame difficulty. I kind of forgot about that. I'm not going to lie. Kind of forgot about that. Thon Maker's OP. I haven't used him. I have a friend who has him. I was going to get on his account, but he hasn't. I don't know, man. I got to reconnect with him. I got to let him know that I want to hop on his account. Because I've heard that Thon Maker's good. I'm that white boy who said it was probably Trey. Trey on Zans? That's my guy. Talk to me in the chat, Trey. What happened? About to say, we got a lot of people talking in there, so I haven't been able to see everything. About to say, Trey on Zans is my guy. I didn't get to see what happened, though. About to say, you guys must have taken care of that pretty fast. Kizzy says, Oh man, never mind. You're on Xbox. Yeah, about to say. I don't think we ever had this discussion. A lot of people tell me they wish I was on PlayStation, and sometimes I wish I was, so I could play against some of you guys. Doc, have you ever watched Game of Zones? Of course I've watched Game of Zones. I feel like this season of Game of Zones wasn't as good as, like, prior seasons, but no, Game of Zones is great. I love the smart references they make, man. That show is fire. 
Anthony Morgan said, it's rigged. Only people who donate get moderators. I'm pretty sure most of my moderators have never donated before. About to say, most of you guys have never donated. I'm not calling y'all out, I'm just saying. About to say, donating doesn't get you the moderator badge. Showing up consistently is what gets it for you. Showing up consistently, being cool in the chat. Those are the things that gets you moderator badge around here. I don't get why some people just ask for it and expect me to give it to them. I mean, if you're cool and you show up a lot, I'll eventually give it to you, though. Your boy Cade says, who's your favorite player in the NBA right now? I gotta go with Melo. About to say, I'm a Melo fan. He's gonna be my favorite player in the league until he retires. I do watch Netflix, Puff. Not much. Not much lately, but I do. Oh, wrong pass. Bird was wide open on the left wing. Very bad first half, but we're still in the lead, so it could be worse. It could be worse. Garrett Owen says, I have Goat Larry Bird. So do I. He's pretty good. But we're playing terribly in this game. Good defense, but man, he got to score more points. Giving up 26 points in 10 minutes is not bad, but like, my offense has been terrible. No chill Ronnie, says first time watching. Welcome to the stream, man. How many games does he have left? I have, including this game, 12 games left. We're in the lead right now, so if we can hold on for one more half, we will be only 11 games away. Snapdragon says Ja Morant or Zion. Zion is definitely the better player, but Ja Morant deserves Rookie of the Year. I don't get why people are debating about Ja Morant versus Zion for Rookie of the Year because I feel like you can't really give it to Zion. I do think he's the better player, but I mean, you can't give it to somebody who's played, what, 19 games? That's the reason why Joel Embiid didn't win Rookie of the Year. About to say, that was the year Malcolm Brogdon won Rookie of the Year. And the reason Embiid didn't win it, even though he put up some awesome stats, is because he didn't play enough games. And since he didn't play enough games, he was pretty much out of the race. And I feel like Zion should be treated the same way, even though he is going to be good. And also keep in mind, I'm not saying that John Morant's bad, because I think he's capable of being a top 10 player in the league, possibly the best PG in the league one day. He has superstar potential, but man, Zion's had a huge year. And you know who's having a huge game? Not me. God, I'm playing terribly. What's up, F. Vogue? Welcome back to the stream. I'm on game 19 right now. Game number 19. I'm not hitting any jump shots, though. I'm not getting any greens. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not getting any greens in this game. We are playing terribly on offense, but we have been pretty good on defense. I'll give us that. Larry Bird has been very good. Larry Bird is the only reason we're winning right now, but all my other players have shot the ball horribly. That's why we're only up by seven. But yeah, we're on game number 19. Yo, Doc, do you know what happened between Melo and Jeremy Lin? Of course I do, man. I'm still a big fan of Melo despite that, but I really wish Jeremy Lin and Melo could have coexisted. But looking at their play styles, I mean, it wouldn't have worked. Jeremy Lin was a guy where if you gave him the ball, he could beat you off the dribble, find the open man. He's a guy who you could honestly, like, surround but with a bunch of shooters. Like, he's really that good. Or was that good. Like, he was super efficient. He was good at handling the ball. He was a beast. He was a beast, but... And then he ended up playing with James Harden. James Harden got most of the touches. And yeah. All of Jeremy Lin's development was thrown out the window. I think people forget that he was good in Houston. Playing for the Rockets, he was actually really good. Not as good as he was for that Lin Sandy stretch in New York, but still very good. There was one game where James Harden, I think, scored 54. And in the same game, Jeremy Lin almost had 40, so he's a beast, but people forget how good he was. Yug, if I win this game, 
we only have 11 games left, including this game though, 12. So I finally get a green with Gilbert Arenas, but they call an illegal screen? Also that kind of rhymed. Lynn was good playing with the Knicks, Lakers, and the Hornets. He was very good playing for the Hornets, in my opinion. About to say, he was a really good backup PG, and he was good in Brooklyn too, but injuries held him back. And he was actually good in Atlanta. I know that he didn't play like a lot of minutes there, but Jeremy Lin was very good playing for the Hawks. But then they traded him to Toronto, and yeah, he was at the end of the bench. It was sad. I'm glad he won a championship, but he could have been a lot more than just a bench warmer on a championship team, bro. Like, he was a good player for his entire career. Doc, how long are you streaming today? But you're not burnt out. That's respect. Hey, man. I'm going to be grinding for another, like, five hours, finishing all these challenges in one day. So if you guys want to see me get Steph Curry, once all this is said and done, make sure you're tuned into the stream. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss the gameplay stream whenever that happens. But, yeah. At the end of the day, it would really mean a lot to me because I do have a pretty small YouTube channel. Trying to grow every day. And today has been a really good day for my YouTube channel, man. This has easily been the best stream in my channel's history. I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad you guys have enjoyed it, too. So, hey, leaving a like and subscribing, they do a lot for me. And they only take, like, two seconds. Feel free to talk to me in the chat, too. It's been a fun stream. So, at halftime... This game was way too close, but we've done a good job pulling away. We actually started scoring some points, we actually started playing better defense, and yeah, we're up big. About to go up 18, let's get it! 18 point lead for the boys. It was a close game at halftime, but I told y'all, once I started making shots, we were gonna pull away. I told you guys how it was gonna go. Yeah, game for one, white boy. You guys better get some snacks because this stream is going to be going on for a while longer. I'm going to be one of the first people, one of the first people to get this Stephen Curry. For better or for worse. Whether he's a beast or whether he's a complete dust. We're going to get him. Doc, I think you're pretty big for where you're at right now. You have a loving community. I do have a loving community. You guys are pretty awesome. Thomas says, do you think Curry deserves a GOAT card? I think LeBron should get one instead. There have been a lot of people saying that. I do think LeBron deserves one more. There are a lot of guys who deserve a GOAT card more. But I feel like 2K had some garbage planning. Like, I feel like they could have given it to Wilt. I feel like they could have given it to somebody like Hakeem. They could have given that GOAT card to a lot of people. They could have given it to Bill Russell, but they just made a new Bill Russell. They could have given it to LeBron, but they just released a new LeBron. So 2K's planning is trash. I feel like they were going to give LeBron a GOAT card, but they might not anymore. All because, like, he already has two Opals. I feel like they might not do it anymore because 2K's planning is trash. Doc, when you do park again, can me and Tippy Cartoon join your squad or play you? Yeah, you can play me. What's up, Trey on Zans? What happened to Blake Griffin? Everybody forgot about him. He had a really good 2019 season, but in 2020, he's been injured most of the year. So, he put up some bad stats this year in the games he played. If he gets back to full strength, we might see Blake Griffin playing like a beast again, though. Nadine Carr says Curry has a 99 driving dunk. It's crazy. It's crazy. And of course, Curry has those 63 Hall of Fame badges, so he's going to be a beast. He's going to be a beast. The only problem is that he's a bit of a defensive liability. That's the only problem, literally. The only thing holding him back is that he's only 6'3". Chris says Curry's the greatest shooter ever. Yeah, I agree with that. 
I definitely agree with that. Curry will probably be the worst GOAT card just because of his height. You're right about that. Because even though that sounds harsh, even though it sounds harsh saying that Curry's going to be the worst GOAT card, I mean, you're comparing him to Kareem, who might be the best card in 2K history. You're comparing him to Michael Jordan and Kobe, who in my opinion are two of the best two of the best shooting guards in the game. You're comparing him to Magic Johnson, who's up there with the best PGs. I'm telling you, man, there are a lot of GOAT cards, and, well, not really a lot. There's only, what, six of them now, including Curry? What I'm saying is that Larry Bird's a beast, Kobe's a beast, MJ, Kareem, Magic, all of them are really good. Calling Curry the worst, it sounds bad, but it's really not. He's still going to be very good, but a bit of a defensive liability. Ray Allen's up there, but Curry's changed the game with his three-point shooting. Even if Curry wasn't like a better percentage-wise three-point shooter than Allen, the way that he's handled the ball, the way he runs the offense for Golden State, the way he demands so much attention the second he crosses half court, completely revolutionized the game. And when you're looking for greatness, not like who's better, who's greater, I think you gotta put the guy who changed the game over the guy who... He shot very well. Very good spot-up shooter. And keep in mind, for the, for the beginning and like middle parts of Ray Allen's career, he wasn't just a spot-up shooter. He was a guy who could average 25 plus. He made a lot of all-star teams. He could score at will. Just because he became a spot-up shooter doesn't mean he wasn't a great scorer earlier in his career. So I think the way that Curry changed the game, I gotta say he's the greater shooter. But hey, no disrespect to Ray Allen because I'm a big fan of him. And I got a friend, Cole, who's a big fan of him too. What's up, Delays? Welcome to the stream. 95L, I agree. Curry is going to be a good TTO card. Also, shout out to Garrett Owen for just getting Tony Allen. That's big time right there. Ah, <sighs> man. So this game, it's had its up and downs, but we're up by 24. We're up by 24. That's really big. And, okay, make that 22. No matter what, though, this has been another one of those games where I've gotten kind of bored. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not trying to say that to brag or anything, but when these games get out of hand, it gets a little bit boring. So I just talk to you guys in the chat. WL Rico says you almost got him. Uh, Rico, we're just about as close as anybody is right now. Once we win this game, we're only 11 wins away. That's pretty good if you ask me. Luis Lucas. Welcome to the stream, bro. Uh, white boy? King Beans shows up every now and then, but not very often. Not very often. But yeah. Luis Lucas, welcome to the stream. Good luck on the grind. It's going to be good. Larry Bird has been amazing this game. Like earlier in this game, our offense was horrible, but Larry Bird was still greening every shot. Mustafa says, I got Pat Bev. We're going to save Pat Beverly for last. We're going to save the Lakers, the Clippers, and the Warriors for last. We're going to save the toughest games for the end of the stream. For now, we're just going to go ahead and finish up the Northwest Division. We are killing these teams, man. Puff says, which all-time sim, all sim should I do first? The easiest one is the Southeast. So if you're looking for easy, there you go. And Steve Smith, I've heard, is one of the best ones. So if any of you guys want an easy sim, do the Southeast. Not our best game, but a win's a win. If we hold on and win this game, we are officially, excuse me, had something in my throat, officially 11 games away. When we get to the final five, I'm going to start putting the games in the title. I'm going to change the title to five games away, or five more games, or something like that. Either way, you guys are not going to want to miss when I get that Steph Curry 
It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great achievement. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it, man. I'm going to hold the ball a little bit and get some water just because the game's over. Just because the game's over. Going to run out the clock a little bit. Pass to Larry Bird. Shoot one more just for fun. And now, we can go ahead and run out the clock. Game 19 is in the books. 19 wins. Zero losses. We have been playing like beasts today, man. We've been killing it. No team has had a chance so far. Second chance effort. Let's get it, man. 19 games down, 11 games to go. 95L, I'm going to end the stream, like, after I, you know, talk to y'all a little bit. And also, I know this is a little while away, but when I get that, um, when I get the curry, you guys have permission to spam W in the chat. I can't believe we have 45 people watching after almost 9 hours. In like four or five minutes, this stream is officially going to be nine hours long. Garrett Owen says I'm doing Steve Smith now. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. <sighs> One game left, guys. One game left for... Who is it? Detlef Shrimp, right? No. I could just go back and look. I can't remember who the player is. I know Pat Beverly's the Clippers. I know that Detlef Shrimp is like the Thunder or Supersonics. Who's the player? Let's find out. Quinn. It is 7.54 p.m. What's up, Alberto? Welcome to the stream. Oh, so it is Detlef Shrimp. Interesting. It is Detlef Shrimp. Okay. I thought that he was going to be the guy for the... Oh, this is the Thunder. I'm stupid. Oh, my God. This is the Thunder. I thought that the Thunder were in the same division as the Grizzlies. I promise you guys, I know my basketball. I'm embarrassed. Wow. I promise you guys, I know my basketball. My thing is that it's called the Northwest Division. But the Thunder are like... Okay, I don't think they're Northwest, but that's just my opinion. Maybe the guys who align the conferences think it's Northwest. Luis, I'm glad you love the streams. I appreciate it. And Anthony Morgan says 226 likes. Damn, it's crazy, man. This stream has been going off. This stream has been going crazy. There's a huge market crash. I just picked up Pink Diamond Wade for 10K. That's pretty crazy, considering how much of a beast he is. It's Steven says, is this the last game? Oh no, I don't think anybody's made it to the last game yet. About to say, this is my last game for Detlef Shrimp. Once this game's over, we'll be 10 games away. What's up, Ramaya? Welcome back to the stream. Nico says, facts, Doc. You got high basketball knowledge. I'm glad you know that because I made myself look really dumb by saying the thunder. Yeah, I made myself look pretty dumb. So I'm glad that you know I still know my stuff. When you've been streaming for nine hours, you lose brain cells a little bit. You get a little bit tired, you know? I have my excuses. Either way, no excuses for this game. Let's get this win. Let's get this W, bro. Snapdragon says, where's Russell Westbrook? He doesn't have an Opal yet, so they, they started Opal Gary Payton instead. So I'm assuming Russ is coming off the bench. But yeah, once Westbrook gets an Opal, or if he gets an Opal, if he, if he had gotten an Opal, would have been on the team. Let's get it. I'm that white boy who said, I can taste the W in the chat already. So can I. Garrett. I'll do the locker codes later. A lot of you guys were getting on to me earlier about, like, wanting me to put in the locker codes. I'll put them in later. Welcome back, Zach. Welcome back to the stream, Zach Hellman. Man, they're leaving Embiid wide open. I gotta hit those. 
I gotta get more greens. Last game, I didn't get any greens until the second half. Like, I gotta be better shooting the ball. Last game, I was terrible. We still won by 26, but like, the game was way too close in the first half. Right here, though, that's a guaranteed... Ma okay, no, it's not. What am I talking about? Why are we missing all these shots, man? We gotta be better than this on offense. On defense, we've been really good the entire stream, but like, on offense... I've been so up and down. There we go, bird. That's what I needed right there. That's exactly what I needed. The Hornets suck for the challenges. Yeah, they do. Okay. Platinum said something kind of long. I don't like Russell's play style. Even though he averaged a triple-double, it's like he always stat pads. I know what you mean. And there's a lot of evidence pointing to the fact that he stat pads. But really, Russell's all about winning. So he has the right mentality, but I feel like he does stat pad a little bit too. Some people say that he cares about stats more than winning. I don't agree with that. I feel like he may pad the stats a little bit, but I don't think that... I think he'd rather win a championship than average a triple-double ever again, you know? I think he'd rather win a ring. I have not greened with Gilbert in so long. I'm going to have to sub Gilbert out of the game. Oh my gosh. Like I said, we've been great on defense, but oh my god. On offense, we've been abysmal. There's your vocabulary word for the day. Um, King Cyan. There is not a certain time to get Curry. You can do it whenever you want to. There are no restrictions. But yeah, man. We're up 12-2, but we're missing so many open shots. I can't explain it, dude. <sighs> to the 45 people watching the stream, I hope everyone's having a good night. It's 8 p.m. right now in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. If you guys are playing 2K, I hope you're having a better time than I am because I'm missing all these open shots. At least we're playing good defense. At least. I picked up Pink Diamond Mirasan for 5k. Hey, that's what's up. Huge market crash right now. I might have to check that out later. Might have to check that out later. That is a big W. Oh, yeah. Coast to coast. Let's get it. Remember when Troy Dan used 97 Steph Curry? Scored 109 points. That's a bit of a throwback, but I do. I do. Troy Dan might not be the best 2K player. He has his moments, though. And he knows how to entertain, man. He knows how to entertain people. And Quinn, of course I've seen Thunderstruck. You don't think I've seen that legendary movie? There's a reason why my favorite player in NBA history is Brian Newell. And he didn't even play in the NBA. But nah, for real, that's a great movie. Hilarious, too. I love that movie. Looking back on it, the plot is pretty bad, but it's still a good movie. Random Ace says, I'm going to be here till you're done. I appreciate it, Ace. I hope a bunch of you guys hang around till I'm done. We've gotten so many new viewers in here today. We've had a lot of fun in the stream. I hope you guys just hang around till I get the big achievement. That would be, that'd be awesome if y'all hang around till I get it. Let's go, Larry. This has been an amazing quarter on defense. This has been an amazing defensive quarter. Offensively, not amazing. But, you know, like, if you're in the lead 17-2, you'll take it. If we can start scoring more points, we gonna be all right. But nah, defensively, great start to the game. <sighs> the 2K cheese. It doesn't get much better than that. Great defense to end the quarter. Over Opal Larry Bird. <sighs> In face. Doesn't get much worse than that. As long as we can shoot better in this quarter, we're going to be alright. Josh said, this man CP is a grinder, eh? 
Y'all know me. Y'all know me. It's good content. You guys seem to enjoy it. It's a great chance for me to talk to you guys. I enjoy this stuff, man. I really do. And I hope you guys enjoy it, too. You guys seem to. We've averaged about 40 viewers this stream, according to my YouTube app pulled up. We've averaged a bit over 40, which is huge. Our max viewers today is 65, which is insane. It's been an amazing stream, and I have nobody else to thank except for you for that, all you guys watching. Alberto, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation. I appreciate the sub. And yeah, man, welcome to the best community on YouTube. I said that weird. I said YouTube. I don't know why I said it like that. Y'all know what I mean. What's up, A Trouble? Welcome to the chat, bro. It's nice seeing so many new viewers in here today, man. This has been one of my biggest streams in channel history. Probably the biggest stream in channel history. I don't know how many subs we have right now. The last time someone told me, we were at 2.75. Don't know how many we have right now, but it's probably more than that based on how many new people have been joining. Y'all listen to Anthony Morgan. He just said, everyone drop a like and sub. You haven't, If you haven't helped us grow Doc Nation, that's right. Josh, offensively, I think Goat Curry is going to be as good as any point guard in the game. But defensively, you might have to switch him onto the other team's shooting guard. Especially, like, if they have a tall point guard. You're going to have to switch him. A Trouble says 2.77. So, you're telling me there's a chance we could hit 2.8 tonight. And that's what I'm getting from this. You're telling me we might hit 2.8? That's crazy. And you guys have been killing it. So, thank y'all for making this stream awesome. But it's nowhere near over. Even after we win this game, we're still going to have 10 games left. And it takes a long time to play 10 games. So you guys better get some popcorn. Y'all better hang around. Because we still have a lot of time left to play. We have a lot of game left to play. We're also two likes away from 230. So you guys make sure to show some love for me if you haven't already. Oh, yeah. Big man, big man alley-oop. That's what I'm talking about. Doc, I was watching your Owen82 challenge yesterday. Hey, man, that was a great video. And I think I posted it around this time last year. That's an old video, but a classic. I love that video, man. Kyle Singler, he should have been an all-star. About to say, if you really watched that video, you know what I'm talking about. Hey Trouble, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation. Welcome to the nation. This has been a big day for the channel, man. These challenges have been crazy. And if I'm not mistaken, this has also been the longest stream in my channel's history. Or at least one of them. Okay, that's not true. If we get to 10 hours, it's going to be my first 10-hour stream ever, so... We've been making history today. Most likes on a stream, most views in a stream, most viewers at one time during a stream. We've been setting records today, Doc Nation. Most subscribers gained with one stream. It's been awesome. You guys have been killing it. Thank you guys, for real. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Easy bucket. Loyal Gaming YT says, I'm three out of five the way done. Or three-fifths of the way done, excuse me. It's so goddamn hard. It is pretty hard, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Are you talking about the bird challenges or the, what's it called? The curry challenges. Because the bird challenges, like, what's it called? It's five sets of challenges, but for this, it's six sets of challenges. And you said five. So I just want to make sure we're talking about the same thing here. Luis said 30 point lead. And this is the championship game, by the way. This is on Hall of Fame difficulty. The CPU just didn't show up. I thought this was going to be a tougher game, but I guess not. Nico said, I just got screwed. We were up by one. Two seconds on the shot clock. 11 seconds. 
They shoot a smothered layup, make it. I call timeout. I drove, draw a foul, and they didn't call it. Hey, that sounds like some real tomfoolery right there. That sounds tough. I'm sorry about that. Big game for us, though, man. Big game. 44-12 to 12 lead. We are absolutely killing it today. About to say, it doesn't get much better than this. Okay, they're making a few tough shots, but we're still up by 30. We're doing so well that I'm going to put in the bench. I'm going to put in the bench. We'll hold for one shot, too. Got to make that shot, though. No way. Oh! I didn't realize there was that much time on the clock. I didn't think they would have enough time for that alley-oop. Now we're only up by 28. No! I know. It's sad, man. It's sad. <sighs> Still a good lead. Still a very good lead. I can't be upset with it. We're up 44-16, and if we hold on and win this game, that is 10 games away from the man himself, Galaxy Opal Step. We have been making awesome progress. We're going to have this game finished, and yeah, we're going to have 20 games total finished in less, in less than nine and a half hours. I lost my words for a second. Didn't really know what to say right there. Quinn says, I like to keep, uh, excuse me, I like to keep the game close so it's more fun. I understand that, but I just like to win by as much as possible. I need to step it up, though. About to say, the Thunder are on a, what, 7 nothing run before that shot? We got to pull away a little bit. Alberto, yes, I'm going to get 2K21. Indeed. I want to check out the gameplay first before I pre-order it, but... I am indeed planning on getting 2K21. Let's get this lead back up to 30, man. I'm not saying that a 28 point lead makes me uncomfortable, but let's get this thing back up to 30. Hey, one second, for some reason my chat closed down. Let me pull it back up real quick. Why is my chat closing down? Midstream like this, one second. Go ahead and get through this timeout. There it is. Okay, here we go. Let's get back to it. Oh, I gotta scroll down too. There it is. Now we're back. And we got the ball. About to say, I didn't even really control my team that possession, but we still got the stop and thought we were about to get a score, but... Uh, can we make a shot, please? What's up, Packer the Player? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream, man. I want to say you missed a lot, but there's still a lot of time left in this stream, so... Yeah, we'll see if we can get this curry and go home without taking a single L. Do you think Curry's good at the backup PG? Uh, yes, Daniel. I do think he's pretty good as a backup PG. He's probably going to start for me. I don't have any of those super tall point guards, so he's probably going to be my starter, which means I'm going to have to hide him on defense, but we'll see. I'm not like a comp player. I just play the game for fun. So I'm not super worried about being exposed a bit on defense, you know? Whoa! Why does my chat keep closing down? I'm just trying to scroll down and zoom in a little bit. One second, guys. I'm not going to pause the game, though. We're still up by 20. 28. I'm trying to zoom in on the chat, but it's not letting me. There we go. There we go. About time. About time to let me do that. Let me scroll down a little bit. Perfect, perfect. There we go. And we still have time to get a decent shot. 
No, that's not a, de a decent shot at all. But it went in anyway. I'll take it. Thank you guys for 230 likes on the stream. Biggest stream in channel history by far. 231 likes is amazing. Thank you guys for helping me get there, for real. I just made a half-court buzzer beater with Larry Bird. That's, that's what's up right there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get this post up real quick. Let's get Kobe cutting to the rim. That's some nice movement right there. Good shot. We got 35 people in here. Hope everyone's having a good night, man. Hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves so far today. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you subscribe. About to say, I have a small channel, but so it would mean a lot if you guys subbed. This has been a really big stream for me. I did not expect it to blow up the way it has, but it's been a lot of fun. And if you're enjoying it, why not join in on it, man? About to say, you can join my community by subscribing. And yeah, takes two seconds and it really helps out the channel a lot. <sighs> I had a really good first half, but ever since, hasn't been the same, for real. Hasn't been the same ever since the first half. Anthony said, CP is ass in this game. Yeah. Up by 31, but still playing kind of like ass. I agree. Oh, you said CPU was ass in this game. I was admitting that I played way better in the first half. I about to say, in the first half, I was pretty good. But I have been kind of ass in the second half. I thought that's what you meant. You threw me off there with that typo. I about to say, I will admit I've had a very bad second half, but like, I about to say, I said Anthony's calling me ass? That's tough. At this point, though, we're up by 30. I'm just trying to hold the ball for the rest of the game. I'm just trying to hold for one and trying to get to the end of the game as fast as I can because these games, they're time consuming. And you're up by 30, the game's pretty much over. I'm just trying to get to the end as fast as I can. I don't care what the final score is as long as we win. It's all that matters at the end of the day. We're playing really well, or the score looks like we're playing really well. We're five minutes away from being 10 games away from Steph Curry, which is huge. Very huge. That means we will have finished 20 games in less than nine and a half hours. And a lot of people are saying that this is a 15 hour grind. We might get it done in less than 14 hours if we stick to it. Stick to itiveness. That's my, that's the new vocabulary word for the day. It means that you're very good at sticking to it. What's up, Holmes brothers? If we win this game, we are 10 games away. This is the this is the last game for the Northwest Division. I'm playing bad in the second half, so don't judge me too hard. But yeah, we're getting very close to the end. Luis says, I'm so bored that I'm playing with the broadcast camera angle. You must be really bored then. Yeah, you must be super bored if you're playing with that camera angle. About to say, when I'm bored, I don't think about playing with another camera angle. I just talk to y'all. Talking to you guys in the chat has made this ten times more fun. Welcome back, Trayon Zans. That's my guy right there. Welcome back to the stream. Four minutes away from getting Detlef Schrempf. Four minutes away from being ten games away from Opal Steph Curry. It's been an awesome stream. We haven't taken a single L. It's not looking like we're going to take an L in this game, so let's close out this thing strong. I got to get more greens, though. I've been hitting my full bars, but I got to get some more greens. Welcome back, Luca. Welcome back to the stream. If you're just hopping into the stream, make sure to drop a like for me, man. Those likes mean a lot. 
The more people who like the stream, the more people who are active in the chat, the more people who see the stream in their feed join in. And I might just get a new sub from it. You never know. I just made a three with George Mirasan, and he's got a 64 three-pointer. That's, that's not a bad three-pointer. about to say, I know guys can green threes if they have, like, at least a 55. That's not bad. But Mirasan, he's a beast. That shouldn't be surprising us. Mirasan's arguably the best center ever. Kidding, by the way. Some of you guys might have taken that one seriously. <sighs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm beginning to get a little bit tired. And before you guys start to be like, oh no, just know, we are so close to the end that I'm going to be fueled by my determination. I'm not done until we get Larry Bird. Or, I mean, we're not done until we get Steph Curry. I'm so tired that I'm not even thinking straight. Hey, Bubba Jr., thank you for the sub. Welcome to Doc Nation, Bubba Jr. The channel, ah, uh, the channel. I'm telling you guys, I've been live for almost 10 hours. I'm getting tired, okay? So I'm going to start pronouncing words wrong. I'm going to repeat some things I said like two seconds earlier. I'm getting tired, but I'm telling y'all. Once I get this Steph Curry, the shower and the sleep after is going to hit different. It's going to be amazing. So don't criticize me too fast. But yes, welcome to Doc Nation, Bubba Jr. It's been a great day for the channel. You never know. If we, get, if we gain a few more subscribers, we might hit 2.8 today. 2.8K would be huge. Smack says, I think you're high. And that would be a decent theory, but you guys have been watching me the whole time. I haven't been smoking. I have not been smoking. Luis says, it's great to watch someone do The Sims while I do it too. Hey, I think it's very good background sound, you know? If you were just sitting there, looking at your TV, saying nothing, doing nothing, sitting there in silence, that would be kind of weird. So I think having my streams on as, I think, white noise, as some people call it, I think it's a good thing. So if any of you guys are trying to get these sims done and you need something to listen to in the background, I think that my stream might just fit the bill. This has been a frustrating game. I know what you're thinking, Doc. You're up by 41, dude. How is this game frustrating? I don't know. It's just, I don't know, this game took too long to finish. It was a boring game. Didn't really enjoy playing it. I don't care that we're up by 41. I'm ready for it to be over. So I can say that we are only 10 wins away from Steph Curry. One of the best streams in channel history by far. You guys have all made it great. We got 47 people in here right now. Thanks to every single person who's made this stream a great one so far. But like I've said, it's not over just yet. It ain't over till it's over, so you guys hang around, be patient, and we're going to get that Steph Curry. It's going to happen. You guys are going to witness it. Let's go. Ten games away from Steph Curry. Ten more games. 20 games down, 10 games to go. We have been putting on a clinic, winning every game easily. Anthony Haywire says, hey, I completed one set and got off. I should have done that too. I don't blame you. I could have divided this up into like six different streams. But I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and do it all at once. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Not sure if it's the healthy thing to do, but I finished all my homework, so I don't really have anything to do. I worked out really hard last night, so I'm sore. I'm just sitting here playing the game. If any of you guys want to take a picture, I'm going to pose like this real quick. There we go. I'm going to show you guys my progress real quick, if any of you guys are curious. There we go. All five games down. Let's go to my collection. Let's check out the rewards. And there we go. Four players down. Two players to go. There's the man right above my head. I know you see him. There we go. 
we're missing Tony Allen, and we're missing Pat Beverly. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting rest of the stream. We're missing two players. I think we're going to be one of the first people to get Opal Steph Curry. And that's always a great achievement right there. If you're in there, in contention, for being one of the first guys to get one of the new rewards that just came out. So there we go. Four Spotlight Sims down. Four all-time Sims down. Two to go. Ten games left. Ten games left. <sighs> you guys told me to save the Lakers for last. So I'm going to do it. We're going to do the Southwest. First game, we're playing versus the Grizzlies. Let's get it. Batboy says, does the Stephen Curry card expire? No. Don't worry, it does not expire. Anthony Haywire says, Steph Curry's my favorite player. He's my mom's favorite player, interestingly. Silken Joke says, I have four too, my guy, but I'm taking a break. <sighs> this has been a grind. This has been a grind. Um, Carson B, I'm not using the Nets playbook. I feel like if I ran the same play every single time, that would be really boring for you guys to watch. So I'm just playing the game straight up, and I'm winning the game straight up. We are 20-0, 20, 20 wins, no L's. Let's keep things, let's keep things going. Cliff Stack says, I've been here for almost 10 hours. It's been crazy. It's been an awesome stream. What a great stream it's been. We're playing versus Ja Morant, Pau Gasol. We're playing versus the boys this game. This isn't going to be the toughest game, but we still got to lock in. We still got to focus because sometimes the CPU is going to hit you with the BS. No! Like right there. I was trying to lift off and throw it down, but I guess 2K thought I wanted to shoot a jump shot contested by two people. It's all good, though. It's all good. Oh, yeah. Kobe's blowing past Tony Allen. There we go. Anthony said, You might be the first person. I haven't seen anybody have him. Can you guys check in on other streams? About to say, if you guys want to look at other people's streams, that would be dope if, I, if I'm the first person. I've never been the first person to get these rewards because I usually don't grind them all in one day like Denver Struck does or other guys do. I'm usually not grinding them all in one day. Ooh! Oh, man, I should have taken the jump shot. But instead, I got the super slow layup animation. Damn. That was a bad layup right there. We're good, though. Y'all know me. Y'all know my mindset. As long as we play defense, we gonna be all right. And there's good defense right there. Another block. Two blocks and one possession. Let's get a bucket real quick. That was my first green with Gilbert Arenas in so long. It's about time we greened one again. What's up, HBY? Welcome back to the stream. We got 40 people in here. Hope everyone's having a good night, staying safe, enjoying the stream. If any of you guys haven't subscribed, what are you doing? If you're hanging around, watching the stream, enjoying the content, make sure you're subscribed and turn on those notifications so you never miss a stream. Back-to-back -back greens, let's go. If we can hit our wide-open jump shots and lock down on D, this is not going to be a game for much longer. It's a little bit close right now. But that's because the game just started, so it's kind of inevitable, you know? Chrissy 2.0, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. I really do appreciate you. Welcome to Doc Nation. Uh, would go up, but I think he blocked that. Oh, good ball movement. Great ball movement. Nice rebound, too. Let's move that ball around. They're double teaming. And if they double team, that means somebody's open. Somebody's open. But we're missing all these open shots. Come on, man. Like I told you guys, if we can hit those open shots, we're going to be all right because we're clamping down on defense. Chrissy 2.0.
says, I have six kids in my basement. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Good shot, Larry. That's what we needed right there. Carson B says, the sad part, the people who get it first are the people using the Nets playbook because they don't have to worry about content. That's true. A lot of guys in the world, they're going to beat me to getting this Steph Curry. But I'm talking about like YouTube streamers. I think I might be one of the first people. But yeah, the people who are using the Nets playbook and doing the glitch on Xbox, they're going to beat me to it. They're going to beat me to it. They don't have to worry about content. Like right here, the reason I'm playing through these games without using the playbook, without glitching, is because you guys are watching. I'm going to play every single game 100% honest. Not going to use quick through a single time. Not going to glitch a single time. I did glitch one time earlier because somebody wanted me to demonstrate. My one time I used the glitch, I demonstrated it for 15 seconds. So... I did use the glitch earlier, not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna sit here and make y'all watch all this content, like, and make y'all watch me skipping the game. Uh, Chrissy, if you get a highlight play, make sure a replay comes up, so set your replays to very often, or often, not very often, and after you dunk or something, a replay is gonna come up. But before that replay comes up, it's going to show the player's card and their badges. On that menu, where it shows the card and the badges, that's where you pause it. I would demonstrate the glitch, but I don't know. About to say, I demonstrated it earlier. Don't know if I want to do it again. You, Denver, and probably Bio will be among the first five. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's my goal. I want to be in the first five. That would be fire if I was in the first five. About to say, Denver's probably ahead of me. Denver's a bigger grinder than I am. I'm not sure if he uses the Nets playbook. I don't think he does the glitch. I'm pretty sure he's not on Xbox, so that makes sense, but yeah. It'd be cool if I was in the first five to get it. It's like a rep race, but on a smaller scale. I'll just look it up. And see what it is because I might do it. Okay, sounds good to me. Welcome back, Carson. Welcome back, King. <sighs> solid first quarter. Not our best first quarter, but still very solid. I'll take it. 22 10 lead. Got the last shot of the quarter. There we go. We are on game number 21. We have finished 20 games. Once this game's over, we'll have nine games left. Single digit games left. That sounds really good right about now. So let's finish up all these games. Livestack says Denver's not streaming right now. Interesting. Interesting. Can you guys look up and see if I'm gonna, like is anybody else doing this? Like there's no way I'm the first person. There's no way I'm the first person who's gonna get this. Anthony, I have every opal that you need for Curry, except for Patrick Beverly and Tony Allen. Every single one except those guys. Because you never know. If I actually am the first person who's about to get the... What's it called? If I'm actually going to be the first person, I might change the title of the stream to that. Low key. Someone named Why You Mad probably has more subs than I do. And there are probably guys who have less who are going to get them before I do too. I'm good at the game, but I'm not the best at the game. There are a lot of smaller content creators, smaller YouTubers, who are probably better at this than I am. I'm definitely not the best on YouTube. What a stream it's been. I'm so gassed. It's been almost 10 hours. Oh yeah, Larry. Good steal. 
Sorry, man. What's your top five opals? I think my top five opals. That's tough. I think my starting lineup is my best five. My starting lineup, my favorite player is Kobe. That Opal Kobe's a beast. Um, I like Larry Bird too. He pretty much never misses. Um, I like Hakeem. He's in my top five. Got Joel Embiid. Very underrated big man, Galaxy Opal. And yeah, my point guard's Gilbert Arenas. But after this, my point guard's gonna be Steph Curry. He's gonna be awesome, man. You guys better get ready for this. I want to become a member, but I don't. Oh, you want to become a meme? I think you mean member. But hey, memberships only cost two dollars. So for anybody who wants a me channel membership, they only cost two dollars. Literally, two dollars a month. Pretty cheap. Uh, Sizz, how many games till I'm done? Ten games, including this one. Once this game's over, nine games left. But yeah, to answer you guys' questions, once this game's over, we'll have nine games left. Anthony says, I think Embiid's a top five center. He's really good. He's really good. I prefer playing him at the four because he has the speed and the quickness to keep up with guards on the perimeter if I have to switch. But he also has a super fast three-point shot, so it's interesting. It's interesting, man. But yeah, once this game's over, we'll have nine games left. I wish you can simulate to the end, man. I know it's not an insane blowout, but this is going to be a blowout. Sizz says, nice, I'm 13 games away. Hey, you're doing some good work, man. You're doing some good work. Keep on grinding. Keep on grinding. So you're going to get him a little bit after I do. That's still really good. The other guy streaming on YouTube has 25 games left. Sheesh. So he's got a lot of work to do to catch up. About to say, we have 10 games left, 9 games once this one's over. We have made some really good progress on this. Doc, I'm so tired. I'm not even playing 2K, but I'm not tired of you. I'm glad you're not tired of me. If you were tired of me, I'd be a little bit sad. I'd be like, oh, Liv, I thought you were a loyal fan. Ah, but yeah. It's been a tough stream. It's been a lot of fun. We've gained a lot of subs. It would be awesome if we could hit 2.8K by the time this stream is over. 2.8 would be legendary. We started off the stream with 2.63. So, man, getting 2.64 or 2.8 by the end of it, excuse me, that would be borderline legendary. Sizz says, I got Kobe and Larry. But I'm dog at playing. Hey, you got Kobe and Larry, so you can't be that bad. That's still some good shit right there. Live Stack says, Doc, you're always fun to watch. And I appreciate that. I'm glad you guys think I'm fun to watch. If, I'm, if you guys don't think I'm fun to watch, I hope you think I'm fun to listen to, at the very least. It's been a very fun stream. Gained a lot of new subs. Had a lot of fun today, man. I really enjoy talking to you guys in the chat during the games. It makes things 175,988 times easier. And yes, that's a, that's a real statistic. I'm telling you guys, I wish we could simulate to the end of these games. 46-20 is insane. They're not coming back. Y'all know I don't blow leads. What's up, John B.? Welcome to the stream. We're 11 likes away from 250. That's insane, man. I had to stretch out my back real quick. John B, I am having a great night. A tiring night, but a great night. And it's going to be capped off by me getting this Steph Curry. It's going to be awesome, so you guys better be ready. We have been live for almost 10 hours. What a great stream it's been. Hey. Hop, step, slam. We put Tony Allen on the ground right there. That's crazy.
Bird gets to Kobe. Oh man. Doc, I'm watching with my pet iguana. Down low, good for you. Arenas. And good for it too. I hope your pet iguana is enjoying my content. Anthony says, do you think I should pick Joel and Bead up or someone else? And Bead's good, but if you have 300k, you could possibly get someone better. Like I told you guys early in the stream, I'm not an auction house expert. I don't know who's going for what price right now. So if you got somebody in the chat to check the auction house for you or give you recommendations, that would be a big help, but 300k is a pretty good amount. Uh, JD... Right now, I'm on game number 21. If we win this game, we have nine games left. Finally, single digit games remaining. It's crazy. This stream's been a lot of fun. It's crazy that it's actually on its last leg. I did not mean to shoot that. It says early at the top of the screen for a reason. I was trying to pump fake, but eh, Kobe still made the shot. To be fair, this is on all-star difficulty. This is the easiest game we're going to play, so I guess that's acceptable. Ah, <sighs> man. I'm getting tired, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But since I know we're so close to the end of the stream, I'm going to power through it. Like Little Mac. Like Rocky Balboa. I'm going to power through it. Puff says, I kind of regret selling my Joel and Bede. I'm telling y'all. Joel Embiid is a beast. Joel Embiid is a beast. And Luis, thank you for the good luck. You're right that it might not be too hard, but I appreciate the good luck. Man. Taze says, I started late. I got 25 games left. Hey, that's not too bad. I mean, you're going to get it done eventually. I got started early in the morning, man. I got started pretty much right after I ate breakfast. I heard about this at 10 a.m., started the stream at 11 a.m., and I've been streaming ever since. So, Taze, take your time with these challenges. It's no race. I'm not going to be the first person to get them, but it's really good content. Very good content for the channel, and you guys have really been enjoying it. Uh, Jaden, so far the hardest team. Y'all are going to think this is dumb. The hardest team I've played has been the Cavaliers. Why is Hakeem injured? I've gotten three players injured today. This has happened three times. Whatever, man, whatever. Anyways, let me get back to Jaden's question. Hardest team has been the Cavaliers. Everybody in the chat has said the Bulls are the hardest team. But I beat the Bulls by 52. I only beat the Cavaliers by 12, so... For some reason, I really struggled with the Cavaliers. Anthony says, who do you think's Rookie of the Year? I think Ja's Rookie of the Year, but I think Zion's the better player. I think Zion's the better player. Packer said, injuries are such trash in my team. Hey man, you're not wrong. The hardest team I'm going to have to play is the Lakers, but the hardest team I've played so far is the the Cavaliers for some reason. I, I destroyed the Bulls easily, but I almost lost to Cleveland. Cleveland's not even that tough of a team to play. I don't know how I almost lost, but I almost lost. I gotta say it how it is. Man, this has been a fun stream. It's crazy that there's still, like, four hours left, but it's been awesome so far. If we have a big rest of the stream, we could hit 2.8 thousand subs, so if you're one of the 40 people watching right now and you haven't subbed yet, what are you doing, man? Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you're enjoying the content, and yeah, I'm a small channel trying to grow every single day, so every like, every sub, means the world to me. Doc, don't you love when one of your CPU players gets a foul for you? Oh, of course. I'll be playing perfect defense, like right there with Gilbert Arenas. And for some reason, my CPU decides to foul. I don't know why, but yeah. It doesn't make sense, but it makes dollars. Hey, Taze, 
Shout out to you for getting Patrick. Oh no, I thought you said you got Patrick Beverly. No, I have not gotten Patrick Beverly yet. I'm saving him for last. Everybody told me I should save the Lakers for last because they're the hardest game. And I'm going to be honest. By the time I play the Lakers, I'm going to be so tired. I'm going to be so tired that I might lose. Like, I'm, I'm tired right now. And I still have so many games left. Imagine when I play the Lakers. <sighs> Man, we're up by 40. Why can't we simulate to the end of the game? We're up 40. Come on, man. There has to be a magic number that 2K selects for you to simulate to the end of the quarter. Or end of the game. Doc, what happens when I was gone? I was in a My League game. Um, to summarize everything, we're 10 games away. One quarter from being five, nine games away. Quinn, of course I know who Jesser is. <sighs> Thomas Denicola. Thoughts on buying Hito. Hito is good, but I'm not a big fan of him. Like, like I always say, it comes down to personal preference. I just don't love his jump shot. I prefer playing him at his natural position, to be honest with you. He's good at the PG, but like, I just prefer playing him at the 3, I don't know why. He's good, but I don't know if I'd pick him up. I'm not a big fan of him. Doc, tomorrow when I open packs, what if I pull LeBron? Hey man, that would be amazing if he pulled LeBron. Didn't somebody in the chat earlier pull LeBron? I think someone said that. They might have been lying, but somebody said that. And he was talking about how he was going to sell him and get that goat Kareem. Hey, that would be a great pull. Getting that LeBron would be huge. Tay says the Warriors are tougher than the Lakers. Which is interesting, because aren't the Warriors on superstar difficulty? That's interesting that they're tougher. Packer says, damn, I lost to the Lakers. The Lakers is the final game. The Lakers, they're on, all, they're on Hall of Fame difficulty, so I understand if people lose to the Lakers. That's going to be a tough game, even for me. I've been playing really well today, but even for me, that's going to be a tough game, I think. I'm excited for it, because I think it's actually going to be a challenge. 13 Rolly says, all I pulled is Blake Griffin from a single. I'm sorry about that, Rolly. Yeah, I wouldn't get very excited about a Blake Griffin. You probably got so hyped when you saw it was an Opal. But then you saw it was Blake Griffin and you were like, Ugh, I've been there before. I've been there before. I remember a few months ago, I opened a pack. It said 76ers. I said, oh God, Ben Simmons. And then it was Allen Iverson. I was heartbroken. I remember last year, 2K19, KD and Russell were in the same packs. There was a Galaxy Opal KD and a Pink Diamond Russell. I open up the pack. I see what's it called. I see Thunder. But then I see Point Guard. I'm like, shit. It's sad, man. It's really sad. What's up, Rooster? What's up, Supreme Turtles? Welcome to the stream, both of you guys. We're on the last leg. We're on the final stretch of getting this Steph Curry. Once we win this game, we're going to be nine wins away. We've been grinding today. This has been a record-setting stream for my channel. Thanks to everybody who's tuned in. It's been awesome. STB says, what's up? I haven't been to your streams since the Larry Bird challenges. Oh, and right after I say that, I miss a free throw with Larry Bird. But yeah, Larry Bird's a beast, man. I don't think this Steph Curry is going to be as good as Larry Bird mainly because of his defense, but he is still going to be a beast. <sighs> I'm so bored, man. Talking to you guys is the only thing keeping me awake. We're up by 50 almost, man. Why can't we simulate to the end of this game? These games get so boring. I'm telling you, man. My ass is hurting. I'm getting a little bit tired, but you guys are here and you guys are chill, so... That's what's been getting me through this. I'm that white boy said. I'm back from the quick basketball session. Hey, you better have gotten buckets. But not for real. Welcome back. 
his shot more than usual. Even though he Man, I'm tired. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm getting tired, but I'm on the last leg of the stream. So we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. We're on the last leg. We have almost 50 people watching. So I got to push through to the end of the stream. I promise you guys. Unless there are some technical difficulties, I'm not ending this stream until we get Steph Curry. We have 50 people watching. We have 245 likes, 5 away from 250. We're almost at 2.8 thousand subscribers. This has been a record setting stream, and I gotta thank every single one of y'all for showing so much love on today's stream. Shout out to my OGs who've been subscribed for a while. Shout out to my new subs who just found my channel today. You guys are freaking awesome. Who is the best Opal in the all-time spotlights? I'll be honest, man. The only one I care about is Steph Curry. Outside of that, I don't care about Derek Coleman. I've heard Steve Smith is pretty good. I've heard that Steve Smith is pretty good, but like, I mean, should I really use him over someone like Larry Bird or Kobe? I don't know. What's the best card you can get in the challenges, other than Curry? A lot of guys have been asking that. I've heard Steve Smith is the answer. I think Steve Smith is the best guy. That's what people have been saying. He's a great shooter. And he has decent height. The thing about Patrick Beverly is that, even though he can defend, even though he can shoot, he's six foot one. So if you guys thought Steph Curry was small, Patrick Beverly is two inches shorter. And Tony Allen is such a big offensive liability. Same for Pat Beverly. I don't know if either of those guys would be good on my team. So yeah, I think you should do Steve Smith. Rooster agrees. He's good. I don't know if he's going to start on my team. Okay, he's not going to start on my team. The fact of the matter is, he's not better than Bird. He's not better than Kobe. He's not starting. Let's dribble out the clock and let's clap it up for this nice 50 point win. Nice 50 point win. We are officially nine games away from Galaxy Opal Steph Curry. Easy win in Memphis. The fans are devastated, but our team is hyped. And I know you guys are hyped too. I'm telling y'all, man, this takes a lot of energy out of you. But hey, you guys have been so supportive. I appreciate every single one of you. If you guys don't want to hear my eating, that was for you. I'm really sorry if you guys can hear me chew. This is a very strong microphone. I'm sorry about that. If y'all can hear me chew. We just got a dislike. I think it's because I was chewing my food. I'm really sorry about that. I'm really sorry about that. I was chewing my food and I got a dislike during it. I'm very sorry about that. It's Bill Gaming. Says I'm 12 games away from Curry. That's what I'm talking about. You're right behind me. I'm nine games away from Curry. So we're both getting very close. We're both getting really close. Let's get it, man. Playing versus the Pelicans. Let's get it. Thank you guys for 250 likes on the stream. I appreciate it. 250. The most liked stream in channel history. You guys are awesome. I appreciate every single one of you for showing love today, man. I don't know how many subs we have, but I do know that we have 252 likes. You guys have killed it, man. Best community on YouTube. 
You guys are real ones. This is going to be a tough game. This Pelicans team's pretty good. But y'all know, I'm not worried about it. Rooster, I think that Larry Bird is the better player than Steph Curry. I think you get better players on the way to Larry Bird. I think you should do Larry Bird if I had to pick one. Like, if I had to pick between Final Spotlight Sim and All Time, like, which player has better rewards? Without a doubt. Like, without a doubt at all. Definitely the Larry Bird challenges. Taze says, once I'm getting Curry, I'm going for Bird. And Larry Bird's a beast. Larry Bird is really good. Uh, Puff, I'm, I mean, I'm not really a diehard Alabama fan, but I'll pick them over Auburn. I'm not an Auburn hater, though. STB says, which player are you doing right now? Right now, we're doing Tony Allen, and we're going to end with Patrick Beverly. We're going to end on the Lakers. It's going to be glorious. We're going to end with the toughest game. I'm going to be tired. I'm going to be worn down. But I'm still going to be ready. You guys just wait. We're not off to a good start in this game, but I promise y'all, we're going to recover. We just got to start hitting our open shots. And we going to be all right. Gilbert has been a little bit cold shooting from the field. Gilbert's been a bit cold, so if he can hit his shots early in the game, we're going to be all right. Five straight points for Doc Nation. Rooster said I'm almost finished the bird ones. Should I do them now? I think the 90s ones might be the toughest ones. I don't know. The easiest ones are definitely the 70s, for sure. Let's go, Kobe. I'm missing all these open shots. I never miss with Kobe, but I'm missing so many shots in this game, though. That was a good block. Anthony said, CP, I haven't heard a Let's Get It Man all stream. Maybe it's time for one for the memes. But let's get it, man! There's a good one for you right there. Had to give it to you. You asked nicely, so I had to give you a, a let's get it, man, right? We're making whites. But I'm trying to get greens. In so many of my games, we've gotten nothing but greens. But all of a sudden, we've gone cold shooting. And they're getting all these contact dunks. Ah, oh, man. I haven't had to sweat for a single game. I don't think I'm going to have to sweat for this game. I just got to shoot a little bit better. I don't think I'm going to have to sweat. Like, I'm really not worried about this team at all. But if we keep shooting like this, I might have to lock in and sweat. I'm still going to talk to y'all, though. I'm still going to chill. Make sure I talk to you guys. That's the top priority. I can't leave you guys hanging. I'm going to try to reply to as many of your chats as I can. But I'm telling y'all, for some reason I cannot get a green. I don't know why. I can't explain it. I feel like my releases are just fine. I've been shooting very well without the meter this entire stream. There we go. It's about time. We've been playing some decent defense. If we can start hitting our shots, we're going to be all right. Uh, Cooper Lowe. A lot of people have been saying this. I would run quick through STS, but that wouldn't be very fun for you to watch, right? Yeah, it would be a guaranteed score, but that wouldn't be very fun for you guys to watch. I think you guys would get pretty bored and leave the stream if I was just doing the exact same thing every time, right? Welcome back, Sports 24-7. What's up, Switzo? Welcome to the stream, my guy. Got 50 people in here again. Earlier we had over 60 people in here. Switzo said some of my Twitch followers thought I was you. Really? How do they know me? 
and they thought you were me? That's interesting. That's interesting. That's what I'm talking about right there. They thought that a six foot five, six foot six African American male was a six foot Asian guy. Interesting. We gotta play better. We're down 2017. Ah, <sighs> bad first quarter. Very bad first quarter, but... You know the crazy thing? I thought that was good defense. I thought that was good defense, too. But Boogie lit me up. And we're down by six. This is our biggest deficit of the entire stream. We're down by six. This is crazy. And this is on Superstar Difficulty. But yes, Witso. I don't know how your subs thought we were each other. I guess if they saw our appearances, they'd understand. But yeah, I don't know where they're getting that from. Can I hit a green, please? God. I've gotten like two greens this entire game. We've been terrible this game. I mean, we're losing. Okay, maybe I should take better shots, too. You know what? Let me... Let me come to my senses. Maybe I should shoot some higher quality shots, okay? I, I am taking some very dumb shots. I haven't been the best on defense. Maybe instead of complaining, I should actually, you know, start playing better. I think that's a good thing to do. So let me stop complaining. I'm going to continue talking to you guys, but I'm going to lock in a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot. But a little bit. Rooster said, next game, use super budget team. And I don't really use a budget team. I mean, I haven't really spent money on this lineup. So this is technically my budget lineup, even though I have all these opals. Hey. But yeah. Live Stack says, Doc, this might be the new hardest game you've played. I promise you guys, we're going to pull away and win, but we have been bad so far, man. We have been terrible so far. Sheesh. Very bad start to the game. To all the 50 people watching, I promise you guys I'm better than this. My defense has been terrible. I can't really explain it. I've been shooting bad. But we're going to pull away. I got you guys, okay? That's a nice inbound steal. What's up, Hugo Plays? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing all right today. Quick shout out to every single person who's left a like on the stream today, man. 254 is insane. Can we get 300? Can we get 300? Is that a possibility? Even if we don't get 300, I'll be happy. How to say, you guys have killed it today. We've gained so many subs. If any of you guys watching the stream aren't subbed, what are you doing, man? Make sure you're subscribed. If you're enjoying the content, turn on those notifications. If you want to see more streams like this, you know what to do. Okay, guys, it's time for us to pull away. Yeah, we were down by six to start the quarter, and yeah, we're up by three, but they're double teaming, which means someone's always going to be open, which means easy buckets no, from everywhere. Someone's going to be open, which means I'm going to have time to time my shots, which means I better start greening. I better start greening because they're double teaming, and I'm going to have time. <sighs> it's all good. Let's continue drawing those double teams. And we're going to find that open man. There he is. But, hey, even though we missed, it's a good strategy. Come on, get the rebound. Why has this game been so tough? Why have we been having so much trouble versus the Pellies? What's been going on, man? Uh, we're getting open shots every time down the court. We're getting open shots every time. Let me go ahead and take this two. Maybe I'm shooting too many threes. I feel like there are a lot of reasons for why I'm losing. But I'm just being super stubborn and maybe I should just shut up and play the game. I think that's an option. So let me shut up and play the game. Taze? 
Kobe is 100% still worth it. And yes, Kappa, 10 hour stream. We just hit 10 hours. Longest stream in channel history. Most likes in channel history. We've been beasting and feasting. We might lose this game though, but I promise y'all, we have been beasting and feasting. They're gonna double team Kobe. And both of our shooters have takeover. Actually, they're not double teaming. Interesting tactic, because now we have a mismatch. Oh yeah, and Bead's open. There we go. Finally, we're greening threes. It's about time. About to say, we have been terrible this game. If we can actually start hitting those shots, we're finally going to pull away. We have just now started playing defense, and we're just now starting to hit shots too. We're going to pull away, guys. Shout out to Puff for getting Opal D. Wade. Smith says the two Hall of Fame modes are hard. I agree. We haven't taken any L's yet today, but we have played one or two tough games. For some reason, the Cavaliers on Hall of Fame was a super tough game. The Bulls, I thought, was going to be even harder, but then we beat the Bulls by 50. No exaggeration. Some of these games have been weirdly tough. What's up, YT Parallel TV? Welcome to the stream. So you're a YouTuber too. It's always nice seeing people with YT in their names. Codeine, what's good? Welcome to the stream, bro. You're a little bit late, but the stream is going to be going on for a while. So about to say, there's still a lot of time left. Welcome to the stream, though, man. Better late than never. YT said. I need the curry because he's inspirational. You're not wrong. Man. But yeah, it's always nice seeing other creators in here, man. Codeine's a YouTuber. YT Parallel TV's a YouTuber. It's always nice seeing other creators in here, man. It's nice knowing I'm not alone. Can we get a rebound? We're getting out-rebounded at least 2,087,955 to 2. If we could grab rebounds, they would have like 10 less points and we would be up by 15. We're playing a terrible game, but we have outscored them by double digits this quarter, so... I mean, it hasn't been all that bad. It hasn't been all that bad. It could be worse, but with that being said, it is still pretty damn bad. What's up, Mock Builds? Welcome back to the stream. And congratulations on a thousand subs. Man. Air Canada says, do you have an Elgato? Yes, I do. I do have an Elgato HD 12, 1080p capture card. I was trying to remember the name of it. It's Bill Gaming. Galaxy Opal Trey Young's good on offense, but he's a complete defensive liability. That's why I don't have him. YT Parallel says, I hope 2K releases all the unlimited Opals. Yeah, man, that'd be awesome. I think they're going to do that eventually. Didn't they do that last month, or was it the month before? I remember they did something like that, where they put all the Opals back into the game, and yeah, if there was one where you missed... Or one that you missed, you can get them. Kappa, how many games left? There are nine games left, including this game. If we get this win, eight games left. But we have been playing terribly in this game, so I can't even guarantee you guys that we win this game. We have been on another level terrible. Like, we have not gotten any rebounds pretty much. We're missing all of our open perimeter shots. We have been bad, yet we're somehow still in the lead. It makes no sense, but it makes dollars. Good one, right? Terrible possession. <sighs> Come on, man. That's tough. Welcome back, Gucci Chicken. Uh, Alberto, I like the shot meter turned off, but every now and then I'll mess up a shot and I'll be like, if I had the meter on, I would have made that. 
Taze says the Toronto Raptors are hard. I already played the Raptors. I don't remember how I don't remember how good they were. Man. About to say. This is gonna sound stupid. But I've already forgotten about every single one of the Eastern Conference teams. Like I'm tired. I'm worn down. Getting through these games is super tough. I've already forgotten about all those games, except for the Cavaliers and the Bulls. I have not forgotten about those, but every other game, I have no recollection of how it went. And I have really good memory. I have great memory, but I'm so gassed, I'm so tired, I can't even remember how most of those games went. Hunter Ham says, do a giveaway. Eh, maybe at 3,000. I was actually talking about that earlier. Stop spamming it though, that's kind of annoying though. Chatty Zoo said the Raptors are easy. I agree. If I remember correctly, I didn't really have a tough time with the Raptors. The only team that held, like, stood any chance was the Cavaliers. That was the only team that, like, was actually, like, you know, played a tough game. Every other game has been really easy. This game has been really bad. If we can start hitting our jump shots and playing defense, we're going to be all right, but... I have not been very good at those things, so we're going to see if we can pull away and win this thing. Hey though, we are two likes away from 260. This stream is already the most liked stream in my channel's history, so you guys help contribute to that. Drop a like for me if you're enjoying the content. Make sure to subscribe. We got 51 people watching. I'm sure not all of y'all are subbed. Welcome back, JJ. Pip Trader says Kobe or LeBron. Man, if you're talking about real life, definitely LeBron. No disrespect to Kobe. Still a top five, top seven or eight player ever. But in the game, I don't know, man. Goat Kobe's really good. I don't know if Goat Kobe is better than LeBron's prime, but still, both of them are very good players. Oh, oh no! That was almost a beautiful play. Damn. And they're drawing so many fouls. It makes me think this game is rigged. YT Parallel says, You are a GOAT YouTuber. I enjoy your content already. I really appreciate it, man. Everybody who's a new sub, who's come into my stream today, I really do appreciate all of you. This has easily been the biggest stream in my channel's history. I'm glad that a lot of new people have been exposed to my content. And yeah. I hope that maybe I've gotten some new Doc fans for life today, man. About to say, I have a really great community. All you guys are awesome. I really appreciate y'all. I don't want to get too sappy or emotional, but yeah, you guys are pretty great. Man, look at us locking up on defense. We're finally locking up on defense, and I told you guys, once we start hitting our open shots, we're going to pull away. And we are on fire. Larry Bird, in particular, is on fire. Will the Curry be worth it? Offensively, I think he's going to be really good. Defensively, he's going to be a little bit of a liability. He's going to be a little bit of a defensive liability. I mean, he's six foot three, And there are so many point guards in the game who are six foot seven or up, so... It's going to be a little bit tough for Steph Curry to guard those guys. Maybe you can hide them on defense by putting them on a shooting guard, but no matter what, I'm doing it for the content. Just having fun, talking to you guys, and collecting some of the GOAT cards, man. Collecting the GOAT cards. Larry Bird's on fire. Oh, my gosh. Uh, JJ, I play on Xbox. I play on Xbox One, so chances are I'm going to get the Series X. I might get the PlayStation 2, though. We're going to have to see. So this was a pretty close game. This was a very close game, actually. But all of a sudden, we're up by 20 points. Make that 19. We can go back up by 20 right here, though. So let's see if we can get a bucket right quick. It's the end of the quarter. Very good quarter, by the way. We have been beasting and feasting. Larry Bird is on 
fire, man. And all of a sudden, we're up 21, biggest lead of the game after a terrible start. We were seriously down by six in this game, but we've been pulling away. What's up, Trey on Zans? Will you try Goat Curry after this? I'll try Goat Curry tomorrow. I'll do a little bit of a demonstration at the end of the stream, but nah. Once the stream's over, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna sleep, and tomorrow night, we will do some Steph Curry gameplay. Jesus, thank you for subscribing, or Jesus it might be. Whichever one it is, thank you for subscribing. I'm not sure how many subs we have now, but my goal is to hit 2.8 thousand by the end of the stream. My Xbox username is the same as my YouTube username for anybody who wants to add me on Xbox. CP the Doc. Exact same as it is on YouTube. Welcome back, Luis. That's my guy right there. Oh, I should have shot that. I still can. I can't believe we are having trouble with this. Can't believe we are having trouble with this game. Unbelievable. We got Zion being guarded by Gilbert Arenas. Maybe that's why we got off to such a bad defensive start. We have Gilbert Arenas guarding Zion. That's crazy. Doc is the GOAT. No one will ever compare. Eh, I mean, there are some pretty great people out there. There are some pretty great people in the stream, too. So, there are some people who might compare, but I do appreciate it. <sighs> we are four minutes away from being eight games away from getting the man himself. Galaxy Opal Steph. We got off to a terrible start in this game, but ever since we were down by six, we have outscored these guys by 31. Yes, those are some nice statistics right there, I know. Either way, this has been a great stream. We've been winning every single game pretty easily. Larry Bird's on fire! When's the last time Larry Bird missed? I can't remember. We're up by 28. I don't know what took us so long to pull away, but it's about time we pulled away. It took about, eh, it took about, you know, an hour too long, but we did it. Who should I start with, with what challenge? Um, man, the easiest challenges are versus the Southeast Division, versus the Charlotte Hornets, the Hawks, all those guys. So, if you want easy wins, you should play those first, because those are very easy wins. Welcome back, 95, uh, excuse me, welcome back, 95L. Hope you're doing alright today. It's nice to have you back in here. We got 55 people watching. Hey. Thank all you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. <sighs> Let's put in the bench. Let's put that bench lineup in. The game's pretty much over. 95L, we are now, after we win this game, only eight games away. So we are making some real progress. We have been grinding hard today, man. We have been grinding. What's up, Michael Carter? You are one Williams away from being Michael Carter Williams. Luis says, are you running a 10-man rotation? Eh, more like a 5-man rotation. I about to say, I've been talking to you guys so much that I've been forgetting to make substitutions. So, basically a 5-man rotation. But yeah, we're getting very close. Once this game's over, 8 wins away. This is game number 22. Gotta get this win and go home. Gotta make sure we don't blow the lead or anything crazy like that. So yeah, we're getting pretty close, I'd say. I'd say we're making some really good progress. Great defense. We started off this game terribly on defense, but ever since, we've been pretty good. Packer the player, I'm sorry if my streams have been boring you, man. I'm sorry if the stream's boring. I'm trying to talk to y'all as much as I can. But these games get a little bit tiring after a little while. You know what I'm saying? These games can be tough to grind through. 
but we're still doing a great job. We're making some really good progress. We're on the final stretch. It's a long final stretch, but it is still the final stretch towards getting Steph Curry. So you guys continue to tune in. You guys hang around till we get Steph. I can't believe we've been live for 10 hours and we still have 50 people in here after 10 hours of streaming. You gotta be kidding me. The most people we've had in here today is 60. Like, you guys have killed it today. Couldn't find you on Xbox? It's just CP the Duck. Exact same as my... Exact same as my YouTube. It's pretty much the exact same. You should be able to find me on Xbox. About to say, I know a few guys in the chat are friends with me on Xbox. Shouldn't be super hard to find me, right? Right? I could be wrong. No way. Great defense. Rooster said it's 12 a.m. It's 9 p.m. where I'm at, so you're a few hours ahead of me. About to say, a bunch of you guys are probably ahead of me. Where are you guys in the chat from? I'm from Alabama, so central time zone for me. About to say, I know we got a lot of subs overseas. We got subs all around the country. Doc Nation spreads far and wide, man. Doc Nation's a big community. Stretches across the entire world. Shot clock at six. Passes it to Robinson. Shoots over Cousins. Robinson misses. And the Pelicans with possession here. Michael Carter's from Australia. A couple of my mods are from Australia. That's so dope that you're from Australia. Hudson says, are you getting the new Xbox? Most likely, yes. Most likely, yes, I am. Great game. Great win. We got off to a terrible start, but man, we were great for the rest of the game. Levi says he's from New Zealand. That's what I'm talking about. Luis says same time zone as Malaysia. Hey man, I'm actually half Malaysian myself. I'm half Malaysian, half white. So yeah, 50-50 mix, man. It doesn't get much better than that. Gashy's from Australia. Two of my moderators, I'm that white boy and Rochi are both from Australia. Man. But yeah, for everybody who's having trouble adding me, there's my username right there. I don't know why you guys are having so much trouble. That's it right there, CP the Duck. My full name is Michael Jordan Carter. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's a pretty dope name right there. No wonder you like basketball. About to say, are you a fan of Michael Carter Williams? I remember back when he was supposed to be like the next great point guard in the NBA. Good times. Very good times. Rookie of the year, too. Hudson's from New Orleans. Nico's from New York. Anthony's from Alabama. We got three, we got two people from Alabama in the chat. That's what I'm talking about. That's what's up. Franco says greetings from Argentina. I'm telling you, man. Doc Nation spreads far and wide. But yeah. No matter where you're from, I appreciate you guys, man. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. <sighs> Eight games remaining. When we're in the final five games, I'm going to change the title of the stream. But for now, when people come in and ask how many games I have left, eight games left is that easy. This game versus the Mavericks shouldn't be too hard. We have a couple nice mismatches. I'm not really worried about playing them, but I don't know, man. Having Dirk at the small forward's a little bit weird. Know what I mean? A little bit awkward. Welcome back, YT Parallel TV. Welcome back to the stream. Oh yeah, knock that down. Okay, that was a bad shot. I admit, I've been shooting a lot of bad shots today. Um, Josh, the goat Larry Bird is definitely worth it, 100%. I don't know if he's as good as Kobe, because in my opinion, Kobe's one of the best cards in the game. Even though I just missed that open shot. He's been on fire today, I promise you. Larry Bird's worth it. The Kobe's worth it too. 
I don't know if the Curry's worth it. We're going to have to find out. I don't know if the Curry's worth it. I know he's a bit undersized. I know he may be a bit of a defensive liability. We're going to find out how good he is. We're going to find out how good he is together. But nah, the Larry Bird can do it all. He can speed boost, he can hit the three, he can defend. All those good things that you want one of the greatest players of all time to do. Welcome back, Carb Gaming. Carb L, excuse me. What's up, Jaden? Welcome to the stream, man. You're a little bit late, but there's still a lot of gameplay remaining, so you're not too late. The stream did start 10 hours ago, though, so you are a little bit late. I don't want to sugarcoat it too much, but not. Nah. Hope, hope, I really hope everyone's having a good night. Those of you who are just joining the stream, hope you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the stream. And y'all better grab some popcorn. It wouldn't be too late for that because, I mean, the stream's not even close to being over. We are on the last leg of the stream, but like... It's not going to be over for like another three hours, so yeah. You guys aren't too late. Man, we're crossing over Luka every time, but I can't get a green for some reason. For some reason, I'm not getting many greens with Gilbert Arenas. I'm getting a lot of greens with Larry Bird, but not Arenas. Ooh, man. A uh, YT, I don't have Glenn Rice because I don't really play Unlimited. I played Unlimited a ton at the beginning of the year, and I got Dr. J in the first, like, what, five months of the 2K20's lifespan, but, like, I haven't played since. I took a two-month break after getting, what's it called? I took a two-month break after getting Dr. J. I came back in late February when that LeBron at the point guard came out, and, yeah, I have been very consist very inconsistent. My team is really far behind. But still pretty good. I enjoy grinding these single player challenges. It's good content. You guys seem to enjoy watching it. So yeah. I don't have Glenn Rice because of that. But if they re-release all those guys, I'm going to go for him. I'm going to go for him. That would be pretty dope. Michael Carter, thank you for subscribing. If any of you guys haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing, man? We got 55 people watching. If you guys are enjoying my content but you're not subscribed, come on, man. Help the channel grow. Help support me. Drop a like on the stream. And if you enjoy the content enough, maybe even subscribe. It would be awesome. And as a small YouTuber, it really does help a lot. Uh, Taze Flicks, they're definitely not going to come out with challenges for LeBron. If they give us a GOAT LeBron, they're definitely, definitely going to put them in packs. They're going to try to make as much money as they can off that GOAT LeBron. Bet your bottom dollar. They're going to make, or try to make, well actually no, they will make a lot of money off GOAT LeBron. That's just inevitable. Everyone's going to try to open those packs for GOAT LeBron. Great pass. How do you get Opal Kobe? You have to finish Spotlight Sim and Historic Spotlight Sim. So 150 games total. Yes, 150 games. And yes, I did it live on stream for all you guys to see. That was a while ago, though. I had to say, that was a little while ago. Feels like years ago. JD! I had to say it like that because JD said, Doc! JD, we're still grinding, man. It's been a very eventful stream. A historical one in my channel's history, should you say. Or should I say, excuse me. It's been good. We're on game 23 out of 30, so... The grind is getting close to ending. It's not over yet, but it's getting close. We're on the last leg. If they made the GOAT LeBron grindable, it would be 100% worth it. I agree. I agree. I definitely agree with that. If they gave us a GOAT LeBron that you can grind for, that would be amazing. About to say, but I feel like if they made it, I don't want them to make the grind too easy. Like, I feel like this grind for Steph Curry is a little bit too easy, in my opinion. 
Lil Codeine says, I'm assuming the next spotlight challenges will be by draft classes. I honestly think that 2K might be done with spotlight, but that's what I said yesterday. Trey Berkeley said, Tony Allen's underrated. I like the Tony Allen. I mean, all you guys who are fans of my channel, y'all know. I love guys who can play defense on my, my team, but Tony Allen might be a little bit too much of an offensive liability. And Jeffy Jeff, yes, I am going to stream until I finish all the games. And we're actually getting close to the finish line. Once this game's over, we only have seven more games. And once we are five games away, I'm going to change the title of the stream so it says however many games away. Five games left. Four games left. We're getting very close to getting Curry. Of course, there's still like a lot of time left on the stream, but hey, we're going to get that Curry. It's going to be glorious. And we're back up to 60 viewers for the third time this stream. If you're just hopping into the stream, we have eight games left for Steph Curry, including this game right here. It's close early, but we're going to get hot. Y'all already know. Anthony Morgan said, Everybody make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Y'all listen to Anthony, man. Anthony knows what he's talking about. I'm missing all my open shots, though. This game was 2013 at the end of the first, but I'm missing all these wide open shots. Luis said, Let's get it, man. I thought I was right there, but now we're down. Man. Let's start hitting our shots. Let's start getting some greens. I've been getting a lot of wide open shots, but I've been shooting a lot of bricks too. So let's start playing some defense, man. I've been playing horribly. I've been playing terribly. So let me lock in a little bit. I'm going to continue talking to you guys, but I'm locked in. Gashi said, after COVID-19, can you come to Victoria, Australia? Funny story, or cool story, I guess, whatever you want to call it. I was actually going to go to Australia this summer, and I was going to study medicine. I was going to stay at my great auntie's house there, and yeah, I was going to study medicine over the summer, but then COVID happened, so yeah, couldn't do that anymore. Let's go, Larry. Back-to-back -back greens for Larry Bird. And all of a sudden, it's looking like we're about to pull away. Hey, I just noticed. I just noticed. I don't know if Liv Stack is in here right now, but we are four likes away from the majestic 269 like mark. So if any of you guys haven't liked the stream, you got to leave a like for me now, man. It's for a good cause. We're almost at 269 likes. So whether you're subscribed or not, we need you right now, for sure. Hey, Larry's on fire, man. Let's go. Larry's on fire. We were just down 21-20. All of a sudden, 31-21. Carter. It took me about, about two weeks, maybe a little bit more than that, to get Opal Kobe. It was a grind, but it wasn't all that bad. Who's better, Russell Westbrook or Steph Curry? In real life? I have to say, definitely Steph Curry. Russell Westbrook fans might not agree, but like, I don't know. I gotta go Steph. Now this season, Russell's had his ups and downs, but he's been pretty good. And Steph Curry, of course, he hasn't gotten to play much this season, but he's been pretty solid in the games he's played. So, I don't know, man. This season... I mean, Steph's barely played, so you got to go Russell. If you're talking about 2K, Russ doesn't have an Opal yet. So, can't really compare them on 2K either. It's tough, but I got to go Steph. What are your thoughts on Brandon Ingram this season? Brandon Ingram has been awesome. Best season of his career. He was a very efficient scorer in LA for the past two seasons. So, he's gotten more touches. I'm not really surprised about him, you know flourishing. I didn't think he was going to be all-star good, but I knew he was going to be good. Shout out to Magnum for being the 269th like. Uh, Carby, I am in the U.S. 
I am in the U.S. I live in Alabama. Great pass. Carter said two weeks. Damn. I think I got it done in less than two weeks, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong about that. All I know is that I'm about to get this, um, about to get this curry done in 15 hours. That was a terrible animation. Notice how all Embiid had to do was lay it up and in. But instead, Embiid said, you know what? I'm just going to not jump and do this. About to say, if you're five foot five, you can get up this high. Come on, 2K. All Embiid had to do was jump right there. And that would have been an easy bucket. And we would be up by double digits. Sean Stewart, we're on game number 23. If we win this game, we are seven wins away. That was nice. I'm missing so many open threes. About to say, not the best shooting game, but y'all, y'all have seen what I can do when I get hot, man. Last game versus the Pelicans, we were down by six, but we ended up winning by 30 because we got hot from three. But man, I'm telling you, we gotta start hitting our open shots. Now Larry Bird's been on fire. He's been hitting all of his open shots pretty much, but we've been missing way too many open looks too. Let's put in the bench. Let's put in the bench, guys, to start the second half. I believe in my bench. I like my bench players. I don't use them a lot, but I'm going to use them in the second half. Why not? We'll use the bench and Kobe. Let's get the last shot of the quarter. We are still in the lead, so it could be worse. I want to say that part of the reason why I'm doing so bad in this game is because I'm getting tired, but... I don't know if that's a good excuse. Not sure if that's a great excuse, but it's the excuse I'm going to go with, if you guys are okay with that. We're up by six, which isn't terrible, but we got to be better than this. Carter said, I'm grinding my curry challenges and watching your stream at the same time. You've done six games. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. So you are 20% done. That's progress right there. These curry challenges take a long time, but... If you divide them up, you're going to be all right. You're going to get them done pretty quick. If you play for two and a half hours every day, if you go 5-0 and oh and play five games every day, you're going to get this done in less than a week. I got to get some greens, but it's nice to see the ball go into the basket, you know? It's nice seeing the ball go in. We're in the lead 41-32. I'm sorry for the play-by-play -play commentary, but I'm a little bit locked in. Liv Stack says, Doc, I pulled LeBron. I think I'm dreaming. You know what else happened, Liv Stack? I don't want to take away from your awesome moment, but we hit the majestic, the majestic, the mystical, the magical, amazing, bombastical 69 likes. Or 269, excuse me. But yes, Livestack, I don't want to take away from your achievement because pulling LeBron is a big time play. And you know what they say about big time players. They say big time players make big time plays. And that is a big time play you just made. Uh, Carby, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a Curry gameplay video, but I definitely want to do a Curry gameplay stream. Not 100% sure about a video. We'll have to see. I might play some games and triple threat offline and try to open the vault, and then later in the stream we'll probably go online and play versus actual people. My only problem is that sometimes, even if the stream's operating just fine, it lags a little bit when I try to play online, and sometimes that latency can be the difference between a win and a loss, so maybe I'll record some gameplay off camera, off stream, or... I'll play some offline. We'll see. But whatever I do, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Doc, here at 2.78. Almost at 2.8K. Let's get it, man. Hey, y'all here, Packer the Player. We're getting close to 2.8K. 
can we do it tonight? Can we de can we get it tonight? Also, what's the vault glitch? I'm curious. Anthony says, can you do Kobe, Hakeem, and Curry? That would be pretty OP. That would be a pretty OP lineup. Kobe, Hakeem, and Steph Curry? Now that would be OP. The three goats, or not the three goats, the two goats and Hakeem on the same team. That just sounds OP when I say it. That just sounds a little bit too OP. Why are they sagging off Larry Bird? It's a guaranteed green. I don't know what they're doing sagging off Larry Legend. I throw that pass to him so fast it always catches the defense off guard. But yeah. That shouldn't be a turnover, 2K. Still our ball, though. Carson said, which one of the three? Wait six seconds before going to the vault, and then wait six seconds before opening it. So six seconds before opening it, and six seconds on the menu. So if you count the seconds wrong, like you're completely screwed, or what? Just curious. What if I wait seven seconds instead? That's not like a sarcastic question. Does it have to be like exactly six? Or can it be a little bit more than that? I think that's what I'm trying to ask here. No! I knew that was going to be backcourt. Uh, that's the risk of going for those steals at half court. Either you call the timeout quick, or you turn it over. And right there, I turned it over. We have played some really good defense, but we got to get some boards. Oh, yeah. Beautiful backdoor cut. How long did it take for the Larry Bird goat card? Um, so I did three streams. Three streams. The first two were nine hours long. The last one was about four, five hours, something like that. So it took three days. It took three days, over 24 hours of gameplay. Not as easy as this, but still kind of easy. Frosty says how many games left. If we win this game, seven games left. Right now, though, eight games left. And we do have an 18-point lead. So, I like our chances of pulling away and winning this game. I like our chances. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get that curry tonight. You guys better be here to witness it. You guys better be here to witness it, and you guys better show up to that curry stream tomorrow. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Doc, I sent you a screenshot where I pulled LeBron. That's a big time pull. Like Anthony said, that's a big time play. And like I said, big time players make big time plays. Really good third quarter. He got off to a bad start in the first half, but huge third quarter to pull away. Yeah, we're looking pretty good right now. Morale is high after the third quarter. I've drank a lot of water this stream, man. Uh, Roku, I am one quarter away from being seven games away. So we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close. One quarter away from being seven games away. So yeah, to anybody who's just entering the stream right now, we're in game number 23. If we win this game, we only have seven games left. We're making it look easy. Some of these games have been kind of tough. The Western Conference games have definitely been tougher than the Eastern Conference games, but hey, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal because we're still winning every time. 
finds for Nowitzki. Here's Johnson. From deep three-point range, an absolute <sighs> Man, played all that good defense just for Dirk to throw it up and hit some shot clock cheese. Who's the best shooter in NBA history in your opinion? That's tough. I think the greatest shooter ever. Notice, I didn't say best. The greatest shooter is Steph Curry because of the way that he revolutionized the three-point shot. The way that he revolutionized the three ball and made people have to guard him all the way out to half court. I think that Steph Curry is the greatest shooter ever. But in my opinion, I think Clay's a better shooter. I think Clay's a better shooter. If we're talking about just catching, shooting, throwing it up there, making it at a high percentage, I think Clay's the better shooter. I know Steph can hit it from very far back, but so, so can Clay. Clay's not too bad either. Welcome back, Anthony. Carter said, gonna grind all day tomorrow till I finish. Hey man, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing right now. Carson says bye, Doc. Hey, I'll see you around, man. I'll see you. Who do you think is the best Galaxy Opal to get from the Curry challenges, in your opinion? I've heard Steve Smith is the best one, but I'm honestly not a big fan of any of the new Opals. I've heard Steve Smith is very good, but other than that, I really don't care for many of the Opals. I really don't care for many of those Opals, to be honest with you. About to say, I don't really care about putting Derek Coleman in my lineup. Steve Smith, even though I've heard he's the best one, he's not going to start for my team over Kobe or Larry Bird. So, Patrick Beverly's too short. Tony Allen's a bit of an offensive liability. It's tough, man, but... I'm looking forward to Curry. What's up, Adam? Um, I have eight games left. Once this game's over, I'm going to have seven games left. So we're getting close. This stream is on the last leg. We're making some really good progress. Look at the way they're moving the ball, man. So beautiful. Larry has been huge, man. He's been hitting every single open three he's taken. Making it look easy. Tyrell says, haven't talked in the chat a lot, but I'm grinding curry challenges. Got two opals already. That's pretty good. We're working on opal number five right now. That's what we're up to right now. So we're going to get that opal curry, and it's going to be awesome. We're not ending the stream till we get that curry. You guys better hang around and watch it happen, because we're getting close. We are getting close. Now here's Terry from deep. Bird pulls it in. Anthony says, I gotta stay up until 2 a.m. So you're gonna do curry till then? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. And for those of you guys who just saw that shot, Larry Bird is definitely worth it too. Who do you think's the best defensive player of all time? Hmm. If we're talking about best, def I don't know. Best defensive player ever. I feel like a generic answer would be like Scottie Pippen. It's definitely not Michael Jordan. Because I feel like Scottie was a better defender. Even though Jordan was still a great defender, still one defensive player of the year. I feel like Kawhi Leonard's in the conversation. I feel like one day Giannis is going to be one of the best defensive, defensive players ever. Defensive players, man. I gotta go with Akeem Elijah one. He's more of a shot blocker. He's actually the leading shot blocker in NBA history. I gotta go Hakeem, even though it's... I could go with a guard. I could go with somebody like Gary Payton, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Draymond Green, Kawhi Leonard. I gotta go with Hakeem. Hakeem's one of the best shot blockers ever. Kareem's one of the best defenders ever. Bill Russell, known as one of the best defensive players ever, too. It's hard to pick one, but I gotta go with, hey, I mean, I know that we're talking about, like, defense all around, but if we're talking about rim protection, it doesn't get better than Elijah one. Do you like Michael Jordan? 
I'm not a diehard Michael Jordan fan, but I have no problem with him. I hate when people ask me to pick between him and LeBron, though, because they play so differently. They're two of the greatest players ever. But, like, they play so differently. Uh, Sam, we are 20 seconds away from being seven games away. I know a lot of you guys are asking that. That answers your question too, Kappa. We're getting very close. Johnson against Terry. Johnson, the pass to Smith, and Charlotte. Doesn't get much easier than that. So there we go. Pretty good win. 35 point win for Doc Nation in Dallas. We could try to score one more bucket. Yeah, why not? Almost a 40 point win. Not too bad. What time is it for me right now? Um, 9.48 p.m. What time is it for you guys? Michael Carter, of course I watched The Last Dance. About to say, if you're a basketball fan and you haven't seen The Last Dance, what are you doing? RBM says, hey doc, we almost there, baby. Yeah, we are. We're getting close. We're getting very close. Deborah says, should I subscribe? Then that's your decision. That's your call right there. Not going to get mad if you don't. If you enjoy the content, go ahead and sub. If you aren't enjoying the content, I'm not going to, like, force you to sub. We have 66 viewers in here. That's the most viewers we've had the entire stream. Hope you guys have been enjoying the stream. And if anybody in here right now is new, if you enjoy the content, it would be awesome if you subbed. I'm a small YouTuber, so one subscriber, one like, it goes a long way. This has been one of the best streams in my channel's history. Help me continue to grow, man. I'd really appreciate it. Good night, Live Stack. It's been a good stream. Welcome back, Alberto. Welcome back to the stream, man. Here we go. Playing versus the Rockets. Not the toughest team. Steve Francis and... Tom Janovich are a little bit of liabilities, so I'm not really worried about them, but we should be okay. Seven games left, guys. Seven games. Our final seven games of the stream. We've been live for almost 11 hours. We have been beasting and feasting this entire night. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. Hope you guys have been enjoying it for real. We're at 277 likes. That's what it says, right? Yeah. 277 so low-key we could get 300 if you guys haven't dropped a like yet we could low-key get 300 if we don't I'm not gonna complain because even if we don't get 300 this is still the most like stream in my channel's history so even if we don't get 300 I'm happy you guys have been huge today you guys have come through for me big time today I'm so happy with my community I'm glad we gained a lot of subs today. It's been a lot of fun. I'm still wondering if we can hit 2.8 by the end of the stream. I think we can. Let's go, Larry. I shouldn't have pump faked. What's up, Chunky Monkey? Welcome to the stream. Why did I jump? But yeah, what's up, Chunky Monkey? We're grinding out these games for Curry right now, man. You know what's up. About to say, you see the title of the stream. This is a bit of a mismatch. Ooh. Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming. Michael Carter, Kareem's probably the best GOAT card, right? About to say, people are saying he's the best card in 2K history for a reason. Packer says it's 11 here. I just had a brain fart in the middle of that sentence. I said it's 11 here. I was looking for the PM, I think. I had a brain fart in the middle of that sentence. Hey, Kappa, I'm glad you like the Braves hat. About to say. I'd say I'm kind of an Atlanta sports fan. I like the Braves. I like the Hawks. I like the Falcons, too. That Super Bowl defeat was just heartbreaking, man. Heart-wrenching. Looking back on it, it's kind of funny, but I'm not a die-hard fan like that, so I'm not losing sleep over it. About to say, I like Falcons football, but not like that. We gotta get rebounds. 
We're having so much trouble grabbing rebounds. We're playing such good defense in the paint, but we're having so much trouble grabbing boards. Man. Lolita says GG. I agree. I got to play some better defense, and we got to start hitting our shots. Let's go Larry. Larry Bird was on fire last game, so let's keep things rolling. 28-3. I'm never going to forget. That was just a legendary game. Good times. Michael Carter, my favorite team's the Knicks. Oh, I'm starting to lose my voice, low-key. I'm starting to lose my voice. I've been talking to you guys for the last 11 hours, so yeah, I think that explains things. Maria, if we win this game, six games left. That answers your question too, Jace. Larry Bird already has takeover. Y'all know what time it is. Are you a fan of Ronald Acuna? Of course I am. He might end up being one of the best players ever. And he's only 23. 23, right? I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure he's 23. So yes, I am a fan. I'm also a fan of Ozzy Albies. That guy's dope. Tough shot. Let's go. Kobe's got takeover, and Larry's got takeover. It's over for these guys. Let's pull away a little bit. Ooh, nice step back. Oh, man. That was a beautiful step back. I don't think he saw that coming. <sighs> That's tough. We're going to be all right, though. We've gotten a lot of open shots. If we can hit them a little bit more, we're going to be all right. What is the best budget card? What do you mean by best budget card? Like the best card for the lowest price? I mean, Larry Bird's free. And so is about to say, you don't even need lineup restrictions. For Kobe, you got to buy some cards from each team. But for Larry Bird, there's no restrictions. I don't know if he qualifies his budget, though. If we're talking, like, at this point of the year, like, what players are considered budget? Like, I don't really get that. Like, what players are considered budget at this time of the year? Because, I mean, their pink diamond's going for, like, 5000 right now. And their opal's going for, like, man, I don't even know how much. Hey, let's go. Let's pull away to end the quarter. Let's pull away a little bit. Let's go Larry. Larry Bird with three three-pointers already. Garrett, we are seven games away. If we win this game, we are six games away. So we're making some real progress here. We're making some real good progress. Great defense. Is Galaxy Opal on Yekka a good, a good card? I don't know. I've never tried him, but he looks pretty good. Let's go, Larry. That's four three-pointers now. The offense hasn't been terrible. We just got to shape up a little bit on defense. When will you stream tomorrow? Probably at night sometime. Alberto says you're good at 2K. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Is Opal James Harden good? He's good, but like a little bit outdated, you know? He's not a card you're going to see on any God squads. But yeah. We are seven wins away from getting um, Steph Curry. Seven wins away, so we're getting pretty close. We're getting very close. Oh, yeah. Great pass. Double-digit lead, finally. About time. Jaden says, I've done 11 games. That's what I'm talking about right there. So I'm not the only one making progress. I'm not the only one out here making progress. You guys are grinding too. Larry Legend, five three-pointers. We're pulling away. We are pulling away. We're locked in on defense. And we've been pretty solid on offense too. 
against Arenas. Can I play you off stream next week? Eh. If I had to give you a percent chance, probably like two or lower. I don't know. Usually when I'm not streaming, I'm either working out, doing homework, or resting. So, yeah, probably, I don't know. I'll let you know when. About to say, if you guys message me on Xbox and let me know y'all want to play, that makes it a lot easier for when, like, for when I'm free to play. If I'm free and I feel like playing, like, I'll let you guys know. Oh, great play. Good shot, Kobe. We're hitting those deep threes. Wade, we're on game 24. We're on game 24. We need seven more wins, including this game, of course. Oh, great defense. Come on, Bird. Damn. I know that was deep, but come on. Kobe just hit that same shot. <sighs> What's your username? I'll add you right now. Uh, CP the Doc, same as my YouTube name. Exact same as my YouTube name. Why is the right side of the floor completely overcrowded? Oh yeah, that's that's a great offensive possession right there. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, CP the Doc. Nothing else. I'll go ahead and pull it up right now in case you guys are curious. There it is. CP the Doc. What's up, Paul Wells? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright today, man. Glad you stumbled across my screen. Stream. I'm getting tired, man, so... I'm going to mess up a word or two every now and then. J.M. Mako, I'm on game 24. Game 24. Once we're five games away, I'm going to start putting, like, the games left in the title of the stream. Kappa says, I thought YT was at the end. Uh, it's not. It's just CP the Doc. Double-digit lead. But we should be up by more than this. Carby Gaming says I can't find you. Someone else said that earlier too. I don't know why you guys are having trouble finding me. I seriously have no idea. Like it beats me. I seriously have no idea why you guys are having trouble. Nice. What's up little buddy? Welcome to the stream. Haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen you in a little while. Hope you're doing all right, bro. Man. We're up double digits, but this game, it should be a little bit more of a blowout. It should be a little bit more of a blowout. Little buddy said, I didn't get the notification. This stream is still going to go on for a little while longer, so you've missed a lot, but there's still a lot of gameplay left. Still a lot of gameplay left. So you haven't, you've missed a lot, but at least you're here in time for more. Larry Bird, six three-pointers in the first half. What a beast. If only we were playing better defense. And getting rebounds, too. We've given up so many offensive rebounds. We'll take it, I guess. Bryant's gone five of seven from the floor here. Here's Drexler. There we go. Now we're getting stops in a row. It's time for us to pull away and win this thing. It's time for us to pull away. This game's been close the entire time. It's time for us to pull away. Look at me finding the open man. It doesn't get much easier than that. How close are you to Curry? We are on game number 24. So if we win this game, we have six games left. We're finally clamping down on defense, so we're finally pulling away a little bit because we're getting stops. Let's see if we can get one more shot to end the half. Okay, I get, okay, yeah, okay. 
I forgot this is on Hall of Fame difficulty. I didn't think he was going to steal that pass, but I forgot what difficulty we're playing on. Oh, man. Not a bad first half, but we can be doing better than this. We can definitely be playing better than this. Abby said Lakers have LeBron. I had no idea. I thought he was still in Cleveland. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let's pull away a little bit. That first half was a little bit too close. Tough shot. Bad release. How many times have you explained how many games are left? 100? 105? If I had to guess. But to be fair, a lot of new people are hopping in the stream. So, I gotta give them the updates. I gotta give them the Carfax. Man. We're making good progress. Let's pull away and win this thing. I don't want this game to even look close. Oh, man. We are less than 10 minutes away from our final game for Tony Allen. Less than 10 minutes away. I know this is on Hall of Fame, but come on. Anthony said annoying game. I agree, man. 2K can be an annoying game. Good thing Larry Bird's a beast. Can't, see, can't wait to see Curry with a 99 driving dunk. Oh, it's going to be great. You guys are going to witness me getting him, and you guys are going to see me use him. Steph Curry. All those badges. 63 to be exact with a freaking 99 driving dunk. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be hysterical. I'm looking forward to picking him up, though. Daniel Tice. Hot Caillou. Faded. Welcome to the stream, all you guys. We're making some good progress on this hunt. Or not this hunt. This grind for um, Steph Curry. We're making some great progress. We're going to get him before the stream ends. It's going to be awesome. So you guys better stay tuned. And if you enjoy the content, you better subscribe. If you enjoyed the content, but you're not subscribed, like, what are you doing? What's the point? Drop a like on the stream for me. It's been a lot of fun. And yeah, we're going to keep things rolling. We're finally up by 20. We are finally pulling away. Chaotic. It takes about 14 hours, I'd say. About 14 hours to complete. So yeah. We've been playing for about 11. That's pretty good. The pass to Yao. And some nice passing there by Houston. Tom Janovich passes to Harden. Oh, come on. That's supposed to be a steal. And that one goes long. Garrett says I did the glitch. That makes sense, I guess. About to say. The glitch does help pass a lot of time. Oh man, why are they double teaming? Everyone can green on my team. It's beautiful. What's up, all Mike do? Welcome back. I'm just gonna call you Mike. Saying that entire name makes me sweat a little bit. And I haven't sweat for this entire stream, so... Yeah. I think you guys get where I'm going with this. Oh yeah. Gilbert Arenas is finally on fire for the first time in like... Two or three games. Um, Carb, I have graduated high school. I'm in college right now. Like I said earlier, I'm an old dude. I'm an old dude. 21 years of age. One year left of college. It's crazy. Y'all are probably like, this guy's like 14. I'm actually, believe it or not, 21. Y'all were probably like, this guy's 12. Nah. 21. Let's go, Larry. Eight three-pointers for Larry Bird. What an absolute beast. Chaotic says, is it worth the grind? There's one way to find out, and that's by actually grinding for him. So if we're going to find out. Every player I've grinded for so far has been worth the grind, so I'm assuming Steph is going to be worth the grind, too. Kappa says Doc is nine. I mean, believe it or not, I'm actually 21. Even though I may look 9. Carb says, 
I thought you were between 16 and 18. People do tell me I look pretty young. People do tell me I'm a pretty young looking guy. I don't know if I agree with that, but to be fair, I did shave a couple ga a couple days ago. But then again, it's not like I grow much hair. About to say, I don't grow much facial hair. I'm Malaysian, so I'll grow a little goatee like those Chinese emperors do. It's pretty dope. Uh, on a beer, once this game's over, we'll have six games remaining. We have been beasting and feasting. We haven't taken a single L today. We are 23 and 0. If we win this game, we're 24 and 0 with six games remaining. Chaotic says, "I can't wait to see Steph pull out the 720 contact dunk. It is going to be gorgeous. 720 contact dunk. I know what you guys are thinking. Is that even in the game? And I'm thinking, have you guys not played 2K before? That's going to be a beautiful play." Abby says, why do guys use glitches to get the player? It's easier. It's easier. Like, I'm playing through the game, and these games can get kind of tough. These games can be a bit of a grind. So, I mean, why play through them if you're able to skip them? The only reason I'm not skipping is because, I mean, I got to give you guys some content. It would be pretty boring if I was just skipping through every game, right? So, got to give you guys some content. Hot Caillou, you're making some good progress. About to say, if you can do five players per day or five games per day, that's really good progress. Don't be like me, guys. Don't try to get this Steph Curry in one day. It's not the healthiest thing. Not the healthiest thing. I know that I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna get a really good rest tonight once the stream's all said and done. Carb says you are good looking. No homo. Hey, hey. He said no homo. So that's all that matters. That's all that matters. About to say. I know Anthony said pause, but like he said no homo. So apparently everything's good. I do appreciate it though, Carb. Garrett says I was joking. It's all good, Garrett. I think we all knew you were joking. Oh yeah, never mind. Thought that was an easy bucket. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. Outside, Kobe. Oh yeah. There we go. Abby says, "I'm on my last opal for Curry." Hey, I believe you. Look at look at Larry Bird rejecting these shots. Zachary says, "You do look good though." Once again, I appreciate it. I mean, he didn't say no homo though. I don't know. He didn't say no homo right there. About to say. Carby said no homo, but he didn't. Luis says, hella sus. Kappa says, just a little sus. I think it's very nice. I think it's a nice thing to say. But he forgot the no homo. What's up, Popo Gaming? Welcome to the stream. Anthony said, games go by so much faster listening to your voice. I would say I have some pretty nice commentary. For sure. Uh, Travis Mangan. We're almost done with our 24th game. Once this game's over, we have six wins, ele uh, six wins left. Excuse me, excuse me. Abby, I do play on Xbox. Oh, yeah. That no-look defense. I was looking at the chat while playing defense right there. Let's go, Larry. Larry has hit nine threes in this game. He has been a beast. But yes, I play on Xbox. There's ten three-pointers. Not too bad. Can we make it 11 right here? Probably not. Actually... No, we can't. Okay, I was right. Will take it the other way. 
There is a glitch to get Curry faster. Yeah. I mean, I've heard about all the Xbox glitches. Unless it's something like that, there is no glitch. And you are lying, machine. Gotta hit those. I don't care the what I... Oh, yeah, excuse me. My talking sucks. I know we're up 30, but we gotta hit those. That's what I was trying to say. It's gonna take a rest. Oh, man. This has been a good stream. But I'm sore and tired. I am sore and tired. I've been pushing my body to the limit. I'm sorry if you guys hear my my chewing. I'm hungry, so gotta do it. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table. The ability to oh, what? Boy, that was perfect defense. Uh, Zachary, I'm from Alabama. I'm half Malaysian, half white. I know. Being mixed is just the best. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. A floater. Rexler, no good. And so it's Charlotte with it. 16 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Embiid, no good. That was a good turkey sandwich. Now Drexler. So no problem for Charlotte as they get the win. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful All right, guys. I, I guess they don't need Let's get it. Six games left. Six more games. And yeah, Kappa, I'm not a big fan of dating cousins or dating sisters or whatever. About to say, people may do that in Alabama, but that is frowned upon in Malaysian culture, so... Yeah, I don't do that. Don't worry. Uh, Bill GC. I just finished game number 24. We are now six wins away from Steph Curry. We have been grinding today, man. We've been live for 11 hours. And, yeah, we're going to have five games left. And we're not even going to be 12 hours in. Final game. Versus the Spurs. Versus Tony Parker. Versus Tim Duncan. Versus George Gervin, David Robinson, all those guys. This is going to be a good game. And we're playing versus Kawhi Leonard, too. This is going to be a good one right here. Yeah. This is going to be a good game. Let's get it. Let's get it. Six games left. One game away from getting Tony Allen. Let's do it. Uh, them kids, yes, you can still get Goat Bird. Um, it's not my final game just yet. It's not my final game yet. I'm gonna change the title when I'm five games away, and after every win, I'm gonna change it again. So, yeah. Here we go. Let's do it. Final game for Tony Allen. Let's get it. Not my final game. But we're getting close. We're getting very close. And it's gonna be the Spurs off the tip. Also, we are 15 likes away from 300, so you guys make sure to smash the like button for me if you haven't already. It means a lot. It means a lot and it helps the channel grow a lot. Good start. This is not the last game for Steph Curry, Sky. Uh, this is not the last game. After this game's over, I have five more. 
which means we're on the actual like last leg the final five games so we're getting super close we are getting super close our first two shots go in that's the start that we needed that's the start we needed in this game man that's what I'm talking about let's get it Kobe was wide open, but I saw him a little bit too late. It's a good shot. Carby said, you almost have 2.8K. Do I have 2.79 right now? I have not checked my subscribers in like an hour or two. Do we have 2.79? That would be huge. Kappa says, make sure to sub and drop a like if you're new. Hey, y'all listen to Kappa. You guys listen to my moderators leading the charge. Oh, we're on fire. We gotta be better on defense, but offensively, we're on fire already. Oh, man. There's a nice steal. You got a bucket real quick. And bead for three. Oh, we're on fire. Oh, we're on fire. 14 to 4 lead versus the toughest team on the toughest difficulty. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, get that out of here. I thought this was going to be a tough game. The Spurs have been a little bit disappointing so far. Okay, that would have been a big shot. I should have made that. Alberto says, I already liked. That's what I'm talking about. We are 10 likes away from my first 300 like stream in channel history. You guys have been stellar today, man. We've gained a lot of new subs. My OGs have come through for me. We're about to hit 300. That's crazy. That's crazy. A 300 like stream has never happened before. And we might hit it. Kappa says we're almost at 12 hours. We are 40 minutes away from 12 hours. So we're going to finish this game before we hit 12 hours. Which is pretty good pace. 25 games in 12 hours. Some people said it was going to be like... What am I trying to say right now? I can't remember. When it comes back, I'll say it though. But yeah. I'm curious how many total views this stream has because we have averaged over 40 viewers. We have averaged over 40 viewers, which is amazing. You guys have really killed it today. 292 likes is unbelievable. But yeah, I mean, if we take an L, those likes mean absolutely nothing. Chaotic says, I have no MT on my team. Are there any methods to earn more? You should definitely play the Kobe weekly challenges. The Kobe weekly challenges give you so much MT and so many tokens. You should definitely play those challenges, for sure. They're really out here double teaming. Oh, man. Oh, wow. That's tough. Missed that wide open shot. That was my fault. The last double team, I didn't mean to turn it over. Right there, that was 100% my fault. We have been on fire though, man. We have been on fire from three. We have not been missing from deep. This is the final game for Tony Allen. And then once we finish this game, we are five games away from Steph Curry. I know. We are making it look easy. We haven't lost a game yet. And like I told you guys earlier, if we lose a game, my heart's going to be broken. I do not want to take any L's. I don't think we're going to take any L's, but you never... Oh, 
here's Duncan, and Duncan throws it down. Yeah, and at 7-1, Duncan is a problem in the paint. Outstanding with his extension there and just hammering it home. And here's Bryant for three, and that one released in time, but no Damn. good. And that concludes a back-and-forth high-scoring first quarter. Seven-nothing run by them. Alberto, I don't know when I'm going to play Park next, but if you guys turn on notifications, you're going to know. Deformed Grape says, how many more games? If we win this game, we only have five more games. Once I beat this game, or once I beat the Spurs, excuse me, I'm going to change the title of the stream so it says five games remaining or five games left or something like that. Something like that. Kappa says, you got this, Duck. I appreciate you, Kappa. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. We got off to a very good start, but now it's 22-19. These guys have been going off. That's a big steal, though. Let's get some buckets right quick. We got the ball back. We have a mismatch right here. Wide open three. <sighs> we got off to such a, start, a hot start, but now we've missed a few in a row. So, it's tough. Oh, yeah. Yo, man, just smacked my green three out of bounds. That's tough. Krishna says, when did you start playing? Um, 11 o'clock a.m. I finished all my homework, though, so just know I did attend to my responsibilities. But yes, this is the longest stream in my channel's history by far. Not even close. I had to give my people a long stream. Maybe I should take smarter shots. I'm taking some very stupid shots. Maybe if I was taking smarter shots, we wouldn't be only up by one. Let me start taking smarter shots. And I think we're going to pull away. Oh, man. So they're not going to take the lead right here. We got to make sure we get a bucket because that good start we got off to has officially evaporated. So, let's try and pull away a little bit. We got the switch. Oh yeah. There we go. Chaotic says, I just subscribed to the channel. I'll tune in later to watch Curry jump over Taco. Hey, sounds good to me. Hey, you guys give me an update. Give me an update when we hit 2.8 thousand subs because we're getting very close we're getting very close to 2.8 K so you guys give me an update when we do it let me know when that happens give me that live update I need it Jimmy Herson says bro I just subbed so we're still gaining a lot of subs but like I said you guys gotta let me know when we hit the big 2.8 K that's a big milestone huge milestone big shot MB let's go but not nah, for real everybody who's just now subbing I appreciate you guys a lot of you guys are seeing your names show up on the screen and hey I think that's a pretty cool thing shout out to Streamlabs best streaming service there is or best streaming software excuse me let's move that ball around right quick I'm missing a lot of easy shots man missing a few too many easy shots it's still 28 28 we're not gonna lose this game but man I gotta step up a little bit I have been very bad offensively. Defensively, not terrible. We're contesting a lot of shots. We got to be better grabbing rebounds and all that stuff. Hey, nice slam, Bird. Doc, 2.8K. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I had a feeling we'd hit 2.8K today. We started off the stream with 2.63. But you guys showed so much love on today's stream that, hey, I had a feeling we were going to hit 2.8K. 
Thank you guys for subscribing. This has been the biggest day in my channel's history. Most likes on the stream. We're still six likes away from 300. Most subscribers gained in one day. And hey, that means we're less than 200 away from the big 3,000. My Xbox name is not one word. It is CP the Doc with spaces. But nah, I appreciate everybody who subscribed. Thank you, Flames X2, for subbing. Thanks to everybody who subbed today. Pepe the Dude says, hey, you got this. Get Curry. I gotta say, man, I, I really do appreciate all the positivity being spread in today's stream. Nobody's being toxic for real in the chat. We're all having fun. I'm enjoying talking to you guys a lot, too. I'm enjoying talking to you guys in the chat for real. It's been a lot of fun. Can you get the only... I mean, uh, excuse me. Can you only get the Curry card today? No. That Curry's gonna be there for the rest of the year. I don't know why 2K says it's limited. But, with that being said, we are about to get the Curry card today. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys, I'm missing so many open jump shots. We gotta shoot a little bit better. We're still in the lead, but we are shooting terribly. Let's make a few subs. Let's make a few substitutions to start the second half. We'll get Josh Smith in there. Might put in Dennis Rodman too. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's beautiful right there. I got that vision. Got that vision. Hey, Cam Hay 06, I got you. I got you. If you guys in the chat got questions, I got your back. I'm trying to talk to the chat as much as I can. Let's go, Hakeem! I'm telling you, man. Hakeem has that beautiful three-point shot. To answer your question, though, Seth, my favorite card is Kobe. Kobe and Larry Bird are my two favorite cards. Goat Kobe, Goat Larry Bird. They're both pretty great. They're both really great. What's up, Abby? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, Owen Ellis. Cam Hay, if I win this game, I'm only five wins away. Five wins away. If we win this game, we're only up by eight, so we gotta pull away. We gotta pull away and get this win. Yeah, we have the lead, but I'm trying to destroy this team. We have the entire left side of the floor to ourselves. If they play help defense, they're going to leave somebody open. Oh, yeah. Crap, I meant to send him to the rim. I was trying to get Dennis Johnson cutting to the rim. Hey, JD said almost 300 likes on the stream. We're at 299 right now. You guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. We're about to hit 300 for the first time ever. And yes, that is my name, Carby. That is my name, yes. Thank you guys for the first 300 like stream in channel history. Easily best stream in CP the Doc history. Not even close. Not even close. 300's a lot. What's up, Tino YT? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright today, man. Glad you stumbled across my stream. Finally! Our first double digit lead since like the first two seconds of the game. It's about time. Let's pull away. We've been a lot better on defense this half. And it's time for us to keep on pulling away. I don't want this game to even look close. Hey, let's get it. We had a big lead in the first quarter, but... We haven't had a big lead since. Luis Lucas! Holy shit! About to say, I saw the 99.0. Holy crap. That's big time right there. About to say, I don't know how many US dollars that transfers to, but that looks like the biggest donation in channel history. So most likes on a stream ever, most subscribers gained in a stream, 2.8k subs, we're gonna get Steph Curry, and that looks like a lot of money right there, sheesh, 
What game am I on? This is game number 25. If we win this game, little H, we are five games away from Steph. Anthony Morgan said it's two dollars. I saw the 99 and I said, Ooh! I thought that was 99 US dollars, but hey, I appreciate the donation. I saw the 99 and I said, Ooh! That's still pretty good though. I'm not going to get mad about that. This has been a big stream. We got to pull away in this game though. Let's go, Bird. Hey, I'm telling y'all, this Larry Bird's too much of a beast. Thank you for the dono, Luis. I appreciate you, man. First dono of the stream. It's about time, too. It's about time, too. Every dono counts. You guys better show some love. You guys better drop some donos when I get this Steph Curry. I get, I'm about to give you guys a 14-hour stream. You guys better show me some love. But not for real. Whether you donate or not, I appreciate every single one of you. We hit a huge milestone, 2.8 thousand subs. That's big. That means we're getting close to 3,000. 300 likes is huge. Thank you guys for all the milestones. Should I buy VC for the packs? Those packs do look really good. It's your decision, but I don't really buy VC, so it's your call. It's your call. I don't really spend money on BC though. Johnson against Parker. Three pointer. Sinks the triple. Wet moss. Curry's here for the rest of the year. It's not limited. They did the same thing last week for Larry Bird. Or two weeks ago. But yeah. Like Anthony Morgan just said. I know y'all saw how Luis just donated two dollars. You can become a member for $2, man. If any of you guys want to become channel members, hey, you get access to CP the Doc emojis. You get a dope loyalty badge by your name. It's pretty awesome, so you guys listen to Anthony and become a member if you want to. Ice Astro. Once I win this game, we are five wins away from Curry. So you better hang around. If you guys in the stream are planning on leaving, you better not, because we're about to be on the final stretch, the final five games for Mr. Wardell Curry Jr. So yeah, we're getting very close. We're making some pretty amazing progress. Like, in my eyes, it doesn't get much better than this. Anthony says, crazy I've been here almost all stream a hey, shout out to everybody who's been here from the beginning ice Astro says I have 13 games left and I'm exhausted I'm exhausted too I've been sitting here talking to you guys for almost 12 hours now how to say so not only have I been playing but I've been talking to y'all too I'm not lying down or anything I'm just standing straight up talking to y'all it's been a grind, it's been a lot of fun, and yeah, once this game's over, we're going to be on the final stretch. Tino says, great stream, thanks for reading the chat. I appreciate it, I appreciate it, man. I love reading the chat, love it. Random Ace says, I've been here since you had 17 games left, sheesh. And we're about to have five games left, so, man, y'all have been super active. Let me stretch out a little bit. Oh. Gotta stretch out my right arm, too. I'm so tight right now. I've been sitting here for hours. But it's all about to pay off. Uh, Curry is not limited. To everybody asking in the chat, Curry is not limited. I don't know why 2K does that. He is not limited. Is Troy Dan streaming? Someone earlier said he was. But why watch Troy Dan when you can watch me? Okay, I'm kidding. Troy Dan's definitely the better content creator. But still, if y'all are real fans, y'all are going to hang around here. Moss says, Doc, you're good. You're Gucci. You're the best. 
I appreciate it. I would say I'm pretty solid, but every now and then I'll take some terrible shots like that. Uh, Tino, I play a little bit of my career. I play a little bit of my career. Not much, but a decent amount. I have a few 99 overall builds. I only use like two of them, though. Oh, yeah. Dennis Johnson's on fire. Luis says Doc over Troy Dan. That'd be crazy if I got a Troy Dan raid. Imagine how many subs I'd gain from that. Ben, I have five games left after I finish this one. Four minutes left until we have five games left. I'm going to change the title of the stream when I get back to the final five. It's minted said, why didn't you just do the glitch? I mean, that wouldn't be really fun for y'all to watch, right? That wouldn't be fun, just sitting there watching me sit here while the clock runs out. That sounds pretty boring. I think I'd rather watch some real gameplay. So, yeah. I think I should actually, you know, use skill to win the game instead of using a glitch. I think that's fair. This was a pretty close game, but next thing you know, we pulled away. Made it look easy. Can't believe this game was close. Can't believe this game was close at first. Have you ever been raided by anyone? Uh, three or four times, yes. Well, actually, no. Well, yeah, three or four raids, but also a lot of big YouTubers have come in here before. Uh, DBG came in here one time. Kaiki Flex came in here one time. He's a Brazilian channel with 1.1 million. Um, Dominus, he came in. He's the 2K YouTuber. And yeah, those are the three verified pages that can come in. And Solo DF came in one time. That was cool. That was during a park stream. It's cool that these YouTubers are seeing me in their recommended feeds. I think it's pretty dope. Chatty Zoo says 301 likes. My computer screen says 303 right now. My screen says 303. You guys have been killing it. We are two minutes away from the final five games. Final five games. Let's get it. This game was close until we pulled away in the second half. And I'm telling you, man, those last five games versus the Lakers, the Clippers, the Kings, the Warriors, those are going to be some tough games. But y'all know we're going to be all right. We going to be all right. Let's get it. Pushing it up, and Robinson gets it to go on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got his third. What a stream it's been. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. 2.81 thousand subs. That's what I'm talking about. Them kids in FN says, Are you streaming tomorrow? If so, I'll donate. Yes. I am planning on streaming tomorrow night. Probably going to stream some gameplay with, with uh, Steph Curry. If I have the energy, I'll stream in the afternoon, but I'm definitely, definitely not streaming in the morning. I gotta get some rest. I gotta get some rest from sitting here and playing for 14 hours. So, yeah, most likely no afternoon stream, but we'll see. I am planning on streaming, but I also gotta get some rest. This is gonna be the longest stream in channel history, so I gotta make it count. Gotta make it count. And I gotta get my rest once it's done. Eternal Basketball says five more games. Yes. Once I win this game, we only have five more. Five more games once this game's over. And this game's almost over. Just be patient. We're gonna get to the end of it. We will win. At this point... We're just going to dribble out the clock. We're just going to dribble it out a little bit. We're going to hold the ball, stretch out my arms. Whew. Tino, 
Getting viewers makes it really fun. Make sure you use the right tags on your streams. Make sure you have a good thumbnail. Engage your audience with your commentary. And have fun with it. Don't be too toxic. Be chill. And I think that's a good way to get it done. Also, JJ, welcome back. Moss King says, You're the greatest YouTuber I've ever seen. Maybe one day I'll be the greatest, but today, no, we still have a lot of work to get done. We still have a lot of work to do. Pay, pay the dude. Says, how many opals do you have? Probably like 30 or something like that. There are a lot of opals I have I don't use, so, yeah. Something crazy like that. Five games away. Five more wins. Five more wins, man. We're making some awesome progress. We are beasting and feasting. Five wins away. They're going to inbound the ball. And here we go. I'm going to start changing up the title of the stream. So people know how many games I am away the second they load in. This is what I'm talking about. We got 60 people watching. And hey, you guys better hang around. You guys better hang around. It's time for the last five games of the stream. Oh, oh don't worry. Don't worry. It's still going to take over two hours. <sighs> Let's get it. Let me change the name of the stream real quick to five wins away. Let's get it. Five more wins. There we go. Title has changed. Here we go. Got 51 people in here. There's Tony Allen. You guys don't have to take a picture of this. Y'all are going to take a picture of the big prize when I pick them up. There's Tony Allen. We're going to check out the collection real quick. Looks so good, man. Looks so good. That entire top row is complete. And here we go. All we need is Pat Beverly. All we need for this dude right here is Pat Beverly. So let's get it. Let's get it, man. You guys know the vibes. Five more wins. It's time. Hop in a single player and let's get it done, baby. Y'all listen to Anthony. Y'all can go ahead and get hyped in the chat. Get hyped in the chat for the one time. Final five games right here, right now. First game versus the Suns. Let's get it, man. I'm locked in, Kappa. I'm locked in. Let's get it. Whew. First game versus the Suns. Y'all know I'm not worried about this team, Loki. I'm not worried about Steve Nash or Booker. I already have Dick Van Arsdale. Definitely not worried about him. That Stoudemire is good, but I'm not worried about him either. I think this is going to be a nice, easy win. The toughest games are going to be the Warriors and the Lakers. I'm not worried about this game, though. Uh, pay, pay. I only have two GOAT cards. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Minted says Final Five. I love seeing the Final Five chats in the stream. Here we go. Five more games. First game in Phoenix. Woo! Five wins away. Let's get it, man. This stream is about to hit the 12-hour mark. This is about to hit the 12-hour mark. Let's get the 12th hour started on the right note. Embiid greens the first shot. Let's go. Let's make this a blowout. Let's make this win easy. Oh, yeah, great block. Great defense. They're going to hit some tough shots. We all know we're going to be okay. Pay Pay says best YouTuber. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I'm not the best, but maybe one day I will be. Maybe one day I'll be up there. Good shot, Larry. But yeah, if I'm any of you guys' favorite YouTubers, I'm honored. About to say, I know I'm not up there with the greats just yet, but yeah. Eternal Basketball says, will you be the first in the world? I don't think so, because I started an hour after the guys came out. I might be the first YouTube streamer, but 
there are a lot of guys who definitely beat me to it. I'm not going to be the first, but I will be one of the first, and definitely one of the first YouTubers. Sizz says, how many games left? Let me read you the title. Five more wins for Goat Stephen Curry. Five more wins. Let's get it. 309 likes on this, 308, excuse me. You guys have been liking this stream up like mad men. And we've gained a bunch of new subscribers today. If we hit 2.83k, that means we've gained about 200 new subs today. And that is just insane. That's insane if we hit 2.83. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, now's the time. Now's the time. We're on the final stretch. We're about to get this uh, Steph Curry. I'm so tired, I almost forgot who it was. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. I'm feeling fresh. That was a good stretch I had. We're greening all our shots, and we're locking down on defense. Let's go. Kappa said, these spotlight sim streams go crazy. And yeah, they do. You guys enjoy watching this stuff, and I'm glad you guys like my commentary, for real. I'm really glad you guys like my commentary. Of course, every now and then, some guy will come in and he'll say, Your voice sucks! And I'll be like, eh. It'll be sad, but I'm glad most of you guys enjoy hearing me talk. Did you take a break? Because I was behind you before, and now I'm a game ahead. Uh, no, I didn't take a break. Uh, yes, still five games. Amy Madre El Bijo. I didn't pronounce the C. I was about to say, I didn't want to say a bad word in Spanish. Hey, though, we got 60 people in the stream. Hope everybody's having a good night. If it's night where you're at, you already know what's up. We're going for this Stephen Curry. We are five wins away. Once this game's over, we'll be down to four. You guys hang around and witness the last stretch for this Opal Steph Curry. And if you enjoy the content, maybe even consider subscribing. If you enjoy the content. I'm not going to force anybody, but it would help grow my channel a lot. You guys make sure to drop a like for me. And yeah, like I said, it would be a big help. Um, I am from the South. I'm half Malaysian, half white, and I'm from Alabama, so... Yeah, I am from the South. Some people tell me they don't notice, but yes, I am indeed from Alabama. Oh, yeah, that's an alley-oop. Minted said, how could anybody hate you? You're one of the chillest 2K My Team streamers, and I've only been here for like 20 minutes. I'll come back next stream, and I subbed. Hey, I appreciate the love, Minted. I appreciate it. About to say, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the content, because this stream has been a lot of fun. This stream has been a ton of fun, bro. Flames X2 says, why don't you use quick through STS? That wouldn't be very fun for you guys to watch. About to say, if I just run the same play every single time, that wouldn't be very fun to watch. So we're not doing that. We are not doing that. About to say, running the same play every time. Yeah, that might be boring for y'all to watch. Same thing with doing the glitch. I could have done the glitch a lot of times during the stream, but why do the glitch when I can just play the game and use my skill to win? Yeah, I told you guys, this was going to be an easy W. Pay pay the dude says, everyone rages and you're just chill. A lot of BS happens in this game, man. I think we can all agree that 2K is kind of a bad game, but I love basketball in real life. I used to play basketball, so hey, I'm going to stick with 2K. Whenever something new like this comes out, I'm going to play it. And you guys love the grinded out, like, content. You guys love the Spotlight Sim streams. Whenever I'm going for a goal, like a Galaxy Opal Steph Curry or a Galaxy Opal Larry Bird, 
You guys are always so supportive. I appreciate every single one of you. And yeah, these streams always go crazy. That's good. Uh, Carter, welcome back. Five more wins. Five more wins. Hey, Daba says, I have that hat. Oh, so you're a Braves fan too? It's nice seeing another Braves fan in the building. We're about to hit 310 likes on the stream. That's crazy. About to say, I'm really in awe of how many likes we've gotten today. You guys have been loving the stream. We have gained almost 200 new subs today. 